Hi guys. I would like to invite you to the audiobook service where we upload more than 300 hours of different audiobooks a week, link in details in the video description. Chapter 88 I have to be careful when dealing with a guy like you. I won't let you express your feelings to Kaido. Kill his men. You can continue to contact him. I believe that everything you do in the end is prepared for our power. But here, you have to kill her and form a grudge with Big Mom. Uchiha Tamaki was not in a hurry and explained to Doflamingo. Put everything in front of him and let him think it through. There are not many people with Doflamingo's talents in this sea. Among the Emperor's lieutenants, Uchiha Yugen feels that Katakuri is more suitable. Big Mom actually manages most things by him. The other ones, Marco, Beckman and Jin, are not good at management. Marco has no territory management at all, and the same goes for Beckman. The red-haired pirates only have a few people. On Jin's side, Wayno country is managed by the Black Carbon Orochi. Including Pluto Rayleigh, who is very strong in combat, but has poor management skills. There is a talent like Doflamingo, who can build his own strength, control nearly 80% of the underground arms trade in the Grand Channel, and at the same time be in charge of a country. Even this country is still a popular tourist city, and it is black and white. If you don't have any real talent, you can't reach this level. Which of the other Shichibukai can compare to Doflamingo? So this is the reason why Uchiha Tamaki has always wanted to bring this capable person under his banner. If Doflamingo offends Big Mom, it will be almost impossible for him to defeat Big Mom with his own strength. He can only find someone to join forces or rely on other Yonko. Kaido doesn't have the no. Two position for him. Unless Doflamingo really wants to be a dog, otherwise following him is the best choice. No, Doflamingo. Don't kill me, save me, and I will ask my mother to help you defeat this guy. Charlotte Smoothie was anxious now, she didn't want to die yet. She quickly persuaded Doflamingo to save her. She didn't want to die yet, and this enemy was too dangerous. She must go back and tell her mother the news. Do you want to believe Charlotte Lingling? I think Kaido is more trustworthy than her. Such a person would not hesitate to take advantage of his own children. Uchiha Yugen was making sarcastic comments from the side. But he was ready to attack Doflamingo at any time. If you don't want to hang out with me, Uchiha Songjiang, then you are not my brother, and I will beat you to death now. He had more than 30 seafloor stone handcuffs on him, so he could definitely make sure Doflamingo's arrangements were clear. Doflamingo's face twitched. At this time, he regretted cooperating with such a person, but now he said he didn't want to do it because he was afraid that Uchiha Tamaki would transform into a giant and hammer him soon. He was thinking about escaping back to Dress Rosa, but just like escaping back, the other party would not let him go and would kill him directly. Where would he flee to when the time comes? The Yonko who can run around alone is much more dangerous than the Yonko who stays in his own territory. Only then did he understand why the world government had not directly sent a large army to Talon and Ueno for so many years. It turned out that it wanted to use these two countries to trap the four emperors. Ha ha ha, there is no need to hesitate to kill such a woman directly. Bounce the thread. Doflamingo suddenly laughed, then raised his hand and fired a thread directly from between his index fingers. Like a bullet, it easily penetrated Charlotte Smoothie's head, leaving a hole about the size of her index finger in her head. Charlotte Smoothie's eyes were filled with disbelief. After all, Big Mom also had transactions with this largest arms dealer. When she saw Doflamingo before, he always had a smile on his face. She never thought that she would die in the hands of this man. Since I have chosen you to be my captain, I will naturally obey the captain's orders. I believe we will be able to overturn this world. Doflamingo showed a fake smile again and said to Uchiha Tamaki with a smile. In the current situation, killing Charlotte Smoothie is the best choice. In his eyes, Uchiha Tamaki is far more dangerous than Big Mom. After all, it would be difficult for Big Mom's aunt to hunt him down in person, but this person in front of her was different. She could kill him directly at his door. Until now, it was difficult for him to figure out what this man was thinking. And Uchiha Tamaki also looked at Doflamingo, 
wondering what this guy was thinking in his heart, but felt that whatever Da Flamingo was thinking was useless. Even if the four emperors came to besiege him, there would be no problem in escaping. If he couldn't just open the portal and return to the ninja world. You are very smart. Don't always think about riding on the wall. This is your only chance to break through in this life. Follow me and I will take you to the top of the world. Uchiha Tamaki said seriously to Da Flamingo. Anyway, you will always be defeated by someone who cheats, either Luffy or yourself. There is no other way to go. Of course I believe you. Da Flamingo stopped smiling and felt a little helpless. He was already on the boat, what else could he do? I can only admit it. Moreover, he does have extremely huge ambitions. If he cannot achieve it himself, he can just use the help of this man. Da Flamingo killed Big Mom's Charlotte Smoothie. Anyone who dares to provoke the Don Quixote family is my enemy, Uchiha Tamaki. And Uchiha Yugen also responded to Da Flamingo. Directly facing the direction of the sea, speak these words loudly to the pirates who are escaping. Da Flamingo's smile quickly froze. Originally, he was thinking that it would be Uchiha Tamaki who would kill him when the time comes. But with the arrival of Uchiha Tamaki, this news is not enough. At the same time, the news that the Don Quixote family and Uchiha are joining forces will inevitably spread throughout the sea. It's time to raise our royal flag. Come on, Da Flamingo. Uchiha Tamaki said to Da Flamingo with a smile. Um. Da Flamingo forced a smile. I have already thought in my heart that I must hold my interests tightly in my hands and not let this heartless man abandon me at any time. But immediately, Da Flamingo's back tightened. Because when he saw the man in front of him, his aura suddenly changed completely. His overbearing domineering energy unexpectedly spread out uncontrollably, and black and red arcs of electricity were beating on the other man's body. World Government Uchiha Yugen had an angry look on his face and said these words through gritted teeth. Because his shadow clone is released and the information is transmitted to the main body. When he left, people from the world government took action and forcibly took away two of the patrolling tribesmen. Although Shirsui and others, including Uchiha Yushuan's shadow clone, all knew. However, the abilities of devil fruit users are so weird that they can directly contain people in a bottle, and then there are several people responsible for blocking them. They were all dead soldiers and used explosive rocks. The power of the explosion instantly forced Shirsui and others to use Susanoo to resist the impact. Moreover, the other party had the assistance of people with abilities. After the other party escaped from sight and was captured, he disappeared and could not be found at all. Therefore, the Shadow Clone arranged for Fugaku to stabilize the clan members and after everyone gathered together, he cancelled the notification to Uchiha Tamekian. These things were premeditated at first glance, and there was no way it could have been done by pirates. It looked like they were all members of the world government. What's wrong? Da Flamingo felt a little uneasy. He was wondering if this person was going to regret it and kill him. Then this person is really evil, even more disgusting than himself. Pack up Dressrosa's things as soon as possible, I'm going to capture the Draco. If you want to be the Yanku, the identity of Shichibukai will be useless. I will tell you this in advance. You should be prepared and let your people retreat. But Da Flamingo didn't wait for Uchiha Yugen to take action. Uchiha Yugen said to Da Flamingo indifferently. After saying that, he directly used Susanoo to spread his wings and fly into the sky, leaving here. What happened? Da Flamingo looked confused as Susanoo disappeared from his eyes at an extremely fast speed. But he still understood Uchiha Yugen's statement that he was going to capture the celestial dragons, which made him feel a little panicked. Retreat first. Da Flamingo gritted his teeth, used silk thread to smash Charlotte Smoothie's body into pieces of flesh, and then left here without hesitation. Chapter, 89 It seems that the strength I showed in the battle on top is not enough. Do these guys from Wulaoxing think I'm someone who can handle them well? You think I won't dare to settle a score with you if you use someone with such an uncertain identity to do such a thing? We have the wrong person, the world government. Uchiha Yugen's anger in Susanoo could not dissipate for a long time, but became even more angry. 
The huge Susanoo kept crashing through the clouds, drawing a passage through the air, and its speed exceeded the speed of sound. He originally wanted to be a king and make the people live a little happier, but now it seems that it is no longer possible. He will not be able to get rid of his anger unless he kills a few Tianlong people. My mind was thinking frantically about how to take revenge. Finally, Uchiha Yugen took out his phone bug and contacted Uchiha Fugaku. Chief, the tribe's emotions have calmed down now. Three people were injured by the enemy's explosion and are currently being treated. Fugaku gave a very brief report, saying that the problem is not big now. Bring the clansmen to Dragon Palace City and use illusions to control King Neptune of Fishman Island, as well as his two sons. They are all under control. Then control Neptune and give an order to gather all the soldiers at the entrance to prevent any humans from entering. At the same time, some soldiers were arranged to gather all the humans in the Fishman Island and let the tribesmen search for any accomplices inside. Leave everything to me outside, just protect yourselves. Uchiha Yugen ordered here. The army on Fishman Island also exceeds 50,000, which is enough to serve as cannon fodder and delay time. If something happens, you can reduce your losses and delay it until you come back. Okay, it will be done. Fugaku agreed without hesitation. Then he hung up the phone and gathered people to go to Dragon Palace City to start executing the plan. Sure enough, these people are very different. People who look very ordinary have very strong powers. Only two of the team used to catch the mermaids escaped, and the rest were all left on the Fishman Island. And if CP0 didn't send people to respond and act as a suicide squad, it would be really difficult to catch them. Spangdine listened to the report happily. The prey had already risen to the surface and was ready to be transported to him. Although it feels like there are too many losses, completing the orders of Wulaoxing is the most important thing. There are too many people to die, and when they die, new replacements will come up. It doesn't matter at all. Bulu Bulu. Spangdine put the phone through. Sir, the prey is about to arrive at Xiangwa land and can be handed over. A sinister male voice came from the phone bug. After reporting the captured Uchiha clan to Spangdine, the chief executive of CP9, preparations were made for handover at the shore. Well done, I'll arrange for someone to come over and take care of you now. Spangdine encouraged this subordinate a little, and then immediately started to make arrangements. This matter was ordered by Wulaoxing, and he must do it well. And you have to do it beautifully without making any mistakes. Before he could get up and prepare to personally escort the prey, the phone rang again. Lord Spandine, what's wrong, three of the celestial dragons in the Shambord Islands were captured by Shichibukai Uchiha Tamaki. As soon as he got through the phone call, before he could get any more arrogant, an unusually panicked voice came from the other end of the phone call. After Spandane heard the voice clearly coming from the phone bug, his expression became dull. What did you say? Spandane asked, horrified. The people from the world government are so slow to come. Are the celestial dragons really their gods? Or is it that only the five old stars in charge of the world government are the real celestial dragons, and these disgusting guys who only abuse their power are pigs raised in captivity by the five old stars? Uchiha Yugen was currently on Island No. 69 in Shampoo Land. He used his Sharingan to control the three celestial dragons he had just captured from the auction. He stood on the wall and just took half a step forward. Will fall from a height of five stories. And Uchiha Yugen was sitting under the flag of the world government, with a kanai on his right index finger, spinning it constantly. Downstairs, there were a large number of onlookers gathered at this time, including office staff of the world government, and a few ordinary marines. At the same time, there were quite a few people watching the show, and at a glance they were all densely packed, and they all looked at the situation on the government building with shocked expressions. How dare someone kidnap a celestial dragon and still stay in this place? This is an unheard of event. Many reporters' cameras never stopped, and their flashlights kept flashing. Hurry and release Master Tian Long, otherwise, not only you, but also your family, even relatives and neighbors will all be killed. Dragon people are not to be offended, you blasphemer and sinner. 
people from the world government below pointed at Uchiha Tamaki in the crowd and yelled. The tone was very passionate, like a sinner who had committed a treason and wanted to be blamed by him. But treating the Tianlong people like this was indeed a crime of treason in his eyes. Whoosh! The kunai in Uchiha Yugen's hand was thrown directly by him, drawing an arc in mid-air, and then stabbing the thigh of the middle of the three celestial dragons. The red blood instantly penetrated the spacesuit-like coat, making it look very dazzling. Who has anything else to say? Uchiha Yugen's hand took out a kunai again from the ninja tool bag on his waist, and looked at the people below and asked. You! The world government personnel who had just shouted had trembling lips and stiff body, unable to speak a word. He didn't dare to anger this person anymore. If the Tianlong people continued to be injured, he would definitely be blamed later. Say it again. Whoosh! Uchiha Tamaki said expressionlessly, and then threw the kanai out again, stabbing it into the thigh of the celestial dragon who was standing closest to Uchiha Tamajin. The three celestial dragons all had expressionless faces, because they had been completely controlled by Uchiha Tamaki with his Sharingan, and were now controlled by Uchiha Tamaki like puppets. Everyone looked at this thug in shock. In their eyes, what this man did was like shooting the Pope in the thigh in the Vatican. The believers below dared not speak out in anger at this time, and did not dare to say a word. Many people looked at Uchiha Yugen angrily and wished to kill Uchiha Yugen directly. Swish swish. Suddenly, several figures appeared quickly, one of them rushed towards Uchiha Yugen, and the remaining few rushed towards the celestial dragon. The man who rushed towards Uchiha Tamaki was directly caught by Susanoo's skeletal palm. During the struggle, he looked directly into Uchiha Tamaki's eyes. He lost consciousness for a moment, and then was directly crushed by Susanoo's skeletal hand. Blood splashed in all directions. What fell on Uchiha Yugen's side was blocked by Susanoo's bones, and slowly dripped on it. Chapter, 90 those noble people below have often seen such scenes. The woman's scream immediately sounded. A lot of blood foam fell on people's faces, and many people bent over and vomited. Several figures rushed towards the Tianlong people, directly picked up the Tianlong people and ran away, hoping to lead the Tianlong people to escape from this dangerous place. But just after they jumped off the world government building with the celestial dragon in their arms. Ah! The Tianlong people on their shoulders, without exception, all screamed in pain. As if he had been tortured, his face was full of pain, with tears and runny noses coming out. One of them even couldn't control his incontinence, and water stains seeped through the thick clothes. This change shocked the CP0S responsible for the rescue. Because of the nobility of the celestial dragons, they did not dare to move at all, for fear that something would happen to the celestial dragons because of themselves. They stopped all of a sudden downstairs. Seeing the Tianlong people twisting on their shoulders, they felt uncomfortable all over. After all, if anything went wrong, they would also die. These celestial dragons will automatically explode when they move a hundred meters away from me. Just like the CP0 that attacked me just now, boom, they will explode like fireworks. Uchiha Tamaki looked at the people below and said in a cold tone. After saying that, the three rescue CP0S were controlled by Uchiha Tamaki with Sharingan, allowing the three people to put the celestial dragon back to their original positions. Then these three CP0 members stood next to the wall, with weird smiles on their faces, and what they did next made everyone below frightened. The three men grabbed their heads and twisted them violently, twisting their necks directly behind their backs. Then his body fell weakly from the roof to the ground, making several potholes the size of human prints. However, because his physical fitness was indeed very strong, the image of Uchiha Yushuan's brain being smashed did not appear. That person is a devil. Run away quickly. If you stay here, that man will control you and commit suicide. Why hasn't the navy come yet? Lord Tianlong is going to die. The people watching below were scared. This weird feeling aroused everyone's nerves, and they couldn't guarantee whether they would become the next one. Although watching a show is important, your own life is even more important. Ordinary tourists, and even some members of the world government, 
all began to flee for their lives. Damn it, these untouchables. What kind of monster is that? It seems that we can only deal with it when the elites from CP0 arrive. Master Tianlong, please don't die before that. Spangdine was also nearby, but far away. He was watching the scene with a super distant telescope on another archipelago. He himself had basically no fighting ability, so it was naturally impossible for him to go to the scene. Although he said that he wanted to save Lord Tianlong, he was very honest and would not put himself in danger at all. At the same time, he was surprised that the several CP0s he sent were killed so easily. After all, CP0 are all elite selected from the CP organization. Even ordinary members have at least mastered the six moves. They are the elite of the elite. They are super talents who can only be promoted from CP9. But these people are it was so easy to be instantly killed by the opponent without causing any trouble. There were even three suicides. The deaths were so weird that it made him tremble with fear, especially the smile before breaking his neck, and his heart suddenly stopped at that time. The Navy finally has a guy with a name. Lieutenant General Flying Squirrel, the same Lieutenant General who escorted Luffy last time, met Uchiha Tamaki. Shichibukai, are you doing this because you want to betray the world government and become an enemy of the world government? When Lieutenant General Flying Squirrel came over, he also learned about the situation from the Navy who was here just now. So he didn't come up and rush towards Uchiha Tamaki, and he also knew that rushing over was useless. He was at the front seat of the war and could see it clearly. This man was no enemy he could defeat. So at this time he was just stalling for time, waiting for support. You're not of a high level, let someone with a higher level come over. Uchiha Yugen glanced at the flying squirrel, and then spoke. The Navy is the least valuable department among the members of the world government, and Uchiha Tamaki is not afraid of killing these marines, unless they seek death themselves. This time, he wants to make the world government lose face, and at the same time, he wants to save his two tribesmen, and at the same time, he wants to make the entire world government regret and anger him. You let Tianlong go, I'll let you go. Run away now, you still have a chance, but when the world government and the generals come, you won't be able to escape. Lieutenant General Flying Squirrel could only threaten him with words. It's not that he's afraid of death, he really can't beat him, and there's no other way. Even if the Navy swarmed him, he felt that the other party was capable of killing the three celestial dragons before the Navy touched him. Three guys, red, blue and yellow, are all in the new world. Are there any generals there? World government? A bunch of shady guys, how could I be afraid of this kind of trash? Uchiha Yugen sneered. The three generals were sent to stabilize the New World, and Garp returned to the East China Sea to relax. The almost destroyed naval headquarters was still being cleaned up, and only Sengoku remained behind. Moreover, it would be useless even if these three guys were here. Before doing this, he had arranged various means of retreat in advance. If you have the ability to blow up the entire shampoo field, see if he can escape. After speaking, Uchiha Yugen snapped his fingers. The three celestial dragons immediately knelt down on their hands and knees, then opened their mouths and exposed their tongues, imitating the appearance of dogs. Many people below saw the Tianlong people looking like this, their eyes were about to burst, and they looked like they wanted to eat people. After all, in their opinion, this is the biggest insult to them. The Draco are gods, and this demon is insulting their god. The veins on Lieutenant Flying Squirrel's forehead popped out, and he knew that this villain didn't take them seriously at all. He doesn't have a good impression of the Tianlong people, but the other party's unscrupulous treatment of the Tianlong people will greatly reduce the prestige of the Tianlong people. Those who dare to continue doing this in the future may become those who continue to do so. Just like the Pirate King G.O.L. Roger announced the existence of the Great Secret Treasure. The man in front of me is proving to everyone that the celestial dragons are not gods, and they also have such an ugly appearance. Stop. Uchiha Tamaki, what is your purpose? But at this time, there was suddenly a phone bug and a loud sound came from the phone. It turned out that the warring state side saw what happened through the video phone bug and directly stopped it. 
Just now, the flying squirrel did not dare to continue to anger Achiha Tamaki, for fear that the other party would give more violent information to the Tianlong people. Moreover, he also knew that the image phone bug on the side was connected, so he waited for the order of the Navy Marshal. Chapter, 91 The world government has captured two of my Uchiha clan subordinates. So I captured three people from the world government. They were just celestial dragons. This makes sense. Uchiha Yugen heard the voice of Sengoku, so he answered. When everyone present heard this, they all looked at Uchiha Tamaki as if they were crazy. Because of this kind of thing, you actually dare to do this kind of thing to the gods of this world, the celestial dragons? Just two men. Many people on the field fell into absurdity, thinking that this person was really crazy. Including warring states, he didn't expect it to be because of this reason. Originally, he thought that Achiha Yugen was crazy, or that the other party finally revealed his true identity and was a backup arranged by Whitebeard. But I never thought that because my subordinates were captured by the world government, in front of everyone, the celestial dragons were captured and treated with such humiliation. How can your men compare with the Tianlong people? Someone below couldn't help but question. Naturally, he is still a member of the world government, wearing a suit and tie, looking like a human and a dog. Oh. It turns out these people are Tianlong people. Looking at them now, I thought they were slaves of the celestial dragons. Are you embarrassed to wear a suit and tie with such a boss? On Uchiha Yugen's side, he showed an exaggerated look of surprise. Pointing to the Tianlong who was still kneeling on the ground, like a good dog, he said in surprise. After speaking, Uchiha Yugen waved his index finger. One of the older Tianlong people directly raised his right foot, like a puppy peeing. The people below stared at this scene in stunned silence, staring at the yellow traces on the trousers of the god Celestial Dragon. Enough. Do you want your entire Uchiha to be wiped out by the world government? Warring states also felt sick when he saw this scene. But his duty forced him to protect these wastes. Moreover, by doing so, the other party is trampling on the glory of the world government, and the navy is a member of the world government, so the other party is trampling on the glory of the navy. So he can't tolerate this. Then let's see if these three celestial dragons will die here before I, Uchiha. Uchiha Tamaki said expressionlessly. He snapped his fingers again to attract everyone's attention. The three Tianlong people stood up, with the same smiles on their faces as the three CP0S who had just committed suicide. They looked very strange. Then they slowly raised their hands and placed them on the glass cover and slowly lifted the glass cover. No, the next step is for the three of them to commit suicide. There was a person below who had just seen CP0 commit suicide before, and he couldn't help shouting loudly. If the celestial dragons really die here, then all the celestial dragons present will die. Stop. What do you have to do before you are willing to let the Tianlong people go? Sengoku roared. The voice came out clearly from the phone bug, and it was the first time that Lieutenant General Flying Squirrel felt that martial warring states could be so panicked. Even when it comes to war, the other side has never been so powerless. Bring my men here and give them to me. Uchiha Yugen waved his hand, and the three celestial dragons stopped, and then said, without asking for anything more, it was just such a condition. Hearing this request, Warring States was a little surprised. He originally thought that the other party would take this opportunity to make various difficult requests, but he didn't expect that he just wanted his own people back. Good. Warring States agreed without hesitation. But it will be delivered within 30 minutes. If the time exceeds, I will kill one Tian Long, and then kill another every ten minutes. You have to be faster, because my time is precious and cannot be wasted in this place. But Uchiha Tamaki's next words made Sengoku's face tighten. If a celestial dragon really dies, then the impact of this incident will be impossible to stop, and too many people will be implicated by then. Including the navy, they would also be blamed, and he didn't want to see that. Of course, you can also try to rescue the Tianlong people within this time. But the Tianlong people planted a bomb in their bodies due to my ability. As long as they are 100 meters away from me, they will automatically explode. 
Furthermore, Marshal of the Warring States period, please guess, is this my clone or my true body? I wonder if the celestial dragons in other places will also be attacked. What do you think? Uchiha Tamaki is threatening the navy and the world government. He didn't tell lies, he wanted to see if these people really treated the celestial dragons as gods, and to see if they would do whatever it took to save the celestial dragons. Villain The worst villain a person with such a good temper in the Warring States period could not bear the anger in his heart at this time. You wait. In the end, only these few people could come out of the Warring States period, and then they started looking for others. Spandane quickly received a call from the Warring States period and was asked to release him as soon as possible. The reason for this pot was caused by them. The Warring States period did not want the Navy to be affected, so they could only do it as soon as possible. Spangdine did not dare to refuse, and quickly arranged his own manpower to bring the two troublesome prey over and hand them over to the navy. Sengoku was relieved when he learned that the person Uchiha Tamaki wanted was in shampoo, but as soon as he hung up the phone, the five old stars contacted him. Insulting the Tianlong people is unforgivable. This person must die. Such a person is not allowed to exist in the sea. He cannot be allowed to continue to live. Send the navy to encircle and suppress Fishman Island. Not a single Uchiha person will be spared. All of them will be wiped out. Also, everyone present on the field will be wiped out and no information will be allowed to be revealed, including the navy. You understand the importance of this matter. If you do this well, the world government will not treat you and the navy badly. Wulaoxing is also very angry. In their view, arresting people like this is already a great deal of face. No one in the entire sea dares to threaten the Draco. Even on Whitebeard's side, if someone is arrested, they will only confront the navy head-on instead of going to the navy. Even if the other four emperors encountered such a thing, they would not dare to cause trouble to the Tianlong people. But this young man did just that, and he did it unscrupulously, putting everything on display for everyone to watch. He also put the face of the Tianlong people on the ground and stepped on it into the dirtiest soil. Such an approach will knock the Tianlong people off the altar and make everyone realize that the Tianlong people are not incapable of being insulted. As long as they are strong enough, such things are unacceptable to the five old stars. Everything that happened just now was reported by Spangdine, and there were even members of the intelligence organization watching it live using a projector phone bug. So for the glory of the celestial dragons, they want to eliminate anyone who sees this. Including the navy, no one can be left alive. Erase everyone. Chapter, 92. The entire island no. 60 to 80 is surrounded by the navy. Although Warring States was very disgusted with Wu Laoxing's order, he could not refuse, because if he refused, more people would die. Moreover, while he was on the phone with Uchiha Tamaki, he was already on the navy ship heading towards Shampoo, but it would take close to an hour at the fastest. Has anyone received it yet? Send to Island 69 as soon as possible. There are still 13 minutes left. Hand over the person to the other party as soon as possible. When Warring States heard that the person had been handed over to the navy, he felt relieved. Then let them deliver the person as soon as possible to prevent Uchiha Tamaki from losing control of his anger and actually killing the celestial dragon. But now, whether the opponent kills or not, the situation is already like this, Wulaoxing wants everyone present to die. Warring States is going now to prepare for this. When he hung up the phone, his face looked a little gloomy. He felt extremely tired of always doing these things for the Tianlong people, especially this time he had to do something to his own subordinates. You know from the top battle that this man is not a simple man, and why did Wulaoxing want to arrest his subordinates? Did the other party really attack the Tianlong people just for this reason? Sengoku projected the phone bug on the wall and looked at Uchiha Tamaki in the picture, wondering. He suspected that the other party would not be able to let him go so easily, but what Warring States wanted was to delay time until he could go there in person. As expected, it was in Shampoo Land. After all, they were capturing people from Fishman Island. According to what Captain Fugaku said about other fish that slipped through the net, these people were part of a team that captured mermaids in Fishman Island. 
but this time, we have the help of CP0 and brought explosive rocks with us in order to complete this mission. In order to prevent them from fighting back, my hands were broken and my whole body was tied in chains. Naturally, Uchiha Yugen's true form would not attract attention there together with the celestial dragons. Moreover, he had really placed a spell inside the celestial dragon, unless the opponent had the ability to remove the spell from the celestial dragon's body within three seconds after solving the shadow clone of Uchiha Yushuan. Otherwise, as long as the body senses the disappearance of the shadow clone, the spell can be detonated directly and the three celestial dragons will be killed. On the main body's side, Several clones were separated and hidden around Island 69, waiting for the guy who was escorting his people to appear. Here at Island 68, we have reached our goal. A group of marines escorted Uchiha who was placed in a cage on a carriage. Seeing the current situation of his tribe, he was very angry and almost got sliced into pieces. The navy is really empty now, and all the manpower has gone to the new world to work as pirates. If you don't have a powerful guy, you can try the newly developed ability and see how it works. Uchiha Yugen glanced around with a kaleidoscope, and soon discovered that there were about a dozen people from the CP organization hiding in the darkness of the street. But I didn't see anyone really powerful. The person responsible for escorting was just a rear admiral. After all, what Uchiha Yugen did was too sudden, and there were no powerful characters left in Shampoo. Most of the CP0 side also followed the Celestial Dragons. Uchiha Tamaki robbed three Celestial Dragons this time and killed two powerful guys in a sneak attack. They were at least a lieutenant general, but they were devil fruit users. Uchiha Yugen just delivers food. Time to stop. Uchiha Yugen raised his index finger, and the kaleidoscope in his eyes rotated rapidly. The overlord colored domineering energy is released through the kaleidoscope, and an invisible aura instantly covers all living people within a radius of 500 meters. The essence of this technique is to first stun the enemy through the overlord's hockey, and then the Manjiki Sharingan invades through mental power to delete a period of memory. Causing those people covered by the technique to lose the memory of this period of time, just like this period of time generally suspended. Depending on the strength of the target, the lasting effects are different. This is just an attempt by Uchiha Yugen to integrate hockey in pupil techniques, and it is exactly used in this place. After all, it is easy to snatch two tribesmen directly, but then it will be a bit troublesome to run away with them and be chased. And he didn't identify the wrong person, because the two escorted people had chakra in their bodies, which is something that people in this world cannot imitate. Well. The major general in charge of escorting was suddenly stunned for a moment. He felt as if his head had just stopped. I seemed to have forgotten something, but looking around, it seemed to be exactly the same as before in my memory, nothing had changed. Major General fears, there are still seven minutes left. Time is very urgent. The commander on the side quickly urged. They also knew what was happening and knew that time was urgent. When they suddenly saw the leader stop, they naturally urged them quickly. Well, let's go. The major general did not dare to stay longer and quickly stepped forward to accelerate the march. It seems they are all minor roles, and the powerful ones should be on their way. Uchiha Tamaki glanced around and found that there was no movement from the few guys hiding in the dark. He knew that his fusion technique was successful. Just now, the clones were dispatched together to take away the clan members, and then the clones used the transformation technique to look like the clan members were tied up, allowing the navy to continue escorting them. It only took less than three seconds, which can be said to be very fast. Bang! Uchiha Yugen once again separated a shadow clone. This shadow clone had a certain fighting power and asked him to take two clan members to leave first. As for Uchiha Tamaki, he was prepared to make a big fuss. Just like this, how could he relieve his anger? It is impossible for the other party to let him go. Since he has offended him, he will be offended to death once. Let these guys feel fear when they think of themselves. One minute before the time requested by Uchiha Tamaki was about to end, two hostages disguised as shadow clones of Uchiha Tamaki were delivered. The people have been delivered, you can let the Tianlong people go. The flying squirrel looked nervous. He was afraid that Uchiha Yugen would regret it. 
standing here for thirty minutes just now, he felt that it was the most difficult time in his life. I regret a bit why I stayed here during this period. What bad luck! No, if my people are beaten like this, the Tianlong people must do the same. Be fair this time. After all, I only have two people, so I only need to beat the two Tianlong people like this. Uchiha Yugen shook his head, and what he said made the flying squirrel change his face. When the two tribesmen sent them over, Uchiha Yugen could tell that this was his shadow clone and knew that the plan had been completed. Next, you can just delay here and buy time for the tribesmen to escape. Clatter. Uchiha Yugen snapped his fingers. The elbows of two of the three celestial dragons began to twist automatically, making a movement that was impossible for ordinary people to do. They almost folded backwards by nearly 90 degrees. But the Tianlong man still had that weird smile on his face. Do you really want to die? Uchiha Yugen. The angry voice of Sengoku came from the phone bug. However, Uchiha Yugen ignored him and continued to control the celestial dragon's body, performing various twisted changes. Treat these two Tianlong people as toys, handle them at will. Everyone below felt uncontrollable fear in their hearts towards this expressionless man. This man is truly crazy. The celestial dragons will not allow anyone who has seen their ugly behavior to still be alive. You, including the people from the Navy and World Government present, should all be wiped out by the members of the Navy and World Government who will surround this place. If you want to escape, you only have this chance now. Uchiha Tamaki suddenly spoke. Killing tens of thousands of people is nothing for the World Government, and the Demon Slaying Order is here to do just that. If the Shampoo Land wasn't so important, I would have blown up all the Shampoo Land this time. Hearing Uchiha Tamaki's words, everyone on the scene changed their expressions because they felt that the possibility was very high. I promise. I'll make them do it. This is the beginning of the demise of the Celestial Dragons. After Uchiha Yugen finished speaking, he smiled. Then, the Tianlong whose joints were not bent exploded like fireworks in front of everyone's eyes. This time, everyone was shocked. Really, someone killed the Celestial Dragon. That smile is the smile of a devil. Chapter, 93 You bastard. Lieutenant General Flying Squirrel finally couldn't bear it anymore. He pulled out the long sword from his waist, jumped up, and slashed at Uchiha Tamaki. He felt at this moment that what Uchiha Yugen said would really happen. The Celestial Dragon was dead, and no one present could escape his involvement. Not only him, but all his subordinates will also be implicated, and even his family will not be spared. Kakaka. But all of this was captured by Uchiha Yugen's kaleidoscope. When the flying squirrel took action, Susanoo's skeleton had already emerged. The extended skeletal right hand clenched into a fist and hit the flying squirrel directly. Don't worry, this is just the beginning. In the future, whenever a celestial dragon leaves Marigioa, I will come after him and see if the admiral does nothing and keeps protecting them. In this life, the celestial dragons have kept me on that mountain like a prisoner. After Uchiha Yugen finished speaking, Susanoo's other skeletal arm directly slapped the flying squirrel away. However, such a simple attack was naturally unable to cause any harm to the physical quality of the lieutenant general. He climbed up directly from the smashed house and wanted to continue to fight back. If you take action, I will kill the next one. Uchiha Tamaki made a slight threat, and the flying squirrel had to stop attacking and looked at Uchiha Tamaki with gritted teeth. On the warring state side, he had given up watching the phone bug, left the cabin directly, used moon step and shave, and rushed to the shampoo islands at full speed. What happens next is beyond the control of ordinary people. If he doesn't stop it in advance, the entire shampoo land will fall into catastrophe. Those celestial dragons would really do this. The flying squirrel's expression gradually changed from angry to calm. He glanced at his subordinates and found that his subordinates had no ambition at all, and there was a look of panic on their faces. It's not that they are afraid of Uchiha Tamaki, but they are afraid of what Uchiha Tamajin said that the world government will wipe them out. Run away quickly, otherwise you will definitely die. Run this way, there is a path here. 
jump into the sea and find a way to get to other islands. All the people watching the show below were panicking. They were running so fast that they could no longer see their shadows. Some smart people were discussing how to run, but when they spoke, they could not control the trembling in their voices. Brumaru. At this time, a phone bug rang in Uchiha Yugen's arms. It was given to him by the world government when he was a Kabukai. Connected without hesitation. The world government will erase Uchiha, and they will disappear from this history from the past to the future. A very cold voice came from the phone bug. Is it the same as the history you erased? I think it will be you who will be erased this time. Uchiha Tamaki smiled and returned the favor. Who can brag? Do you have the ability to come to the ninja world to hunt me down? You are very bold. It seems that what we think is true. What you want to hide is the power of your family's bloodline. We will make good use of this power. The phone bug continued. It's like you found something you want to hide. Well, this is a very powerful force, enough to wipe out the celestial dragons from this world. Next, I will hunt the celestial dragons around the world to see if the celestial dragons are really gods. After Uchiha Yugen finished speaking, he hung up the phone bug. Marie Joa still can't go there now, who knows what's up there, the risk is too high. Moreover, the threat to hunt down the Tianlong people was just to deceive them. Now they have the time to do it, so they can just waste their energy. The navy is guarding the clones. Wu Laoxing, on the other hand, was not angry, but made a very calm judgment. Because they also have video phone bugs here, and the scene of the celestial dragon being held hostage is being played. This Uchiha Tamaki didn't use the phone bug to speak. What kind of ability is this? It's really amazing. Someone among the five old stars said doubtfully. There are clones, but I have never seen a clone that can move freely like this, has good combat power, and can use almost the same abilities. We'll find out when we catch him. It's hard to catch it. How are Spangdine preparing to wipe out everyone on the island from 60 to 80? The time is too short, the naval fleet has not arrived yet, but Sengoku has already rushed over in person. Now start arranging manpower and prepare to go to Fishman Island to capture all the Blood Eyes clan. Let's study it carefully to see what this person is trying to hide. The five old stars were discussing here and casually decided on the lives of tens of thousands of people. Tianlong people can be caught and beaten, but they cannot be humiliated. Treat the celestial dragons as dogs. Kill the celestial dragons. This is intolerable. None of the people the world government really wants to kill can continue to live. Whether it is one year or ten years, no one in this ocean can consume the world government. Killing people. The world government doesn't care how many people I kill. Destruction. The world government doesn't care about this. Face. This is what they care about most. Just do something that will remind everyone of the celestial dragons. Uchiha Tamaki was thinking about how to take revenge in a worse way. The threat of the five old stars made him very unhappy. He wanted to make these five old stars sick and uncomfortable. Finally, I thought of something that made me feel a little sick. However, Uchiha Yugen is still prepared to do this. The live broadcast has started. Uchiha Yugen took out the phone bug to contact the shadow clone. After receiving the notification from the main body, the shadow clone's face was a little tangled, but he immediately chose to do as the main body said. Then the shadow clone took out a large phone bug. This was a phone bug used for live broadcasting. It was a video phone bug used to directly link the live broadcast screen of the entire Shampoo Islands. Suddenly, all the big screens in the Shampoo Islands lit up. The other islands didn't know what was going on, so they couldn't help but come closer when they saw the live broadcast. But soon everyone watching the live broadcast was stunned. They all knew the two people who appeared in the live broadcast. They were Tianlong people who came to Shampoo yesterday. At this time, these two Tianlong people had their limbs broken off, but they were actually doing that kind of slutty mating thing. The most important thing is two men. Everyone who watched the live broadcast had their eyes wide open and couldn't believe what they were seeing. Is this a celestial dragon? It's so exciting. 
and those who were watching the live broadcast were stunned at the movements of the Tianlong people on the roof, and they almost wanted to dig out their own eyes. Hopeless. Prepare to die. When the flying squirrel saw this scene, he lost hope on his face and his eyes went dark. He felt that there was no need to work hard to live anymore, he was dead. There is no need to work hard, so why should we work for the world government and fight with this kind of lunacy? Uchiha Tamaki And they were still discussing how to deal with the five old stars of Uchiha. Looking at the live broadcast of the telephone bug, everyone was angry. This was to completely knock the Tianlong people down from the altar. Before the live broadcast was forcibly closed, the two Tianlong people exploded on the spot and turned into blood foam. I am Uchiha Yugen, the one who will overthrow the celestial dragons. Starting from today, I will kill every one of the celestial dragons I see. The celestial dragons are all human beings, but they have been overly mythologized and made you guys think they are gods so that they can enslave you fools. They will die just the same, and they will die so ugly. Everyone who sees this live broadcast, run away. The world government will kill you because you have seen the dirty side of the celestial dragons. The demon slaying order should be executed soon in shampoo. Uchiha Yugen turned the camera of the live video phone bug to focus on himself, and then said arrogantly. It feels like they are brothers and they are here to kill me. After saying that, he quickly exited the broadcast and began to prepare to play hide and seek with the world government. Chapter, 94 When warring states arrived, the entire shampoo land fell into chaos. When he figured out what happened, he was completely confused and all three celestial dragons were dead. Almost everyone in Xianbo land can see the dirty side of the celestial dragons. The main thing is that in the end the culprit is not known to be there. When he came, he thought that he might not be able to catch this guy, but he didn't expect it to be such a mess. Demon Slaying Order Wu Luoxing ordered without hesitation to wipe out the Shambord Islands from the sea and not allow anyone to escape from the island. Since the Tianlong people are all dead, these people should be buried with them. Warring states period was numb. But he could only obey this order, he could not disobey the order from the five old stars. He gave up looking for Uchiha Tamaki because he really couldn't find him. Instead, they arranged naval warships to surround the Shambord Islands. As long as this guy is on Shambord, he will definitely appear. Martial Warring states, our warships can't get close to us due to heavy waves. When he was a child, Warring states received a phone call from a lieutenant general, which made him a little confused about where the big wave was coming from. But soon, I received such calls one after another. Even the cannonballs of many ships were wetted by the sea water. The warships that were supposed to assemble within three hours actually only reached one third, which was not enough. This made him feel something was wrong. Bulu Bulu. What the hell are you doing? Uchiha Tamaki's phone rang again, and when it was connected, Doflamingo's angry questioning voice came directly. What happened in Shampoo Land could not be concealed at all. Doflamingo's black market arms trading location was there, and he soon learned the news. He was shocked when he heard that Uchiha Yugen killed three celestial dragons and also did something intolerable to the celestial dragons. I just got on board. Captain what are you doing? Be against the world. Do you think you are the Pirate King? The Pirate King also died at the hands of the world government, do you understand it or not? Doflamingo really wanted to curse. Oh, there's nothing I can do. After all, the world government has touched my people. Are you ready to run away? Pack your things quickly. Those pirates should spread the news within a few days. Uchiha Tamaki said in a comforting tone. Doflamingo was confused when he heard this, as if he thought he had made a mistake. What do you mean now? Doflamingo asked coldly, he was a little panicked at this time. I'm going to run away for a while, wait until I come back. If the world government doesn't let you go during this period, just run away. If you can get money to save your life, then you can save your life. After all, you are related to them. Of course, I said that if I kill anyone I see a celestial dragon, that's not the case. You are not the one now, so I won't kill you either. Uchiha Yugen said very directly. 
When he returned to Fishman Island, he had to return to the ninja world. He was going to strengthen a wave and then fight back. Although I haven't fought against the real Yonko, the general, but I have met Blackbeard, and I know that these guys can't be solved one on one. When the three generals come back, they will be unable to fight one against three. Return to the ninja world to upgrade the Sharingan to the Rinnegan, and then come back to see who dares to speak loudly in front of you. You. Get out of here. Da Flamingo was so furious that he couldn't help but curse. Just hang up the phone bug. At this time, he regretted a little. If he had not killed Charlotte Smoothie and just chosen to run away, he would not have faced such danger at this time. The strongest force on this sea is undoubtedly the world government. All the pirate forces combined cannot compete with the world government. At most, they can only suppress the navy a little. After hanging up the phone bug, he started looking for connections and continued to use the phone bug to contact reliable people. For example, the rich man covered in gold had a much better relationship with the Tianlong people than he did. It was very uncomfortable for him to find a relationship with someone who had humbled himself in front of him. This is really deceived. Got fooled. Did you find it? Uchiha Tamajin had just hung up the phone bug and was not angry at Da Flamingo's attitude. After all, if he had been tricked, his attitude would be even worse. When he got up, he saw a tall figure approaching him in the air. It's the Warring States period. It's really you. Sengoku used Moon Step to float in mid-air, glaring at Uchiha Tamaki standing on the sea. The navy was originally in a good situation, but the new world began to take back the lost ground, suppress the pirates, and increase the coverage of the navy. However, it was all because of this man that he was forced to stop. Three generals were called back to chase this guy. Without the leading figure, the new world plan cannot continue to be implemented. This is undoubtedly a huge blow to the navy. I've been waiting for you for a long time, Marshal of the Warring States period. Uchiha Tamaki twisted his neck to move his body, and said to Sengoku at the same time. He did not leave immediately, but stayed here just to measure his specific strength and confront him head on. Warring States is a suitable target, and his strength should not be inferior to the three generals. After all, he is old and may not have enough endurance, but his strength should not drop too much. You still dare to stay, do you know how much trouble the whole world will cause because of what you did? Warring statesman yelled angrily. As soon as he finished speaking, the whole person disappeared, and reappeared in front of Uchiha Tamaki, waving his fist with the dual-color domineering energy of the armed color and the overlord color, and hit Uchiha Tamaki in the face. Uchiha Tamaki did not dodge, but like Sengoku, wrapped two-color hockey on his right hand, and chose to fight head-on without hesitation. As the two fists collided, Black and red arcs of electricity spread out in all directions. One after another water columns exploded directly from the sea surface, causing huge waves to rush towards the surrounding areas. You are so arrogant that you are hiding your strength while fighting at the top. Sengoku looked at Uchiha Tamaki in shock. Although he hasn't fought much since the new three generals took office. But he has never seen more than ten people who can use Overlord's hockey to this extent. Puff. Although Sengoku was surprised, it was Uchiha Tamaki who was sent flying. He flew upside down on the sea surface and stuck to the sea surface as if he was floating on water. After four or five strokes, Uchiha Yugen stabilized his body. What a monster body! There is still a long way to go in terms of physical fitness. Uchiha Yugen was not surprised, he just wanted to get a data judgment now. Sengoku's strength is about three times more than his. If he hadn't used Susanoo to resist some impacts just now, he would probably be injured now. Why on earth would a guy like you do these things? After personally experiencing the opponent's strength, Warring States couldn't help but ask. He felt that Uchiha Tamajin was obviously capable of becoming the leader of a force like the Four Emperors and becoming the Overlord of the Sea, but he wanted to do this to the Celestial Dragons. None of the other four emperors dared to provoke the world government like this. Why did this madman do it? For the glory of Uchiha. Now I have another reason. I want to overturn the world, which is what G.O.L.D. Roger wanted to do back then. 
Uchiha Tamaki broke back his broken little finger and said very seriously at the same time. Another madman. Warring states couldn't help but curse. Get ready to fight with all your strength, I'm going to get serious. Uchiha Tamaki raised his sword and said to Sengoku. As soon as the words fell, Susanoo's power was released without reservation. Warring states also looked cold, and his body emitted golden light, slowly growing in size. Chapter, 95 Have they been fighting for two hours over there? I didn't expect that guy's strength to be able to compete with the warring states marshal for so long. Hua Xiao Shan held a telescope in his hand and looked at the two figures, one large and one small, engaged in a fierce battle in the distance. Just the waves caused by the aftermath of the battle caused many warships to almost roll over and be forced to leave. He also had to keep cutting off the waves coming over him, otherwise their ship would not be able to get close enough to stop. There were several lieutenants on this ship. The demon slaying order that was supposed to be executed had to be suspended at this time, because the warships only surrounded half of the island. And huge waves kept coming over the remaining half, making it impossible to stop firing steadily. Is there really no need to support the warring states marshal? There should be five lieutenant generals now. Going up there should be able to help somewhat. Ghost Spider frowned and said. He wanted to go up and help. In such a battle, our combat effectiveness will have little impact. Although it may help Marshal Sengoku, Marshal Sengoku must also focus on protecting us. After all, if we take one blow from this giant, we should be seriously injured. Stockabelli narrowed his eyes and said. Just from the aftermath of the wave, several of them felt trouble when they took action one after another. It is impossible to imagine what kind of pressure there would be in the middle of the battle. Martial Warring states, your body is very hard. Uchiha Tamaki used Susanoo's 120-meter laser sword to slash Sengoku's body. Surprisingly, there was only a mark, and he recovered quickly. The two fought for three hours, all head-on. The Warring States set is basically fully equipped, and the three colors of domineering have no weaknesses. It is also the fruit of awakening. It has an indestructible body like the legendary Buddha and is particularly resistant to attacks. Hurry up and capture me, you can't hurt me at all. The voice from Warring States sounded like Sanskrit at this time, with a hypnotic effect. But this has no effect at all on Uchiha Yugen, who is now mentally powerful. It feels like someone is calling USB and making you fooled. You have worked hard for so many years just to eliminate all pirates, but do you know why pirates cannot disappear? There is no pressure on Uchiha Yugen's side. He has so much chakra that he won't be able to use it up in a short while, so he has time to chat with Sengoku. At the same time, during a long battle, he could also try out his imaginary moves. After all, his power of breaking words was so great that there was no good place to practice. Now that he had a powerful sparring partner, he thought he would not miss this good opportunity. It's because lawless villains like you keep appearing. Sengoku yelled angrily. At the same time, he exerted force under his feet, and white light waves appeared under his feet, using the force to accelerate in the air. At the same time, a punch with two-color domineering force, plus the additional shock wave in the form of a giant Buddha, hit the front of Uchiha Yugen. Uchiha Tamajin controlled Susanoo and attached the Chidori to the hardened laser sword in his hand, forming a Chidori blade. The Chidori wrapped around the laser sword not only emitted blue and white arcs, but also black and red arcs. The electric arc is beating, this is the Chidori blade that is fused with the overlord color winding. The 120-meter long laser sword turned pitch black. Susanoo held the hilt of the sword with both hands and exerted force, slashing directly toward Sengoku's fist. The collision between the laser sword and the fist caused a huge impact, forming a wave that was twice as high as the previous wave. After a stalemate for less than two seconds, Sengoku was knocked out. In normal state, Sengoku was stronger, but in Susanoo's state, Uchiha Tamajin was stronger. The giant Buddha kept trying to keep its balance in the air. After all, the battlefield was on the sea. If it fell into the sea, even the warring states period would be unable to continue fighting. You are wrong. 
The reason is that the Tianlong people continue to oppress the common people and collect taxes that make it impossible for people to survive. Since you are going to die, why not go to the sea and fight hard? If you are not afraid of death anymore, are you still afraid of becoming a pirate? This is the fundamental reason. Uchiha Tamajin controlled Susanu to pursue, and at the same time rebuked loudly. This kind of oppression exists and makes people unable to eat, so pirates cannot be completely eradicated. There are a few people who voluntarily become pirates, but basically they are all people who cannot survive. You. There was a look of shock on Zingwa's face, and he obviously didn't expect that someone who was a big villain in his eyes could actually say such a thing. However, Uchiha Tamaki was not soft-handed, and continued to attack him with the black laser sword. Warring states could only continue to defend passively, sparks flying out from the blows. No one knows the truth of what you are saying, but who can do anything to the Tianlong people? At this time, the warring states period was venting some of the anger in their hearts. After all, the order received today is to execute everyone in shampoo including the navy. The purpose is just to cover up the scandal of the Tianlong people. Because of this kind of thing, tens of thousands of people will be executed, including our own people. How could the warring states period not be angry? Be cheated. Uchiha Tamaki was happy, but his expression was still very serious. This method is effective against the warring states period, but it is not that effective against a guy like Akainu who is dedicated to eradicating crime. Akainu only knows how to fuck pirates at their own risk, just to see if that pirate dares to shout BB in front of him. However, people like warring states, wise generals who like to think a lot, will naturally suspect that there is something wrong with the current system. But they find that they cannot change such a system at all, and can even only passively accept it. He could only think of ways to dig out his bones and heal his wounds, and continue to live on. Just like the United States, there is nothing to do with rabbits, so you can only bully others to alleviate your own situation. The Lesser of Two Evils Pirates are easier to deal with than celestial dragons, so pirates will naturally be dealt with first. Then find a way to subvert him. Do you want to see the world always be like this, with endless pirates to kill and endless naval forces to die? Uchiha Yugen began to brainwash. It's impossible to do that kind of thing. Sengoku roared angrily, venting the dissatisfaction he had accumulated over the years. At the same time, the huge body exerted force again, and thick white rings appeared on both feet to accumulate strength, and then exploded violently. The whole person rushed toward Susanoo like a cannonball, with the palms of both hands open, and there was a golden swastika in the middle. It emerged and quickly grew to be as tall as a giant Buddha, nearly seventy meters long. Why do you say that if you haven't done it before? This era is the era when the most forces resisting the world government, and it is also the era when the strength is strongest. As Uchiha Tamajin spoke, he controlled Susanoo's other hand to pull out a laser sword. Fire escape was attached to the laser sword, coupled with two-color hockey, black flames burned on the laser sword. Then Susanoo crossed his swords and slashed directly at the huge swastika. One gold and one black, the two forces collided together, and in an instant, the world was eclipsed. The sea below both sides was lowered by more than ten meters by the impact, and huge waves once again set off and rushed to the surrounding areas. Damn it, how could it be possible? When warring states saw his strongest attack, the golden swastika began to crack, and his eyes were about to burst. The power of the two black laser swords gradually merged together to form a real black flame, and the golden swastika was continuously corroded. The golden spectacle lenses worn by Sengoku that grew in size along with his body were directly shattered by the impact, symbolizing that his resistance had reached its limit. Crack, click, bang. The two swords chopped the swastika into pieces and hit the Buddha's protruding belly directly from the front. The huge power of the two swords sent the Buddha's warring states flying. Martial warring states, he was beaten away. Everyone on the warship exclaimed. Are you ready? The battle is over here. It's a bit difficult to use your domineering body like this. Your physical fitness is still not good enough. You have to continue practicing. Wait for me to come back to this sea. 
Uchiha Yugen did not continue the pursuit. Because he alone cannot really defeat the entire world government. It will take some time to kill Sengoku. The data has been collected, so there is no need to continue the fight. After disbanding Susano, before preparing to go to Fishman Island, he directly separated ten shadow clones. He wanted these shadow clones to spread what happened in Shampoo Land to the surrounding sea. He actually wanted to see the world government. Do you have the guts to use the demon slaying order against more than ten countries at once? Chapter 96 What Uchiha Yujinkich's clone had done was still spread out when the warships were about to surround Shampoo Land. When I learned that in one country after another, a large number of people suddenly had a live broadcast of Shampoo Island's live broadcast in their heads of two male celestial dragons mating, and the source could not be found at all. Including the local navy, members of the world government, including the kingdom's nobles, etc. All saw it. At the same time, there was also news that the Shampoo Islands were going to be executed with a demon-slaying order because of the images in their heads. Almost all countries close to the Shamboard Islands could not avoid hearing the news. Everyone panicked, fearing that their country would be subject to the demon slaying order. After Wu Laoxing knew the news, he was almost numb. Assemble all the people to go to Fishman Island and wipe out Uchiha. The Wu Laoxing continued to put pressure on the navy. It was promised that whoever killed Uchiha Tamaki would directly assume the position of navy marshal. The entire world government was mobilized and tried every means to get rid of the worst villain of this generation, Uchiha Tamaki. Uchiha Yugen quickly returned to Fishman Island, and all the clansmen gathered in Ryugu Castle, and everyone was ready. In two hours, attack Kanoha, preparation of combat troops. Uchiha Yugen gave a very brief order. Then he left by himself and went to the Hard Shell Tower not far from Dragon Palace City. He wanted to use the power of the White Star. When he came to Fishman Island, he made a lot of preparations so that he could use the power of the White Star if he was attacked in the sea. Just let her give the order and let the Sea Kings protect Fishman Island, which is enough to withstand more than 99% of attacks in the deep sea. Originally, Uchiha Tamajin was planning to secretly control Shirahoshi, but when he entered the Hard Shell Tower, he was discovered by Shirahoshi. Because Shirahoshi inherited Princess Otoheim's hockey of knowledge, which is a natural talent and very powerful. Hey, Mr. Human, what brings you here? Shirahoshi looked at Uchiha Tamaki timidly and asked in a very low voice. Well, there will be a huge danger coming to Fishman Island soon. Your power is needed to protect Fishman Island. I am here to borrow your power to protect Fishman Island. Uchiha Tamaki hesitated for a moment. Looking at Shirahoshi's innocent eyes, he felt a little guilty for lying. Moreover, this trouble was caused by himself, but it will definitely affect Fishman Island. This is inevitable. Fishman Island itself has no strength, and Uchiha has to go back and regain his territory. Therefore, the only power that can be used to protect Fishman Island is Shirahoshi's ability to summon Neptunes to protect Fishman Island. Really? But, can I protect everyone on Fishman Island? Shirahoshi believed Uchiha Tamaki's words and asked anxiously. He didn't believe he had the ability to protect everyone. You can't control this power yet, I can help you, as long as you close your eyes, give up your resistance and let me do it. Uchiha Yugen spoke to comfort him. But he wasn't sure if it would really work, so he just came here to give it a try. During the two months on Fishman Island, he secretly controlled mermaids to communicate with fish and understand this ability. However, Shirahoshi must be different from ordinary mermaids. I don't know if it requires his own will to use it. Don't resist. If I can, it's up to you. A blush appeared on Bai Xing's face, and she hesitated for a moment. Her feeling told her that the other party seemed to have lied, but some things seemed to be true. In the end, he decided to dedicate his strength to protect Fishman Island. Because she didn't feel any malice toward her from this human being. Close your eyes and it's like sleeping. Uchiha Yugen comforted her and said. Bai Xing nodded and closed his eyes, but his face still showed tension. Looking at this scene, Uchiha Yugen felt a little moved, but with this body type, let's forget it. Then Uchiha Yugen's eyes were firm, 
and he began to use the kaleidoscope to invade the opponent's body with mental power to control Shirahoshi's actions. The moment Bai Shen was invaded by mental power, she felt a little uncomfortable, as if her whole body was exposed to the other party's eyes. However, she thought of protecting Fishman Island, so she chose to ignore it and prayed that she could successfully help Fishman Island. After successfully controlling Shirahoshi, Uchiha Yugen then asked Shirahoshi's body to perform a method similar to those of those believers praying. And silently recited the order in his heart, asking all the sea kings to destroy the ships approaching Fishman Island, and not to let these ships get close. Fishman Island. He didn't speak, after all, this power couldn't be transmitted solely by sound. But after persisting for a while, Uchiha Yugen felt that nothing had changed, and he didn't feel any difference. But suddenly, Uchiha Tamaki felt Shirahoshi's mental power suddenly move, and there was some resistance. Uchiha Tamaki immediately relaxed his control on the body to avoid hurting Shirahoshi's mental power. Soon Uchiha Tamaki discovered that Shirahoshi's mental power was not resisting to regain control of his body, but doing the same thing he had just done to control Shirahoshi. This time Uchiha Tamaki felt a change, and there was a spirit the power spreads quickly, like radio waves, but ordinary people cannot feel it at all, and only specific targets can receive it. Uchiha Tamaki understands that this ability requires Shirahoshi's own mental power to activate. It feels like you stole someone else's Lucian number to play, but found that it didn't work at all, and was kicked away by the owner to watch his performance. But with such a cute girl, what does it matter? Okay, that's enough, you did a great job. After a five-minute prayer arrangement, Uchiha Tamaki stopped occupying Shirahoshi's body and allowed Shirahoshi to wake up. Okay. Is it okay? Bai Shin was a little unconfident. She felt as if she was just imitating the other person's movements and did nothing else. Okay, by the way, I have dealt with the guy who has been harassing you. You can come out to play in the future, but don't expose your abilities. It is very dangerous to be targeted by people like me. Uchiha Yugen nodded and affirmed to her. At the same time, he explained to her that the pervert who harassed her has been solved and she can go out to play in peace. Really? Bai Xing's face showed joy, obviously he was still bored of being trapped in this castle. Um. But I still have important things to do and I don't have time for you. I'll come find you when I come back. Uchiha Tamaki didn't waste any more time. After preparing to say goodbye to Shirahoshi, he returned to his tribe and began to prepare to attack Kanoha. Then we made a promise, we must come. Bai Xing stretched out his little finger and initiated a contract request. Uchiha Tamaki silently stretched out his little finger, touched it, and left immediately. Shirsui, Itachi, one of you two can stay here for six hours. After Uchiha Yugen returned to the clan, he found Shirsui and Itachi and said to them. The first batch to pass were naturally the combat troops, responsible for clearing out threats. But someone still needs to stay here, and Shirsui and Itachi are the only ones in the clan who are second only to him in terms of combat prowess. Itachi can use his complete body to burst out Yonko level power in five minutes, while Shirsui can use Baitenjin at critical moments, which can change the situation of the battle. So one of the two has to choose to stay. Chapter, 97 I'll go back. Itachi is stronger and more suitable to stay here. Jisue said without hesitation, with a cold look in his eyes. Itachi wanted to speak, but seeing Shirsue's appearance, he finally shut up and said he had no objection. After we return, we will definitely take action against Kanoha. Can you do it? If there's no problem, then I'll let you go back. Uchiha Tamaki looked at Shirsue and asked seriously. If you are too soft in the past and let two or three people go, it will take a lot of energy to deal with it later. It's even possible to let the old guy Sarutobi Hiruzen release the zombies to seal them all, which would be troublesome. The purpose is not to destroy Kanoha, but to clean up Kanoha's top brass, right? Shirsue asked Uchiha Tamaki. There is no need for ordinary people to kill them, but if they resist, I will not hold back. Those guys also caused verbal harm to Uchiha. Kanoha plans to operate it as the Uchiha base camp in the future, so naturally it will not be destroyed, and Kanoha's top brass will not let anyone go. 
Uchiha Tamaki looked at Shirsue and said truthfully. Superfluous killing is a waste of time. Ordinary civilians may want it or not, and there is no need to kill indiscriminately. In addition to going back for revenge, it was also more about leaving a real clan for the Uchiha. Many people were still not used to it on the sea. Leave it to me Danzo. I will repay his kindness to Uchiha. Shirsue nodded and said seriously. Itachi, just stay here and watch the portal. If someone from Kanoha comes, deal with it directly. If people from the world government come here to kill, bring the tribe here. Captain Fugaku, gather all the men and prepare to set off. Seeing what Shirsue said, Uchiha Tamaki stopped delaying and asked Fugaku to bring all the combat troops over and prepare to set off. The Shadow Clone had arrived in the sea just now and saw a huge number of Neptunes appearing around Fishman Island. There were even the kings of Neptunes, giant Neptunes with a size of five kilometers. Uchiha Yugen had no worries. Many tribesmen couldn't wait. A total of 120 people were selected to participate in this mission, divided into 30 teams, mainly following the three mangikis of Fugaku, Shirsue and Izumi. The goal is to clean up the stubborn Kanoha ninjas, stabilize order, and clean up the mess. Today is the day when Uchiha washes away his humiliation. But we Uchiha are not those beasts at the top of Kanoha who talk about benevolence and morality, but what we do is to drive people away and kill them all. But I don't want everyone to be merciful. If you encounter any resistance or hostility, as long as you feel that you are in danger, you will kill them directly without hesitation. Uchiha will win this battle. Uchiha Yugen stood in front of everyone and encouraged them. This is to prevent someone from suddenly showing mercy just because they see someone they know, only to be killed instead. Uchiha will win. The Uchiha below were all shouting aggressively. Rob Luchi and other people in this world didn't know what they were going to do, where the other party was going to kill them. On the other hand, Vince Magaji watched very seriously. He felt as if he was going to know the true origins of these people. Set off. Uchiha Yugen waved his right hand and the portal that was very familiar to the Uchiha clan appeared in the courtyard of Ryugu Castle. All Uchiha have gone through this door. The humiliation and unwillingness when they left, and the anger and obsession they have now, can be released on this day. Uchiha Tamaki took the lead and crossed the portal, followed by Fugaku Shirsue, Izumi and others. It's a different world. They are people from another world. Vince Makaji said very excitedly. Rob Lucci waited for CP9 to be stunned for a moment, and then showed a shocked look on his face, obviously frightened by Vince Magaji's guess. It seems that Kanoha has also been on guard. Are the three ANBU always monitoring this place? Uchiha Yugen drove through the portal and arrived at Kanoha. It was when the sky was slightly lit up in the ninja world, which was about the same time as Uchiha left the ninja world. After a casual glance, I saw three ANBU hiding around, monitoring the place. Uchiha's clan land is very desolate, with no one living at all, because he was driven to the corner of the village. The land here is not valuable at all, and no one comes to occupy it. That is. A member of the Uchiha clan. They really showed up. The Umbu who were monitoring the place looked shocked and they saw the Uchiha clan appearing one after another from behind the portal. Then he fired the signal bomb without hesitation, notifying the village that Uchiha was back. The purple signal flare flew directly into the sky, but at the same time as the signal flare was launched, the three of them were eliminated by Shirsue Fugaku and others. The three Umbu fell directly to the ground without making a sound. I hereby announce that Uchiha is back. Uchiha Yushuan looked at this extremely desolate Uchiha clan land, and his eyes quickly rotated into the shape of the Manjiki Sharingan. Then the overlord's domineering energy emanated from Uchiha Tamaki without any reservation. The center of the circle with Uchiha Yugen as the point covered the entire Kanoha village. Within a few seconds, Kanoha, which had been preparing to wake up, returned to silence. The direction of the signal flare is. Uchiha clan land, Uchiha is back. Saratobi Hiruzen saw the signal flare in the newly built Hokage building, and immediately realized what was going on, and his expression changed drastically. 
But before he could give the order to summon the ANBU, a terrifying aura appeared, making the hairs on his back stand up, and he looked in disbelief at the direction the aura came from. Looking out the window, he even saw several dark parts hidden in the surrounding trees, fainting directly from the trees and falling to the ground. The same situation occurred throughout Kanoha. People who could not resist the domineering aura fainted directly due to the body's protective function. There are no more than a thousand people in Kanoha who can resist this aura. If it is released continuously, only a few hundred people may be able to withstand the impact of Overlord Color. Naturally, the clan members behind Uchiha Yugen have not changed much, because during the two months of training on Fishman Island, they had to accept the impact of the Overlord's domineering energy almost every day. Basically, in addition to making their hair stand on end, it doesn't feel like much anymore. Kill them all for resistance, murderous intent, and hostility. Chief Fugaku, you go to the Hyuga clan and convince them to surrender. Shursue and Danzo will be left to you. Izumi will lead the team to clean up the rebellious ANBU. I will be in charge of the Sandame side. Above. Set off. Uchiha Yugen gave an order. The members of Uchiha know. 120 all jumped away from Uchiha Tamaki and began to fight back against the village that betrayed them. Chapter, 98 After the Uchiha clan's team entered Kanoha, they used overwhelming strength to clean up. More than 95% of the ninjas in Kanoha are Chujinin. The ninjas who can resist the impact of the overlord's hockey are almost only the Chunin who are good at perception and have relatively strong mental power. As for the current Uchiha clan, all of them have trained their muscles and muscles, and basically can reach the level of Jounin in Taijutsu. Damn it, what's going on with their bodies? Why can't Kunai and Shuriken hurt them? It's obviously their skin. The several ninjas who were retreating couldn't help but look ashen as they looked at Uchiha who was rushing toward them with blood-red eyes. Because the Kunai shurikens they threw would delay the pursuit as long as they were dodged. Without exception, they all used armed hockey to harden the position where they would be hit. This is even more outrageous than wearing a bulletproof vest. Bullets will probably bounce away if hit, not to mention Kanai shurikens that are incomparable to bullets. The members of the Uchiha clan went up to chop at the fatal spot. Screams could be heard from everywhere in Kanoha, and one after another people were chopped to the ground. Fugaku found his target first and arrived at the entrance of the Hyuga clan's mansion. Hinata and Hizu already had a dozen clansmen who were only awake, and they were waiting for the enemy to arrive. Behind them are their relatives. They have no way to leave and can only choose to fight hard here. You are really back. When they saw Uchiha Fugaku, Hinata and Hinata couldn't help but be surprised. Although when Uchiha Fugaku came closer, he confirmed the other party's identity with his white eyes, it was still too surprising to see it with his own eyes. Uchiha is not here to fight Hinata, but to extend an invitation to Hinata. The Hyuga clan can choose to join the Uchiha clan's forces and continue to live in Kanoha, or the door will be closed today. No one from the Hyuga clan can leave, stop helping Kanoha, and then the whole clan can leave Kanoha. Uchiha Fugaku looked at Hinata and Hinashi and said directly. But his eyes changed from Sharingan to Manjiki, which was undoubtedly a threat to Hinata and Hinashi. There are not many people left in the Hyuga clan, and Fugaku feels that if they want to solve it, it can be cleared up in a few minutes at most. But at the beginning, when the Uchiha clan was suffering, although the Hyuga clan did not help, they did not add insult to injury. They turned a blind eye to the Uchiha clan. And after hearing Uchiha Tamaki explain that he was actually a distant relative of the Hyuga clan, he had a somewhat strange feeling. That's why we have this chance to survive today. Your chakra has almost doubled compared to when you left. There is also that strange energy attached to the body that is used to resist attacks. What has Uchiha experienced? Hinata Hayashi's Byakugan was always open, and he could easily notice the surrounding situation. The resisting ninjas of Kanoha fell one after another, but there were almost no casualties on Uchiha's side, and he didn't even see the injured one. The most important thing is, what is this ability that makes almost more than 95% of the people in Kanoha unconscious? Practice, Uchiha is practicing in hell. The practice is successful, we crawled back from hell. 
Are the Hyuga clan prepared to live and die with the current Kanoha, or will they make a wise decision and embark on a new path with Uchiha? Uchiha Fugaku's tone became slightly excited. His eyes were fixed on Hinata and Hinashi. As long as he made any strange movements, Fugaku would do it without hesitation. Hinata Hizashi hesitated, and then remembered how chaotic Kanoha was during the days when Uchiha left. There was internal strife between Danzo and Hiruzen Saratobi, and the fight between the two parties almost came to the surface. However, if foreign enemies, including Kumogakure, Sunagakure and Iwagakure, are eyeing them, there will probably be a fight within Kanoha. After the Uchiha disappeared, the conflicts in the village did not decrease, but became more intense. During this period of time, the Hyuga clan was very cautious, fearing that they would follow in the footsteps of the Uchiha and suffer the hostility of the village. At the same time, Hinata Hizu also remembered the scene where he was forced to death by two old guys, Sarutobi Hiruzen and Danzo, which immediately ignited anger in his heart. Hinata chose to help Uchiha against Kanoha. Hinata Hinashi said in a serious voice. This was not a sudden decision. He made such a decision after seeing the almost one-sided situation on Uchiha's side. Then, the Hyuga clan leader is optimistic about his own people and is responsible for using his Byakugan to find the Kanoha ninjas who are hiding and intending to attack. You don't need to fight. When Uchiha Fugaku saw this, his expression also relaxed. Then directly arranged for Hinata and Hizu to not let them fight and only be responsible for assisting. Hearing this order, Hyuga Hizashi was relieved. If Uchiha insisted on forcing the Hyuga clan to be cannon fodder, he would really feel uncomfortable. Lord Danzo, Uchiha Shirsue is coming to kill you. Our people are constantly falling. He is moving too fast. It seems that he has found our position and is approaching. Meanwhile the roots are hidden in Kanoha's base. A member of the Hyuga clan was reporting to Shimura Danzo what he had observed with his Byakugan, his tone was very urgent, and companions were being killed constantly in his sight. After completing the arrangements for Uchiha Tamaki from the clan, Shirsue went straight to Jen's base and fought all the way over. There are also eight tribesmen outside who are responsible for cleaning up and blocking the roots that approach or escape. The roots hidden in the ground, because the soil is too deep, are not affected by the overlord's domineering energy, so they are basically awake. Sure enough, these people have lost their will and are completely puppets at the mercy of others. Jishue pulled out the autumn water from Ingen's heart, and the blood spurted out like a column. He felt that these people were basically machines, with almost no emotions, and even fear had disappeared. Facing himself now, no one ran away. After truly seeing the darkness, Shirsue felt afraid. Back then, these people were really planning to massacre the Uchiha clan, leaving no one alive. And the real purpose is not for the Leaf Village, just because of these people's fear and greed of Uchiha. Fear the power of Uchiha, greedy the power of Uchiha. This is Kanoha now. When Shirsue came to Danzo, there were ten elites around Danzo, and their combat prowess was at least that of a special Jounin. Coupled with Danzo himself, this is also the reason why Danzo dares to stay. And in order to prevent Shirsue's other gods, he used a shadow clone this time. I told Sarutobi a long time ago that Uchiha are evil. If we had taken action earlier, this would never have happened. Sarutobi is no longer suitable to continue to be Hokage. When Danzo saw Shirsue, he didn't immediately arrange tactics, but complained about the evil Uchiha. His eyes looked full of indifference to Shirsue. Because he didn't know much about the situation on the ground, he just received the notification that Uchiha had come back. He thought that there were still nearly thousands of ninjas in Kanoha, so it was impossible for Uchiha to win. It's you people who are evil. For the sake of my own selfish desires and interests, I don't care about the life and death of everyone. Today Uchiha will destroy Kanoha like this. Shirsue's eyes directly turned into the appearance of the Mangekyo Sharingan. Shirsue, who had been reticent during this period, could no longer hold back the anger in his heart. It's people like this who destroyed Kanoha. Now, he will clean up these cancers. Then give it a try. Kill him. Danzo ordered with cold eyes. 
the ten surrounding roots spread out instantly, surrounding Shur Sui. Chapter, 99 The Art of Doubling Akimichi Dings's body quickly grew ten times in size, reaching a height of nearly thirty meters, and the long weapon in his hand also grew in size. Then he waved the long stick and smashed it at the surrounding Uchiha clan members. Susano. Uchiha Izumi's Manjiki Sharingan rotated rapidly, and the pink Susanoo emerged directly from her body. Susanoo's hands directly blocked the long stick's attack, but the ground shattered directly due to the impact, and the surrounding houses were affected and collapsed in an instant. Shadow Binding Technique Nara Shikaku half knelt on the ground to form a seal, using his family's secret ninjutsu. Using the huge shadow of Akimichi Choza, he quickly rushed along the ground to the feet of Uchiha Izumi. The only way to break through an attack that is not a complete Susanoo is to attack from below the Susanoo. During the Ninja World War, Gara used sand to drag Uchiha Madara out of the Susanoo. But Nara Shikaku couldn't move at this time. An Uchiha team led people directly to rush towards Nara Shikaku. There were also three people around Nara Shikaku, but they were no match for the current Uchiha fighting force members. Nara Shikaku was forced to give up attacking Izumi Uchiha with the shadow binding technique, and instead controlled Uchiha iron fire towards him. Genjutsu Sharingan Although the body is controlled, the eyes can still move and the mind is not affected. Directly using mental power to attack Nara Shikaku, Nara Shikaku was instantly hit by mental power and couldn't help but feel shocked. He was shocked that the opponent did not form a seal, and at the same time he avoided seeing Uchiha's Sharingan, but he was actually attacked by a Jinjutsu. The impact of mental power made Nara Shikaku lose consciousness, and the shadow restraint technique was released. Uchiha Tiehua appeared next to Nara Shikaku in a flash, holding up a short blade with arm domineering, and was about to slash at Nara Shikaku's body. Neck. Heart turning technique. Yamanaka Haichi quickly stopped Uchiha Tiehua's attack and used the secret technique of the Yamanaka family. It was also the invasion of mental power. Uchiha Teka was instantly possessed by Yamanaka Haichi's mental power and stopped attacking. At the same time, Yamanaka Haichi controlled Uchiha Teka's body and attacked other members of the surrounding Uchiha clan. The other members of the Yamanaka clan around him also quickly used this ninjutsu to control the bodies of other Uchiha clan members, but nearly 90% of them failed to control them. Because the Uchiha clan not only strengthened their bodies on the sea, but also suffered the impact of overlord color every day on Fishman Island, and their mental strength was almost doubled like their physical bodies. Only by increasing both mental strength and physical fitness can a large amount of chakra be extracted. The mental strength of the Yamanaka clan is not as strong as that of the Uchiha clan, so naturally they cannot control the opponent's body through ninjutsu. And the most important thing is that the people of the Yamanaka clan control Uchiha's identity and cannot use the power he has developed at all. He only has simple taijutsu, and the armed color haki cannot be used at all. Not to mention the faster teleportation technique that is added to the teleportation by fusion shaving. Scorching Escape Light Loss As for Uchiha Izumi, she has no qualms about using her kaleidoscope power. Condensing the Yoden attached to the eye technique into the arrow made by Susanoo, he fired it. Before coming here to fight, Uchiha Yugen told her that the power of the kaleidoscope can be used at will, and there will be a way to deal with the side effects when she comes back. So at this time, even though blood and tears continued to flow from his eyes and pain was felt everywhere in the cells of his body, Uchiha Izumi did not give up the power of using the kaleidoscope. These are the clan leader, Captain Fugaku, Brother Shirsue and Itachi. She couldn't give up the pain they endured back then. Akimichi Dingza gritted his teeth, but he couldn't avoid it, because behind him were his clan members, fighting with the Uchiha clan people. Avoiding the attack would affect them, and the Uchiha clan people on the field were all invisible one by one. The technique is extremely fast, and with the observation of those eyes, it is impossible to be hit. So he could only resist this move by himself, injecting a large amount of chakra into the long stick to increase the power of defense, and hit the arrows flying towards him with one stick. The arrow touched the long stick and exploded instantly. The red and white flames spread out instantly, covering Akimichi Choza. 
The flame disappeared quickly, and when Akimichi Tingza appeared again, his hands were already like mummies, wrinkled without a drop of moisture, and his body had changed from fat to very thin. If he hadn't used a secret technique at the critical moment to convert fat into chakra to resist the attack, Akimichi Tingzao would have died from this blow. Before this generation of pig deer butterfly had time to feel sad, Fugaku arrived with people. The situation suddenly became that Uchiha had overwhelming power. Isn't Kai in the village? Why is it that every time something goes wrong in the village, he is always outside doing tasks? Uchiha Tamaki's side separated three shadow clones and dispersed. One of them went straight to the Hokage building, and the remaining two were responsible for covering the others while looking for Metkai. Because the only people in the village who can pose a threat to him are the three generations of dead ghosts who have been sealed away, and the eight gates opened by Metkai. However, after walking around, I didn't see Metkai at all. After all, if something like this happened, he would definitely be the first to show up and scream. At this time, Uchiha Yugen used the moon step to step high in the air and be able to see the entire Kanoha at a glance, so as to observe the situation in the village. It is now divided into seven or eight small battlefields. The largest one is Ino Shiga Butterfly's side. The rest are basically the teams led by Jonin facing the attack of the Uchiha team. As for the Hokage building, Uchiha Tamaki's shadow clone has already begun to crush the battle. What a speed! Saratobi Hiruzen stood on the roof of the Hokage building, watching Uchiha Tamaki, his body full of sparks and electricity, constantly shuttling between the trees and ANBU ninjas. Every time he gets close to an ANBU, that ANBU will fall down immediately. Open the smallest Susanoo skeleton, resist various escape techniques, and directly activate the unparalleled lawn mowing mode. Earth Escape Yellow Spring Marsh Naturally, Saratobi Hiruzen couldn't sit back and watch Uchiha Tamaki continue like this. He directly used Earth Escape to change the terrain, making it impossible for the opponent to move quickly on the ground and limiting the opponent's speed. Under the influence of the ninjutsu, the muddy ground around the Hokage building instantly became like a swamp, and the surrounding trees were swallowed up by the swamp and sank into the muddy ground. Some umbu who did not retreat in time were also attacked, trapping them together, but their lives were not in danger and they could still break free. But this technique did not control Uchiha Yugen. Uchiha Yugen directly used the moon step to move quickly in the air and rushed toward Saratobi Hiruzen. What? Saratobi Hiruzen was shocked when he saw this way of movement. After all, there are very few ninjutsus in the ninja world that allow flying in the air, but no one has ever seen anyone who can move in the air at an almost 90 degree rapid turn. Almost as if walking on flat ground, moving quickly. Wind release vacuum jade. Knowing that ordinary ninjutsu could not break the opponent Susanoo's defense, Sarutobi Hiruzen chose to use wind release, which changed its nature to cutting. Fist-sized vacuum jade was continuously spit out from Sarutobi Hiruzen's mouth. But he couldn't hit it at all. Uchiha Tamaki moved around the Hokage building in midair, and at the same time, holding Rei, Shiru's sword, he attacked Hiruzen Saratobi with one slash after another. The umbu next to Saratobi Hiruzen could only use ninjutsu to resist the slashing blows, and their escape techniques kept going. On the side, the ANBU Jounin of the Yamazaka clan used his family's secret technique to defeat Uchiha Tamaki. Uchiha Tamaki didn't hide at all and allowed the opponent to use this technique to attack him. Puff. As soon as the spiritual power of the ANBU of the Mountain Clan came close to Uchiha Tamaki's spiritual power, it was backfired by that huge spiritual power, directly causing him to be mentally injured and vomiting blood on the spot. Even the mental power of the Shadow Clone is stronger than that of Uchiha Tamaki when he left Kanoha. It is not something that a Jounin can control at all. Chapter, 100. Why are Uchiha doing this? Obviously this is a village founded by Uchiha together, why do we want to kill each other? Sarutobi Hiruzen felt that it was difficult. Looking at Uchiha Tamaki who was playing tricks on them in the air, Sarutobi Hiruzen said. This time he felt tremendous pressure. During the Third Ninja War, he had never felt such great pressure. In his eyes, this Uchiha Tamaki's strength has improved almost visibly, and he is not very sure that he can win. 
Didn't you instigate the fratricide in the first place? Do you think you are worthy of your teacher Senju Tobarama? Uchiha Tamajin struck down with the Chidori sharp spear, splitting half of the Hokage building. Sarutobi Hiruzen and several Umbu dispersed directly, and did not choose to keep the Hokage building. After all, this building was built less than a year ago, and the last one was smashed by Uchiha Fugaku. Then Sarutobi Hiruzen and several Umbu continued to use ninjutsu to attack Uchiha Yugen. However, they were all cut open by Uchiha Yugen forcefully using the famous sword thunderstorm attached with armed hockey, whether it was fire escape, wind escape, or even thunder escape. This is the will of fire. Everyone will sacrifice for the sake of the village. When it is my turn as the Hokage to sacrifice, I will do so without hesitation. The people with the most profound will of fire are the Thousand Hands clan, so they contribute the most, and I am not forcing it. Sarutobi Hiruzen quickly formed seals while speaking in defense. He was just taking advantage of the Senju clan's desire to protect Kanoha, not necessarily sending them to die. Bang! After saying that, he directly used the psychic technique to channel the ape demon king. The stick that the monkey demon king turned into can improve his close combat ability. Although he doesn't want to play with the current Uchiha Tamaki like this, there is no way for others to stop this guy. The fire of the Hokage is the fire of the Uchiha fire release. The wood of Kanoha is the wood of the first generation of wood escape. Bullshit will of fire. It's all a lie started by you to brainwash the young people in the village and make them work for you. What was the size of your Sarutobi clan during the Warring States period, and what is its size now? What a bullshit thing you did, and you're still fooling around here. Hearing this, Uchiha Yugen became angry. He didn't even want to fight, he just wanted to have a good debate. From the second to the third generation, there was almost no major progress. The ANBU was founded by the second generation, and the ninja school was founded by the second generation. From the third generation onwards, the will of fire appeared, and then it had roots, desperately monitoring its own people. Forced to death by Hataki White Fang, human experimentation was not allowed when developing characters. And Orochimaru secretly conducted high-level human research and was forced to drive him away, but Danzo was so successful that no one dared to shout out loud. The Senju clan withered away and there was not much left. Tsunade ran away angrily, and Jiraiya also left one after another. When they feel that their strength is declining and some families are resisting, they push the fourth generation to power and secretly control power. Using the idea of giving civilian ninjas a way out, they reduced the strength of the big families, expanded civilian ninjas, and then suppressed the big families, causing Kanoha's strength to plummet. After bringing Kanoha, the leader of the ninja world, to this point, it still has the dignity to continue talking about the will of fire here. You have been blinded by hatred, don't continue to be obsessed with it. Although he said this, Sarutobi Hiruzen looked ugly. At the same time, he directly turned the monkey demon king into a stick, held it directly in his hand, and pointed it at Achiha Yugen. Grow it longer, Rui Bang! Sarutobi Hiruzen shouted. The stick transformed by the ape demon king instantly lengthened, and the speed of elongation almost exceeded the speed of sound. Even if Kyubi was hit by this stick, he would still be knocked several hundred meters away. Too slow. When Uchiha Yugen's voice appeared behind Sarutobi Hiruzen, the stick had just passed through the position where Uchiha Yugen was just now, and what it hit was just an afterimage. However, Uchiha Tamajin did not hit Hiruzen Sarutobi. Thunderstorm slashed an ANBU brainwashed by the will of fire from the neck to the side, and the whole person was cut open. Other umbu around him rushed over, trying to seize the opportunity to entangle Uchiha Tamaki. Chidori Ryu. However, Uchiha Tamaki released electric currents that spread from all directions, directly paralyzing the two ANBU who had no time to react and retreat, and were directly hit by Uchiha Tamaki. Sarutobi Hiruzen also reacted, holding the shortened stick and hitting it directly at Uchiha Tamaki. As he struck it down, the stick grew longer again, and the top just happened to be on Uchiha Tamaki's head. Susanoo's skeletal hands directly appeared and stretched out. He took the white blade with his bare hands, slapped the stick directly, and then held it tightly and lifted it up. 
Sarutobi Hiruzen was directly lifted up and his feet left the ground. Not good. Sarutobi Hiruzen, who was in mid-air, accidentally saw Uchiha Tamaki's Manjiki Sharingan. When he felt it was too late, he found that the other party did not use the pupil technique, and quickly tried to shorten the stick and take it back. It turns out that the shadow clone cannot use the kaleidoscope by technique, only the main body can use it, but Susanu is different. Uchiha Madara can even open Susanu without eyes. However, Uchiha Tamaki's thunderstorm covering the armed color of his aura hit the stick directly, leaving a deep wound on the stick that Sarutobi Hiruzen thought was indestructible. The ape demon king never thought that he would be injured, and the stick began to bleed. Where did Uchiha go, and why did his strength increase so much in such a short period of time? And what kind of ninjutsu is this that makes the whole village fall into silence? Sarutobi Hiruzen was now distraught. He is no longer at his peak, and among the past Hokage, his strength may be slightly stronger than Tsunade who was born from a wet nurse. The few attempts at escape just now were unable to pose a threat to Uchiha Yugen, and the opponent easily cracked them. I wanted to get close, but I found that the opponent's physical skills were stronger. It's time. In that case, let this man go to hell with me. Sarutobi Hiruzen made up his mind and prepared to use the ghouls to seal them all. Continuing to fight is just a waste of time. And he remembered that the Sarutobi clan's clan was destroyed by this guy in front of him. Fortunately, many members of the clan were out on missions, and the retreat had begun at that time, so the Sarutobi clan was not really wiped out. But it also caused nearly 70% casualties, so he was already angry with Uchiha Tamaki. After talking about the will of fire for so many years, he now believes it. For the sake of my family in the village, I must kill this guy. If Uchiha Yugen is still alive, the Sarutobi clan will definitely be exterminated, so it is better to use his own life to replace the other party. But as soon as Sarutobi Hiruzen started forming seals, Uchiha Tamaki broke through the ANBU's obstruction and rushed over. I won't give you the chance to use ghoul seal. Uchiha Tamaki struck the stick with his sword again, sending Sarutobi Hiruzen flying away. Then began a fierce pursuit, with extremely fast collisions. The thunderstorm continued to leave wounds on the stick. Sarutobi Hiruzen had to hold the stick with both hands. If he used one hand, he would probably lose his grip immediately. In the end, he had no way to resist Uchiha Tamaki's slashing attack. At the same time, he was also shocked as to why Uchiha Tamaki knew the technique he used next. Can the Manjiki Sharingan do this? Chapter, 101 Although it was difficult to find an opportunity to form a seal due to the close attack by Uchiha Tamaki, Sarutobi Hiruzen would definitely not give up so easily. Like a flashback, for a while, he and Uchiha Yugen's shadow clone were fighting back and forth, using various escape techniques non-stop. The two of them fought from the Hokage building to the vicinity of the Hokage rock. Sarutobi Hiruzen has been releasing the art that involves changing properties. This kind of art is still difficult to resist. Some Uchiha Tamaki have to dodge, so the only way to resist is with Susanu. The corpses are sealed away. Finally, Hiruzen Sarutobi found an opportunity and used this forbidden technique. There were only nine seals in total. As long as there was a gap of one second, Sarutobi Hiruzen completed this technique. The god of death appeared directly behind Sarutobi Hiruzen, and a smile appeared on Sarutobi Hiruzen's face. He felt that he had won in the end. Although the life of the Sarutobi clan may not be so easy in the future, it will definitely be better than being wiped out by this Uchiha. It's over. Sarutobi Hiruzen controlled the death arm to pass through his stomach. The sole arm of the death can be infinitely extended like Luffy's rubber arm. As long as it is pulled out, it will be over. But immediately Sarutobi Hiruzen was stunned, because the opponent did not dodge, but rushed straight towards him. The long sword in his hand directly cut a wound on his stomach, and the arm of the god of death passed directly through Uchiha Tamaki's body. Sarutobi Hiruzen was a little confused. The other party would tell him about the technique of sealing away ghosts, which proved that he understood this technique. Why did he do this in the end? At this moment, he felt a little like he had been fooled. Bang! 
When he saw Uchiha Tamaki in front of him disappear into smoke, and the long sword that slashed his stomach fell to the ground with a crisp sound, Sarutobi Hiruzen was stunned. Shadow Clone The three remaining umbu around said in disbelief. The person who killed a dozen of their umbu and forced the third Hokage to this point was actually just a shadow clone. So, who are they? Can't even defeat the opponent's shadow clone. Well done. Do you feel hopeless? This kind of despair is what Uchiha felt when he fled Kanoha that day. Another Uchiha Tamaki appeared, very calmly jumped up from under the Hokage rock, and picked up the thunderstorm that had just fallen in front of Sarutobi Hiruzen. Seeing the wound on Sarutobi Hiruzen's stomach, the same wound appeared on the abdomen of the god of death behind him, and at the same time, there was something like a will-o'-the-wisp floating out of the wound. Uchiha Tamaki was a little happy to see this scene. Letting Sarutobi Hiruzen use the ghoul seal was planned in advance. In addition to luring him into being fooled, he also wanted to try to see if he could release the soul of the fourth generation Namikaze Minato. Because Uchiha Yugen is eyeing the sealed E9 tails, which is equivalent to the super big blue bottle, don't give it up. At the same time, it was also for Sarutobi Hiruzen to experience this feeling of powerless despair. Go to hell. Sarutobi Hiruzen was furious. He controlled the death god's arm again, and struck through his abdomen towards Uchiha Tamaki. But this time Uchiha Yugen began to dodge and did not choose to resist. The arm of the god of death was stretched into various shapes in mid-air, but it was difficult to catch Uchiha Tamaki. However, in order to vent his dissatisfaction, Uchiha Tamaki continued to provoke Sarutobi Hiruzen, getting close to his body and leaving wounds on him with thunderstorms. On the third time, when he slashed Sarutobi Hiruzen's back with a thunderstorm, leaving a long wound, he was caught by the palm of death again. Still a shadow clone. Sarutobi Hiruzen almost suffered a mental breakdown. Why is a shadow clone so powerful? To what extent has Uchiha Yugen's strength reached? Before he could react, another Uchiha Tamaki appeared, naturally a shadow clone. Uchiha Yugen's true form was by Naruto's side to prevent the Kyubi from being released to cause destruction. The ANBU protecting Naruto is not Kakashi. Although he is very strong and has two teams in total, he is naturally no match for Uchiha Tamaki. After the first shadow clone was released and the news was sent back, Uchiha Tamaki immediately sent a new shadow clone over. The second shadow clone that was killed was one of the first three. The night when Uchiha ran away, Sarutobi Hiruzen also hid to prevent other gods from stopping water. Today Uchiha Tamaki imitated him and hid to hide from the ghouls. Let's see what Sarutobi Hiruzen still has. There is no other way. Uchiha Tamaki, you beast. Even though Sarutobi Hiruzen looked good-tempered, he couldn't help it at this time and started to curse. A guy who is not a son of man. When death appears, it can still be cancelled before the arm passes through the body, but when the body is penetrated by death's arm, the contract is officially established and cannot be stopped at all. Uchiha Yugen's shadow clone also prevented Sarutobi Hiruzen from taking out other people's souls and kept entangled with him. Sarutobi Hiruzen had no choice at all. If he didn't attack the opponent, he would die immediately. If he attacked the opponent, he would also die. If you don't do anything, you will die. Did the news of fighting wake up many people? It's better not to let these people participate in the battle. Uchiha Yugen's true form found that there was an ANBU around him who had been stunned by the overlord's color before. He covered his head and tried to stand up. Seeing this, he once again released his overlord color domineering energy to cover the entire Kanoha. Umbu, who had just woken up, was hit hard again and fainted directly to the ground. Everyone who was awake felt out of breath in an instant, except for all the Uchiha clan, because they were already used to the impact of this momentum and were hardly affected at all. Is this power also the power of Uchiha? Sarutobi Hiruzen gave up the attack, but looked at Uchiha Tamaki with blank eyes and asked. It's my strength. In order to receive a relatively intact Kanoha and avoid causing too much damage, we use this method to screen out all those who are not qualified to stand up. Uchiha Tamakian did not continue to pursue, because he could see that Sarutobi Hiruzen had very little chakra left and would die soon. 
Did I really do something wrong? The Senju and Uchiha occupy nearly 70% of Kanoha's combat power and interests. There is no room for other families to survive. I don't want to harm the Thousand Hands clan. I just hope that they can become weaker and increase the strength of other families so that they can check and balance each other. In Kanoha now, no one dares to act rashly, and there are almost no conflicts. Isn't this good? Sarutobi Hiruzen looked at Uchiha Tamaki and couldn't help but question. He felt that he had done nothing wrong. You did it wrong. From the beginning, if you feel that Kanoha's benefits are not distributed enough, then find a way to get more benefits instead of squeezing them out from your own people. Uchiha Yugen said very coldly. It was difficult to fight with other people, there was no way to gain benefits, and many people would even die, so I changed my mind and started to steal food from my own people. Maybe in the beginning, Sarutobi Hiruzen had a good idea. But the current situation in Kanoha is enough to prove that he failed and fell into his own greed. That's that easy. Others will witness it. Kanoha will be completely destroyed in the hands of Uchiha, and the ninja world will fall into war again. Uchiha will also exterminate the clan. Sarutobi Hiruzen coughed twice, and then laughed directly. Thinking that Uchiha Tamaki is too young, he has such an idea. The one who will be exterminated first will be your Sarutobi clan. Uchiha Yugen said coldly. Then Lei Yu directly chopped off the head of Hiruzen Sarutobi, who was unable to resist, and his face was full of despair, killing him completely. The god of death was also unceremonious. He put away his sacrifice, dragged Sarutobi Hiruzen's soul out of his body with his hands, put it into his mouth, chewed it for a few times, and swallowed it. After being satisfied, he slowly disappeared into the air. Chapter, 102 Is there no one else? You can't defeat Uchiha just by relying on this level. General Shirsue held Chiyoshue and looked at Danzo with blood-red eyes. All of Danzo's men were killed by him. Intensive training on the sea made him physically stronger and his teleportation technique faster. Coupled with the armed and domineering Chiyoshue, as long as he gets close and strikes with a sword, no one can stop him, and he will either be dismembered or his limbs will be severed. Coupled with the Manjiki Sharingan that can see through ninjutsu, these people can't deceive Shirsue at all. In just three minutes, Jen's elite were wiped out again. The last time Uchiha escaped, a lot of people died, and those who died now were just trained subordinates. Danzo had almost no ninja left to use. You are worthy of being a descendant of Mirror. You must be only 17 years old now, and you actually have such strength. The Uchiha family is indeed a dangerous one. It's easy for someone to get out of control. If you can follow the will of fire and keep going, maybe the fifth Hokage will be you. Danzo started to fool around. In fact, he was somewhat panicked. The main body had not been discovered yet and was hiding, but it was just in Jen's base. In his opinion, there is only one way to defeat Uchiha Shirsue, and that is a sneak attack. As long as the sneak attack is successful, there is a chance. If it fails, Shirsue's teleportation technique will be enough to make him invincible. I will find your true form, you can't run away. Shirsue didn't waste any time. When he finished saying this, Chiyoshue had already pierced Danzo's abdomen. This shadow clone immediately turned into smoke and disappeared, and Shirsue also began to move quickly in the root base, using a kaleidoscope to search for any life form that possesses chakra. No one will be spared. After Sarutobi Hiruzen died, Uchiha Tamaki also started clearing the place. Create new shadow clones again and deal with those who resist one by one. Due to the addition of Uchiha Fugaku, the three of Inakacho and Inakacho were defeated immediately, almost all of them were seriously injured, and Fugaku personally captured them alive. Fugaku is responsible for handling the other small families such as the Aburozuka and others. If there is strong resistance, they will be killed directly. However, the clan leaders basically had a clear head and were not deeply poisoned by the will of fire. Seeing that they could not be defeated, they all surrendered. The most important thing is that, feeling the overwhelming strength of the Uchiha clan, there is no possibility of resistance at all. And they felt that it would be a coup at most, 
and they wouldn't be able to accept it if someone else became Hokage. Kakashi, I didn't expect you to be here. Uchiha Tamaki looked at Kakashi who was imprisoned in prison, with chains tied around his body, and a seal scroll covering his head. He was a little surprised, but he felt that it was normal. It must be like this, and it must have something to do with myself. Yushuan, you are back. Kakashi was startled when he heard Uchiha Tamaki's voice. He felt two huge pressures just now, which made Kakashi think that Kanoha was going to attack him. After all, he can't see now, can't form seals, chakra is sealed, and apart from hearing and smell, there is no way to detect the outside world through other senses of touch. Clang. The iron bars of the prison were cut open by Uchiha Tamaki with a chidori and fell to the ground. Then Uchiha Yugen used the Sharingan to analyze the sealing technique and began to unlock the seal on Kakashi. The first thing to be unlocked was the scroll seal on the head, which took two minutes. Kakashi soon regained his sight and looked at Uchiha Tamaki with a complicated expression. When I ran away, I said a few nonsense words, which tricked you. Now I let you out, which offsets it. Uchiha Yugen said to Kakashi as he continued to unlock the seal. Did you come here specifically to save me? It's very dangerous, leave quickly. Kakashi was really touched. Who would go out of their way to save you? The Uchiha are back, the third generation is dead, other resistances are gradually being resolved, and Kanoha is back in the hands of the founder. Uchiha Yugen was surprised, and then told the truth directly. But this fact did not make Kakashi feel embarrassed, but made him look in disbelief. Okay, you are free. If you want to protect Kanoha, then I will kill you now and send you to see Lin. Uchiha Yugen said very directly. Friendship is friendship, if something happens, there's no need to talk about it, just suffer death. Is Uchiha going to be the new Hokage? Kakashi thought it was a coup. He no longer has this idea about protecting the third generation. If it weren't for the fact that he was somewhat famous in Kanoha and had the support of many people in the ANBU, his Sharingan would have been dug out by Danzo. At the same time, Sarutobi Hiruzen does not want his reputation to be damaged, and he does not want Danzo to become stronger. After all, he clearly remembers what Uchiha Tamaki said about Danzo plotting his position and using the first generation cells. So Kakashi was imprisoned like this, on the grounds that he was suspected of having a private relationship with the Uchiha, and that day Kakashi went to the Uchiha clan to explore information, and he was regarded as Kakashi to inform. But there is no evidence that Kakashi did this, but there is also no evidence to prove Kakashi's innocence. Metkai's testimony was rejected because he was a friend, so Kakashi has been imprisoned and cannot be released. No, it is a complete change. The concept of Kanoha Ninja Village will disappear from tomorrow. We need manpower now. It would be best if you are willing to help. If not, just leave quickly and don't waste my time. Uchiha Tamaki said with an indifferent expression. Continue to work as a ninja villager for the country of fire? Uchiha has no such idea. With so many resources on the sea, it would not be a problem to feed ten Uchihas. Kakashi was stunned. He didn't understand what Uchiha Yugen was talking about. However, Uchiha Tamaki did not continue to reminisce with Kakashi, but continued to sweep away the dangers in Kanoha one by one. The Sarutobi clan, the Shimura clan, as well as the clans of Koharu and Mido Kadini, Uchiha Tamaki didn't let anyone go, and he had to do it all. At about 12 o'clock at noon, Uchiha Yugen asked Itachi to bring the tribe back. When they returned to this familiar land, many members of the Uchiha clan shed tears. After all, most people of this generation grew up in Kanoha. However, Kanoha was somewhat in tatters at this time. Although there were some restrictions, there were still many places of damage. For example, there are many potholes on Hokage Rock, which were caused when Hiruzen Sarutobi used ninjutsu to attack Uchiha Tamaki. People who were born in the sea, such as Vinsmoke Gaji and Rob Lucci, really couldn't take their eyes off when they came to Kanoha, observing this new world. Shusui, on his side, also came back with Danzo's head, with almost no injuries visible on his body. Seeing the clan members returning to Kanoha, a smile also appeared on his face. Kanoha gradually returned to calm, and many people woke up in panic, 
not knowing what had happened. Uchiha Tamaki also went through all the dangers that needed to be eliminated in the village. When he confirmed that there was no trouble, he convened a meeting of the surrendered family leaders to discuss Kanoha's next path. I originally planned to demolish it like Tiandao, but then it would be rebuilt directly. But it was too troublesome to find out, and there were many things in Kanoha that were indeed valuable, but resources were more important. Chapter 103 A ninja village is a ninja village, completely different from an ordinary village. Many people felt something was wrong, but did not panic because it was calm outside and there was no fighting, because the fighting ended when they were unconscious, but now this situation makes them uneasy. People from several big families in Kanoha were all called together. On the Uchiha side, only Uchiha Yugen and Fugaku were present. Shirsue and Itachi had dispersed and were responsible for training in Kanoha and suppressing the situation. Kakashi had nowhere to go, so he finally came here. The meeting place did not prevent others from coming. Instead, it was right next to the Hokage building, which was destroyed again, and could accommodate many people. These family patriarchs were all injured, and they were basically defeated. The three Ino Shikacho were the worst. Akimichi Choza lost his hands and became like the arms of a mummy. Nara Shikaku had one arm cut off, and Yamanaka Kaichi was even blinded. From today onwards, Kanoha Ninja Village will be disbanded, and from now on there will only be Kanoha Country. The freedom of ninjas and civilians is no longer restricted. Anyone who wants to leave can leave, except for you big families. If you want to leave, you must hand over the family secrets, including 80% of the wealth, before you can leave. Kanoha Country recruits combat troops. Ninjutsu below B level are no longer restricted. As long as the merit is sufficient, it can be redeemed. Merit is paid together with salary every month. The amount distributed is different according to the strength level. At least half a year, A, B can be exchanged cumulatively. A feat of super ninjutsu. Other aspects of people's livelihood remain unchanged as before. Just charge a certain amount of taxes and operate legally. Uchiha Yugen came to the stage and explained succinctly. Ordinary ninjas are not important, now they are all overlords who can be killed instantly. If the fire country now belongs to Uchiha, then these ninjas Uchiha Tamaki are not ready to let go, but now there is only a large area like Kanoha, and it is enough to rely on the Uchiha clan to defend it. Letting go of ninjutsu is also because the importance of B-level is actually just that. The most important thing is that there is no need to hide it all the time. The vast majority of Chunin actually only know a few ninjutsu, so the battles are basically fought with shuriken kunai. Only by joining ANBU and gaining meritorious deeds can you redeem ninjutsu. Otherwise, there is no way for Kanoha to force people to join the more dangerous ANBU. They can only use inducements to get these ninjas to join on their own initiative. The Hidden Leaf Village is going to be disbanded. After hearing Uchiha Tamaki's words, many people in the audience were in an uproar. The vast majority of people below have accepted the coup, and many people are even planning to come back with another coup in the future. But unexpectedly, Uchiha would smash the table and not give everyone a chance to eat. Kakashi informs ordinary ninjas that this matter is left to you. If you are willing to leave on your own, if you are not afraid of death, you can resist and anger Uchiha, then everyone should not leave. Uchiha Tamaki suddenly said to Kakashi who was looking at a loss below. After saying this, he released his overlord color domineering energy, covering a radius of 100 meters, covering everyone on the field. This aura instantly stopped the breathing of the clan heads of the families on the scene. They looked at Uchiha Yugen with shock, obviously unable to understand what was going on. After all, they were all experienced ninjas, so how could they be frightened by the momentum? Some of them were so seriously injured that they almost spit out blood. Kakashi, on his side, also looked at Uchiha Tamaki in shock. Obviously he doesn't understand why his former contemporary partner has changed so much. When the overlord sex was over, Kakashi was also full of doubts, why was he assigned a task? Some of the family patriarchs around looked at Kakashi with complicated expressions, because many of them had spoken to Kakashi before, saying that Kakashi was not Uchiha's traitor. But now it seems that they were wrong. 
In this situation, even if Kakashi is not the one, they don't believe it anymore. Above. If anything happens, just ask Captain Fugaku. Uchiha Yugen did not continue to stay here. Fugaku was better at these things and more familiar with these people. Although he said he could leave at will, Uchiha Tamaki was still very happy to stay and work for the rise of Uchiha. Then let's talk about it in detail. The specific situation is ready. Uchiha Fugaku showed a slightly kind expression and said to everyone. As for what to do after Uchiha returns, we have discussed countermeasures before at Fishman Island, but we only have a rough idea, but it is enough for now. The main thing is to win over these families and work hard for Uchiha. It wasn't until around 8 o'clock in the evening that several Mangekyo members of the Uchiha clan gathered together, but there were still their shadow clones patrolling outside. How is it going? Uchiha Yugen asked Fugaku, while taking out a test tube containing white cells from his waist and placing it on the table. The Hyuga clan needs to have a certain degree of independence and is willing to continue running Kanoha kingdom with Uchiha. The three Zolidi families need to consider it overnight. Families such as Yozhong also have this intention, but they are not so sure. Kakashi has already informed the ordinary ninjas, but most of them are at a loss and don't know whether they should leave Kanoha. Uchiha Fugaku said. Today made him feel proud. In previous meetings at the Hokage building, he was always questioned by Hiruzen Sarutobi and Danzo, leaving others to watch, which made him lose face. But today, these people all act based on his face, for fear that he will be unhappy. Ordinary ninjas don't need to force themselves. Family ninjas should stay as long as possible. If you have any bad intentions, just deal with them directly. These are the first generation cells I found in Danzo's research laboratory. Now after using this method, there is a high chance that one can master would release and reduce the side effects of kaleidoscope. There is also a certain risk that the cells will be swallowed by this cell, and the whole person will become wood. Captain Fugaku and Itachi don't need to use this cell too urgently right now. As for Shirsue and Izumi, your eyes probably haven't reached their limit yet. But take this thing with you first. If you encounter a difficult battle and must improve your strength, just try using it, it should take a while to work, just be careful. I will leave the village in five days and go to Orochimaru. He should have better first generation cells, and in order to improve the Uchiha's bloodline in the future, his technology will also be needed. During the time I am away, Kanoha will I have given you protection. Uchiha Tamajin said to Fugaku, then explained what was in the test tube and warned everyone of its dangers. Uchiha Madara ate the flesh of the first generation directly, Abito had a white Zetsu body made from first generation cells. And the first generation cells used by Sasuke were almost the most stable first generation cells made by Yakushi Kabuto in the later period. Therefore, Uchiha Yugen cannot guarantee that there will be no risk in using this first generation cell, so it is better not to use it unless it is absolutely necessary. Several people took the test tube in their hands and observed it carefully, but they couldn't tell that this white substance could have such an effect. During this period, you must not be soft-hearted. Anyone who resists must be dealt with decisively. If you don't kill the chicken to scare the monkeys and let it go too far, these people won't take Uchiha seriously. Do you understand? Uchiha Yugen finally said. After all, there are indeed many people who have been poisoned by the will of fire. If there are people who are desperate, if we don't kill them, there will be more such things in the future. Chapter 104 Sure enough, at night, some people who wanted to resist began to cause trouble. However, the Hyuga clan cooperated very well with Uchiha and sent many clan members to monitor. The person who wanted to cause a disturbance was caught before he could detonate the detonating talisman. Dozens were arrested in one night, but only one detonated successfully. He committed suicide at home with a detonator, which was the only sound that sounded at night. The next day, these captured people were executed directly in public. On the third and fourth days, there were people like this who would kill them without hesitation every time they were caught. Some were even executed along with their families. If these people are not killed, they will threaten the ordinary people of Uchiha in the future. Instead of killing their own people, it is better to kill more of these guys with murderous intentions. If they are given a way to survive, 
then don't blame others. On the fifth day, it finally became quiet at night and no one was causing trouble. At the same time, the vast majority of families chose to stay in Kanoha rather than leave Kanoha. After all, the ninja world is not a safe place. After leaving Kanoha, it is not easy to find a suitable place to survive. In Kanoha, you can depend on each other, but outside you can only rely on your own family to survive. The threats faced include various ninja villages. Many ninja villages will focus on the secret techniques of some families. If they go out, they will undoubtedly send sheep into the tiger's mouth. As long as Uchiha promises not to annex them, they are still willing to stay and continue to stay in this comfort zone. The Art of Reincarnation from Dirty Soil Late at night, Uchiha Yugen found a spy from another ninja village from prison to use as a sacrifice for the reincarnation of the dirty land. The reincarnated one is the fourth Hokage, Minato Namikaze. DNA was obtained from skin fragments taken directly from the grave. The reincarnation of the evil land was learned directly from the Book of Sealing. This scroll was not placed in the Hokage building, but in a cave inside the Hokage rock. What Naruto stole in the plot was just a scroll recording the following ninjutsu. It was used to learn and use some ninjas who had achieved great achievements in exchange for ninjutsu. Otherwise, how could the scroll be stolen by a chunin, cooperating with Naruto who was a rookie at the time? Sarutobi Hiruzen always felt that this technique was taboo, so he didn't learn it at all, so naturally he couldn't use it. As the sacrifice was swallowed up by the dirt, the appearance of Namike's Minato gradually emerged. When Minato woke up, he was stunned and looked at his hands in surprise, because in his memory he should have died after sealing the Kyubi. Are you Uchiha Yugen? Minato looked at the person not far in front of him, whose height was almost the same as himself, vaguely saw his appearance, and asked tentatively. The Yandame, I didn't expect you to recognize me. Kanoha wanted to destroy Uchiha, but Uchiha successfully counterattacked and took Kanoha back. The purpose of reincarnating you into the dirty earth this time is to make a deal. Give me half of the nine tails in your body, and your son, who is a little rebellious now and needs you to educate him well. Uchiha Yugen was a little surprised, but business was still business here. Tell him your purpose, and at the same time, something about Naruto. Naruto was somewhat unable to accept the news of Hiruzen Sarutobi's death. After all, under the control of Hiruzen Sarutobi, Naruto had the best relationship with him, and secondly, he was severely poisoned by the will of fire. If Naruto's hostility to Uchiha was allowed to grow, it would be better to kill him as soon as possible. If Minato couldn't do it, he wouldn't be polite. What? After hearing what Uchiha Tamaki said, Minato couldn't accept it. He immediately wanted to use the Flying Thunder God to leave he could still sense many coordinates in Kanoha. But before he could use it, he felt his body tighten and he couldn't control his body at all. Then let me explain a little more. Nearly a year ago, Uchiha Tamaki restrained the fourth generation, and then began to explain the specific situation, which lasted about ten minutes. So, is Kanoha Ninja Village going to disappear? After Minato heard this, a trace of sadness appeared on his face. Now it's about you and your son. This is to repay you for your good attitude towards Uchiha and helping Uchiha when you were in power. Otherwise, I will directly extract half of the Kyubi from your body and deal with Naruto at the same time. Uchiha Yugen said coldly, but this is also true. If you can master it, take away the nine tails in my body as you like. But I may not be very good at disciplining Naruto. Minato knew that there was nothing he could do to save himself, and he was also dead, so there was no point in thinking about it. After learning about his son's energy, his feelings towards Sandai and others became much colder, but now he just wants to see his son live well. I can reincarnate Kushina in the dirt, but as a price, you have to let Naruto work for Uchiha until he is thirty. At the same time, I also want to leave a technique on him. As long as he doesn't betray Uchiha, I won't have to use this technique. Uchiha Yugen thought for a while and then said. He doesn't feel any guilt about using dirty soil to reincarnate. Naruto is still very valuable. If he can cultivate the super shadow level and awaken the chakra of Ashura, 
plus the chakra of other tailed beasts, it will not be a big problem to approach the six paths level. Let Kushina and I discuss this matter. Minato felt that it was better not to make the decision without permission for his son. Uchiha Yugen nodded, and then asked the Shadow Clone to bring another sacrifice. At the same time, he got Kushina's cell fragments and directly used the dirt reincarnation to summon Kushina. Then the two couples were asked to explain the situation themselves. Uchiha Yugen looked through the ANBU information, mainly looking for information about Orochimaru's whereabouts. But after a while, Kushina was crying on the side. Because she heard about the environment in which her son grew up, as a mother, she naturally could not accept such a result, and by the way, she cursed Sarutobi Hirozen in Danzo. Ideal. I will let Naruto repay Uchiha, just put a spell on him. Kushina quickly cheered up, came to Uchiha Yugen, and began to fight for more generous conditions for her son. No. Your children are very talented. If you leave them alone, they will easily cause trouble to Uchiha. Uchiha Yugen shook his head and refused. He didn't want to end up with Sasuke running after Naruto who rebelled against the village. This was a bit ridiculous. Although Shirsue's other gods can also be used, this technique can help Shirsue save his life at critical moments. Uchiha Yushuan does not want Shirsue to use this technique unless it is absolutely necessary. It's not worth it for Naruto because he can control it with magic. Kushina's face was ugly, and it was obviously difficult to accept what would happen to her child in the future. This technique remains in his heart, but I don't let him know about it. I won't use it normally. If he defects, I won't care about it. But if he attacks Uchiha, then I will detonate the technique. Kill him. Uchiha Yugen finally gave a compromise method. But this situation of her son's life being controlled by others still made Kushina uncomfortable. So be it. In the end, Minato made the decision. He felt that Uchiha Tamaki was already a little impatient, and the other party could arrange the spell on Naruto in advance, and then reincarnate them in the dirt. It would be difficult for them to know this, and they would also obediently help the other party. Then you go and see your children first. Uchiha Tamaki nodded, and did not forcefully pull out the kyubi now, so that they could see their children first. Chapter, 105 Uchiha Tamaki decided to pull out the kyubi after returning from looking for Orochimaru. After all, the demand for kyubi is not high now. After all, kyubi can only increase the amount of mana. If you want kyubi to play with you willingly, it will be difficult to do so without a period of inner communication. During this time, let Minato help Fugaku, appease everyone in Kanoha and maintain order. At the same time, through the phone bug, Minato can be used as a portal. If something happens, Minato can directly use Flying Thunder God to go to Uchiha Tamekian. Take Uchiha Yushuan back. At the same time, in the past few days, Uchiha Yugen would take time to go to Fishman Island to check the situation and found that the navy was indeed unable to enter. The warships were all blocked by the Sea Kings. Only a few people from the intelligence organization came in and found that the Uchiha clan was not there at all. The mental control of Neptune and others was also lifted. They knew what Uchiha Yugen had done. They were really pale and called the world government frantically, saying that Uchiha Yugen had run away and was not here at all. He also asked the spies from the intelligence organization to search around the Fishman Island, but no one could be found at all. In the end, Akiji passed through the Sea Kings and directly froze an icicle to connect to the Fishman Island. After discovering that Uchiha Yugen could not be found, and at the same time learning that Fishman Island had also been destroyed by Uchiha, he had no choice but to leave. I'm leaving, and Kanoha will be left to you. Uchiha Tamaki said to Fugaku and others. Then Minato directly used Flying Thunder God to bring Uchiha Tamaki to the border of Fire Country, close to Tian Country. This was the coordinate left by Minato during the previous Ninja War. Then Minato went back immediately, because he had to eat with his son at noon today. Although he couldn't eat, he could only watch. Bang bang bang. Then Uchiha Yugen separated three shadow clones and asked them to search for the whereabouts of Orochimaru. In the intelligence, there is news about Orochimaru's appearance in Tianjigua. 
Now Orochimaru should have joined the Akatsuki organization, and he is also looking for a financial sponsor. Tian Jigua is a good target. Found it. Uchiha Yugen received the news from the Shadow Clone and found Orochimaru in the newly established Sound Ninja Village. So Uchiha Yugen rushed over immediately, which took less than an hour. There was a cave in a relatively humid jungle in a remote area of Oto Ninja Village. Uchiha Yugen walked directly into it. The ninjas who appeared around him were controlled by the Sharingan illusion before they even got close. They stood still and stopped moving, and were directly punished. Stand. After walking forward for about 200 meters, about 5 or 6 meters above the ground, I finally saw a lot of lights. Hiss. However, when Uchiha Tamaki was about to continue walking forward, several white scaly snakes suddenly appeared around him and bit at Uchiha Tamaki with their bloody mouths open. But immediately, these snakes were like snakes in the hands of a snake tamer, coiling up around Uchiha Yugen. The Uchiha clan is really strange. Didn't it mean that the Uchiha of Kanoha have completely disappeared from this world? Orochimaru's figure slowly rose from the ground. Looking at Uchiha's Sharingan, there was a look of surprise. The body comes out to meet me. After Uchiha Yugen said these words, he immediately passed over and cut off the head of the earth clone Orochimaru with a knife. The amount of chakra is too small to fool the Sharingan. What is the other party's purpose? Uchiha is currently being hunted by Kanoha, right? Do you want to join forces with me? Orochimaru's main body is analyzing something in the research room. After receiving the information from the Earth clone, he couldn't help but wonder, if Uchiha came to the door like this, he must have something to talk about. However, the other party was a little too arrogant, and Orochimaru was ready to teach the other party a lesson. When he just pushed open the door of the research room and was about to teach this reckless Uchiha a lesson, he saw a pair of blood-red eyes. Genjutsu Sharingan Uchiha Tamaki was not interested here, just like he was with Minato, so he made it clear to him in a long speech. Directly show Orochimaru the video of mental concentration, about various scenes in the One Piece world, and some introductions to abilities. Orochimaru has no ability to resist at all, because his soul was damaged when he used the corpse reincarnation, and he is particularly weak against illusions. Coupled with Uchiha Yugen's strong mental power now, Orochimaru cannot wake up even if he uses illusions. It lasted about two minutes before Uchiha Tamaki released the Genjutsu. Orochimaru also woke up with blank eyes and quickly regained consciousness. What happened in the illusion just now, are all true. Orochimaru's face was full of shock. After all, there is actually another world with such weird combat capabilities. Devil Fruit, Hockey, this ability is the same as Blood Succession Limit, how fantastic it is, a whole new world, there are too many unknowns waiting for him to explore. Um. Uchiha Tamaki replied, and at the same time he raised his right hand to show him the armament colored hockey, and at the same time punched the wall, directly making a big hole, and the power was not inferior to the ordinary Rasengan. This power is somewhat similar to Tsunade's strange power. It has increased destructive power. Does it also have defensive power? Orochimaru's eyes were on Uchiha Tamaki's arm, observing carefully, and even stretched out his hand to touch it, but Uchiha Tamaki dodged it. It felt a little too strange to have my hands touched. Have you thought clearly? Uchiha Tamaki then asked. Let me serve Uchiha, and can Uchiha take me to that world? After Orochimaru finished speaking, he stuck out his tongue and touched his lips, looking completely perverted. Bang! But Uchiha Tamaki instantly held down Orochimaru's head and slammed him against the wall. Because the Sharingan observed it, Orochimaru moved his fingers and prepared to form a seal. Don't think about any tricks. You are not irreplaceable. I just think your ability is enough. I don't need to waste much energy to kill you, do you understand? Uchiha Yugen warned. The current Orochimaru can be said to be at his most twisted. Psychopath. Without warning, this guy is hard to obey. And the most important thing is that using magic to control this guy's heart to threaten people has little effect, because he can replace his body with a new one at any time. So shameless. 
I really don't know how to control the soul now, so it's best to make this guy work willingly. Ahem. What a powerful force. Did you get it from that world? Orochimaru coughed up blood, but he was feeling the strength coming from Uchiha Tamaki. This level was probably only achieved by the body of Rakage from Kumogakure village. How about helping me work and I tell you the secrets of the world and how you can get a perfect body? Uchiha Tamaki began to seduce Orochimaru. Okay, I'm very curious about that world. You have to give me the freedom to explore it. Orochimaru said. He felt the oppression of the leader of the Akatsuki organization from this Uchiha. Confirmed that he was not the opponent's opponent. Since the other party is willing to pay, you can still work for the other party in return. Of course, Orochimaru will give priority to his own preferences. Let's wait until you finish what the Uchiha needs. Uchiha Yugen did not agree directly. Now it is better not to expose the news of the two worlds, especially on the sea. Being the target of public criticism would be very troublesome. Okay. Orochimaru agreed. Some of the research he had originally envisioned was no longer important at this time. I just wanted to go to the new world and experience it to see what was different. Chapter 106 The news that Kanoha village was disbanded, that Uchiha took control of Kanoha and directly founded the country, spread throughout the entire ninja in a short period of time. Those Kanoha ninjas who are at the border of the land of fire are all confused. They are working outside to make money, but their families are gone. The Fire Nation daimyo was furious and sent envoys to find out what Kanoha wanted to do. The surrounding big countries have become greedy. After confirming the authenticity of the news, they are likely to launch a war against the Kingdom of Fire. However, these do not affect the stability of Kanoha. If there is no need to prepare for war, Kanoha's resources will be enough to support it for a period of time, and it will also start farming and prepare to grow food by itself to achieve self-sufficiency. Uchiha came back, defeated the Hokage of Kanoha, and took away Kanoha. When Abito saw the news, he couldn't accept it. After all, in Kanai, Uchiha had absolutely no strength to resist in these years, otherwise how could he be bullied to the point of being driven to the edge of Kanoha to live? It's true. White Zetsu outside Kanoha captured a few ninjas who left Kanoha and got the news from their mouths. The Kanoha ninja village is now disbanded but the Kanoha country is letting ordinary ninjas leave without imposing any restrictions on them. Black Zetsu was also surprised by this. After all, ordinary ninjas were human resources in their eyes. Now that they don't even want human resources, it seems that Uchiha is really crazy. Do you want to take advantage of this opportunity to get the Kyubi? Abito frowned. He was just a little surprised about what happened in Kanoha, and had no other thoughts. Now he just wanted to gather the tailed beasts, execute the infinite Tsukimi's plan, and resurrect Lin. According to previous information, Uchiha should have three Manjiki Sharingan. It will be very difficult to snatch the Kyubi away. Other hidden villages will not miss this opportunity. It would be better for us to take action after both of them have suffered losses. Black Zetsu gives his opinion. At the same time, I thought to myself that the descendants of Atsutsuki Hagoromo are indeed stupid, especially the Uchiha ones, who were fooled and fell into the trap. If a war breaks out in the ninja world and the rear of the ninja village is empty, we can sneak attack their ninja village and take away the Jintriki. Abito nodded. He owned a kaleidoscope, so he naturally knew the troubles of facing a kaleidoscope, especially when it came to dealing with Jinchuriki. If the two sides competed with pupil power, it would be difficult to tell the winner. And the other party also has three kaleidoscope owners. Then contact Nagato and ask him to prepare and notify other Akatsuki members. After Heiju finished speaking, his whole body sank into the ground and slowly disappeared. Uchiha founded the country. Abito ignited the information in his hand, and then used his divine power to suck himself into a different space, preparing to go to Nagato to discuss the next action. Are you the scientist of this world? I heard that you just started dissecting the human body not long ago, and you want to fuse special blood into the human body to create a stronger body, right? I have successfully created a living body that incorporates special bloodline factors. 
It possesses special abilities, which are the so-called blood inheritance limits. It also has a physical quality that is five times more than that of ordinary people. It is an almost perfect next generation. You behave well and help me. If you are capable enough, I will not hide it and will guide you in this area of knowledge. Vinsamakaji looked at Orochimaru brought back by Uchiha Tamaki and said very directly. He had to dominate the research room. At Vegapunk, he was second in command, so he had to give priority to a lot of research. This time, Vince Magaji did not want to give up the no. One position. In the research room, true scientific research strength speaks for itself. He has also read the information about Orochimaru these days, and knows that the other party's level has just begun, and he has not yet successfully integrated the blood factors into the new individual. There has been only one defective product Yamato for so many years. He almost transfers and occupies other people's bodies to gain the power of blood instead of making a truly perfect body, so he is very confident. However, in his opinion, it was pretty good to do this. He didn't have a suitable assistant, and it was Uchiha Tamaki who requested it, so he could only accept this thin guy. Interesting, let me see how good your research is. Being provoked like this, Orochimaru narrowed his eyes and felt a little unhappy. He is not willing to help others, and he does not believe that his research results will be lost to others. Uchiha Tamaki just used a phone bug to contact Fugaku and asked Minato to take the two of them back to Kanoha. At the same time, he also brought a bunch of research equipment from Orochimaru. The words are different, I'm afraid you can't understand them. When Vince Mak Kaji saw that Orochimaru did not immediately surrender to his scientific research emperor, he immediately mocked. I used illusion to send him a text message. Uchiha Yugen was also here, but he did not interfere in the hierarchy between the two scientists. It's in this system, see for yourself. Vince Mak Gaji crossed his arms, ready to watch Orochimaru's joke. Orochimaru's expression remained unchanged, and he began to tap on this unfamiliar machine and began to learn how to use this system. When Vince Makaji saw that Orochimaru was already proficient in controlling the system and began to read his research materials, his face became a little more serious, confirming that this researcher had a certain level of strength. Interesting, is this all the information about your race in the world? Orochimaru was watching intently. When they saw the giants and other physically powerful races, they let out an exclamation of exclamation. Obviously, in the ninja world, this kind of power is only possessed by those giant psychic beasts. It is impossible for ordinary people to reach this size. Perhaps only the Akimichi clan's doubling technique can compete with it. Orochimaru's face turned red and he was very excited. Vince Makjia's face also became serious. He could see that this guy really understood his research information. At this time, he regretted that he shouldn't be so arrogant and let the other party watch. At the same time, Orochimaru's face also became serious, and he saw many locations that he had never paid attention to. Although a lot of the information was different, he also understood what it meant. After watching for several hours, Orochimaru stopped. You are indeed very powerful. Orochimaru looked at the big man with surprised eyes. Vince Makaji, on the other hand, had a dark face and felt that he was at a disadvantage. Orochimaru, Vince Makaji showed you his research, and you have to show him yours too. Both parties are on the same starting line. The first task for you too is to make the first generation cells more gentle and smooth, and reduce their ability to counterattack. The purpose is to make them available to ordinary Uchiha people. In the future, they may also be compatible with ordinary people and make them into genetic medicines. Divided into several stages to allow the human body to adapt to this force. Whoever completes it first will be led by that person. There will be more unknowns to explore in the future. Having this power can lead the direction of research. Uchiha Yugen spoke here. If thousand hand cells can be developed into those genetic medicines in science fiction novels, which make the body stronger with one injection, then almost all the creatures in the world can be brought together to complete the evolution. It can transform people who originally had flaws into perfection, and even create more geniuses. Good. Vince Makjiaji is confident that he will not lose to this guy. 
Thin and weak, with a pale face, high-level research requires the body to support high-intensity work. Interesting, your ideas are very interesting. Orochimaru was also very excited, it was rare to encounter such a challenge. Naturally, he didn't refuse this competition, and he didn't think he would lose either. Then it's decided. Uchiha Yugen finally said. Then let these two guys compete on their own, but be careful not to let them get away with it. After all, although this kind of person is very capable, he is also very dangerous. If he doesn't get it right, he will cause big trouble. Chapter 107 Food planting has begun. There is no big problem. As you said, ninjas who can water escape will water regularly and quantitatively, and those who can earth escape will cultivate the land. The planting speed will be very fast. There were many spies around, but most of them were caught by Shursui. After the interrogation, they were given control seals and used as laborers to help with the cultivation. But there are some things that are lacking for daily use. These need to be purchased, but not many businessmen dare to come here now. This is the only impact on daily life. Uchiha Fugaku reported to Jade Shenhui. It is indeed not easy to manage a village, but the villagers here in Kanoha have basically been trained. As long as they are honest, the impact is not big. Many ninjas even came back after running away, because they found that no one was really chasing them, and they felt that they didn't know what to do outside, so they had better come back to Kanoha. Especially the appearance of Minato appeased many ninjas who were born as civilians. They found that Uchiha had no intention of enslaving them, so they were still willing to stay. As long as you give money, these merchants will definitely come back. They will appear after they confirm that Kanoha is stable. During this period, just raise the price slightly to lure them over and continue normal transactions. A few ninja villages are just looking for information and don't care about them. If they dare to harass them, go to their side to shock them and let them figure out the situation. I'm going to practice recently and won't be away for a short time. I'll find a bodyguard for Kanoha. With him, it shouldn't be a big problem during this time. Uchiha Tamaki nodded, and then said to Fugaku. He plans to go to Longi Cave to practice immortal arts, master them, and then use the first generation cells. He should be able to obtain the human body of an immortal the eyes of reincarnation, and his strength should skyrocket to the level of dirt stains. The current physical fitness is about the level of an ordinary lieutenant general. Once upgraded to the immortal body, basically physical fitness will not be a shortcoming. He is really not good at management, and he doesn't have the time to do it. To ensure that everything develops according to his own ideas, strength is indispensable. Good. Fugaku had no objection. Even if Uchiha can reach the end, he can't leave behind what Uchiha Yugen has done. Although he basically manages everything by himself, he has no intention of taking it for himself. After experiencing despair, I realize how rare everything is now. At night, Uchiha Yugen used the earth to reincarnate and reincarnated the first generation into the earth. There were too many explanations. Uchiha Tamaki didn't want to say anything so he directly called the fourth generation and asked the fourth generation and the first generation to explain the situation. The two talked for more than an hour before stopping. Has Kanoha become like that? Senju Hashirama couldn't believe why the village he had worked so hard to build had become like this and fell into internal strife. Shouldn't everyone unite and coexist together and survive steadily in the ninja world? I wake you up this time because I want you to protect Kanoha while I'm away. Uchiha Tamaki had no sympathy for this man. Uchiha Madara and Senju Hashirama are both stubborn guys. One fantasizes about the beauty of Ninja Village, and the other fantasizes about the beauty of Infinite Tsukuyami, which is of no use at all. If you focus on growth and don't think about other things, as long as you are strong enough, safety will come naturally. Can the Uchiha boy who established Kanoha as a country be able to change it? Senju Hashirama did not answer, but asked his doubts. He had no intention of revenge. After all, Kanoha was not destroyed, but continued to survive in a different way. Strength is everything, and it cannot be changed by a country's ninja village. When you and Madara Uchiha were around, no one in the ninja world dared to provoke you. 
the two of you died one after another, and a war broke out. The reason why we established this country is because we don't want to continue working for the country of fire. The abilities of ninjas can not only be used in combat. For example, if we use wood escape to grow food, basically there will be no famine in this world. Production is the real use of ninjutsu. Using ninjutsu to fight and make money is so stupid. Uchiha Yugen said very ruthlessly. When the first generation was here, they planted trees and sold wood every day, and Kanoha is still not short of money. Use it to make money as a bodyguard for the Fire Nation? That's right. It seems a bit right. But what about something that can't be produced? Senju Hashirama's eyes widened, but he immediately became confused. Sell food to make money, buy it with money. If you don't sell, you won't give face. Isn't Kanoha's fist big enough to beat them? Uchiha Tamajin's words completely distorted Senju Hashirama's perception. Can it still be like this? But in that case, the war will still not be stopped, and many people will die. Senju Hashirama sighed, feeling that this was the only trouble. As long as all countries become one and everyone belongs to the same country, will there still be wars to fight? Uchiha Yugen said in surprise. Is this still possible? Minato was also stunned. He had been the village chief for many times, so he really hadn't thought about this kind of problem. But people will die if you do this. Senju Hashirama continued to argue forcefully. After you died, the war continued. How many people died? Since people are going to die, it's better to die this time than to die all the time in the future. Okay, that's all I have to say. You will protect Kanoha from now on. Don't be soft when you do it, otherwise more people will die. Uchiha Tamaki didn't want to continue to fool these two people. After saying this, he directly channeled a snake more than 10 meters long to come out, controlled it with Sharingan, then entered the snake's mouth, linked its chakra, and take it to Lomdi Cave yourself. Both sides are wrong. It mainly depends on whether it can be done. Uchiha Yugen said it is easier to do. The first generation thought that everyone has empathy, which is too outrageous. Anyone in this world would destroy Kanoha, but the first generation would never do it, so Uchiha Tamaki left with peace of mind. Moreover, the purpose of fooling them for so long was to allow them to continue working for Kanoha in this state. Uchiha Yugen planned to take the two of them to the sea when the time came, so that the world government could understand what the background was. The second generation has too many bad thoughts, so Uchiha Tamaki doesn't call him out now. He will be reincarnated into the dirty land to work when he starts working. The purpose of bringing out the first generation is to prevent Uchiha Madara, otherwise Uchiha's strength alone would be enough to run rampant in the ninja world. After all, the plot has been completely changed by me, and it is even more chaotic than the world of pirates. Who knows what trouble will happen. It's okay to be stable. Why don't you want to work for free? Are you the Yandame? Just now you said you died because you sealed the Kyubi. Is that thing so dangerous? The first generation watched Uchiha Yugen leave, and for a while he couldn't find anything to say to refute, and he felt that there was nothing wrong with what the other party said. Then he talked to Minato on the side about something that puzzled him just now. Aha! Uh -huh. Minato wanted to say that he died for love, and that he was the god of pure love. But I couldn't say it, so I admitted it. Chapter, 108 Finally, I have mastered the magic of immortality stably. In the dim cave, Uchiha Yugen looked at the appearance of his face through the pool of water on the ground. At this time, two small dragon horns grew on Uchiha Yugen's head, which appeared dark red. At the same time, purple eye shadow appeared on the edges of his eyes. This was the face of a fairy. After practicing for almost half a month, I was able to completely avoid the backlash of natural energy on the fifth day. The eternal kaleidoscope's control over chakra has been greatly improved. As long as the appropriate ratio is maintained and stable, it will be difficult to lose control. And then I was looking for the most perfect immortal mode state, because scales appeared on my body at the same time. Now there is only Ryukaku, which is Uchiha Yugen's most stable sage mode state. On the first day, the white snake sage still looked arrogant. 
After a few words, Ranbu was beaten by Uchiha Tamaki and became honest. The power in immortal mode should be comparable to that of the giants. The first generation cell improvement should be almost complete now. Let's go back and upgrade the samsara I first, and then decide how to do it well in the next step. Uchiha Yugen is prepared to maintain the sage mode for a long time to let his body adapt to this power, so that his body can accommodate more natural power. Orochimaru and Vinsmoke Gaji are competing with each other. They work almost all day and do research every day. Orochimaru is faster and has a semi-finished product, which is still far from being used by ordinary Uchiha clan. Far, but Uchiha Tamaki is enough. He directly took out the phone bug and contacted Kanoha, asking Minato to come and take him to teleport back. Can't you draw blood for us to test? Orochimaru and Vinsamakaji both stared at Uchiha Tamaki. Regarding the upgrade of Uchiha bloodline, Uchiha Yugen told both of them, so they knew that the next upgrade would be difficult to encounter, so they wanted to leave some evidence. Uchiha Tamaki looked at the two people. One tall guy showed a fake smile, and the other pervert did not hide his excitement. He was silent for a moment, considering the reliability of these two people. Fine. Finally agreed. Because Uchiha Yugen wants to try next to see if Itachi and the others can also upgrade to the Samsara Eye, which also requires enough data. Then the two of them drew a test tube of blood, and then Orochimaru personally injected Uchiha Tamaki with a pale white, almost transparent, modified version of the first generation cells. Fugaku and others were watching from the sidelines at this time. Uchiha Tamaki was really worried about Orochimaru. But fortunately, Orochimaru was very honest this time. After injecting the improved version of the first generation cells, Uchiha Yugen felt that his body was getting hot again, and his eyes were also a little hot and painful. But it is obvious that the chakra in his body is increasing and his strength is increasing. About half an hour passed and his eyes cooled down. Uchiha Tamaki felt the changes in his eyes and directly stimulated the power in them. The Mangekyo Sharingan directly transformed into the appearance of the Rinnegan, going round and round, giving it a breathtaking feeling. Same eyes as pain. Orochimaru said in surprise, seeing this he seemed to understand a lot of things. Uchiha Yugen did not tell Orochimaru about the conspiracy of the Akatsuki organization, he only told him the origin of the Uchiha clan's bloodline and the method of evolution. However, Vinsamakaji on the side was very stupid and drew another tube of blood from Uchiha Yugen. It's not a big problem. Uchiha Yugen stood up, feeling the changes in himself, and found that his body was much lighter. Then just close your eyes and absorb the power of nature. In less than a minute, immortal facial makeup appeared on Uchiha Yugen's face. No longer absorbing the power of nature, it can last for more than half an hour, which is much improved than before. Uchiha Yugen estimated. On the side, Orochimaru and Vinsamakaji were watching with eager eyes, wanting to dissect this man. Itachi comes first, then Captain Fugaku, and Shirsue Izumi U2 last. Uchiha Tamaki arranged it directly. Although the body still had some reactions at first, it was still much better than the original first generation cells. The order of injection is also arranged according to the strength of the blood vessels. Itachi sat down immediately. On the side, Orochimaru and Vinsamokagaji once again found a new target. They cooperated very tacitly and followed Uchiha Tamaki's routine, drawing blood, injecting first-generation cells, recording the data of the instrument, and then preparing to draw again. Blood. After waiting for the same half-hour, everyone found that Itachi's kaleidoscope had not changed, and many people were a little disappointed. I feel that my physical fitness has improved a lot, and the amount of chakra has almost doubled. At this level, I should be able to maintain a full Susano body for about 10 minutes. Also, I seem to be able to use wood escape. Itachi was not too disappointed, because Uchiha Yugen had told him about this in advance, and the chance of successfully upgrading to the Samsara Eye was too small. Then he opened his hand and a branch appeared directly from his palm. Record the data then change to Fugaku. The effect is similar to Itachi's, with improved physical fitness and chakra, and he also mastered the wood release. Then there was Shirsue, same thing. 
Finally, when I arrived at Uchiha Izumi, after injecting the first generation cell improvement model, a look of pain appeared on her face. This was the only such situation among all the injection recipients. Itachi immediately showed a worried look on his face, and Uchiha Tamaki felt that it was caused by the natural power carried by the first generation cells in the body. Uchiha directly stepped forward to hold Izumi's right hand and absorbed the power of nature. Uchiha Izumi's painful expression quickly eased. Half an hour is over. Kwanmei is in a similar situation to the previous three, and she can also use wood escape. Then I changed my position and went outside to test the wood escape ability. I found that Fugaku Shirsue Izumi and the other three were probably at the same level as Abito Yamato. They were incomparable to the first generation and were at a usable level. Fugaku's wood release is stronger, followed by Izumi, and Itachi's is the strongest, which is about as strong as the wood dragon jutsu. But cannot be used like Tree World Advent, because the chakra is not enough, so it can only be used in a small area. These data were recorded one by one. Orochimaru and Vinsamakaji felt like they had found a treasure and went back to study it. The improvement in effect is related to bloodline strength, and it is also related to qualifications. Shirsui's and Chuanmei's bloodlines should be on the same level, but Shirsui has no problem absorbing the first generation cells. It can adapt better to some of the natural forces in the body, but Chuanmei's is a little worse. Based on today's situation, Uchiha Yugen judged. Now this improved model is still not suitable for ordinary tribesmen to use. Although Abito started using it with two Magatama, it was by Zetsu's body, with Madara's help, and it took a long time to get used to it. I want to catch a tailed beast and give Itachi a try. Can I open the reincarnation eye? Or give him half of the QB directly? Uchiha Yugen considered this question. First resolve the risks in this world, and then concentrate on conquering the mission. The ninja world without threats can be managed slowly. Uchiha Yugen finally decided to go find trouble with Akatsuki and Abito first. Go directly and call all the troops to prepare for a surprise attack. Minato, Kakashi, and Hinata Hinashi. Teleport, catch Kakashi, who Abito must bring, and see through. He captured Abito and Black Zetsu at once, not giving them a chance to escape, and then he incorporated the Akatsuki organization and took them to the sea to grab territory. Chapter 109. It was Abito who attacked Kanoha. Minato and Kakashi were both frightened by Uchiha Tamaki's words. On the side, Hyuga Hizashi stayed silently, like a little transparent person. He still maintained the practice of the Hyuga clan in the past and just kept silent. Well, it's Abito. You should still be able to feel the coordinates of the flying thunder god left on his body, fourth generation. Uchiha Tamajin affirmed, and then asked Minato. It's a bit far away. If you get closer, you should be able to sense it accurately. Minato replied, but he was a little confused as to why Uchiha Tamaki knew about this, after all, he and that Uchiha were the only ones present at the time. At the same time, the flying thunder god's distance is also limited. In addition to consuming more chakra to move the distance, the second is to sense the coordinates. Is it really a Bito? Kakashi continued to ask, his eyes still full of disbelief. After all, thousands of people died as a result of the Ninetales Rebellion. Even Minato-sensei and Kushina-sensei both died in this incident. He couldn't believe that this was a Bito who wanted to become Hokage. Do. He was brainwashed by Uchiha Madara. Lin's death was controlled by Uchiha Madara, so that she died right in front of Abito and in your hands. This is also the reason why Lin suddenly bumped into Uchidori in the end, because she is being controlled. Their purpose is to execute a plan to draw everyone into the world of Genjutsu, and they need the support of the Tailed Beast Chakra. The purpose of this trip is to eliminate this threat. At the same time, Uchiha Madara is left to control Abito's backup, a special creature named Zetsu. Abito's time and space abilities, Yandame, you should be aware of. Kakashi, your Manjiki Sharingan can interfere with it. If he uses his time and space abilities to escape, you can use your kaleidoscope abilities to suck me into a different space. That's it. As for the Hyuga clan leader, 
you are responsible for locking the other creature named Black Zetsu on the field with your Byakugan. It looks like this. There is no need to fight, just lock him and don't leave your sight. Sure Sui, you are also responsible for dealing with this Black Zetsu. His ability is to possess someone else's body and control that person's body. Be careful. Uchiha Yugen answered Kakashi, but he didn't explain clearly, but these fragmentary outlines made everyone feel chills on their backs, and then at the same time he talked about the battle plan and arranged their tasks. As long as they fight head-on, Abito is definitely no match, so everything is planned based on the premise that Abito and Black Zetsu can escape. At the same time, Shursue, the fastest instantaneous technique, was added to capture Black Zetsu. If it's the masked man who attacked Kanoha that day, we really need to do it quickly if we want to catch him. Although Minato said this, his expression was somewhat ugly. He felt that what Uchiha Tamaki said was not false, and that the masked man might really be Abito. Thinking back on it at this time, he could even think that all the movements of the masked man were very similar to Abito. That's the plan, take action in half an hour. It's best if Abito can capture him alive, if not, kill him. This black Zetsu must be caught, we can't let him run away. Uchiha Tamaki emphasized. The value of Abito is that kaleidoscope. He and Abito are the same generation, and their relationship is okay, but not to the level of Kakashi. If the other party insists on running away, Uchiha Yugen will not let this guy go out and will kill him directly. After all, Abito's ability is really too abnormal, and it is difficult to solve it with just a kaleidoscope. The power of the three supreme laws is very troublesome. Don't you need to call the first generation? Minato asked confused. Let him farm well. Uchiha Yugen sighed, and then said. The last time he convinced the first generation, he told him that ninjutsu was best used for production, so he went to farm when he had nothing to do, and every day there were crops of rice ripened by Muduan. The granary is almost full, and production is still going on. I forgot to tell him about the unsaleable thing, but if you produce more food, just produce it. Anyway, you can sell it. It's better to keep such seniors as housekeepers. And the main thing to fight Abito is to be able to touch him. In a real fight, except for Kakashi and Hinata Hinata, Shursue Minato, including himself, can easily deal with him. Nagato has contacted Akatsuki members through the ring and started arranging tasks for them. But Kanoha is very stable. Many spies have been caught. It seems that the other party has not expanded and is only planning to stay in that small village and continue living. Abito was in a cave in the Land of Rain, having just returned from the Rain Ninja Village. Kirigakure is almost tired of playing with it, and is not ready to waste time on this matter anymore. Moreover, Kirigakure is almost in ruins, and tailed beasts are readily available. Iwayan Village and Yunin Village have already started to take action and have assembled many teams, ready to test it out. The alliance in Sand Hidden Village is also ready to move. The current fourth Kazakage is not very recognized by the people in the village, so he needs to do something to prove his ability. Ju also talked about the information he had collected these days. This kind of chaotic situation is my favorite, because it is best to fish in troubled waters at this time. Some things you do can easily be ignored by others, no one pays attention at all, and the blame may even be dumped on the wrong person. It hasn't been long since he resurrected his mother Kagaya, and he definitely thinks that he can succeed this time. Sunagakir village can be the first target. When the time comes, I will go there in person and reveal the blood ring eyes, which should make them think it was Uchiha. When the two sides go to war, Kumogakir village and Iwagakir village will definitely not just wait and see, you will definitely get involved, and when the time comes, Nagato and the others will be able to take action. Abito is preparing to provoke a war between Sunagakir village and Kanoha. Now that Uchiha is in charge of Kanoha, his eyes can be used to deceive many people. In doing so, he will not feel any guilt, because everyone will be able to see him in infinite Tsukuyami in the future. Now he is just predicting the pain he will experience in the future, and everyone will live in a pain-free future. In the world and Sunagakir village can also intervene openly and openly under the banner of revenge for Kanoha Hidden Village. Ju added. Both of them agreed very much with this idea. 
Before Abito could feel happy, he suddenly felt creepy and extremely dangerous appearing behind him. A black arm shot directly through his abdomen, near his right kidney. However, Abito finally activated the virtualization, and at the same time after the virtualization, he could not control himself and spit out a large mouthful of blood. At the same time, an almost invisible afterimage flashed past. It's really you, Abito. Kakashi looked at Abito with disappointment in his eyes. Only now did he believe that the person who caused the Ninetales rebellion was actually the boy who targeted the Hokage. It's a little crooked, otherwise it could take out the heart. Uchiha Tamajin shook off the injured blood and disarmed himself. The scene just now was a bit like the scene of Black Zetsu taking out the six-path kidney, because his arm was black. Minato's expression was also complicated, but he didn't say anything. On Shirsue's side, he cut off Zetsu's head with the domineering autumn water wrapped around him, and at the same time inserted the black half into the ground with autumn water. Hinata and Hayashi stood at the back, feeling a little redundant, so they remained silent. Chapter, 110 The field was quiet for a while, everyone looked at Abito, and Abito looked at everyone with a shocked expression. Everyone disperse. Earth Explosion Sky Star Uchiha Tamaki didn't talk nonsense here and directly asked everyone to disperse. He was going to use the Earth Explosion Star to seal Black Zetsu. His eyes directly turned into Samsara eyes, and then in the middle of his palms, a black sphere that looked extremely unstable and was constantly shaking with irregular edges was condensed. Abito, who was still furious, was stunned when he saw Uchiha Tamaki's eyes. Impossible, how can you have the reincarnation eye? Black Jew lost his voice. I saw the same face as Xiao Hei in Conan, only the facial features were distorted, and I couldn't believe what I was seeing. How could the reincarnation eye appear so easily? He has spent so many years trying so hard to make Uchiha Madara successful, why is there a new Rinnegan? But Uchiha Tamaki had no interest in reasoning with this little black guy. He made him kneel in front of him and cry. He pushed the Earth Blast Star forward, causing the ground in the surrounding cave to shake instantly. No. Heiju naturally knew what would happen if he was sucked into the Earth Explosion Star. The whole body instantly turned into black liquid, trying to escape, but giving up by Ju's body that was stuck on the ground by the autumn water and unable to escape, the whole body directly liquefied, trying to merge into the ground. But just as he fell to the ground, Uchiha Tamaki caught him. Black Zetsu was overjoyed. He quickly wanted to control this reckless Atsutsuki Hagoromo descendant. By occupying such a body, he could speed up the capture of the Jinchuriki. How come? Black Jew said in shock. Because he found that his body was tightly oppressed by an invisible force, making it impossible for him to continue to liquefy and cover this person's body. No, this person never touched his body from the beginning. I've been on guard against this move from you for a long time. Get out of here. Uchiha Tamajin grabbed the opponent with his palm wrapped with Overlord Colored Hockey. He and Black Zetsu were separated by the dual hockey of Overlord Colored and Armed Color Hockey, preventing Black Zetsu from directly touching his body skin. Abito the Six Paths was entangled by this thing, and there was nothing he could do. Uchiha Tamaki didn't think he was stronger than Abito the Six Paths now. Grabbing Heiju, he threw him directly towards the core of the Earth Burst Star, which had begun to emit a strong gravitational force to absorb everything around him. Heiju directly hit the absorbed gravel, desperately trying to break free, but there was no way, and he was kept floating. The raised stones were covered. Bang bang bang. At the same time, the cave began to disintegrate, causing landslides due to the gravitational pull. Minato took the others and left immediately. Uchiha Tamaki took away the autumn water and looked directly at Abito. Why, why is this happening? Abito was very puzzled. Which step was wrong? Why did Uchiha become like this and he didn't even know it? His dead teacher also appeared and even attacked him. Wasn't he supposed to be the one who instigated a war in the ninja world, then captured the Jinchuriki, synthesized the Tentails, became the Sage of Six Paths, used the infinite Tsukuyami, and changed the entire world? Lin is controlled by Uchiha Madara, just like the spell in your heart. 
he controlled Lin when Kakashi used Chidori. The ninjas of Kirigakure village did the same as you do now, controlling their man, everything is Uchiha Madara's conspiracy. You live in a world woven with facts. Stop it, Abito. Uchiha Yugen told Abito the key to Uchiha Madara's plan. Needless to say, Abito must have investigated and investigated over the years, but he couldn't find any clues at all. As long as the key is told, Abito will definitely be able to figure it out. Ahem. Impossible, it was obviously Kakashi, it was Kakashi who killed Lin. When Abito heard Uchiha Yugen's words, he couldn't control his body and coughed. He quickly covered it with his hands, but the blood still couldn't stop flowing. Although the wound on the abdomen is slowly recovering from the ability to absorb the first-generation cells, it can be said to be a fatal injury to others and cannot be recovered immediately. He raised his head and looked into Uchiha Tamaki's eyes, which were very depressed and desperate. He couldn't believe that all he had done to support his dream for the past eight years was actually helping Madara Uchiha, who killed Lin. He cannot accept this kind of thing. He can treat Nagato like that and weave false lies to make him believe that he will capture tailed beasts for you. Why can't he deceive you into working for him and watch over Nagato as a backup to ensure that the plan is implemented correctly? Uchiha Yugen asked rhetorically. Aren't you having fun playing Nagato here? You can only play with others like this, but others can't play with you. Hearing this, Abito's face turned pale uncontrollably. How could it be, how could it be like this? Abito could hardly stand still, he staggered and almost fell to the ground. But even in this situation, he did not stop his incorporation, and it was difficult for Uchiha Yugen to take action. The suction force of the Earth Burst Star ended, and an Earth Burst Star with a diameter of about 150 meters was formed in the sky. It was not very big, and Uchiha Tamakajin did not use all his strength. But sealing Black Zetsu is enough. What was originally a hillside about tens of meters high has now turned into a deep pit. Minato and others also came back directly after the situation stabilized. Abito, why did you treat Kushina sensei like that? Why did you attack the teacher? Kakashi's side also changed from uneasy and confused to angry. Questioning Abito about everything he has done over the years. I just want to resurrect Lin, make this world full of love, no more wars, and build a peaceful world. Abito murmured. Then his eyes became firm. Although he was cheated, as long as he completed the unlimited monthly reading plan, the result would still be good. Are you thinking about the unlimited monthly reading plan? That's a lie. It's unreasonable at first sight, and it's just a lie to a simple Uchiha like you, and to a simple Uchiha Madara. Everything you are doing now is just catching up with your predecessors and reaching the level of the Sage of Six Paths. Why do you think that the Sage of Six Paths does not implement this plan and does not want world peace? That's because the so-called Infinite Tsukuyami back then was destroyed by the Sage of Six Paths. This Infinite Tsukuyami was only used to enslave humans and turn them into that kind of monster called White Zetsu. Uchiha Tamaki looked at Abito's eyes and knew that this guy would not give up so easily, so he exposed it mercilessly. I always think that my wisdom will be better than those of my predecessors. But at least you can't say this until you are stronger than your predecessors. Impossible. How could Madara Uchiha be deceived? Abito denied, but his eyes that had just become firm became uneasy again. He was afraid that his last hope would be shattered like this. It's hopeless, let's kill him. Kakashi do it. Uchiha Yugen greeted Kakashi directly, preparing to deal with this pure love god of war. He felt that it was wrong for the second generation to imprison Uchiha in Kanoha to prevent Uchiha from being harmed. There should be a special class for Uchiha in the ninja school to prevent fraud. It would be best to install an Uchiha-specific anti-fraud app in Uchiha's mind. Chapter 111 Abito, it's still too late to turn back now. Minato's expression was complicated, but he still said these words. Minato-sensei. After hearing this, Abito finally couldn't help it anymore. Minato was the only one on the field who could move him if he said this. Because Abito also knew how unforgivable everything he had done was to Minato. If you feel sorry, 
work hard on your own to make up for the harm caused to everyone, to the family, to your teachers, and to your companions. If you don't want to live anymore, then use Nagato's eyes and use the reincarnation technique to resurrect the Yandane couple, together with Lin. I will recycle your eyes and use them to supplement the family's fighting power and make up for the trouble and distress you have caused to the family. Uchiha Tamaki said coldly. Now he has the Uchiha clan and all of Kanoha on his shoulders. He couldn't forgive such a person for no reason. He would have to pay the price for his betrayal. Why do you know so many things? Abito was very confused. It feels like everything has been seen through. Actually, my kaleidoscope ability is to be able to see fragments of the past and the future. For example, I saw that the Yandame saved Kushina before and carried her like a princess to flirt under the moon. Kakashi and Mataka were bigger than their dicks. The younger brother of the Hyuga clan leader was forced to do it in front of the third generation and others. Die voluntarily, Abito, you secretly kissed Yulin's photos, and Shursue was deceived and brainwashed by the third generation. Uchiha Yugen said with an expressionless expression. He knew that many people were wondering about this matter, so he could just overthrow the kaleidoscope's ability. Anyway, whatever I say is what it is, if you don't believe it, I'll throw you away. The venue was very quiet because many people were exposed to things that were not very similar to their true nature. Then all this is true. Uchiha Madara, me, Nagato, are all idiots. Abito started to lose control. He felt that what Uchiha Yugen said was true. If Uchiha Yugen knew that he thought so, he would definitely try his best to train Uchiha in preventing fraud. At this time, Uchiha Tamaki made a hand gesture towards Shursue. Shursue understood, his eyes turned into kaleidoscopes, and he directly met Abito's eyes. Abito was stunned. He felt that he was under an illusion. Before he could lift it, he felt that part of his vision was lost and there was severe pain in his eyes. Kakashi, you are really unreliable, but luckily we have plan B. Uchiha Tamaki said to Kakashi while putting Abito's Manjiki Sharingan into the prepared test tube. Because Abito's body is in another space, the Genjutsu Sharingan, a mental attack technique, needs to touch the body and is ineffective against the virtualized Abito. Other illusions released through the five senses can be used, but ordinary illusions cannot be effective on Abito, who has the Manjiku Sharingan. Only ninjas like Shursue who specialize in illusions can activate illusions on Abito through vision. It made him think that he was still using the virtual blur, but in fact it was lifted. However, this method can only be used in the ninja world, because the essence of Genjutsu is a ninjutsu that interferes with the chakra in other people's bodies and causes changes in the five senses to form an illusion. People on the sea don't have chakra, so they can only use mental power to forcefully impact their minds to form illusions and achieve the effect of illusions. The time for the deactivation cannot exceed five minutes. Uchiha Yugen can also wait, but there is still a certain chance that Abito will run away, so it is better to take action earlier. Kakashi was speechless. Abito, this is the real truth. Uchiha Tamaki directly uses powerful mental power to build an illusion world, and uses pictures to tell Abito the truth. Abito lost his kaleidoscope and was unable to resist Uchiha Yugen's mental power, and instantly fell into the spiritual world. Abito woke up about 30 seconds later, despair written all over his face. Unlimited monthly reading is fake. Sure sway, I leave this to you. If he uses his life to use samsara, then wait until I bring Nagato's eyes back. If you can't think about it, then level it up and take it back to the clan's grave for burial. I'll go out and recycle Uchiha Madara's Rinnegan. Uchiha Yugen is planning to go to Amigekure village nonstop to take away Nagato's eyes and see if he can recruit members of the Akatsuki organization to work for the rise of Uchiha. Then he used Susanoo's complete form and flew directly in the direction of Amigekure village. What am I here for? Hinata and Hizu were very embarrassed in the back and a little at a loss. He was the last backup plan. Abito and Black Zetsu were subdued immediately, so he couldn't use his clairvoyance to find people, so he could only stand and watch the show. Abito. Seeing Abito's miserable situation at this time, Minato felt very sad and started to talk and use his mouth to escape. 
Scorpion and Loquat Juzo have arrived. Kisame and Kakuzu should arrive in the evening. Only Orochimaru can't be contacted, and no one can be found in the Oto Ninja village. Conan raised his hand to catch the paper crane that flew back. After reading the information above, he reported to the skinny Nagato beside him. The chaos in the ninja world is the perfect opportunity for us to attack and capture the Jinchuriki. I hope I can complete the unlimited moon reading plan before my body can't hold it anymore. When Nagato spoke, he felt a little powerless and his voice sounded weak. The samsara I requires too much chakra. Even the physique of the Uzumaki clan cannot support this level of consumption, and can only rely on sacrificing life force to maintain it. Now with the help of Scorpion and the others, we can relieve a lot of pressure. You don't have to do everything by yourself. Conan looked at Nagato with distressed eyes. Nagato wanted to continue to hold on, but his eyes immediately became serious. There is an intruder. Very strong, chakra is huge. Nagato sensed the strength of Susanoo through the Rain Tiger Free technique released by Tendo. He was frightened by the huge amount of chakra. Is this a tailed beast? Quickly activate all six paths of pain and prepare to meet the enemy. So fast, someone discovered us and came over. On Xiaonan's side, she noticed someone approaching quickly at the edge of the tower. She didn't have time to be surprised. She continuously released a large amount of origami from her sleeves and rushed towards the approaching enemy. However, dark red chakra appeared on the opponent's body and wrapped around him. He rushed past his origami attack and came directly to Conan. Xiaonan almost didn't react. The opponent's speed was too fast, and he was approached by the enemy. Shenra Tianjing. When Nagato saw this scene, he was extremely panicked. He raised his hand and released the Shinra Tenjing, aiming it in the direction of Uchiha Yugen, compressing the coverage area. Just now, he only attacked Uchiha Yugen's position. But he found that the opponent directly raised his hand and opened it, and his Shinra Tenjing was forcefully received by the opponent. His samsara I could see clearly that there was an invisible gas that blocked the Shinra Tenjing, and the two forces collided. The roof of the iron tower was lifted directly, exposing it to the dim sky. If Nagato hadn't stopped in time, he would have been ejected by Shinra Tenjing's repulsive force. It's a pity that I can't use Shinra Tianjing now, otherwise I would have to fight you anyway. Uchiha Yugen said helplessly. Shinra Tianjing needs to master the changes in five attributes before he can use it, otherwise he wouldn't have used Overlord Color Haki to resist it just now. It is naturally impossible for an ordinary Shinra Tensei to eject Uchiha Yugen. Who are you with Samsara eyes? Why do you have these eyes? Conan took the opportunity and quickly retreated to Nagato. As soon as he opened his mouth to question, he saw Uchiha Tamaki's eyes that were almost the same as Nagato's and couldn't help but lost his voice. Nagato also showed doubts about himself. Did he feel that he had absorbed too much chakra, causing him to have hallucinations? I am a fraud prevention publicity specialist. Do you know that you have been fooled? Uchiha Tamaki looked at the two of them and said very seriously. Chapter, 112 But as soon as Uchiha Yugen finished speaking, all six of Pain's paths gathered and appeared around Uchiha Yugen. Stop saying those stupid things, who the hell are you? Although Nagato was shaken, his will was firm. The other party was now an intruder, that is, the enemy. Only Shaonan had something in mind when he heard what Uchiha Tamaki said about being deceived. I just said it once, but I don't want to say it directly now. Let's use illusion. Uchiha Yugen really couldn't explain his thoughts to these guys who had been deceived. Directly release the illusion to Conan, and tell her directly through the picture what Nagato Conan and the others were deceived. Nagato felt it as soon as his mental power was released. Seeing Conan standing there motionless, Nagato panicked. What did you do to Shaonan? Nagato's eyes widened, he could barely suppress his anger, and asked Uchiha Tamaki. This is his last spiritual support and nothing should happen to him. As soon as he finished speaking, Pain's six paths rushed towards Uchiha Tamaki, trying to catch him and ask him what was going on. Buzz. Calm down a little. If I take action, you are no match for me. 
Uchiha Tamaki directly released the Overlord's Haki, and the powerful impact of the momentum made Nagato wake up a little. The powerful perception of the Uzumaki clan made Nagato clearly feel how terrifying the opponent's aura was. Nagato, who was almost overwhelmed by anger, really calmed down. He took a closer look at Shaonan and found that Shaonan's vitality signs were normal and there was no chaos in her chakra. It didn't feel like she had been hit by an illusion. Who are you? When he spoke this time, Nagato's tone was much heavier. He originally thought that he should be the god of the ninja world, and no one would be his opponent. But facing this man whose aura alone intimidated him, he was unable to admit that he was a god. Uchiha Yugen, the leader of the Uchiha clan, should still be the number one in Kanoha kingdom, but he has not yet ascended the throne, so he is not considered a daimyo. Uchiha Tamaki introduced himself. Unlike dealing with Abido, he came this time to win over the Akatsuki organization. He has to be careful with his own people, but he is not polite when using these migrant workers. When you become the Yonko, how can you not have your own people and just rely on Doflamingo's black-hearted boss to arrange things? At least you have to give your subordinates some protection. Moreover, he has offended the world government. As long as he is at sea, the other party will not let him go. Naturally, he has to make more preparations and recruit enough people. Uchiha, why do you have the same eyes as me? This is an important basis to prove that he is the reincarnation of the immortal of six paths, but this basis appears in other people. It was like there were two imperial seals. In his opinion, Uchiha Tamaki's samsara I must be fake. Let her talk to you when she wakes up. Uchiha Yugen waved his hands, not interested in explaining anymore. Nagato clenched his fists, but still gave up questioning. Xiaonan's situation is more important at this time. If there is any problem, he will take action without hesitation. However, the worst-case scenario that Nagato expected did not occur. He saw that Conan's eyes were bright again and there was light again, and he finally breathed a sigh of relief. But he immediately became nervous again, because she saw a spoiled expression on Xiaonan's face, as if she was desperate. Nagato, you are not the reincarnation of the Sage of Six Paths. Everything was arranged by the man named Uchiha Madara. You are not the savior that teacher Jiraiya said. After Conan woke up, her face was complicated and she couldn't bear it, but she still told the cruel truth because she didn't want to see Nagato continue to be tortured by those eyes. She could tell that the facts she saw in the illusion were not false, but confirmed the suspicions she had always had in her mind. Why would an organization established by a small country be targeted by the demigods of the ninja world? It's obviously my own eyes, so why does it have such big side effects? All of this was put together and there were loopholes everywhere. It turned out that Nagato had been deceived by the lies he had spun from the beginning. Impossible, I am the savior of this world. These eyes are the eyes of the sage of six paths. I only have them because I am the reincarnation of the Sage of Six Paths. Teacher Jiraiya said that I am the Savior. When Nagato heard that Conan, the person closest to him, said this, he retorted a little angrily. Becoming a Savior and saving the world is the reason why he has persisted for so many years. If this is all false, then wouldn't his life be meaningless? Nagato, everything is a lie spun by the man named Uchiha Madara. Those eyes are his, used to deceive you and want you to be for him. Shut up, Shaonan. You were controlled by his illusion. It doesn't matter. As long as I defeat him, you will wake up. Nagato was a little irrational. Just like people who use beauty treatments and cannot accept their true appearance. He can't admit that he is not the savior now. Why do you think you are the savior? Uchiha Tamaki asked directly. Because I am God. Nagato answered without hesitation. It seems that I need to wake you up a little. Miss Shaonan, please stand a little away to avoid affecting you. Uchiha Tamaki nodded. After all, the opponent is now in the know. One position. If you are not convinced, there will be conflicts in the future. Let Nagato see what a real strong person is first, and then judge whether he is a god or not. The most important lie to deceive Nagato was that he spun most of it himself. 
After falling into despair, Yahiko's last words made him believe that he was the savior and that he would change the world. He took this as his belief and continued to perfect it. Thing. Madara Uchiha directly gave him a pen name, Jiraiya added the beginning, Yahiko gave him faith, and the rest was all Nagato's own fantasy. Abito just told Nagato that the infinite Tsukuyumi plan could maintain world peace. At the same time, he secretly did some things to make Nagato go down this path, such as killing all the first members of the Akatsuki organization and letting Nagato the door was completely plunged into darkness. God cannot be challenged. Nagato said very majestically. At the same time, take the lead in controlling pain and launch an attack. Shura Dao raised his hand, just like Frankie, and ejected his wrist, followed by a steel wire as thick as his thumb, preparing to grab Uchiha Yugen with his hand, pull him over, and use all the weapons in his body to love him Uchiha Yugen. But Uchiha Tamaki grabbed the steel wire behind his palm with his left hand, and pulled hard. The power of Shura Dao was no match for Uchiha Tamaki, and he was pulled over in an instant. Then Uchiha Tamaki used his domineering right hand to wrap around and forcefully it hit Shura Dao hard on the head, directly smashing the mechanical head into pieces. Psychic Art But at the same time, Zhu Xing Dao slapped his hands on the ground and summoned the Hell Dog and Chameleon. But before these two psychic beasts could take effect, all things heavenly in. Uchiha Tamaki raised his hand and released the 10,000 elements of heaven towards the Hell Realm, directly sucking the Hell Realm that was caught off guard and blowing its head open again. Impossible. Seeing the Vientian Tenin, Nagato said in shock and anger that he did not expect that the other party could really use the ability of the Samsara Eye. At the same time, the Heavenly Path, the Hungry Ghost Path, together with the Cerberus, rushed towards Uchiha Yugen again. As for his own body, he was held in the chameleon's mouth and directly hidden. After all, his body has little combat capability and is inconvenient to move. If attacked, it is difficult to resist. It is the only one of pain's six paths. Weakness. ZZ. But Uchiha Yugen did not stay there and wait for them to attack. Instead, he took the initiative and directly entered the Thunder Chakra mode. An afterimage flashed across Payne's many reincarnation eyes. So fast. Tian Dao couldn't help but make a sound. And Uchiha Yugen's Chidori had already cut off the head of the beast that had no time to dodge. However, the psychic beast did not disappear, because essentially all the chakra used by Payne belonged to Nagato, and as long as Nagato was still there, Cerberus would not disappear passively. At the sheer speed, your level of pain's reflexes simply cannot handle it. Uchiha Tamaki held the Chidori, glanced at the three remaining pains around him, and said very calmly. The first update, there are still about 10 monthly tickets left to reach 500. I happen to have a manuscript saved, so I updated the additional 500 monthly tickets in advance today. Chapter, 113 This is just the beginning. Tian Dao Pain said angrily. Hungry Ghost Road stepped forward, preparing to act as a human shield to attract Uchiha Tamaki's attention. The human world is right next to it, ready to deal real damage and attack the soul at any time. And Tian Dao stood at the back and used the all-seeing tension to attract Uchiha Yugen. How are you supposed to absorb a pure physical attack? Uchiha Yugen glanced at it, directly pulled out his sword Thunderstorm, and swung it with all his strength. This was a slash modified from Arashi's kick and used on the sword. An arc-shaped blue slash that was 50 meters long went straight to the direction of the hungry ghost path. If you can't see chakra, it's not a ninjutsu. Disperse. The samsara I can see the flow of chakra, but in this blue slash, he can't see it at all. I originally wanted to use the Shinra Tensei to fight, but remembering that when this Uchiha first appeared, he had to resist his Shinra Tensei. So he gave up the head-on confrontation and chose to dodge. All things are attracted by heaven. It was Uchiha Yushuan who first used the 10,000 elements, aiming at the human world. But at this time, Cerberus continued to launch attacks. The tower could not bear the weight and broke directly at the waist. Everyone fell directly to the ground of Yuin village. The direction of the suction force changed, and the human world was not sucked away immediately. 
Pain Tian Dao also used this move, and the suction force from both sides pulled the human being. They moved left and right, but neither side could pull the person over immediately. The Cerberus continued to rush towards Uchiha Tamaki. Genjutsu Sharingan Uchiha Yugen also felt a little irritated by the dog that was cutting more and more, and he directly began to compete with Pain for the control of the dog. Although he was contracted by Nagato, Uchiha Yugen's mental power and chakra are stronger. The Cerberus stopped moving instantly, then turned around and rushed towards the hungry ghost path. Impossible! Tian Dao lost his voice. In front of NTR, he controlled his psychic beast. In this regard, he used to control other people's psychic beasts, but today it was his turn. Nagato, who was hiding in the chameleon, seemed to have a bit of a mental breakdown. I am superior to you in terms of chakra and mental power, and I also have eye power that is more suitable for me. How can you fight me? Uchiha Yugen said very directly. At the same time, the chakra output was increased, and the 10,000 elements tension directly attracted the human world. The human world was also prepared, and the black stick in his hand directly stabbed Uchiha Yugen's chest. Clang! But the hard touch made people think that they had stabbed some iron clone. Why is it so hard? But there was no time for him to think too much. Uchiha Yugen directly crushed his head, and Nagato lost a visual image again. This is because the pure strength gap is too big. Pain can't display his ability at all, so he is solved. Just like meeting Uchiha Tamaki's devil fruit ability user on the sea, except for Blackbeard, whose weakness is difficult to restrain, anyone else who can be approached and cuffed with seafloor stone handcuffs is basically the same as pain. Just the same, I felt so aggrieved because my strength was obviously not shown. Hateful. This is impossible. I am the god of this world. Pain Tian Dao roared. Nagato, the hungry ghost on the side, lost control and directly hit all the chakra on Pain Tendo. Cerberus and Chameleon were automatically released because Nagato took back the chakra. At this time, he wants to attack with all his strength, defeat this guy, and let this guy know that he is the savior of this world. Tian Dao raised his hands, preparing to use Super Shinra Tensei. Nagato, if you use that jutsu, the entire Amagekure village will be destroyed, and your body will have a hard time withstanding this jutsu. Xiao Nan was anxious on the side. She could see clearly that the opponent's strength was almost overwhelming. In terms of speed and strength, even Pain's six paths could not match him. This made it difficult for her to imagine that this was the physical quality possessed by human beings, and four pains fell in just a few minutes. It can also be seen that the other party really does not have much malice. Otherwise, if he had attacked Nagato's body, Pain might not be able to react. This person is the biggest enemy that hinders us from completing the unlimited moon reading plan. He cannot feel our pain and easily denies the fate of others. I am the savior of this world. Nagato clasped his hands together and yelled angrily. Then the chakra from his body was quickly transferred to Pain Tian Dao through the black rod. His cheeks sunk downwards again, making him almost unrecognizable. And Tian Dao Pain is also gathering chakra, preparing to release it all at once. Do you think I will stand there motionless like those silly villains? Uchiha Yugen was speechless. Seeing Tian Dao accumulating power right in front of me, who are you looking down on and treating him as a fool? Uchiha Yugen rushed directly towards Pain Tian Dao. Tian Dao frowned and could only give up accumulating chakra. Shinra Tenjing. The repulsive force, which was several times more powerful than the ordinary Shinra Tensei, hit Uchiha Tamaki. Susano. The dark red Susano appeared directly, holding a shield covered in armed hockey, and directly took the Shinra Tensei move. The repulsive force spread in two directions up, down, left, and right, directly shattering the ground and breaking into pieces. At the same time, the dark clouds in the sky were also knocked out by the impact, making a big hole, exposing the sun. You could dodge, but avoid damaging Yuin village too much and causing too many casualties. After all, Uchiha Tamaki has already planned to let the ninjas from Amagekure village work for Kanoha. The five seconds during which Shinra Tianjin cools down is your flaw. 
Before Tian Dao could prepare his next attack, Uchiha Tamaki had already rushed to his side. At this time, Uchiha Tamaki's speed has almost reached the speed of the fourth rakage, because these are all achieved by the bonus of physical fitness and pure level improvement. The speed of Tian Dao is naturally incomparable. Without the technique of Shinra Tensei, Tian Dao cannot compete with Uchiha Yugen's physical skills. Hungry Ghost Path Uchiha Yugen grabbed Tian Dao's neck and absorbed the chakra in Tian Dao's body without any scruples. This is the suppression of chakra by the reincarnation eye, which is instinctive. Kabuo struggled and used his hands to attack Uchiha Tamaki with gangs, but no matter where he hit, he could see a black substance appearing at the location of his attack. The black rod pierced it and was unable to pierce it. The black rod even broke under his force. By the time the Shinra Tensei had cooled down and was ready to use it again, there was not much chakra left. And Uchiha Tamaki also used his samsara eye to lock the position of the black rod on Tendo's body that was used to receive Nagato's chakra, and easily gave it to him. Pull out and directly make Nagato lose control of the last pain. I am the savior, how could I lose? Nagato couldn't believe that the gap in strength between the two sides was really so big. He felt that he still had a lot of abilities that he had not released yet, so why was he defeated by the opponent like this? Because my strength is superior to yours. Susano. As Uchiha Tamaki spoke, he used Susano with all his strength to make this man who was obsessed with the world he constructed and become a god wake up a little. The more than 200 meter dark red Gundam Susano appeared directly in Amagekure village. It was more than twice as tall as the tallest iron tower built in Amagekure village. Is this the real way to use the Samsara eye? Nagato looked confused, looking at this huge Susanoo, even a god might not be able to defeat such a huge collection of chakra. Nagato. Let's give up. Conan's eyes were firm and she spoke seriously to Nagato. She didn't want Nagato to continue to waste his life like this and do things that had no results at all. And this is a lie to deceive them. It's not worth paying your life for this. Chapter 114 what was that figure just now? Kakuzu frowned. He felt a little familiar. He seemed to have experienced this feeling before. At this time, he was standing outside Yuin village, standing with Xie. The leader was attacked, but the figure disappeared quickly. He must have been defeated by the leader. Furthermore, Xiaonan's detonating talisman didn't sound. It seems that the enemy's ability is a strange illusion. The Red Sand Scorpion analyzed calmly. He somewhat hates the weather in Yuin village, because the humidity can easily cause the metal joints of the puppets to go wrong, and can also cause the wooden puppets to become moldy, so he doesn't come here very often. He would not come here if Sister Xiaonan hadn't called. The gathering place of the Akatsuki organization was near Yuin village and was not inside. However, there was a movement just now and they had to come in to investigate. Just go over and take a look and you'll find out. Lokwa Chuzang appeared from the darkness and said directly. After saying that, he lurked towards the rain-hidden village. He was still very confident in his assassination skills, and he also liked hard steel. He was the first macho man in the ninja world to use a weapon to chop off the tailed beast. Let's go and take a look. Scorpion didn't care and just followed after him. Only Kakuzu was uneasy but he felt that he could not show cowardice in front of the members who later joined the Akatsuki organization. So I followed him. Yeah, 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 it's so interesting. Kisame emerged from the pool formed by the rain, showed a kind smile, and followed behind the three of them. So, this is my plan. Let the ninja world become a community with a shared future. If everyone is in one country, there will definitely be no war. On Uchiha Yugen's side, he began to provide cultural output to new employees before joining, so that they can understand the great dream of this company. The next step should have been to lower their wages to obtain higher profits for the company. However, these two people in front of them are really willing to work for their dreams without any salary, which makes Uchiha Tamaki feel embarrassed to continue talking. I see, if something like this could be done, the world would indeed have fewer wars. Nagato calmed down and was still very rational. I feel like there is nothing wrong with this dream. 
who is beating his own people. Now I think back on how unreliable it was when I said that I would become a god and let everyone feel pain. It turns out that this is professionalism and this is the reasonable solution. Can Nagato's body still recover? Xiao Nan, on the other hand, is more concerned about Nagato's health. She didn't really care about peace or anything like that, but more about supporting the two boys who had protected her since childhood. After taking away the Rinnegan, the Uzumaki clan's physical fitness should be able to recover. However, according to Nagato's current body, too much life force has been consumed. His feet cannot return to their original shape, and their lifespan will be shortened, probably for a lifetime. We'll spend time in a wheelchair. But. After Uchiha Yugen finished speaking, he took a moment to adjust. Xiao Nan is very concerned about Nagato's situation. Although she can see what the other party may have, she can't care so much at this time. Nothing. Conan asked. Kanoha is currently researching the technology of body restoration. Nagato's current situation is very suitable for him to be a research subject, but this technology is highly confidential in Kanoha. If you join Kanoha, this technology will naturally be open to you. Uchiha Yugen said. The technology mentioned is naturally the first generation of cells, and Nagato's physique should be able to adapt to it. If not, let Orochimaru and Vinsamo Kagaji continue to study it. Later, I could give Naruto another arm, and it was no problem to give Nagato two legs. If your wish is world peace, then I am willing to work hard for this and join Kanoha. Nagato said seriously. No, world peace is only part of my goal. I want everyone to live a prosperous life, not just world peace. Uchiha Yugen shook his head, and then said seriously. To deceive people, it is better to set a higher and bigger goal. I am short-sighted, then let me join Kanoha and add strength to this dream. Nagato nodded, thinking that the goal mentioned by Uchiha Tamaki was better. Then very decisively, he chose to join Kanoha. Since the dream he had always wanted to stick to was wrong, now that he encountered a new dream, he would naturally not give up. Xiao Nan was also relieved, but she was still wary of Uchiha Tamaki, feeling that he was too nice. If Nagato is taken back for research or something, she will take him and escape. Hey, the leader is down. Xiao Nan is in danger if she is with someone she has never seen before. When Lokwat Juzo came to the scene, he saw a piece of debris and noticed the three people in the center. One of them was very weird, like a scorpion, sitting among the puppets. At the same time, he was a little panicked when he saw the leader of the Akatsuki organization, Pain Tian Dao, lying motionless on the ground. He quickly called people to get everyone ready to fight. Kakuzu and Xia also appeared from behind, and the three of them looked at the three people in the middle with some confusion. The most important thing is that they only know Xiao Nan, but Xiao Nan is not restrained and does not look like he is fighting, which seems strange to them. Everyone, I am Pain's true form, called Nagato. From today on, the leader of the Akatsuki organization will be Uchiha Tamekian, the leader of the Kanoha kingdom and the leader of the Uchiha clan. Nagato spoke quickly to prevent everyone from starting a fight directly. Change the leader. This kind of thing should be decided by the members together. Lokwat Juzong was carrying a beheading sword to express his dissatisfaction. If he has that kind of talent, I can approve of it. Xie frowned, but it was not to change the leader, but to look at the puppet Nagato was sitting on, and felt that there was no sense of artistry at all, and it was a bit too ugly. The two of them did not doubt Nagato's words, because the other person's eyes were the same as Payne's. The most important thing was that Conan stood there. Xie was invited by Xiao Nan to join, and he admired Xiao Nan more than Payne. So Xiao Nan didn't have any objections, and he didn't have much objections either. With the change of leader, will our goals also change? Only Kakuzu asked seriously. The big goal has not changed. We still want to achieve world peace, but the way we do it has changed. Unify all the countries into one country, and then there will be no war. Nagato nodded, and then explained seriously. Ha ha ha, interesting. Kisame climbed up from the water again, showing an excited look. The other three people also showed more or less surprised expressions. 
After all, unifying the entire ninja world is not an easy task. This is even more difficult to achieve than the previous goal. Do you want to defeat the five major villages with just these people? No, we are now the four major villages. Do we want to use Kanoha to compete with the four major villages? An old man like Kakuzu, who was older than Kanoha, expressed deep doubts about this plan and felt that it was almost impossible to succeed. Unifying the entire world does not require your fighting power, but your help in other aspects. You are too weak. Uchiha Tamaki had a kind smile on his face, and his words were very direct. But these words immediately angered several people in Kakuzu. Looks like you've been underestimated. Lokwat Juzang said a little unhappy. This statement also made the other three people very unhappy, and they looked at Uchiha Yugen with dissatisfaction. If you beat me, I will let you be the leader. For example, Scorpion, you can let everyone help you make your art puppets. Kakuzu, let everyone help you make money. How about that? Uchiha Yugen said seductively to several people. These are all rebellious people. If they are not taught a lesson, they will not be obedient in the future. In the eyes of these technicians, only those with better skills than them will be recognized by them. Chapter 115 It's interesting, let's give it a try. Hearing what Uchiha Yugen said, Xia was very interested. If the members of the Akatsuki organization can help him realize his dream of art, maybe he can really find eternal art. You mean, you have to face five of us at once? Kakuzu asked seriously. He naturally has ambitions for the position of leader, and it would be best if he could get it and let everyone help him make money. Hey, why didn't you tell us? Kisame was a little dissatisfied here, but mostly angry. Because he felt that he was with the bigger boss, Uchiha Madara, so no matter what he did, it was just for fun. Those who come from Kirigakure village don't seem to have big dreams. If so, let's talk about it after you defeat me. Uchiha Tamajin's words made the two people from Kirigakure village feel uncomfortable. For against one, that's right. Before Kakuzu took action, he checked in advance. If it was one-on-one, -on -one, he really didn't have much confidence. After all, being able to make the current leader give up his position was not a simple role. But when it came to four-on-one, -on -one, he felt that the other party was looking down on them too much. Well, of course it's four against one. Whoever has the greatest credit for defeating me will be the new leader. Uchiha Yugen nodded, confirming this, and at the same time gave them encouraging looks. The few people watching felt uncomfortable. This was really looking down on them. Then don't blame us for overpowering the enemy with numbers. People like Lokwat Juzang can't bear it anymore. He has such a bad temper, but he is an assassin. After saying that, he took the lead in picking up the beheading sword and rushed towards Uchiha Tamaki. The other three people have no intention of holding back. If they die, they can only blame this person for being too arrogant. The strength seems to be a little weak. Uchiha Tamajin used his right hand covered with armament and hockey to gently hold the decapitating sword that was slashing at him. Under the shocked eyes of Lokwat Juzo, with a little force, the beheading sword broke. What? Lokwat Shizanghan was almost scared out of his wits, there was actually someone who could do this. After Lokwat Juzo's attack, Kisame was immediately followed by wielding the Munin Shinobi sword Samahata. Also caught by Uchiha Tamaki with one hand, Kisame tried to absorb Uchiha Tamaki's chakra through his muscles, but found that the one who absorbed the chakra was actually himself. Kisame Kisaki tried to pull the Samahata muscle back, but it was as if the Samahata muscle had grown on this person's body and couldn't be pulled out at all. Immediately afterwards, Uchiha Tamaki held the decapitating sword and Samahata and slammed the two of them together. What followed were the ninjutsu released by Scorpion and Kakuzu, namely the poisonous Sinban and the thunder-released pseudo-darkness. Susanu appeared directly and blocked all the attacks of the two men, without threatening Uchiha Tamaki in the slightest. Next, let's have fun fighting. Uchiha Tamaki clasped his fists, preparing to give the new employees a bit of power so that they would not challenge him in the future. The four people who challenged also felt tremendous pressure at this time. Although the battle had not really started yet, the situation just now was enough to put them under tremendous pressure. 
the battle has just begun. Even though Kakuzu said this, he already had the idea of running away. Scorpion also took out the puppet of the third Kazakage from the scroll and wanted to fight seriously. There were only two people who were playing with knives at close range. They were beaten and felt pain all over their bodies, but it also aroused their anger and wanted to give this new leader a good look. Buzz. But when Uchiha Tamaki exuded overlord-like domineering energy and covered the four of them, their expressions suddenly changed. I feel like I've been fooled. Since I won, then I will be the leader of the Akatsuki organization. Everyone pack up and prepare to go back to Kanoha with me. Uchiha Yugen moved his arms and felt that the strength of the blows of several people was not bad, and he could relax his body a little. The four members of the Akatsuki organization all fell to the ground, their chakra almost exhausted. Uchiha Tamajin also deliberately reduced their losses, otherwise the third Kazakage's puppet, two ninja swords, and Kakuzu's heart would have been destroyed by them no matter what. Who said yes? Kakuzu felt that his chakra was being sucked and he couldn't stand still. Sia kept silent, but looked at his puppet with some distress. Although it was not smashed, it was cracked in many places, which made it even more uncomfortable to repair it. Nagato, please find a suitable person to manage this place in Amigakure village. You shouldn't be able to come back for a while. Uchiha Tamaki then said to Nagato. After Nagato loses his samsara eye, he can use it as a kage level power with a little training. As long as he learns the Vajra blockade of the Uzumaki clan from Kushina, as well as other sealing techniques, plus the changes in species attributes that he has mastered, his strength will be close to that of Sarutobi Hiruzen at his peak. Understood, chief. Nagato nodded. This is a ninja village that was finally brought under control. There is no way we can just let it go. In addition to the formal members of the Akatsuki organization, there are still many peripheral members. Letting them manage Yuin village in a short period of time will not be a big problem. Take a day to clean up, and then I'll have someone come and take us away. Uchiha Yugen continued. There is not enough energy to manage the rain-hidden village side now. Kanoha is still developing, and it is the same as Germa 66. Let them maintain the status quo first and make plans later. The four people in the Akatsuki organization who were beaten down silently cleaned themselves up without any other nonsense. They felt that the goal mentioned by the new leader this time seemed to be more reliable than that of the previous leader. The other party really had the strength to unify the ninja world. Kakuzu felt that he had the same feeling as when he threw a kunai at the first Hokage from 800 miles away. It was like this at that time, and the momentum alone forced him back. The aura exuded by this leader was stronger than the pressure the first Hokage put on him back then. Is he Uchiha Madara himself? As for Kisame, he was still wondering whether the guy named Uchiha Madara could be this person. After all, the Uchiha Madara he saw always wore a mask. Scorpion and Loquat Juzo are just depressed. Because Yuin village was affected by the overlord's hockey, few people were still awake, so many people only knew that there was an invasion, but they were defeated by Conan, the messenger of God. One night is enough to arrange most things, and in Yuin village, as long as several countries don't fight, they basically won't have much trouble. As for the other four members of the Akatsuki organization, they are all singles and have no wealth at all. The next day, Uchiha Tamaki contacted Fugaku through phone calls, and Minato was directly arranged there. Uchiha Tamaki brought a flying thunder god Kanai with him, so Minato was able to lock the position easily. The group was taken directly to Kanoha. This kind of movement in time and space made a few people a little uncomfortable. After arriving in Kanoha, their eyes were attracted to this town that was much more prosperous than Kanoha. After all, even if they are powerful, it would be difficult for them to sneak into Kanoha. Nagato is coming with me for treatment. You guys will follow my shadow clones. I will arrange a place for you to stay first, and then I will arrange what you do. Follow the rules here and don't mess around. There are many people here who are stronger than you. Uchiha Yugen made arrangements for several people. The next time is very busy. In addition to recruiting people, we also need to practice and master the changes in the five attributes and properties, and learn the Shinra Tianjin. 
Really? Lo Kua Chuzong questioned. Many people better than them. They are all well known in the ninja world, but not everyone can deal with them. That person just now is the fourth Hokage, I shouldn't have much problem defeating you. Scorpion said calmly. Oh. Seeing this, Lo Kua Chuzong didn't say much. Chapter 116 Nagato was taken to Orochimaru and Vinsamo Kagaji's research room, while telling them about Nagato's situation. Orochimaru was surprised that Uchiha Tamaki actually poached the leader of the Akatsuki organization, and the reason why the other party's samsara I turned out to be this way. At the same time, Nagato and Conan looked a little unhappy when they saw Orochimaru's face, because they didn't expect to ask you not to come to the meeting. It turned out that you had already jumped to Konoha, right? First take off his Rinnegan and replace it with this ordinary Sharingan. At the same time, draw his blood and study the degree of integration between the first generation cells and his cells to see if his cells will be engulfed. If not, the current first generation cells can be used for him. If he is swallowed, you will continue to improve the first generation cells and find a way to use the first generation cells to make a pair of legs for him. Uchiha Yugen arranged it very directly. The Uchiha clan has some reserves of the three Magatama Sharingan. Generally, when the three Magatama dies, one of the clan members will be left behind. After all, the technique of Izanagi has not been lost to Uchiha. These Sharingans are kept just in case for those who use Izanagi to become blind. This samsara I. Orochimaru and Vinsamakaji both wanted to stay. Stop dreaming. This is the highest bloodline of the Uchiha clan. I will seal it and leave it to the right people. Shaonan, during this period, stay with Nagato if you have nothing to do to prevent these two people from causing problems these researchers will create surprises for you from time to time. In front of the two new people, Uchiha Tamaki also spoke unceremoniously. It doesn't matter to Orochimaru and Vinsamakaji, since it has been said many times. I see. Shaonan nodded seriously and looked at the two of them warily. Then the eye replacement surgery began, this time performed by Orochimaru. When the reincarnation eye was taken off, Shaonan clenched her hands nervously, fearing that this was also a scam. But seeing Nagato's face, after the Rinnegan was removed, it gradually returned to Rosie, and his skin even became elastic. This made her finally believe that these eyes were the culprit that caused Nagato to become like this ghost. The next step was to replace the Sharingan eye. The process was very smooth. When the eye was replaced, Orochimaru found that the eyeball actually responded. The body adapted to the eye very quickly. The bodies of the Uzumaki clan do have extremely strong vitality and resilience. Orochimaru exclaimed. It was also the first time for Vince Makjiaji to see this kind of thing. He felt that only the strong resilience possessed by the animal system after awakening could be in this situation. When Nagato arrived in the ward, Uchiha Tamajin left. Shaonan carefully left a large number of her origami in the ward. She wanted to guard Nagato here every inch while he recovered. I didn't dare to forget what I told Uchiha Yugen to be careful about those two guys. How is it going? Uchiha Tamaki asked Shirsue about Abito. Abito wants to die. He feels that he is not qualified to continue living in this world and is willing to use the reincarnation technique. However, neither the Yandame nor Kakashi Senpai want Abito to die. Now they are in a stalemate and Abito is imprisoned in prison. Shirsue said simply. Seeing Abito like this, he realized why Uchiha Tamaki always said that the Uchiha clan was always easily fooled. He felt that the world seemed to be targeting Uchiha. Leave it to him. Anyway, our goal has been accomplished. After all, he belongs to the Uchiha clan. If not, he can just wait for death in prison for the rest of his life. This will torture him even more. Uchiha Tamaki didn't force it either. After all, it is not certain whether the Rinnison used by Abito can definitely resurrect so many people. After all, when Nagato used it, those people in Kanoha had just died. Resurrecting a large number of people, I feel that Abito's current strength may not be enough. And the significance of resurrecting Minato is not that great. Isn't he still working for Kanoha now? Also, 
Senior Metkai came back and captured the invading San Ninjiraya and Tsunade at the same time. However, the other party voluntarily gave up resistance because they gave up the attack after the first generation appeared. Jisui nodded. The Abito matter was too complicated. None of the parties involved had any opinions. Naturally, he had nothing to say. At the same time, he introduced the important characters who had appeared in the past few days. Well, I'm begging you these days. The other four major villages have some illusions. Before going back to the sea, let them calm down a little and understand the gap in strength to avoid a war. Uchiha Yugen finally said. Nearly six months have passed since the two-year mission, and the system mission is still the top priority. Good. Shirsui responded. He kept Uchiha Tamaki's words in his mind, strength is everything. Now he has seen the effect. He is very satisfied with the current situation of Kanoha. It is normal to produce the products himself instead of ninjas going out to fight and make money. This way of survival is normal. He felt that the way the ninja village survived in the past was deformed. Relying on the country of fire, the resources within Kanoha could not satisfy all the families, so the third generation and others took action against the families within Kanoha to find ways to obtain more resources. When Uchiha Tamaki found Kai, Kai was cleaning his home. Yushuan. You are here. Seeing Uchiha Tamaki, Met Kai looked very complicated. After Kakashi was imprisoned, he became a little disappointed with the village, and was eventually sent to the front line and did not come back for a long time. When he learned that Kanoha Hidden Village was disbanded and Uchiha took charge of Kanoha and established Kanoha as a country, he thought about not coming back, but finally came. Why are you so depressed? Isn't it great that Kanoha is like this now? Being able to be self-sufficient without fighting is still a bit troublesome, but it's much better than before when I was coerced by the Fire Nation and had to do things. Among Uchiha Tamaki's contemporaries, the person with the best relationship was Metkai. Only Metkai treated Uchiha Tamaki without reservation. When Uchiha Tamaki wanted to learn the Eight Gates, the other party taught him directly. Therefore, Uchiha Tamaki's relationship with Metkai has risen to an almost brotherly relationship. That's true. I see that everyone doesn't have much pressure to prove that what you are doing is not wrong. But, as a ninja, what should I do next? Metkai smiled and nodded, then said a little confused. If you don't fight, what can you do? He thought about it for a long time and found that he couldn't find his passion at all in other jobs. So boring. Then become the strongest man with the reputation of being the strongest fighter. Kai, the world of Taijutsu is far from limitless. Look, this is a move called armed color hockey. It can increase defense and destructive power. Once used, it can double the power of Taijutsu. Also, Kai, do you know where the Uchiha went after leaving Kanoha? New world. Most of the world is a world where physical fighting is used. In that world, there are the strongest swordsmen, but there are no strongest fighters yet. I think you can do it. Uchiha Tamaki said to Metkai seriously. If Metkai stopped continuing his pursuit of Taijutsu because of Kanoha's current situation, Uchiha Tamaki would feel guilty. The others were recruited to work for Uchiha, only Metkai, and Uchiha Tamaki hoped that he could fulfill his dream. I believe you, Yushuan. In that case, let me become the strongest fighter in that world. I will never stop spending my passionate youth. Hearing Uchiha Tamaki's words, Metkai was moved, and he felt the other party's concern for him. He once again showed off his white teeth that could be used as a toothpaste advertisement, and showed a bright smile. Chapter, 117 Jiraiya was somewhat helpless about the current situation in Kanoha. Regarding the death of the third generation, he could only go to the remains of the Saratobi clan to pay homage. As for Tsunade, she spends money gambling with Senju Hashirama every year. When she saw Senju Hashirama, Tsunade cried. After all, she was the leader of the Senju clan at the time, and the Senju clan also completely declined in her hands. The four members of the Akatsuki organization were fishing because there was nothing for them to do. Lokwat Juzo and Kisame were still a little bored and wanted to find someone to show their strength, and then Itachi appeared. 
the two of them fought directly at the training ground all afternoon. When they woke up, they realized that they had been under an illusion. They were both covered in cold sweat, and they never had such thoughts again. Sia was very honest and kept playing with his puppet. It's just that when I saw Kakashi, I couldn't help but want to kill him. Kakuzu was already completely Buddhist. When he saw the man planting rice outside the village, he gave up the idea of running away and stayed silently in Kanoha. If the other party really wanted to kill him, then he would also I couldn't run away, so I lay down flat. Among the four, Uchiha Yugen was the first to find Scorpion. How does it feel to be in Kanoha? When it comes to technical talents, Uchiha Tamaki is quite polite. The weather is much better than in the rain country, but there are a lot of materials here, but you can't do it, which is a bit boring. Scorpio said very directly. He knew that he couldn't beat Uchiha Yugen, so he was very honest in Kanoha. Do you want your art to be known to more people and recognized by more people? Uchiha Yugen didn't prepare so much foreplay, and went straight to the topic. What does the leader want me to do? Sia's face was very calm. He didn't believe in pie in the sky things. The father of puppet machine technology in the ninja world, how about this title? Uchiha Yugen raised his finger and read out the title directly. Hearing this title, Sia's expression finally fluctuated. At this time, he had only transformed his limbs into puppets. Only one heart was left in the later stages, so his head was still normal. I want you to teach the technology of puppets, such as gears, transmissions, and chains. It is not used to fight, but to help ordinary people improve their lives. Look at the technologies used now. They are all too ordinary. I think that as the strongest puppet master in the ninja world, you are absolutely capable of changing everything. Isn't it? Technology that can withstand high-intensity battles with wooden puppets and ninjas is enough to make a lot of difference. Although Uchiha Tamaki didn't understand, it was obvious that when Xia looked at him with disdain, he knew that what he said might not be good. It means that I can teach students to learn the technology of puppets and use them to improve production machines and other objects, right? Scorpio summed it up and then said. Well, the techniques you teach will be woven into teaching materials, and your name will always be written on the teaching materials. Even if the technology is updated in the future, the teaching materials will also be changed, but the name of this technology that was first spread to everyone is Red Sand. Scorpions are always there. This is also timeless art. Also, these technologies will be patented, and their use will give you money. You can use the money to buy new materials, improve your puppets, and make money without fighting. Uchiha Tamaki said seriously. It is very important to improve productivity and meet the growing needs of the people in the ninja world. Make a deal. Scorpio agreed decisively. When he heard about eternal art, he was attracted by it. It was just a matter of making money. And this thing sounds very interesting. Let everyone in the ninja world learn puppetry. Will everyone use this in battles in the future? Such a world seems very interesting. Done. Uchiha Yugen said silently in his heart. Scorpion's puppet technology is really useful. At that time, the super assembly line established by the ninjas will be directly involved in all the factories in the ninja world. You went too far in the first generation. The trees in the distance began to wither. Uchiha Tamaki then came to see the first generation. Standing in mid-air, you can see that the leaves about 10 kilometers away from Kanoha are actually turning yellow, while the leaves close to Kanoha are normal and still green. Uchiha Yugen quickly guessed what was going on. It was probably because the land was not fertile enough. The first generation used Senjutsu to absorb the power of nature to improve it, and continued planting, resulting in insufficient natural power around it. These natural forces did not disappear, but all turned into piles of rice. Oh, the current leader of the Uchiha clan, you are here. The first generation was very happy when he saw Uchiha Tamaki. He found that farming in this way and providing endless food for future generations was particularly fulfilling. Because villagers kept expressing their gratitude to the first generation, which made him very happy. Shogame, we can't go on like this. The surrounding environment has changed because of your planting. 
the current food is probably enough to feed nearly 100,000 people in Kanoha for more than 10 years. Uchiha Yugen looked at this hardworking man and naturally couldn't express any words of blame. Is this enough? I feel like it would be better to keep it for a hundred years. The first generation said with some unfinished meaning. Although Hui Mu Dun has been here for many years, he has never farmed. This feeling of harvesting every day makes him a little addicted to it. The surrounding environment will become barren from now on. If you still want to do something, how about doing something else? Look, Kanoha will be the capital of the entire ninja world in the future, and everyone will come here to worship. Have you ever been to the capital of the country of fire? I think Kanoha should at least be bigger than it. Why don't you repair the roads and houses when you have nothing to do? How about building a 10-kilometer radius around Kanoha? From now on, we will be called Kanoha Second Ring. It's a good name. Uchiha Tamaki guides the first generation. Now let the first generation do it, and Kanoha will be left with a lot of trouble in the future. Yamato comes with three bedrooms and one living room. In the first generation, at least the whole villa is available. It is not a problem to complete dozens of units at one time. Building a house. I can do this too. Hearing what Uchiha Tamaki said, the first generation recalled that when he went to the capital of the Land of Fire in his own time, the city was really big, and it was not comparable to Kanoha now. Thinking of Kanoha becoming the capital of the entire ninja world in the future, it really needs to be more prosperous. Then I'm sorry to trouble you. For such migrant workers, Uchiha Tamaki respected him and called him by his honorific title. You brat, how could you let my grandfather do such a thing? He is the founder of Kanoha and the first Hokage. Tsunade, who had been watching for a long time, couldn't help it anymore. Good guy, even Joe Poppy is not so picky, he is just doing his job in vain. It's okay, Tsunade. I'll be happy if this can help Kanoha. Senju Hashirama waved his hand to signal his granddaughter not to be angry. He didn't care much about this. He felt good if he could help this village. Yes, so he will build the house. People who live in this house in the future will remember that this is a house built by the founder of Kanoha, and they will definitely be very moved. Uchiha nodded, then said perfunctorily. When Tsunade heard this, she wanted to hit someone. Brumaru. But suddenly the phone bug in his arms rang. Uchiha Yugen ignored Tsunade and answered the phone bug. Both Senju Hashirama and Tsunade looked at this strange psychic beast curiously, and were startled when they saw the phone bug talking. Chief, there are thousands of ninjas in the three five major villages. They are on the border of the fire country and may be invaded at any time. Fugaku said very briefly. I am coming over now. After Uchiha Yugen finished speaking, he hung up the phone bug. Master Uchiha, do you need my help? Shodai asked. If he needs to fight, he won't back down. No, we juniors can still solve such small things. Uchiha Yugen feels that it is better for you to build a house here, and you should do the hard work yourself. After saying that, Uchiha Tamaki ran away to prevent the first generation from going back on his word. The money from selling this piece of real estate would be enough for Kanoha to spend a while. Chapter 118 Sunagakir village is led by Kazakage Raza. There are about 1,300 ninjas. They appear openly and have almost no intention of hiding anything. There are about 1,000 people in Iwagakir village, led by the elite Jown and Huang Tuesday. The Yunin village is led by Rekage AI. There are 2,000 people in total, and they are also the largest group. Fugaku informed Uchiha Tamaki of the news from the frontline Uchiha ninjas, and pointed out the locations of the three ninja villages. They are respectively on the border of the Kingdom of Sichuan, the Kingdom of Grass and the Kingdom of Iron, close to the Kingdom of Fire. If it were in the past, Fugaku would definitely be very worried. After all, battles involving thousands of people were only a handful in the ninja war. But after experiencing the battle at the top and the battle involving 100,000 marines, I didn't pay too much attention to the actions of the three villages this time. The most important thing is that it is still far away from Kanoha. 
This time the opponent's goal may be that the three countries' daimyo join forces in private to prepare to carve up the territory of the Land of Fire. However, a large number of manpower was still left in case other countries would take the opportunity to make a sneak attack, especially the Kingdom of Thunder and the Kingdom of Earth, who were old enemies. Okay, leave it to me next. As for the Scarlet Sand Scorpion, arrange a professional teacher for him to assist him in teaching the techniques of puppetry, and at the same time create teaching materials. For the rest, just continue to develop as I said before. This situation should make it clear to many wealthy people from the Fire Nation that it is the safest place. They may come to Kanoha. The first generation is building a house outside Kanoha now. When the time comes, we will sell those houses to them at double the price. Just use the Sharingan to spy on the innermost feelings of the house. Uchiha Yugen nodded, and then continued to make arrangements. Uchiha Yugen discussed with Fugaku how to develop Kanoha in the past. In addition to imitating the current situation of the fire country, the other is to liberalize ninjutsu and educate knowledge, and at the same time encourage business, production, etc. And find ways to change the situation from ninjutsu to ninja. The village transforms into a normal city. But he didn't have time to do this. He just told Fugaku what to do and asked him to work hard. Okay. Fugaku nodded. He felt very fulfilled every day. Even after using the first generation cells, he still felt tired every day and felt that his body was hollowed out. Don't you need my help? Minato brought Uchiha Tamekian to the border of the Land of Fire and offered to help. These days, he basically helps Uchiha Tamaki in travels around the ninja world. The rest of the time he spends most of his time with his children and his wife. There was just no sense of touch, which made him very helpless. It's a small scene, I can handle it alone. Uchiha Yugen waved his hand. The first one I chose was Kumogakure. This village was the most arrogant in the ninja world. It had harassed Kanoha several times, and Sarutobi Hiruzen even bowed his head. This tone cannot be tolerated. I'm right by the side, helping you at any time. Minato thought for a while, but still didn't leave. After all, there was only one person, and he felt that no matter how strong Uchiha Yugen was, he would not be able to fight 2,000 people. Uchiha Tamaki nodded, and there was no need to take another taxi after finishing the taxi. Directly enter the immortal mode and activate the thunder escape cell activity. Then the whole person galloped quickly on the almost barren ground of the Iron Country. Minato was behind him, and he kept catching up in a blink of an eye, feeling a very repulsive force. Lord Rakage, there is a powerful chakra approaching at an extremely fast speed. Nozomi, the sentient ninja of Hidden Cloud Village, said to the fourth Rakage with a shocked look on his face. This perceived target moved extremely fast, and in his perception, it was almost exactly the same as the fourth generation Rakage's extreme speed. Extremely fast speed. In that direction. The fourth Rakage had a look of disdain on his face when he heard this description. In the ninja world, he only lost to the fourth Hokage in a short distance, but over 100 meters, he was definitely faster. Southwest direction, will be there in one minute. She emphasized. Then let me see what kind of character he is. The fourth Rakage took off his shadow hat, clenched his fists, and directly entered the Thunder Release Chakra mode, which is also the Thunder Armor mode. Then he directly smashed through the camping tent and rushed in the direction she said. Nozomi closed his eyes and felt carefully. He felt that Lord Rakage's chakra was not as strong as the other parties, which made him feel a little uneasy. Gather people and go over to help. She wants to shake people directly. Want to confront me head on? Uchiha Yugen is also very excited. After upgrading his physique and learning the sage mode, he has not yet encountered a taijutsu type opponent. Those in the Akatsuki organization wanted to be tricked into working for him, so how could he possibly hurt them? This time Uchiha Tamajin would not hold back. Buzz. The right hand is directly wrapped with armed color hockey and overlord color hockey. He doesn't even use Chidori, he just uses his fists to bully people. That direction. The fourth rakage also locked onto Uchiha Tamaki's position because he saw a line of dust spreading in the distance, approaching from his own side. 
Seeing this formation, I was somewhat excited. Thunder Chakra Mode, Maximum. He is also prepared to deal with this enemy who does not know who he is. He felt the aura of the same kind, and there was electric arc beating, but he didn't think he would lose. In less than two seconds, the two of them saw each other. The fourth generation rakage was not deterred and directly raised his right hand, thunder release, thunder plow hot knife. A technique that can exert maximum power through the speed bonus, the arc of electricity beats wildly on the arm. Uchiha Yugen also raised his right hand with black and red arcs flashing. When the two were about to get close, they both jumped slightly and hit each other's head with their fists, but their fists collided. The moment of collision lasted almost only zero. Zero zero one seconds. The two passed directly across each other. There was shock in the eyes of the fourth rakage. His right hand collided with the opponent and was directly shattered. Even the other party controlled the power and did not affect his body. Otherwise, his whole body would be beaten to pieces by the other party. After he stopped, he used thunder release to electrocute his right shoulder to prevent further bleeding. That clan emblem is Uchiha. The fourth rakage was trembling all over. He had never imagined that he would lose so miserably. He had experienced losing before, but in this situation, he had never thought about how vulnerable he was. Invade the Fire Nation and die. Uchiha Tamaki stopped, turned around and looked at the fourth rakage who was about a hundred meters away from him, and said very coldly. If Yinin village had such strength, he would be more ruthless than himself, and he would not be lenient. The fourth rakage didn't say anything, he just stood there stiffly. He didn't know what to say. The other party's strange eyeballs made him feel terrified. Lord Rakage. In less than half a minute, the ninjas from Yunin village also arrived. More than a dozen umbu appeared next to the fourth rakage in an instant. When they saw the injuries of the fourth rakage, they all showed shocked expressions. It was obvious that they did not expect that their own Kage would lose their lives in such a short period of time. An arm. You are from Kanoha country. What we have to deal with is only fire country. It will not cause any trouble to Kanoha country. When the fourth rakage saw someone coming, he felt somewhat relieved from the pressure on his body. He finally plucked up the courage and spoke. The original plan was that the territory of the fire country would belong to his family, and he wanted Kanoha's property. But now it seems that I am afraid that I am dreaming. No. Uchiha Yugen coldly refused. Hearing this answer, the fourth rakage felt a little unhappy, but he couldn't stand up. Since Uchiha used Kanoha to establish a country, he should not interfere in the affairs of the fire country. And this time it's not the kingdom of thunder, but the kingdom of earth. If the kingdom of wind joins forces, even Kanoha will have a hard time resisting it, won't it? The fourth rakage couldn't be strong-willed because he couldn't defeat others, but he directly took issue with his accomplices. I have a lot of people, so don't be arrogant and wait for me to call people. More and more Kumoyan village ninjas appeared around. Nozomi felt very panicked. She sensed that her rakage and the other party's chakra were getting closer, but since the other party was still there, she knew there was a problem and started shaking people wildly. Use numbers to overwhelm me. That's it. Uchiha Tamaki glanced at the eagle-eyed ninjas around him, his pupils shrank, and his domineering aura spread instantly, spreading for several kilometers around him. The ninjas who rushed to help their own rakage fell down one after another like grass being cut. The fourth rakage was shocked by this momentum, and his pupils were locked on Uchiha Tamaki. He couldn't believe that this was what humans could achieve. Chapter 119 The fourth rakage froze, his eyes unable to hide the fear. This was the first time he felt like this. Even when facing the power of heaven and thunder falling, he was not afraid. But this time, he felt the irresistible aura of this man. If it exceeds this line, then I will go to the kingdom of thunder to see whether you rob or I kill faster. Uchiha Tamajin said as he released an arc of electricity from his palm. It passed directly by the fourth rakage, and the impact of the movement carved a shallow ravine on the ground, and finally hit a hillside about two kilometers away. Boom! Mushroom clouds rose into the sky. 
The light of the explosion shone on the faces of the few people still awake on the field. I originally wanted to use Shinra Tenjin, which is so domineering, but there are still two attribute changes that I haven't mastered yet. So I can only use Thunder Release to do this, and there is no skill, even Chakra Multipurpose, which is powerful enough. The fourth rakage felt extremely angry, but also very powerless. At this moment, he didn't even have the courage to refute, and in the end he watched the other party leave in front of him. Hateful. Incompetent and furious, he could only accumulate strength in the end and stepped on the ground, causing the ground to break apart. At this time, he felt the same helpless despair as when he saw Achiha Madara's true power, with no chance of winning at all. The aura alone made him afraid to take action. Wait for me here. I'll be back soon. Achiha Tamaki said to the fourth generation who brought him to the border of grass country. I didn't kill these people because I hoped that after the ninja world is unified in the future, there will be more ninjas who can work. After all, training them does not take a while. The ninja world is equivalent to private land, so exercise some restraint. Looking at the back of Uchiha Tamaki leaving, Minato felt that what the young man said to the fourth generation at that time seemed to be true. When he felt the overbearing aura at the border of the Kingdom of Iron, he was very shocked. He had never thought that Uchiha Yugen could reach such a level. About a few minutes later, Minato saw the huge Susanoo appear, shaking the mountains for a while, and it didn't last for a few minutes. The Susanoo disappeared after a few minutes, and then the same terrifying momentum came again, covering the entire place. On the battlefield, Uchiha Yugen returned soon. The country of Sichuan. Uchiha Tamajin said to Minato. Without the appearance of Chaukage, the strength of the ninja world cannot be compared with that of the sea. Now Uchiha Tamaki's hardware configuration is not much worse than that of Kudo Madara, but his strength is definitely not comparable, because the opponent has more combat experience than Uchiha Tamaki. To put it simply, his rank is higher. This aspect still requires practice, but this configuration is enough to crush the current ninja world. What the hell is this? Luo Sha has just condensed a large amount of gold sand here, and is ready to let this Uchiha know the power of Sunagakir village. His head kept raising his head, looking at the dark red chakra that appeared from Uchiha Tamaki's body, pushing him too high. Finally, the gold sand he had condensed together was not even as high as Susanoo's knees. Magnetic escape. Golden sand waves. Luo Sha clasped his hands together and pumped out all his chakra. Even so, he couldn't just retreat like this. Maybe it was just a shadow and there was no fight at all. A large amount of gold sand gathered together behind him, like huge waves hitting the shore, and the waves rushed directly towards Uchiha Tamaki in midair. But Luo Sha watched helplessly as the gold sand he had condensed, like rags, was split into two by Susanoo's more than 120 meter long laser sword. In the end, the tip of the sword stopped less than half a meter in front of him. Gudong. Luo Sha swallowed her saliva, her eyelids kept beating, as if she had a cramp. The ninjas of Sunagakir village behind him also looked desperate when they saw this scene, and some couldn't believe that this world really had such power. Afterwards, the same routine followed, the overlord's domineering energy burst out, and the miscellaneous soldiers were cleared away, leaving only a few people standing on the field. Be honest, just stay in your own territory and wait to mix with me in the future. If you are not afraid of death, just keep going. Uchiha Yugen gave a warning and left directly. Luo Sha, like the fourth rakage and Lus, didn't dare to say anything. The pressure is too much. It basically didn't take much time to shock the three ninja villages. Not even a single person was killed because there was no need. There is no Abito in the Kirigakur village to control the fourth Mizuka Jigura. He also wakes up and knows what he has done during this time. He almost collapsed. There is still energy in the Kirigakur village to take action against the Land of Fire. After returning, he took Minato with him to the Grass Ninja village and rescued Xiang Rin. Minato also killed many people on his side. Uchiha Yugen did not persuade him. As long as the war continues, this kind of thing will be inevitable. He will not have too much kindness towards other people, and his own people will be too busy. 
it is more important to find ways to cultivate Uchiha's anti-fraud capabilities. The three major villages were forced to retreat in one day. This news quickly spread throughout the ninja world. Soon a man appeared in Kanoha who was as powerful as Madara Uchiha. However, they did not dare to continue to attack the land of fire. Without accurate information, I would not dare to come again. The ninja world is basically stable. I have to practice quickly and return to the sea to do my mission. Uchiha Tamaki is ready to start further training to master the remaining attribute changes of earth style and wind style. After possessing the samsara eye, there will be no attribute defects, but it will take some time to practice. After mastering the Shinra Tensei, Uchiha Yugen was ready to go. But this time, I have to bring my subordinates who actually do the work. The four members of the Akatsuki organization and Metkai, who was preparing to become the strongest fighter, were all arranged by Uchiha Tamaki to let them practice armed hockey together with Rob Luchi and other CP9S, while Rob Luchi and the others were working with the Akatsuki organization. One learns ninjutsu. During the time they came here, they had already mastered the basics, and they could learn faster by actually fighting with these high-level ninjas. Nagato's body was very adapted to the first-generation cells, so he received an injection directly. Both feet were operated on at the same time, and he began to recover. At the same time, he and Keiru learned the sealing techniques of the Uzumaki clan from Kushina to strengthen their own strength. Shusui and Itachi were sent to Richi Cave by Uchiha Yugen to practice immortal arts. Originally, Fugaku wanted to go together, but he objected, thinking that the current strength was enough, and management also needed people, so he couldn't do without him. There is a big gap in Izumi's strength. Although she is already a genius among Uchiha, she is still far behind the level of Shusui and Itachi, so she was not sent to practice Senjutsu, but continued to develop the burning technique to strengthen her strength. Uchiha Tamakajin chose to use the Ien Nine Tails in Minato's body because if his Atsutsuki bloodline wanted to take a further step, he would need a lot of chakra to activate it. Rather than dispersing it into other people's bodies and improving some of their strength, it is better to strengthen your own, the highest end strength, to stay ahead of the level. Nearly two months later, Uchiha Yugen mastered the five attribute changes and was finally able to use the Shinra Tensei. The training of the others has basically been completed. Armed hockey is not difficult for the four members of the Akatsuki organization. After all, their qualifications are no worse than Rob Luchi's. Immortal magic is not difficult for Shursui and Itachi, and the speed of their practice is even faster than that of Uchiha Yugen. Pack up and leave tomorrow. Uchiha Tamaki can no longer bear it anymore and wants to go to the world government to cause trouble. It's too cold in Guangdong. After working for a while, you have to put your hands in your pockets to warm them up. Too difficult. Chapter, 120. A New World. Minato hesitated. He was invited by Uchiha Yugen to go to the world of One Piece, but now that his wife is hot on the bed and his son is there, he doesn't want to leave. It's interesting. Although I probably knew it, I didn't expect there to be so many powerful guys. Senju Hashirama was quite interested. He has almost finished repairing the second ring of Kanoha. Basically, as long as he doesn't want to rest, he can keep repairing. Uchiha Tamaki explained to him that he wanted to obtain materials from another world to strengthen Kanoha. There was no such thing as the Holy Mother on Senju Hashirama's side of other worlds, and he heard Uchiha Tamagun describe the chaos there. They he was a good person in the past. Grandpa, you. Tsunade was speechless on the side. She wanted to say that Grandpa should return to the underworld as soon as possible, but she couldn't say the words. She always felt that her grandfather was prostituted for nothing, which made her very uncomfortable. I didn't expect you would invite me there. I thought you would reject me as a third-generation disciple. Jiraiya was a little confused on his side. He didn't overturn Uchiha's idea. The most important thing was that the other party was doing well, even better than Kanoha before. He naturally had no reason to overturn it, and he didn't have the ability to overturn it. It's very chaotic over there. It's not mainly for you to fight. It's more appropriate to have your own people to help deal with some things. Uchiha Tamaki said straightly. This time Izumi and Fugaku were not allowed to go, 
and Itachi wanted to stay to look after the house, so Uchiha had only Shirsui to follow. Xiao organized all four people to go. Originally, Xia was supposed to stay, but he wanted to go over and have a look, and then come back to continue his education career. Metkai was trained in the past, and Nagato has almost recovered, but Xiaonan hopes that he will stay in Kanoha and study with Fugaku instead of fighting, and is still hesitating. If I can be of any help, then go take a look. You can come back at any time, right? On Jiraiya's side, Minato also heard Minato's description, regarding Uchiha Tamaki's strength, there was absolutely no need for the opponent to do such tricks if he wanted to kill him. So he was not afraid that Uchiha Tamaki was going to trick him into a different world and kill him. At the same time, as a novelist, he was naturally very curious about the different world and wanted to see it. During the trip, he thought it was okay to help Uchiha Tamaki with some work. Let's start in an hour. If you want to come, come to the Uchiha clan. Uchiha Yugen nodded, and he didn't force it. Originally, he was planning to bring the second generation of Jintu, but now that his combat power was overflowing, he did not choose to release him. After all, this guy didn't have much affection for Uchiha. In addition, the first generation really dedicated his life to Kanoha and died. The second ring of Kanoha was so big that he was really embarrassed to reincarnate in the dirt and control his younger brother's work in front of the first generation. When it was time to leave, almost everyone was here. Minato said that he could help look after the house, but because he had to spend time with his children, he gave up the idea of going to another world. The four members of the Akatsuki organization, including Kai, Orochimaru and Vinsamakaji, were also going. Shirsue, Shodai, Jiraiya, and Tsunade also followed. Shizun was left behind to help in the hospital, but she was paid. Nagato and Konan decided to take a look first, because Uchiha Yugen promised them that they could come back at any time. Including the CP9 group and Uchiha Tamaki, there are only so many people in total. Then let's go. Uchiha Tamajin opened the portal to the world of One Piece through the system and walked in first. Shirsue, CP9 and others immediately followed. A few people in the Akatsuki organization were a little defensive, but they did not run away and followed. Only Orochimaru and Vince Mokgaji looked at this portal with great interest and wanted to dismantle it. The last time Vince Mokgaji came over, they both regretted not looking more at it. Look. The first generation followed with Tsunade and Jiraiya, and Conan and Nagato entered last. Wow. After passing through the portal, Conan and Tsunade both exclaimed. Because they couldn't help but be attracted by the beautiful Fishman Island. Other people who came here for the first time were also surprised. Looking at the mermaid and fishman, they couldn't help but be stunned. Big Prince, those people are here again. But at this time, the members of the Neptune army saw Uchiha Tamaki, recognized him immediately, and shouted in panic. Master Uchiha, didn't you say that we came here to do good things and deal with some evil pirates? Senju Hashirama said with some doubts. Well, maybe I was too rough with them when I came here last time. It's okay now, we'll reconcile. Uchiha Tamaki said calmly. On the side, Shirsue glanced at Uchiha Tamaki in surprise, but said nothing. He felt that Uchiha Yugen was very powerful and had reached the stage where he could deceive others without changing his face. He was worthy of being the leader of the Uchiha clan. Kakuzu looked at the crystal clear beads everywhere and felt a little moved. He felt that these things would be money if he took them back to the ninja world. How dare you come back? The world government almost destroyed Fishman Island. If it hadn't paid a large sum of money in compensation, Fishman Island would have been gone. The eldest prince Shark Star held the trident and looked at Uchiha Tamaki angrily. Isn't this Fishman Island? And where do you think the sea kings who protect Fishman Island come from? I was prepared when I left. If the navy takes action, I will show up to deal with them. Uchiha Yugen explained seriously. Then as soon as he finished speaking, he used the Genjutsu Sharingan to control Shark Star. He appeared during these days, but he didn't pay attention to the specific situation here. He didn't know what happened in the four months after he left. Shark Star must have been watching the news. Although the ship couldn't come in, 
the phone bug could still contact the outside world. Therefore, using mental power to directly read Shark Star's memory, Shark Star is unable to resist at all. At the same time, the strength gap is huge, and it will not have much impact on Shark Star. After Shark Star woke up, he found that he was being charged again, and he couldn't help but said in shock and anger. Did the Shichibukai get disbanded because of me? Doflamingo's kingdom of Dress Rosa is still gone. I asked him to come to me a long time ago. After reading the information, Uchiha Tamaki was a little surprised. The only major incident was that the position of King Shichibukai was abolished by the world government because of him. Perhaps it was because one of the four emperors was missing, and he was still the strongest of the group. In addition, Uchiha Tamakian, who was a Shichibukai, had done such an egregious thing, so this position was naturally erased. All the Shichibukai returned to their identities as pirates and had a lot of fun at sea. This time we won't continue to cause trouble to Fishman Island. We are leaving. Say hello to your sister. I will come and play with her when I have time. After Uchiha Yugen finished speaking, he called on the others to follow him. When Shark Star heard what Bai Xing said, he was so angry that he wanted to stab this guy to death with his trident. As Uchiha Tamaki walked away, he took out his phone bug and chose to contact Doflamingo. Shark Star didn't have much information about Doflamingo in his memory. He only knew that this guy was expelled from Dress Rosa. Who is it? Doflamingo's voice came over the phone, sounding a little tired. It's me. Uchiha Tamaki replied. You guy, you're not dead yet. How dare you call me? You've caused me so much misery, you bastard. Doflamingo recognized Uchiha Tamaki's voice. He was so angry that he stood up from the sofa and cursed directly. A good king was gone and was forced to wander on the sea. The identity of the Shichibukai is gone, also because of this guy. He also said that he and the Tianlong people are relatives, and they are the most ruthless relatives. If he hadn't given all the artificial devil fruits to Kaido in exchange for protection, he would have died long ago. It's all because of this guy. It's all my fault for being greedy, otherwise how could I have been fooled by this big bee? Really cold. Chapter, 121 Don't be angry, I'll come back to help you get revenge this time. I have brought back many powerful helpers this time. The four emperors will definitely be fine this time. For Doflamingo, Uchiha Tamaki really felt sorry. Although this person is not very good, the way he is now is indeed caused by himself, which makes him somewhat embarrassed. Moreover, this world also needs someone to take responsibility. Doflamingo is indeed a suitable candidate. He is ruthless and will never show mercy, even to his own relatives. As long as you suppress him firmly, then he can only work for you honestly. This kind of person is very good at playing by chance. Hee <laughs> hee. Will I still believe you? Doflamingo took a deep breath and scoffed. If you believe again, you will be shabby. When have I ever lied to you? Before I ran away, didn't I tell you to collect my things first? When I come back this time, I will complete what I promised you and become the four emperors. The position of deputy will still be left to you. Uchiha Yugen said seriously. I'm not cheating, I'm just trying to trick you. Porphyrin. The phone bug hung up, and Doflamingo didn't want to be fooled again. Uchiha Yugen shrugged, put away the phone bug, and found that there was something slightly wrong with the way the first generation looked at him. More and more Neptune troops were surrounding them, but Uchiha Tamaki didn't dare to take action at all, he was scared. Scorpion and Orochimaru really want to dismantle the bodies of two fishmen or mermaids to see what the differences are in their structures. One wants to become a puppet, and the other wants to study the different functions of the body. Let's go to the sea first and find a place to stay. Uchiha Yugen said. Then, under the watch of the Sea King army, he left the fishman island directly and entered the vacuum bubble layer. Wood release. Then put your hands together and use wood release. The wood rose from the soil on the seabed, and then created an unsealed hole similar to that of a submarine, covering everyone on the scene. Then Mu Dun directly pushed the submarine out of the bubble layer and into the sea. The submarine surfaced quickly. 
really gone. Shark Star was prepared to risk his life, but he didn't expect these people to actually leave. This surprised him. As for the submarine, it surfaced directly in less than 10 minutes. Uchiha Tamaki once again used wood release to turn the submarine into a ship of tens of meters, but without sails. Psychic Art Uchiha Yugen used psychic skills to channel the Neptune type that he had contracted with before. Then use wood release to tie a ship to it, and then use Sharingan to control it and start swimming. Is this a psychic beast from this world? Orochimaru looked at the Neptune swimming fast in the sea with great interest. It is a creature in the sea of this world, and it is also a kind of world overlord. The longest one is more than 5,000 meters, and it is powerful enough to destroy a small island. Uchiha Yugen nodded and then said. What an interesting world. On the first generation side, he discovered the Red Earth continent in the distance, almost invisible to the edge, so he kept looking at it. Several people in Zhao's organization were somewhat excited, wanting to quickly show off their power in this world and let them know how powerful they were. Rob Luchi and others have already trained them. Only the first generation Tsunade Jiraiya and the three of them are not very clear about the situation in this world. The next target is a country, but it's actually not as big as Kanoha. The name is Dressrosa. I am going to take him down. This matter is not very troublesome. What is troublesome is that he will be pursued by the government of this world. It is also the government force of all daimyo in the ninja world. But basically I don't need your help in the battle. Just abide by the rules. If there are enemies, you can deal with them as you wish. That's all. Uchiha Tamaki was on the deck and explained a little bit about what was to be done next. With his current strength, he is no longer afraid of the siege of the three navy generals, so he needs to find a piece of territory to defend first. Waiting for people to challenge you to appear continuously, and beating these people until they dare not show their faces for a month, then your mission of becoming the Yonko will be completed. If you say you want Dress Rosa, then you want Dress Rosa, no kidding. When I heard that he was not as old as Kanoha, the people on the field basically didn't have much interest. Scorpion and Orochimaru were both eager to find some materials. One wanted to replenish his puppet library, and the other wanted to dissect the body and obtain more data. The two who were born in Kirigakure village just wanted to experience the feeling of fighting against the strong men in this world. Kakuzu is already preparing to receive the wealth of the country dress Rosa, because Uchiha Yugen told him that his main job is to be responsible for the property, and he does not need to take action in the battle. This Neptune-like creature is almost twice as big as when Uchiha Tamaki made the contract. I don't know if it's because of the chakra. The speed was very fast, and with the boat, it took almost less than a day to reach the vicinity of Dressrosa. The ship immediately disintegrated, the channeling was released, and everyone stepped on the water towards the island, including Rob Lucci and others. They all learned the skills of treading water and climbing. It would definitely be a great improvement for their fighting. Dress Rosa is not big, the real land area is not much larger than Kanoha. I went ashore and found a random person. After reading the memory, I found that the new king was the former King Riku. Doflamingo was not driven away forcefully, but more like a deal was made and Doflamingo was let go. Brother Ming. The residents of the island who were turned into toys have returned to their original state, but under the island, the black market arms are still being produced. It seems that Doflamingo's life was not too miserable. The guilt in Uchiha Yugen's heart was slightly reduced. Is that person the eye of blood? It seems to be him. Oops, leave quickly, the navy will come and kill you. As soon as he reached a crowded street, someone recognized Uchiha Tamaki and ran away with panic on his face. Master Uchiha, you don't seem like a good person here. Senju Hashirama asked seriously this time. The people from the world government captured three of my Uchiha clan members, and I killed three of their celestial dragons, the daimyo, so I am being hunted now. Uchiha Tamaki explained briefly. Three tribesmen, you killed three famous names. Tsunade said a little shocked. At this time, I felt a little regretful. If I had been so tough back then, my teacher wouldn't have allowed so many people from the Senju clan to die. 
Hearing that this was the reason, Senju Hashirama nodded and recognized Uchiha Tamaki. I think this generation of Uchiha leaders seems to be very good. Other members of the Akatsuki organization also feel that this leader is reliable. If you follow such a big boss, you won't be easily abandoned. My people cannot be bullied casually. Next, let's take over this country and announce my return. Uchiha Tamaki moved his body. He had been on the boat for too long and his body was a little stiff. Then he walked towards the palace of Dressrosa. A group of people were walking on the streets of Dressrosa, ignoring the panic around them and looking around at this exotic style. Thinking about what kind of enemy we will face next. Chapter 122 King Riku clenched his fists with a look of reluctance on his face as he watched Uchiha Tamaki enter his castle openly. After finally making a comeback, Another guy similar to Doflamingo came, which made him very uncomfortable. What do you think of my proposal? One is similar to the approach of the beast's pirates. Uchiha will be stationed in this country, but the management rights will still belong to you. The other one is like the big mom pirates, the Uchiha will manage the country by themselves. Uchiha Yugen said to King Riku calmly. The king said that he was really a good person, but he was not much better than that. The arena in this country was not built by Doflamingo, who liked to watch people fight. Call him bad, but compared to other countries, he seems like a good guy. He doesn't hesitate to bow to pirates in order to survive the country. The world government is hunting you now. If you stay in Dressrosa, aren't you afraid that the admiral will chase you directly? King Riku gritted his teeth and wanted to use the navy to threaten Uchiha Tamaki. Why didn't the world government help you when Dress Rosa was taken away by Doflamingo? Don't think about those stupid possibilities. They will come no matter where I am, so it's better to find a suitable place to stay. Besides, the navy is no longer my opponent. From now on, I will be responsible for protecting this place. The heavenly gold that is given to the celestial dragons every year will be waived. At the same time, there is no need to pay the military expenses to the world government. Just give me my share of the heavenly gold. It was naturally impossible for Uchiha Tamaki to be threatened by King Riku's words. The four emperors are not afraid of the navy. They all occupy a territory. If you have the ability, you can come. The same is naturally true for Uchiha Yugen. King Riku was unable to stand down due to Uchiha Tamaki's words. In the past, heavenly gold and military expenditures were given to the celestial dragons and the world government every year, but his position as king was taken away. The world government and the navy did not help and did not trust his words at all. So now, he no longer trusts the world government. He basically agrees with what Uchiha Tamaki said just now. But he was afraid that if there was another guy like Uchiha Tamaki in Doflamingo, the whole country would become worse than death again. You have time to think about it. I will defeat all the guys who come to make trouble. If you still refuse, then the king of this country will be replaced. Uchiha Tamaki said succinctly. Then he left directly. King Riku looked at this man's back, unable to do anything because all his soldiers stood aside like puppets, motionless. This is an illusion, and I can't control my body at all. The first generation had already built a large courtyard with wooden escape next to the palace, and the house inside was enough for everyone. After the construction was completed, he showed off to Tsunade that this was the rich experience he gained from building the second ring of Kanoha. This house is absolutely great. Didn't you say you want to take over this country? On Kakuzu's side, seeing Uchiha Tamaki coming back alone, he was a little disappointed. We are not pirates how can we do that kind of thing? There should be a lot of people who are not afraid of death coming over next. Then there will be no need to hold back. It will be up to you to deal with some minor characters. Follow the rules here, money is here, and of course, if someone doesn't follow the rules, you're welcome. Orochimaru, don't attack the people here, but if they are enemies, feel free. After Uchiha Yugen came back, he used a scroll to channel the money earned by the Uchiha working group before, gave it to them, and gave them instructions. They were brought here for a fight, money or something, it was not important at all. Yes. Xiao, who
who came to work, organized a group, and CP9 all agreed honestly. Especially after Orochimaru was told, he felt that he couldn't dissect people, so he went to the sea to catch a few Neptunes and slice them into slices. Then Uchiha Yugen went directly to Dressrosa's newspaper office, controlled their members with Sharingan, and asked them to send the news to the main newspaper office. The four emperors Uchiha are waiting for the challenge in Dressrosa. At the same time, it comes with a photo of Uchiha Tamaki with his middle finger raised, which is full of provocation. Uchiha Yugen felt that the newspaper office would definitely not reject the news. As soon as he came out of the newspaper office, the phone rang. It's Da Flamingo. What on earth are you going to do? Why go to Dress Rosa? Da Flamingo suppressed his anger. The Shichibukai is gone, the king's position is gone, and now only the black market is left. Are you still going to mess with him? On the world government side, he asked Tezolo to spend money to bribe the celestial dragons. He spent a large amount of money and promised to give up his position as the king of Dress Rosa, and the world government would no longer pursue him. After all, his underground black market arms transactions have implicated many countries, including the four emperors. The navy doesn't know much about it, but the world government's intelligence organization knows a little bit about it. The world government doesn't want to see more troubles caused by this incident, so it agreed to Da Flamingo's conditions. The underground king of Dress Rosa is still Da Flamingo. The pirates, on the other hand, offended Big Mom for killing Smoothie with their own hands, and finally used artificial devil fruits in exchange for Kaido's protection. This allowed him to survive being chased by both the black and white factions. Without the support of one side, he would basically be doomed. Now the king of Dress Rosa is not you, so of course you don't have to be polite if I do it. I said before, I want Dress Rosa. Uchiha Tamaki pretended to be stupid. When he saw that Dress Rosa still had black market transactions in private, he knew that Da Flamingo's life was not as miserable as he thought. But he won't leave just because of Da Flamingo's words. After all, who are you? You are now the world government's most wanted target. Monkey D Dragon is even behind you, with a bounty of three. Five billion. How dare you stay in Dress Rosa? Da Flamingo said angrily, almost losing his voice. Can you please stop messing with me? I can't stand it anymore. I told you that when I come back this time, I will become the four emperor. Even the navy can't stand it. What kind of emperor can I be? Don't worry, I'll be fine for sure. You don't have to worry. Uchiha Tamaki said comfortingly, and then hung up the phone. You were the one who hung up on me yesterday, right? The devil is worried about you. Torbol, gather the men and return to Dress Rosa. Da Flamingo you said angrily. Then he started calling for help. He wanted to see how ugly this guy's death was. This break is not very important, but if you don't write about it, you will miss something. Chapter 123 The next day, the front page of the news was, Uchiha Tamajin, the Eye of Blood, occupied Dress Rosa and dominated the four emperors. There is also the photo with the middle finger raised. Whoever defeats him will be the new marshal. Sengoku put down the newspaper in his hand. The navy had already known about the news of Uchiha Tamaki's appearance yesterday, and he began to gather people to prepare to catch this extremely dangerous person. The new marshal has not yet been selected, and both Sakaski and Kazan are still chasing pirates around the New World. At this time, he was using a phone bug to contact three generals for a conference call. I will definitely catch this criminal first. Sakaski's voice was very firm. After saying that, he hung up the phone directly. Dress Rosa, wasn't that just accepted by the original king? Fighting there will cause a lot of casualties. Kuzan is a little worried about Dress Rosa's situation. That guy doesn't seem to have a history of killing Dress Rosa and taking it for himself. I contacted the king last night and he said that Uchiha Tamaki will prove that he can defeat the navy and all challengers. When the time comes, Dress Rosa will be attached to the so-called four emperors just like Wayno country. Warring State said in a serious tone. If such a character appears again, it will naturally be a huge blow to the reputation of the world government. TCH, it doesn't sound so bad. 
I'll get there as soon as possible. Kazan sneered and hung up the phone. Don't you want to compete for the position of admiral? Sengoku finally asked Porosolino. I feel very good in this position now. The admiral is too tired. After speaking in a very sinister tone, Porosolino hung up the phone. It should be difficult for a general to defeat that guy. Only two people can be absolutely sure. Alas, now the sea is in chaos again. Sengoku pinched the bridge of his nose, looking like he had a headache. The last time he was beaten by Uchiha Tamaki, he wanted to quit and wanted to quickly choose a suitable successor. However, the personalities of Kazan and Sakaski are not compatible at all. If there is no reasonable way to distinguish who will serve as the Marshal of the Navy, I am afraid that the Navy will be divided. But the only good thing that has happened recently is that no new pirates can enter the New World, because Fishman Island is surrounded by Sea Kings, and neither Navy warships nor pirate ships can enter. But the Navy can enter the New World from under Mary Joa, but the pirates in the first half of the Great Channel cannot break through the protection of the Sea Kings and enter the Fishman Island. There have been no pirates for several months, and being able to enter the New World has relieved a lot of pressure on the Navy. The guy who killed Smoothie shows up. I'll go there myself. Katakuri put down the newspaper in his hand. Originally it was Doflamingo who killed Smoothie, but the beast pirates came out to save him. At the same time, some arms transactions of the Big Mom pirates also had to go through this guy. Doflamingo gave them a lot of discounts. At the same time, he said that he was forced to do it by Uchiha Tamaki. Doflamingo said that he it's hard to beat Smoothie. Now that the culprit has appeared, he naturally has to solve it. To deal with such an enemy, his mother does not need to take action, and there are too many people who are not afraid of death on the sea recently, so there are many guys who come to challenge. And his mother needs to watch the game at home, but the other party can defeat Smoothie, then Bigman, in addition to his mother, only you can defeat the other party. There are so many beauties in this place. Jiraiya was a little happy and reluctant to miss Shu. Five days passed, and there was no fighting at all. It was very peaceful. However, many residents of Dress Rosa are choosing to run away because they speculate that this place will definitely become chaotic next. Navy and pirates will appear one after another. But the vast majority of ordinary people still stayed and did not run around, but they were just a little scared when they lived. Hey who, hey who. Then Jiraiya saw Metkai, standing on his hands, running in circles around Dress Rosa with weights tied to his feet. It made his mouth twitch. It seems that a few powerful guys have come over. According to the information on the reward order, they should all have a reward of more than 100 million berries. Kid, are you going? Kakuzu held two suitcases in his hands, his haul from the past few days. If he doesn't make money, he will feel uncomfortable. In the underground black market of Dress Rosa, he made two trips and made some money. He felt that the money exchange here was very good, and there were many targets with bounties on his head. It was a good place to make money. A great guy. I haven't seen people in this world fight. Let's go and have a look. Being called a brat by Angle, he was really unable to refute. Because according to his understanding, this person is the first generation of Hokage, so he can indeed be called a kid. The tourist group from the ninja world all gathered together at once. It's a pirate. It's interesting. I haven't seen it in the ninja world. The first generation was full of interest. He is more like a traveler. A group of ten people from the ninja world all stood on the cliff, looking at several pirate ships in the distance. The four Akatsuki organizations, Orochimaru, the first Tsunade Jiraiya, Nagato and Conan. Metkai trained seriously and no one informed him at all. According to the information, they are the Broken Monk Pirates, the Kid Pirates, and the Broadcasting Pirates. Kakuzu said this while taking out the reward order. The highest reward is only 350 million belly. Isn't that a very strong feeling? The leader's bounty is now 3. 5 billion. I feel like one of mine is enough. The bravest man, Lokwa Juzo tilted his head and glanced at the reward order in his hand. Then he said very confidently. There should be no problem in killing these pirates for research. 
Orochimaru stuck out his tongue and licked it, and finally a suitable prey appeared. After saying that, he dived directly into the sea and swam towards the pirate ships. I'm going to try their hardness too. Kirigakure no Jutsu. Loquat Juzang raised his hand and directly released a large amount of mist. Wet place. Scorpion frowned, he didn't really like fighting at sea. But in this world, he hadn't collected suitable puppets yet, so he thought about it and followed them. We'll keep an eye on it here, but the fog is very annoying. Wood release wooden pile. Naturally, the first generation had no desire to fight, and was more about playing time. With a clap of his hands, a flat table surface was used to lift everyone up so that they could watch the battle. What is that? Kira noticed the suddenly raised wooden stake and couldn't help but wonder. Whatever it is, just smash it all. Kid walked out of the room, with bandages still wrapped around many parts of his body. He had just finished challenging the generals of Big Mom, injuring them and grabbing something. The next thing he prepared was to become the Four Emperors. Uchiha Tamaki, the guy who claims to be the new Four Emperors, seems to him to be the best candidate. At the same time, the two supernovas were also preparing to work together, and everyone maintained an alliance to defeat each other. However, after defeating Uchiha Tamaki, the three of them decided the winner again. I was watching the game and my hands were cold, so I wrote a little slower. Chapter, 124 Um? Is this fog approaching us? Ulki was also standing on the bow of the ship, and the movement of Mu Dun attracted his attention. However, it is still nearly a thousand meters away from the shore. But the mist that suddenly appeared began to approach the ships of the three pirate groups. Under. Ulki looked at the deck in surprise. Seeing and hearing say hockey made him feel that there was danger below. Call. A strong wind is coming. His pirate ship flew up instantly, and Erki was surprised in midair. The men of his pirate group flew around in the air and screamed, but Ulki didn't pay attention. It's the wind. Erki felt the strong wind swirling around him, and it looked dangerous. He was very confused, why was the wind blowing under his boat? Clang. He held his hands in front of him and blocked several wind blades that attacked him. Then he looked down and saw a thin man with a pale face wearing a black trench coat with red clouds, staring at him with a perverted look, which made him feel a little scared. Latent Shadow Snake Hand Orochimaru locked Erki and raised his right hand. More than a dozen slender pythons sprang out from his sleeves and stretched towards Erki in midair. Erki frowned, punched hard, and instantly blew up the snake heads that were close to him. How could such a vulnerable animal pose a threat to him? What he needs at this time is a place to stay. Fighting at sea with the devil fruit ability is a little more troublesome. Although he has a pair of wings, flying is a bit difficult and he is more suitable for gliding. Magnet release a tetsu shigure. Scorpion was much more serious when he came up. He did not use Hiryu, but directly used the puppet of the third Kazakage. The iron sand was condensed into a thousand strands and rushed towards the pirate ship of the broadcasting pirates. The ninja attacks basically didn't make much noise. When Senban strafed the deck, he knocked down the ordinary crew members of the radio pirates one by one. Many people fell directly on the deck and screamed, because the first wave of iron sand was brought by Xie himself. After all, iron sand can be condensed on the sea. These iron sands are quenched, and the wound will fester if hit, and it will also stimulate the nerves, causing excruciating pain. Who? Apu was surprised. When he opened the door to the room, he saw a dense crowd of thousands of people coming towards him. He quickly rolled around like a lazy ass and dodged the attack. Then his mouth turned into the shape of a gong and he slapped it hard. The sound wave spread out directly and exploded at the location Apu locked. The third Kazakage was directly hit by the impact. Scorpion was completely unprepared and the third Kazakage was split into two. You are dead. Scorpion was very unhappy, but he controlled the chakra line and directly reconnected the third Kazakage. Then, through the third Kazakage, he controlled the swords on the ship, turned them into iron sand, and wrapped around the third Kazakage's body to form a sharp weapon. 
At the same time, use armament hockey to directly harden these parts of the puppet and strengthen the attack. Die. Lokwat Juzong rushed to the front. He came directly to the pirate ship that brought the kid pirates and had already sneaked behind kid. Holding the armor-hardened decapitation sword, he slashed directly at kid's head, like an executioner on the execution platform. So slow. When the beheading sword was about to hit kid, kid turned his head and looked at Lokwat Juzong indifferently. The hair on Lokwat Juzong's back stood up. The decapitating sword was directly held by kid with one hand. This feeling seemed familiar to Lokwat Juzong. Wasn't this what the leader had done before? But now, I am also armed and domineering. How could you possibly hurt me to this extent? Kid's pupils narrowed, and the metal hidden everywhere on the deck rushed towards Lokwat Juzong in an instant. Most of these metals were swords, and they were instantly inserted into Lokwat Juzong like a hedgehog. Escaped. Kid was stunned. Because he didn't feel the blood, but the cold sea water splashed on his face. It was so dangerous, I almost died. Lokwat Juzong used the water body in Ki and ran away immediately, giving up the beheading sword. He felt like he was doomed if he stayed where he was. At this time, he returned to the sea again, surrounded by fog, and Kid could not find his location. Your assassination skills are so good. Kisame didn't know when he followed Lokwat Juzo. Emerging from the sea, he looked with some contempt at this guy who was also a member of the seven ninja swordsmen like himself. Just careless. But the hockey of knowledge and knowledge seems to be stronger than the ability to perceive. Or maybe their hockey of knowledge and knowledge can avoid being hindered by my mist with chakra. Lokwat Shirzong said hard. The other party must be a devil fruit user. Then just use the simplest method and use sea water to surround them, wouldn't it? Water release, big water wave. Kisame sneered. Then he formed the seal very seriously and slapped his right hand directly on the sea. In an instant, the sea surface shook violently. What happened? Kid was also shocked on the deck. He sensed huge danger, and it appeared from all directions, which he couldn't understand. In an instant, he controlled the metal to form a huge right arm, and with a fierce swing, he directly pushed away the fog. How could the sea water? Kira said in shock. Because he saw the sea water and quickly swallowed them up. This made him think that his pirate ship had sunk, but it was not the case. Instead, the water rose quickly. Whizzing. Kid and Kira both jumped up instantly and left the deck. Less than half a second after they left, the seawater swallowed up the entire pirate ship. However, Kira was not a devil fruit user and quickly fell into the seawater. Kid controlled the metal to appear under his feet, allowing him to use the force to step into the air. This was similar to Moon Step, but it required constant use. It's those two guys. Actually floating on the sea. Then die too. Kid looked fiercely at Kisame and Lokwat Juzo below. With a wave of his left hand, the extra metal sword behind him instantly rushed towards the sea where Kisame and Lokwat Juzo were. Kisame and Lokwat Juzo instantly dived into the sea, and the weapons followed them into the sea, but their speed slowed down instantly and they were unable to threaten the two people at all. Aren't you a devil fruit user? He thought that these two enemies would run away, but he never thought that they would enter the sea water to escape. Oh, the mist has dispersed. That Orochimaru guy seems to have no way to deal with that huge pirate. Jiraiya took out the telescope he usually used to collect materials and looked directly at the fighting position. But the main thing is to look at my good friend Orochimaru. Give me. Although Tsunade is afraid of blood, she still hasn't overcome it. But after returning to Kanoha, I felt a lot angry, so I grabbed Jiraiya's telescope and started looking at it. The pirates in this world are pretty strong. The first generation is looking at Kid. Watching Kid constantly controlling the metal and fighting with Kisame in the sea, there was quite a lot of movement. I didn't expect that just a few ordinary pirates would have such strength. They are already the elites of the Akatsuki organization. Nagato has the Sharingan here, so he can see very clearly. But this is even more unexpected. 
After all, in the ninja world, the strength of the Akatsuki organization is among the best. Dealing with these guys, they didn't have the upper hand for a while. If it were this world and I wanted to implement the unlimited monthly reading plan, it would be really impossible. Chapter, 125 Who are you, this guy? Erky glided over to the shattered pieces of his own pirate ship that fell on the sea. An interesting race with wings. Orochimaru had no intention of answering, but looked excitedly at the pair of wings behind Erky. This kind of thing has never been seen in the ninja world. Even in Vince Makaji's information, there is not much description of this race. Since you have murderous intentions towards me, then let's deal with it. Oki felt a chill here. He clenched his fists, exerted force directly under his feet, and rushed towards Orochimaru. There were a lot of broken wood from ships around, enough for him to glide with his wings and keep himself from being driven into the sea. Water escape water chaos. Orochimaru quickly formed seals with his hands. The sea water around him rose rapidly and rushed in all directions. But Erki directly punched the air with his fist, and the huge fist pressure directly shattered the waves, but Orochimaru, who had just been swallowed by the waves, also disappeared from Erki's eyes. This situation made Oki realize that something was wrong. Fighting at sea is too restrictive for a devil fruit user. Although he can glide, he cannot stay in the air for a long time. After thinking about it, I decided to go ashore first. He picked up a piece of broken wood, then jumped hard and rushed to the shore of Dressrosa. Gliding was enough for him to reach it. Wind escape big breakthrough. But how could Orochimaru let go of such good research material so easily? If you directly use wind escape to interfere with Erki's gliding airflow, and if you don't resist being hit by a big breakthrough, you will be further away from the land of Dressrosa. Hateful. It was the first time Oki felt so sick. In the past, he disgusted others, absorbed the power of their attacks, and then fought them back. He waved his fist again and broke up the big breakthrough, but the glide also stopped due to airflow interference. But it was precisely because of this that Oki began to think of ways to rush towards the land of Dressrosa. He saw that the other party wanted to trap the battlefield in the sea. At the same time, he also discovered that the two so-called alliances in the distance were also entangled, and they had no spare power to help him. But Orochimaru is almost the most disgusting ninja in the ninja world. He has been in the sea water, and Erki just can't help it. Finally, as a last resort, Erki gave up going to land and rushed towards the alliance instead, deciding to get help. The two of them might be able to perform better together. The closest thing to him was the pirate ship of the broadcasting pirates. When he passed by, he found that the captain, Apu, had lost and was controlled by the enemy. Orochimaru, if your prey is running around, if I catch it, it will be mine. Sia said very coldly. Apu's close combat ability is at the lowest level in Supernova, and he basically uses Devil Fruit to fight. It is too difficult to hit the Red Sand Scorpion with a sonic attack. The sonic attack method can easily be seen through by a scorpion with rich combat experience, and it will not be able to hit the scorpion at all. And scorpion directly controlled the third generation Kazakage to use the iron sand boundary technique to pierce the entire ship. Apu had nowhere to escape and was trapped by the iron sand. It was difficult for the sound wave to break through the restrictions of the iron sand. Then he was used by Scorpion to check the route. The controlling seafloor stone handcuffs were put on. There was no room for resistance. Ulki was a little helpless. How did you find such an alliance? But he couldn't glide for long, so he chose to punch the pirate ship of the broadcasting pirates. I want to smash this pirate ship to pieces and find a foothold for myself. But what greeted him was a huge rectangular block made of iron sand. Erki, who was unable to exert his full power in mid-air, was directly knocked away by the condensed iron sand of the third Kazakage. Erki finally absorbed part of the impact of this attack, and his body grew slightly larger. Seeing this, he began to rush madly towards the ship where the red sand scorpion was, hoping to obtain more power of cause and effect to accumulate more power for counterattack. Does your body get bigger when you're hit? Orochimaru did not attack but observed from the sidelines. He had many ways to catch this guy, 
but he cared about this superhuman devil fruit ability. Because unlike the strange abilities of the blood succession limit, the superhuman abilities were weird and weird. He wanted to try to see if he could extract this power from the blood. Seeing that Orochimaru did not take the initiative to attack, the Red Sand Scorpion became angry, controlled the third Kazakage, and began to fight back crazily. The impact hit Erki, allowing him to take advantage of the force and find a way to glide in midair. Moreover, the Crimson Sand Scorpion quickly sensed that something was wrong. Seeing that Erki's body was one-third larger than before, it was impossible for the Scorpion to ignore this level. Iron Sand Boundary Method The Red Sand Scorpion directly controls the third generation of Kazakage to open up. The Black Iron Sand was like a rain of arrows, shooting towards Erki who was nearly a hundred meters away from the broadcasting pirate ship in midair. The Red Sand Scorpion is still at the forefront of these iron sands, wrapped with armed hockey, just like Doflamingo's hockey attached to the top of the silk thread. Erki only hardened his arms to cover his upper body, while his lower body could barely cover his thighs, and his calves couldn't hold it at all. After all, he hadn't mastered the domineering force of his arms for too long. The dense attacks did not cause any fatal damage to Erki. They basically pierced Erki's calf, but they were unable to break through the armored and hardened body part. At the same time, the impact made Erki's body grow bigger. It increased to almost twice the size of his original body. The Red Sand Scorpion sensed something was wrong, and controlled the Iron Sand to wrap around Erki's body, preparing to control him directly. Snapped. But Erki only used a little force to break away, and he was able to break away from the Iron Sand wrapping his body. Karma. Erki clenched his right fist and pulled it back, and the muscles of his right arm swelled. He wanted to release all the impact he had just received at once. The target is the pirate ship broadcasting the pirate group. Apu was still restricted on the boat at this time. When he saw Oki's movements in midair, his face turned pale with fright and he shouted to stop. The Red Sand Scorpion has a calm expression. Orochimaru was seen standing on the sea, and he took out a scroll and quickly opened it. Triple Rashomon After channeling the Rashomon he specially brought here this time, he knew that it was a different world and that channeling techniques could not be used, so he could only pack what he could bring over in advance. Rashomon is a psychic object he packed in advance, an inanimate object that can be sealed in a scroll. The triple Rashomon appeared directly in front of Erki. Erki was stunned by the sudden appearance of the triple Rashomon, but with a fierce look on his face, he punched it directly. Scared. The fist wrapped in armed hockey directly hit the first Rashomon gate, knocking it down instantly. Then the aftermath of the punch continued to hit the second level of Rashomon. In less than half a second, the second level of Rashomon also fell. Finally, the fist hit the third level of Rashomon. Rashomon staggered for two seconds and fell down. The remaining punches hit the pirate ship of the broadcasting pirates, directly breaking the ship into pieces. However, the red sand scorpions on the ship had already arrived on the sea surface, along with Apu who had been turned into a bug. If you don't do it, I'm going to do it for real. The Red Sand Scorpion looked at Orochimaru with some dissatisfaction. The ability to release the previously absorbed impact at once is very interesting. The intelligence collection is almost done, it's time to end the battle. The man who contracted the sea, this is your home court, the second generation Hokage. Orochimaru also smiled and was not moved by the words of the Red Sand Scorpion. Then he took out the scroll again and channeled a coffin, which was the coffin where he stored the second generation Hokage. After returning to Kanoha, he naturally returned to his old profession of digging graves. The first generation was released, but the second generation was not. Orochimaru naturally focused on him. He caught a spy from another ninja village in Kanoha and reincarnated him directly. Without waking him up, he put him in a coffin and brought him over. Because Orochimaru found that as long as Uchiha people were not touched, Uchiha Yugen was very polite, so he was naturally not afraid. How could a big boss come to this world without some self-defense? That's it, second grandpa. Orochimaru. Tsunade saw it clearly with her binoculars. She felt her fist harden. Chapter, 126. This guy is a bit difficult to deal with. 
Kisame has entered the same muscle fusion mode. The whole person is really like a shark, very powerful in the sea. But Kid is not weak in strength, ranking among the top three among the supernovas, and the magnetic fruit ability is powerful. Kid has also developed it very well. He can keep himself from falling into the water and find ways to stay in the air. Kira, on the other hand, fought with Loquat Juzo in the sea. Kira did not have devil fruit abilities and was not weak at close range. Loquat Juzo lost his decapitating sword and could only use ninjutsu to disgust the opponent. Water release, thousand food sharks. Kisame formed the seal and released a large number of sharks made of sea water, which accelerated into the sea and rushed directly towards Kid in midair. But Kid just controlled the metal and quickly rotated around his body, directly crushing all the approaching thousand sharks like a pulverizer. For a moment, neither side could do anything to the other. Although water release is strong in the sea, Kisame cannot hit the opponent at all. Kid is also the same. After the metal he controls enters the seawater, its power drops a lot. Because of the resistance of the seawater and the lack of visibility, it cannot be perfectly controlled. Kira, get to the shore. Seeing this, Kid was no longer prepared to continue fighting with Kisame in the sea. He couldn't figure out what the opponent's devil fruit power was. He could actually swim in the sea. This was outrageous. Even the fishmen who used devil fruit powers couldn't use their powers in the sea. Directly use magnetism to attract Kira. Kira has metal on his body and weapons are made of metal, so Kid can easily pull him over. Water release water breaking wave. At this time, a high pressure water column was seen, like a sharp blade, streaking towards Kid from bottom to top. Kid was startled and controlled the metal to form a metal shield in front of him. But he found that the metal was cut open by the water column. If he hadn't turned sideways and avoided the water column, Kid felt that his body would have been cut open. It's sea water again. Kid was shocked and angry. I don't know why the attack suddenly became so fierce. But he discovered that the one who attacked him was not the shark like guy just now, but another person. Whoosh! Kid saw the opponent throwing a palm sized piece of metal towards him with a sneer on his face, and used magnetism to directly absorb it into the metal pile next to him. But before he could start to fight back, his pupils shrank violently because he found that the person who had just attacked him appeared in front of him at some unknown time. Hard Vortex Water Blade Senju Tobarama's right hand used the water javelin formed by the condensed water vortex of sea water to hit Kid's chest directly. Kid had no time to defend himself. Although he had received a warning from the enemy, his speed was too fast. In the end, he only had time to protect himself by hardening his armored hockey at the location where he was hit. The hard vortex water blade hit Kid and knocked him away. The hard vortex water blade exploded on the way and formed a water spout, which almost swallowed Kid. But Kid still managed to save himself, controlling the metal on his body to spread out and keep rotating around him, cutting the seawater into pieces and preventing them from swallowing him. But before Kid could wait, he used metal to stabilize his body in mid-air. Water Prison Technique Senju Tobarama used the Flying Thunder God coordinates left on Kid by the Hard Vortex Water Blade just now, appeared next to him again, raised his right hand to use the Water Prison, and directly wrapped him completely in seawater. The diameter of this Water Prison was almost 10 meters. The rotating iron pieces on his body could not be broken open at all, and because Kid soon lost his strength, the iron pieces were also unable to stop in the water prison technique. Kid struggled wildly in the water, but to no avail. Kira, on the other hand, gave up her magnetic attraction to Kid when he was attacked. Kira was in the sea and wanted to rescue Kid. But what greeted him was a shark like Kisame. In the sea, Kisame is the king. In less than a minute, Kira was pulled and torn to pieces by Kisame in the ocean. Tobarama, you're here too. On the shore, Chudai looked at his brother excitedly. After all, he was sad for a while after knowing that the other party died. What's going on, brother? This doesn't seem to be Kanoha. Tobarama still doesn't understand the situation. Just now Orochimaru told him that Erki and Kid were enemies who came to attack Kanoha, 
and at the same time told them that they were afraid of being surrounded by sea water. Tobarama quickly got rid of these two guys without spending much chakra at all. Here's the thing, Tobarama. It was rare for the first generation to find someone to chat with, so he began to spread knowledge to his younger brother. On the side, Orochimaru was very interested in the two prey in his hands. Then, under the slightly horrified looks of Erki and Kid, he stretched his neck, bit their necks, and planted a curse mark. He wanted to see if the curse seal had any effect. I will transform this guy into a puppet. If your two studies are useless, just leave it to me. Scorpion said to Orochimaru. Scorpion doesn't know if these devil fruit users can retain their abilities after being transformed into puppets. Just trying. I want to use it myself. Orochimaru objected. He liked the abilities of Erki and Kid very much, and wanted to analyze how their blood was different from ordinary people. Although I have obtained the blood of CP9, I feel that the data is too little and I cannot have a deeper understanding. These two guys are different. Let him do what he wants. You are too weak, you still need to practice. Kisame, on his side, found it quite interesting, and at the same time, he said to Juzo Juzo, who was retrieving the decapitating sword in the sea. I want you to take care of it. Lokwat Shirzong said hard. But I feel that my strength is indeed not strong enough. What did you say? Now Kanoha is taken over by Uchiha. Evil Uchiha. On Senju Tobarama's side, when he heard his brother say that Uchiha is now the talker in Kanoha, he was immediately shocked and angry. But then, after knowing what his disciple had done, he fell silent again. Perhaps, I told them too much about Uchiha back then. Senju Tobarama hesitated for a moment, and then said. But in this world, the reincarnated body of the dirty land cannot recover chakra. The chakra I consume just now is almost not recovered. Patch. Then Senju Tobarama was very interested in this different world. At the same time, he felt his physical condition and said in surprise. Yeah. Why do I feel like nothing has changed? The first generation was stunned for a moment, then said doubtfully. Brother, you have too much chakra. If you only use a little bit, you won't be able to feel it. Thousand Hands Tobarama complained. Nidame, if this is the end of my words, I will put you back. Orochimaru, after arranging two clones to look at his research products, turned to Senju Tobarama. Why? Brother, you can't move freely. It's not good to abuse other people's forbidden arts. Senju Tobarama asked a little unhappy. Because the leader has the final say here, and there is one more person. If I don't follow the rules, I will be punished. If you, Nidame, are willing to abide by the rules, then it doesn't matter. Orochimaru shrugged and said very directly. The main thing is that they are afraid of Uchiha Tamaki. Even if there is a second generation of dirt, Orochimaru still dare not provoke Uchiha Tamaki. After all, they are even more afraid when they know the power of blood that Uchiha Tamaki possesses at this time. At the same time, I also long for this kind of power. TCH, you mean that junior Uchiha? Don't worry about that guy, it's just a Uchiha. What's more, this technique was created by me and can be unlocked at any time. Senju Tobarama said very proudly. But after the words fell, everyone stood at attention. I'm still more afraid of the leader than you. Orochimaru said with a kind smile, and at the same time raised his sword finger to control the technique he left in the second generation. Ha, huh, Tobarama, you have today too. The first generation laughed happily. It's rare to see one strong younger brother being defeated, it's a strange feeling. Tobarama won't do anything as long as I'm here, don't worry, kid. Then Shodai said to Orochimaru. Orochimaru naturally gave the first generation face, because the first generation was not reincarnated from his own dirt and could not control it. He gave up control and quickly took his two prey to the research room. Anyway, when needed, direct channeling can channel the second generation, and his body is left in the second generation. The technique is very convenient. Only Thousand Hands Tabijian was left where his anger had nowhere to vent. The Dirty Earth reincarnation needs to be patched, 
otherwise if a wave of dirty earth reincarnation army comes over, the sea will be doomed. Limit it. Chapter, 127. The Navy warship has been waiting on the 50-mile sea for a few days. It seems that the Navy Admiral will be coming soon. The few pirates who were not afraid of death were all eliminated by Orochimaru and the others. No one from the Shichibukai came over. It seems that the main opponent this time is the Admiral. Uchiha Yugen is also practicing every day. After completing the cultivation of the five attributes and properties, there are two properties of yin and yang. By mastering the seven properties and adding enough chakra, you can create a seeking jade, a ninjutsu attack with real damage. However, the world government's attack did not come as quickly as Uchiha Yugen's. He has been in Dress Rosa for almost ten days. Although he discovered many naval warships, they were more like surveillance rather than active attack. No Shichibukai came to challenge him, the so-called New Yonko. Uchiha Yugen felt that it was not that there were few ambitious people, but that everyone felt that they would be dealt with by the navy. The news about his defeat of the Warring States period did not spread at sea, because at that time, there was basically no one else except the navy. And the navy did not want the news of the admiral's defeat to spread, so the news was kept hidden. Therefore, most people think that their strength is not comparable to that of the four emperors, but even ordinary people cannot beat them. But I didn't expect that there would be such a restriction on the reincarnation of the dirty land. The chakra would actually be insufficient, but it's okay. I didn't expect the first generation to do any big work. It's a bit troublesome for the three generals to fight. When the fight starts, the battlefield needs to be farther away. On Uchiha Yugen's side, several fighting positions have been found. He must fight at sea, and he will definitely not miss this terrain advantage. During this period, Metkai and Shursui were training crazily. Especially Metkai, his physical fitness doubled and he ate an astonishing amount of food every day. I go fishing in the sea almost every day and eat meat to supplement my body's needs. It's almost like a bottomless pit like Luffy, devouring food quickly, but the improvement is also extremely huge. Metkai and Shursui often fought against each other, one for improving physical skills and the other for swordsmanship, and they fought fiercely every day. Coming. Uchiha Yugen received the news that the Shadow Clone was released. Dozens of nautical miles away, Admiral Sakaski's warship was discovered. At the same time, in another direction, Kuzan was discovered riding a bicycle directly from the ice. Kuzan should have been slower here, but he knew that Sakaski was coming and warring states informed him, so he rushed over in person. The Sengoku side was afraid that a general would not be able to pose a threat to Uchiha Tamaki, and at the same time, they preferred the more peaceful Kazan to serve as the navy marshal, so they gave him support. Uchiha Yugen separated into five shadow clones and waited around Dress Rosa. Because he was not prepared to bring the battle to Dress Rosa, he discovered the two admirals. Although he is very powerful now, it is still a bit too much for the shadow clone to beat the general. Uchiha Yugen is going to seduce Akaski to Kazan's side, and then deal with it together. Isn't the undercover marine Kizaru here? It seems that the navy thinks that two generals are enough to deal with me, but this is good, as it can use less force. Uchiha Yugen made a judgment here. Basically, as long as he is not sick, there should be no problem in dealing with two generals. Just when the shadow clone was separated and he was about to let the shadow clone inform other people on the island about the situation, he suddenly received a message from another shadow clone. Big Mum. It's Katakuri, it seems he's here for revenge. And Da Flamingo is actually nearby. Is he afraid that Dress Rosa will be beaten to pieces and cause something to happen to his arsenal? Uchiha Yugen discovered two more unexpected people. The appearance of Katakuri is a little troublesome, but after all, it cannot be solved by the Shadow Clone. Then Uchiha Tamaki created a Shadow Clone and asked him to inform the others, while he rushed directly towards Katakuri, preparing to lure one more person to the navy to see what the navy would do. Do. What was that just now? As expected, Katakuri's sight was not hidden. From a distance of more than five kilometers, he realized that he seemed to be being watched by someone just now, but his sight immediately disappeared. But before the rudder had traveled a few kilometers, Katakuri saw a figure on the sea, 
rushing toward him quickly. That's the guy. Katakuri frowned, and at the same time the pupils of his eyes turned red, and his seeing color was activated. Then he directly pressed his right hand on the deck, and the pirate ship was instantly assimilated by his devil fruit ability and twisted, turning it into glutinous rice. Then the glutinous rice condensed directly in front of him, forming a glutinous rice wall. Then the glutinous rice wall was hardened and covered with armed colors. As soon as it was condensed, the Chidori sharp spear pierced over and hit the glutinous rice wall directly. Electric sparks flew out, but there was no breakdown. Escape. But immediately, Katakuri was stunned, because under his perception, the target turned around and ran away. Naturally, he will not let go of Uchiha Yugen. Anything that damages the glory of Big Mom will be cleaned up by him. Controlling the ship that had completely turned into glutinous rice, he threw all his men into the sea water, and then controlled the glutinous rice to roll continuously. His lower body merged into the glutinous rice, floating on the sea relying on the glutinous rice, and pursued Uchiha to make him. As expected of an imperial deputy, he does have a lot of skills. Uchiha Tamaki glanced behind him, somewhat amazed that these people could develop devil fruit to such an extent. But at the same time, the speed is slowed down to prevent this guy from being unable to catch up. Isn't it easy to get rid of this speed? Just have hands? On Katakuri's side, like a tank, he kept firing cannonballs made of glutinous rice from his hands, trying to keep Uchiha Tamaki here. Missed? Although he had the ability to predict the future, Katakuri actually found that he couldn't hit him due to the perception of the ability, which made him a little stunned. He felt that Uchiha Yugen had other plans and wanted to take him somewhere. But he is not afraid. The most important thing is that this situation restricts him. If it is on land, he feels that he will definitely be able to hit the opponent. But when he chased Uchiha Tamaki and ran on the sea for almost 10 minutes, he became somewhat unstable. Because he saw Admiral Sakaski standing on the deck of the warship, looking at the two of them. What greeted the two of them next was the meteor volcano released by Sakaski. Made. Even with Katakuri's temper, he couldn't help but want to curse at this moment. Scolding Uchiha Tamaki for not knowing life or death, do you think the Admiral will help him defeat him? You, the guy who killed the celestial dragons, are the Navy's must kill target. Blocking the lava fist in the sky, Katakuri's pursuit slowed down, and he had to spend time to dodge, not being stupid enough to resist. Similarly, he found that Uchiha Yugen also dodged very smoothly, and would stop and look at him from time to time. When Sakaski discovered that Katakuri was not helping Uchiha Tamaki but came to hunt him down, he gave up interfering with Katakuri and instead pursued Uchiha Tamaki with all his strength. But when he found that the warship couldn't catch up with him at all, he jumped off the ship and started chasing with moon step and shave. Success. Uchiha Yugen felt that these people were really not afraid of traps. Then he started walking around with the two of them. After all, Sakaski was faster, so Uchiha Yugen circled around Katakuri and led the two of them towards Kazan. For Uchiha Yugen, who has thunder escape cell activity, walking on the sea is like walking on flat ground. Although Sakaski is fast, he is still incomparable. With such a fearless attitude, you are worthy of being the four emperors. Even Sakaski, who had a good attitude towards pirates, started to curse. He had been being avoided by Uchiha Tamaki, and he felt like he was being treated like a dog. Although he was a kainu, he didn't want to be a dog. Katakuri has been scolding him in his heart for a long time, because he has been affected by the pillar that King Chin circled among Uchiha Yugen and Sakaski several times. Uchiha Yugen suddenly stopped and said. And Sakaski's eyes lit up, and he blasted directly at Uchiha Tamaki with his fist emitting thick smoke. During the war, he was very unhappy with Uchiha Tamaki. This guy had almost destroyed Marine Fando, and he had long wanted to kill him. Shinra Tenjing Uchiha Yugen raised his hand directly to a kainu and sang softly at the same time. The invisible repulsion directly collided with Sakaski's fist. The armed and domineering fist was shaking constantly at a position two meters away from Uchiha Tamaki's body. In the end, Sakaski was ejected directly. Katakuri, who originally wanted to pursue him, also stopped with a heavy look on his face. 
At this time, Kazan glided directly along the ice and appeared on the battlefield. If Katakuri hadn't looked at the two generals with his eyes on Uchiha Tamaki, he would have been afraid that this was a conspiracy against him and wanted to kill him here. After all, he was sure to run away from a general, but when it came to two generals, it was embarrassing for his mother to say this. Chapter 128 Ice Age Kuzan looked at the situation on the field and without hesitation chose to change the battlefield into a state that best suited him. The power of freezing instantly spread from his body, and the waves that had been splashed by the expansion were also frozen. In just a few seconds, the surrounding sea surface for several kilometers was completely frozen by Kazan's ability. Uchiha Yugen, who was standing on the sea surface, jumped slightly when the freeze came over and escaped the freezing. The same goes for Katakuri. He gave up the glutinous rice in his lower body that was assimilated by the pirate ship and avoided the attack. The Royal Deputy of Big Mom Did Uchiha join forces with Big Mom? After freezing the ice, Kazan did not take action immediately, but said with some confusion. After all, if the four emperors were involved, there would be a lot to consider. I'm here to kill that guy. Katakuri's brows were half lowered, but he showed no sign of timidity when facing the general and spoke very coldly. But he felt that it would be very difficult for him to kill this guy, because he was not sure whether he could kill him before the two generals. Just kill them together, there's no need to be verbose. Sikaski's eyes were fierce, and lava kept falling from his body. This cold feeling made him feel very uncomfortable, but he also knew that there was a foothold on the sea where he could exert stronger strength. The molten slurry contacts the ice surface, causing the ice to melt continuously and forming a large smoke. Have you finished talking about both of them? Have you never considered that I will defeat you? Uchiha Yugen's Sharingan eyes moved left and right, and the three of them formed a triangle and got themselves stuck in the middle. As he spoke, Yellow Chakra continued to overflow from his body, slowly wrapping his body, just like the boss of V15 turning on special effects. This is the Nine-Tailed Chakra, which is the Tailed Beast Outer Mode. It is somewhat different from the Nine Lama Mode that Naruto will use later, which is the Windbreaker Mode. After all, that mode requires the full cooperation of Kyubi to be activated. Uchiha Tamaki is not interested in doing this to Kyubi. In this situation, it is enough to maintain sufficient chakra mode. Idiot's dream. Sakaski scoffed. After speaking, he directly punched, and the fist quickly increased in size halfway. He was more than 10 meters away from Uchiha Tamaki, almost instantly, and the lava fist also expanded to nearly 2 meters wide. The dark red Susanoo skeleton appeared directly from Uchiha Tamakian's body, and gave birth to arms on the front of the palm, armed color hockey was directly attached, easily receiving the lava fist. The ice surface at the collision point was directly crushed by the aftermath, and burst into pieces. However, the ice surface is indeed very thick, so there is no seawater spraying out. At the same time, Kazan also launched an attack, slapping his hands on the ice. Starting from in front of him, ice pillars as high as 10 meters high continued to rise, spreading towards the place where Uchiha Yugen was. On Katakuri's side, he directly condensed a huge glutinous rice mace with his right hand, and swung it hard. At the same time, he attached armament-colored domineering energy to it. It looked like a real metal mace, and he waved it. With this mace, he hit Uchiha Tamaki on the head. Ah! Sakaski also exerted great force, and the scorching high-temperature heat wave rushed directly to Uchiha Yugen. A large amount of molten lava fell directly from his body and rushed towards Uchiha Tamaki. Although the three of them have never cooperated, there is still a tacit understanding in the high-end game, and their attacks are directed at Uchiha Tamaki. Left, right, and above. One side is cold, one side is hot, and there is a hard lump on the head. Now I no longer need to avoid this crisis to solve this crisis. Shinra Tenjin Uchiha Yugen charged up his power in advance to release Shinra Tenjin. The power is more than three times greater than what Tian Dao Pain normally releases. The area covered by Shinra Tianjin also reached a diameter of 10 meters. The repulsive force directly bounced away the approaching ice pillars and molten lava. 
the ice shards and molten lava flew directly in all directions. Sakaski's molten fist was also shattered by the repulsive force. At the same time, the hammered glutinous rice mace collided with the repulsive force and kept shaking. Finally, the repulsive force was stronger and the glutinous rice mace flew away. The reaction force pulled Katakuri staggered and almost lost his balance. It's that power again. Sakaski frowned, mainly because he couldn't figure out what kind of ability this was. But he felt that this ability must have a limit, and he just needed to break it. All things are attracted by heaven. After Uchiha Yugen released the Shinra Tensei, he immediately used the all-seeing Tensei on Katakuri. Picking out the weak is the most basic knowledge. As soon as Katakuri stabilized his body, he slapped his hands on the ground. The ice instantly twisted and turned into glutinous rice to form a shield, standing in front of him and blocking his body. It's really awesome to know how to predict. Uchiha Tamaki just finished releasing Shinra Tensei and then stopped. He can also predict a little bit of the future through sight and color, but not as many fragments as Katakuri can see. Moreover, when facing a strong person, this ability is very weak, because the other person's perception and color are also reacting, and the future that appears may be false. If you believe what you see and hear, you might even be fooled. Use all your strength, this guy can't be killed easily. Sakaski is not ready to test this either. The lava on his body couldn't stop staying, and it remained elemental, so sea water couldn't have any effect on him. Kuzan followed suit and used the natural elementalization. In just a few seconds, snow started to fall in the sky. I'm going to be serious about it too. Uchiha Yugen pulled out the thunderstorm, and a blue-white electric arc appeared on it for an instant, but soon the weapon color hardened and entangled, and the blue-white electric arc became as black as ink. While Kuzan and Sakaski attacked Uchiha Tamaki, Uchiha Tamajin rushed directly towards Katakuri. So fast. 3. The three of them were all shocked. Katakuri was naturally unwilling to let Uchiha Tamaki get close to him. Because he also saw the other party's intention, which was to let the two generals' attacks also affect him. If he fights with this guy, he and Uchiha will face the indiscriminate attacks of two generals. After all, he is also a pirate, and these navy will not show mercy. Flowing glutinous rice balls. Although I have captured the fragments of the future, the current situation is urgent and I don't have much time to think about it. So he also chose the same approach as the two natural systems, changing the terrain to increase his combat capabilities. The surrounding ice was instantly assimilated into glutinous rice and rushed towards Uchiha Tamaki. But Nwomi's movement speed was too slow to restrain Uchiha Yugen. At this time, Uchiha Yugen's burst speed almost broke the sound barrier. The ice surface cracked directly at the location where he moved, which was damaged by the aftermath of the move. Now it has an extra layer of nine-tailed beast outer mode than before, which strengthens the speed and is 20% faster than the top war. Katakuri also saw himself being approached by Uchiha Tamaki, but he had to face it because he couldn't avoid it. Controlling the glutinous rice that had been assimilated by him, he formed hundreds of hands, wrapped armed hockey around the top of his fist, and beat the surroundings crazily, just to interfere with Uchiha Tamaki's approach. But it was found to be useless. Chidori Sharp Spear As the long thunder blade cut through, Katakuri was forced to use glutinous rice to form a shield to defend himself. At the same time, Sakaski and Kazan also locked on Uchiha Tamaki who stopped because of attacking Katakuri. The two heavens of ice and fire attacked directly. Chapter, 129 Wooden Release, The Birth of the Tree World But Uchiha Yugen directly closed his hands, and his eyes changed from Sharingan to Rinnegan. The densely packed huge trees suddenly broke through the ice and grew out. This environment has some restraints on wood release, and using wood release consumes more, but now in addition to the immortal body, Uchiha Yugen also has half of the nine tails. If you put the chakra from the tree realm, it will be restored in a short time, so naturally it won't be a big problem. The lush trees directly resisted the cold and heat waves. However, these two nature types also have restraints on wood escape. The trees were frozen on one side and burned on the other. But it somewhat restricted the advance of the two natural forces. 
what exactly is his devil fruit power? Both Sakaski and Kazan were very confused about this matter. In their opinion, Uchiha Yugen's abilities were too much. Just the thunder and lightning and flames that I had seen in the war above, as well as the extremely tall giant, and even the clone. Now we can still control trees, but it is too complicated and powerful. However, the two of them were not afraid of such a consumption comparison. Almost half of the tree they had just released was destroyed in less than 10 seconds. But Uchiha Yugen only used it to restrict the two people from approaching, and then continued to rush towards Katakuri. Katakuri was not afraid and chose to fight head on. Even if he could not make the most appropriate choice due to his domineering ability to predict the future, he did not think he would lose to this guy in terms of hard power. Nuchuan groans. Katakuri controlled the glutinous rice balls condensed around him, and from these glutinous rice balls, jet black glutinous rice arms stretched out directly, wrapped with armed hockey. These arms are like machine guns, attacking quickly, densely packed, with almost no gaps. The ice was hit by a fist, causing a hole to explode directly. Almost instantly, the ice in front of Katakuri collapsed, and ice shards and wood chips were scattered everywhere. I didn't even hit it at all. Kotaku was shocked. It was almost a sweeping attack, but it still didn't touch the opponent. The speed is still too slow. And Uchiha Yugen was dodging everywhere in the dense glutinous rice fists. If you were a general and others, it would be very difficult to dodge the attack that leaves almost no gaps, but for me. Who has the color of knowledge and the samsara eye, I can understand all attack positions, plus my own movement speed, the total can find a place to hide. At this time, Uchiha Tamakura had arrived five meters in front of Katakuri, and Katakuri also had a hard look on his face, wrapping his hands around his armed hockey and waving it quickly. Ningli Rice Cake Hit your body randomly and randomly. But just like before, it was effective for other people, but it had no big effect on Uchiha Tamaki. Under the observation of the samsara eye, he passed through the gap and rushed to Katakuri's side, with two sticks sticking out from his shoulders. A nine-tailed chakra arm directly grabbed Katakuri's left hand. And the right hand holding Lei Yu directly slashed Katakuri hard on Katakuri's waist. After all, Katakuri is twice as tall as Uchiha Tamaki, and even two meters taller than the two generals of the Dai army, Sakaski and Kazan. The sword is raised to the top of his head, and it only reaches his waist. This is because of the slight jump. However, Katak's armament was also at a high level. The Chidori slash did not directly cut his body open, but suffered a heavy blow. His whole body flew backwards in an instant, hitting Uchi as hard as a cannonball. The trees released by Bo Yushuan using wood release hit dozens of trees before stopping. But at this time, the two navy admirals also broke through the wood escape and rushed directly towards Uchiha Tamaki. Both of their lower bodies are elementalized, allowing them to move faster. The roaring cold wind condensed in Kazan's palm, while Sakaski's right fist was filled with hot lava. There was ice and lava beneath them. The originally blue sky became dark, and arcs of sea oil flashed in the clouds. Susano The dark red Susano rose directly from Uchiha Yugen. About 50 meters tall, which is about 20 meters taller than the normal Susanoo when the kaleidoscope is used at full strength, but it is still far from the complete form. Susanoo raised his hands, holding a sword in one hand and a shield in the other. The sword and shield were instantly wrapped with armament-colored hockey, and at the same time, the sword was wrapped with overlord-colored hockey, and black and red electric arcs pulsed. The shield resisted Sakaski's attack, and the sword he held slashed directly at Kazan. Kuzan frowned, and a huge fist of frost instantly rose from the ice, up to 15 meters wide, wrapped around Susanoo's long sword of domineering hard steel. Boom! Kuzan and Sakaski's attacks arrived almost at the same time. The shield directly resisted the molten waves like waves, while Kuzan's frost fists clashed head-on with Susanoo's long sword. The powerful impact of power was all concentrated on the Susanoo. Some parts of the armor on the surface of the Susanoo could not withstand the force of the impact and cracked. Zitsizi. What? Originally, Kuzan was in a stalemate with Susanoo's long sword, because he continued to provide energy for the frost fist, 
quickly making up for the space consumed by the collision of the frost fist. But suddenly, a powerful call erupted from the long sword, spreading directly towards him through the frost fist, forcing him to leave the ice to avoid being affected by the arc. The huge frost fist was directly cut away by Susanoo's sword without Kazan's support. Susanoo's sword struck directly on the ice, creating a huge crack nearly a kilometer long. As for Sakaski, he was naturally unwilling to be blocked by Susanoo's shield. Ah! Roared! The large amount of molten lava he condensed quickly condensed into a lava giant with a height of 100 meters. Like a monster, the lava continued to fall down from his body. And Sakaski's entire elemental form is hidden in the lava giant's chest. The hundred meter tall giant, twice as tall as the current Susanoo, waved his huge fist and was about to hit Uchiha Tamaki. Then I will fight with all my strength. The third power, Susanoo. Susanoo continues to grow in size upwards, becoming the Gundam version of Susanoo. In an instant, the situation was reversed, and Susanoo was twice as tall as the magma giant. Facing the fist of the magma giant, Uchiha Tamaki controlled Susanoo to use the laser sword, and directly lifted it up, directly cutting off the arm waving by the magma giant. The arms of lava, which were tens of meters long, fell on the ice and instantly melted large chunks of the ice, forming a large crater. This is just the beginning. Sakaski roared. A large amount of molten lava surged out of his body again, filling the body of the nearby molten giant. He quickly restored the severed arm while continuing to lift the body of the molten giant. At the same time, Sakaski's lava melted through the ice layer, but the molten solidified quickly when it came into contact with the sea water, and continued to fall into the sea. Gradually forming a foundation, just like a volcano erupting to form a small island, Sakaski fought the force is on the temporary island he formed. Kuzan on the other side, not to be outdone, also used frost to condense an even bigger frost giant. Two admirals, there is no way the Uchiha can escape. No need for me to take action. Katakuri saw the situation at the scene and silently chose to leave. Although he can also form a huge rice cake giant through glutinous rice cakes, it is meaningless. Compared with the natural system in terms of giantization, it is too disadvantageous. He decided to capture a few Uchiha people and go back to give his mother an explanation. It's not raining today and it's not that cold, but the plot is also difficult to write. It's hard to get scolded if you don't write well. Chapter 130 Lava giants and frost giants surrounded Uchiha Yugen on the left and right. The two giants condensed from the natural system are also over 200 meters in size. No matter how big they are, it's not impossible for them to condense, but their movement speed is slow, and it takes a lot of energy to cover such a huge giant's armed hockey. If the opponent suddenly stops resisting and turns around and runs away, it will consume too much, so about 200 meters is just right. Uchiha Tamajin controlled Susanoo to fight one against two, and was slightly at a disadvantage. After all, it was too difficult to fight with four hands with two hands. If he blocked one side, the attack from the other side would also arrive. Be silly, I can fly. Uchiha Tamaki controlled Susanoo to open his wings and fly directly into the sky. Sakaski and Kazan were enjoying themselves, but couldn't help but be stunned when they saw this scene. They all stretched out their hands to pull Susanoo, but failed, causing Susanoo to fly up. Instead, their bodies touched each other, instantly arousing a lot of steam. Kuzan and Sakaski naturally have the means to fly into the air, just use the moon step, but the giant they condensed cannot go up to the sky. The two of them thought about giving up the condensed giant and chasing after them, but they found that Uchiha Tamaki did not run in mid-air, but inserted the laser sword back into the scabbard, and then pulled it out fiercely. Similar to the way of drawing a sword and slashing, a powerful sword pressure was directly struck towards the two of them. Seeing that Uchiha Tamaki didn't run away, the two of them breathed a sigh of relief, and then directly resisted the sword pressure, but the huge body was cut off instantly. But this damage is ineffective for the two of them. In the natural system, only arm domineering and the same elemental attacks can hurt them. Physical attacks such as sword aura basically have no effect. 
the place where the giant was severed was immediately restored by their ability, without much consumption at all. Meteor Volcano Then Sakaski controlled the lava giant to continuously launch his fists toward Susanu in midair. Like anti-air defense missiles. Lava fists exploded in the air. On the Kazan side, the weather was changing, with freezing winds blowing and a sudden blizzard falling. In the air, Susanu dodged left and right, and would be hit from time to time, but it was not too much trouble. The damaged position of Susanu could be restored with chakra. Sakaski and Kazan felt something was wrong, but they didn't know what Uchiha Yugen was doing. Super Shinra Tenjin. As for Uchiha Yugen, he has also gathered the chakra needed for the Super Shinra Tensei. The powerful repulsive force that could not be resisted spread directly from Susanu in all directions. The black smoke and dark clouds originally formed in the sky due to the abilities of Sakaski and Kazan were swept away in an instant. At the same time, the ice surface was directly crushed by the repulsive force, which rushed towards the lava giant and frost giant. That power again. I won't be beaten away again this time. A large amount of lava poured out of Sakaski's body, like a real volcano crater. At the same time, the lava giant's body continued to grow larger, and he raised his hands and pushed forward. At the same time, the lava on the ground also formed a huge wave and surged towards him. Moreover, the entire body of the lava giant is also wrapped with armed domineering energy, and it wants to go head to head with Super Shinra Tenjin. Even if Kazan makes the same choice, he will not retreat. A super high ice wall instantly rose from the ice surface, which also wrapped the frost giant's body with armed domineering energy. The repulsive force of Super Shinra Tenjin hit the two of them almost at the same time. The huge wave formed by the molten magma was instantly defeated, and the ice wall also collapsed. The two armed and colored giants were constantly pushed back by the repulsive force. They resisted almost with all their strength, but neither of them could resist this huge repulsive force. Hot and cold, the two forces were forcefully pushed away by Shinra Tianjin, and as the eyes fell in the sky, it was like the creation of the world. After fighting for less than ten seconds, the two of them were finally knocked away by the huge repulsive force. The body was directly separated from the giant. Without the support of the two people's abilities, the giant formed also turned into ice chips and molten lava and dispersed towards the surroundings. The power seems to be less than expected. It is indeed not easy for two generals to resist. Uchiha Tamaki took a look at the situation and analyzed it after seeing the sea surface about three kilometers in diameter exposed below. The Super Shinra Tenjin he released this time is naturally stronger than Tendo Pain's. After all, he now has more chakra than he can use up. If one third less, Uchiha Yugen felt that he might really be resisted by the two of them. After all, Shinra Tianjin is not absolute. If the opponent's resistance is stronger than the releaser to a certain extent, the releaser can be bounced away. Tian Dao used Shinra Tianjin to resist Naruto after transforming into a tailed beast, but Naruto resisted forcefully and was ejected instead. However, although the destructive power of Super Shinra Tenjin is great, it is still an impact in nature, and it does not cause any harm to the two natural systems of Sakaski and Kazan. After the two were bounced several hundred meters, they transformed into elements and recovered again. Uchiha Tamaki dismissed Susanu and continued to play head-to-head -head with the big guys. That was a war of attrition. Uchiha Tamaki didn't want to waste this time, so he used Super Shinra Tensei to clear the field to avoid wasting and wasting with these two guys. Time Sage Mode Uchiha Yugen directly entered the Sage Mode, once again strengthened his physical fitness, and then used the Moon Step Plus Shave to accelerate quickly in the air and rush towards Kazan's direction. Come to my place. Kazan couldn't clearly see the situation several kilometers away, but he could feel someone rushing towards him quickly. In this situation, it could only be Uchiha Tamaki. This made him a little unhappy, and he felt like he was being underestimated. Then he held his right hand, and a two-meter-long ice blade appeared directly in his hand, and he immediately wrapped it with armed domineering force. Then he exerted force with his feet and rushed directly towards Uchiha Yugen. After being still a thousand meters away from Kazan, 
Uchiha Tamaki landed on the ground and exerted force. It directly broke through the sound barrier, and the surrounding ice exploded in a second. At the same time as it was splitting, Uchiha Tamaki had already rushed in front of Kazan. With his right hand holding the thunderstorm that was wrapped with the armed color overlord color double color hockey and a chidori attached at the same time. Holding it in the backhand, like a dagger, he slashed forward fiercely. Kuzan also rushed here through acceleration, but the burst speed was naturally not as fast as Uchiha Yugen, but he still reacted and used the ice blade to confront him. But the stalemate lasted less than a second, and the ice blade cracked in Kuzan's shock. Thunderstorm slashed at Kazan's chest. Kazan's internal organs were impacted and he vomited blood and flew backwards. And behind Uchiha Yugen, Sakaski also came late. Big fire. The huge molten fist hit Uchiha Tamaki's back. But Susanu's skeleton appeared, and two arms wrapped in armament colors directly caught the big fire breath. At the same time, the two arms condensed with chakra each rolled out a super large jade spiral pill one meter in diameter, and pounced directly from left to right, blasting toward Sakaski. Two large jade spiral pills exploded directly, covering dozens of meters around them, and a large deep pit was created in the ice surface by this force. But before Sakaski was attacked, he escaped directly into elemental form, got under the ice, and was already lurking at the feet of Uchiha Tamaki. When his right hand was like a volcano erupting, Releasing the lava unlimitedly towards Uchiha Tamaki on the ice, Uchiha Tamaki was also releasing ninjutsu. Fire Release, Flame Dragon Technique This is the black flame that Uchiha Yugen developed, which belongs to his own blood inheritance limit and cannot be extinguished. The burning of the changes in the properties of the fire escape, coupled with the spread of the changes in the properties of the thunder escape, the fusion of the blood succession boundary is the flame escape, Amaterasu's eternal flame. A black dragon flame rushed under the ice first. I haven't saved the manuscript, so I won't update it four times in advance today. Tomorrow, I should have a monthly pass of 600, and I will need four updates. Regarding Yen Dun, I posted a picture of the blood succession limit before, so I will post it again to avoid being tricked. Chapter, 131 Black Flames Is it covered with armed color hockey? When he saw the flames of Yen Dun, Sakaski was stunned for a moment, and then realized that his nearly thousand-degree molten lava did not actually swallow up the flames. However, he had more molten liquid, which directly rushed into the black flames and broke through the ice, like a volcano erupting. Kuzan also came back, with blood still remaining on the corner of his mouth. Just one blow like this would naturally not be able to cause fatal damage to Kuzan. Seeing the lava erupting all over the sky, Kazan was a little unhappy. After all, he didn't like high temperatures. Fire escape the great fire extinguishes. But what greeted Kazan was the powerful fire escape released by Uchiha Tamaki. Kazan frowned and stepped lightly with his foot, raising a stage ice wall directly in front of him, easily blocking the destruction of the powerful fire. However, Uchiha Yugen's powerful fire extinguisher is not used to attack but to spread the flame escape. After the extinguished fire escape came into contact with the black flames, the black flames quickly spread on the ice. After Sakaski came up from under the ice, he saw sporadic black flames scattered everywhere, and they were still spreading. It actually ignited my lava. When Sakaski saw that the black flames were burning on the lava flowing around him, even burning the magma, this made Sakaski somewhat unacceptable. He used lava to directly cover the black flame, and when he was about to let it lose the burning air and extinguish it, he found that the black flame still existed tenaciously and could not be extinguished at all. Similarly, Kuzan also discovered this. He was shocked when he saw that the ice he created could not extinguish the flames. I tried to use natural elements to assimilate the flame, but found that it was impossible to do it. I even controlled the melting of the ice and let the flame fall on the sea, and found that even the seawater burned together. It's my home court next, prepare to fail. Uchiha Yugen held Thunderstorm, and at the same time, the flashing arc of lightning on Thunderstorm also turned into flames of fire escape. This is the form change of Yen Dun, with the addition of Earth Life. 
The escape technique released by the five ordinary attributes basically does not pose much threat to the natural system. The opponent can even assimilate certain attributes, just like the rustling fruit can easily turn the wall created by the earth escape into fine sand. However, the blood inheritance limit and the nature of the fusion of the two attributes make it difficult for Ong to assimilate these natural attributes. This is what he discovered when he used the tree realm just now. Both Kuzan and Sakaski are strong destroyers, rather than turning the wood release into lava or ice. Neither Katakuri nor Katakuri can assimilate the trees created by the wood release. He can adapt to the awakening. Seeing this situation, Uchiha Yujenkai, a superhuman ability user, decided to use flame release as a counterattack to restrict them from using their own abilities. Although it cannot cause fatal damage to them, it will take some time for them to escape if they are infected by the flame escape. Uchiha Yugen rushed towards Kazan again. Sakaski naturally did not allow this scene to continue to happen, but looking at the black flames everywhere, he did not want his body to be contaminated by such things, so he chose to give up elemental movement and turned around. And used the moon step plus shave to rush towards Uchiha Yugen in midair. Uchiha Yugen directly separated into a shadow clone, which had one-fifth of the chakra of the original body. There is no need to defeat Sakaski, just delay the opponent. The shadow clone directly formed a seal and released the water escape technique of the great waterfall, intercepting Sakaski's movement route. Bah! However, ordinary water escape naturally poses no threat to Sakaski. He raised his hand and punched directly to evaporate the water condensed by the great waterfall technique, but the assistance also stopped. Does a clone just want to stop me? Dream! Sakaski was angry and felt that he had been underestimated. Kuzan, on the other hand, has already begun a close combat with Uchiha Tamaki. The ice blade in Kazan's hand was constantly replaced, because every time it came into contact with the opponent's blade covered with black flames, his own ice blade would also be stained with black flames. Moreover, he had to constantly use the power of the frozen fruit to push away the black flames spreading around him. At the same time, he controlled the ice under his feet when Uchiha Yugen moved, and ice pillars continued to rise to attack. However, they were all blocked by the Susanoo skeleton on Uchiha Tamaki's body and the nine-tailed chakra arms that kept extending. Facing the current Uchiha Yugen, Kuzan felt as if he was facing an enemy with shit on his mop, not daring to touch him at all. In this case, Kuzan's close quarters strength cannot be used at 70%. Uchiha Tamaki quickly seized the opportunity. Two Susanoo arms grabbed Kazan's waist horizontally and lifted him up. However, Kazan's freezing power was activated and Susanoo's arms were quickly frozen. The power of freezing is about to spread to Uchiha Tamaki's body. But in front of Uchiha Yugen, the thunderstorm with black flames in his hand directly cut off the ice blade in Kazan's hand. The two nine-tailed chakra arms condensed two immortal techniques and super-large jade spiral pills, which directly hit Kazan. Kazan raised his hands and unleashed his armed hockey, hoping to use his hockey to block these two sudden big balls. Uchiha Tamajin also immediately broke off both Susanoo's skeletal arms, and Kazan was also knocked back by the impact of the two balls exploding. I want to elementalize, but I'm afraid that I don't have enough time and will be injured by the force of the two balls exploding. Earth Explosion Sky Star But Uchiha Tamaki's combo wasn't over yet. Facing the direction in which Kazan flew backwards, he pinched it with one hand and released a powerful attraction in midair. The ice surface cracked directly due to this gravitational force, shattered into pieces, and rushed towards the sky. Kazan was also uncontrollably sucked into the sky. After all, he was suppressed by two balls at this time and could not elementally transform at all. Kuzan and Sakaski could not elementally transform as fast as Kizaru. Which is based on their natural devil fruit characteristics. In just three seconds, the Earth Explosion Star was condensed. Kuzan was sealed by the Earth Explosion Star. It was much faster than when Uchiha Yugen released it for the first time. Black flames were still burning outside the low earth explosion star. This is the flame escape that spread before and has not been extinguished. However, a large number of icicles immediately appeared on the outer layer of the earth explosion star. 
Kazan used his own ability to completely freeze the Earth Explosion Star, destroy the seal, and then break free. Although the Earth Explosion Star has a certain space sealing ability, as long as it is strong, it can break free. Obviously, this cannot completely trap Kazan. The power of heavenly calamity. But Uchiha Yugen's attack was not over yet. Susanoo's complete form reappeared, Susanoo held his right hand, and a huge thunder spear appeared in Susanoo's hand, nearly 150 meters long. Without hesitation, he threw the spear towards the Earth Explosion Star in the sky. The thunder spear directly penetrated the Earth Explosion Star. Boom! The spear formed by the power of the Heavenly Tribulation exploded directly, and the Earth Explosion Star was directly shattered by this force. The dark clouds in the sky instantly dropped a thunderbolt that was more than 10 meters thick and struck the center. A huge mushroom cloud rushed directly into the sky. It's over. Katakuri, who was finishing up Dress Rosa, turned his head and looked at the scene behind him that looked like the sky was collapsing. Some couldn't help but be surprised. At the same time, I feel that I need to speed up, complete my goal and leave early before the Navy arrives. After all, there are two generals here. Chapter, 132. Get out of my way. Sikaski naturally discovered the fighting situation in the distance, and when he saw the huge mushroom cloud in the sky, even his face showed a gloomy look. Kuzan's life and death are unknown. Although he has no dealings with this guy, the opponent is a navy and he is not afraid of fighting and running away, so he is one of his own. He was upset when he saw the clone standing in front of him, constantly using his gigantic ability to resist his attacks. Waving his hands wildly, he released a large number of lava fists, covering them with heavy firepower. The Uchiha Yujinkich clone who was beaten for a while could only defend and could not continue to draw out his hand to restrain the opponent. But immediately, the shadow clone was automatically released. Uchiha Tamaki dismissed Susanoo and rushed directly toward Sakaski. Naturally, Sakaski did not give up, and directly condensed a huge fist of lava, wrapping his armed hockey around and hitting Uchiha Tamaki. The Susanoo skeleton appeared on Uchiha Tamakian's body. He stretched out the right hand skeleton and made a fist to face it. At the same time, the Nine Tails Chakra also wrapped around the Susanoo skeleton arm, just like the skin attached to the outside of the skeleton. The top position, it is directly wrapped with the two color domineering color of the armed color and the overlord color. Susanoo's skeletal arm collided with Sakaski's lava arm, black and red arcs of electricity continued to rage around, and water columns exploded one after another on the sea surface. The power is already at this level. Sikaski was very shocked. After all, his punch could be said to have been thrown with all his strength, but he was still in a stalemate with the opponent. He even felt that his body seemed to be screaming, and he felt like he couldn't bear it. Immortal Technique Super Large Jade Raisingan Uchiha Tamaki extended another chakra arm and rushed directly toward Sikaski, condensing an oversized Raisingan on the way. Sakaski couldn't believe that the opponent still had the energy to unleash other abilities while wrestling with him. He wanted to say it was unfair. But his beating nerves told him that it would be very dangerous if he was hit by this blue light ball. Ah! Sakaski roared. The lava on his body quickly erupted like a real volcano crater. At the same time, the lava fist also grew in size rapidly. Sakaski wanted to use the lava giant to fight when the natural system was more dominant. The superlarge jade Raisingan hit the magma and punched it through, but the direction changed and it missed Sakaski. Losing a little magma was nothing to him. The body of the lava giant has gradually taken shape, but more molten lava is still lost to the sea. He must find a way to give Sakaski a support point on the sea. After all, the ice cannot support his hot body. Now it was Uchiha Tamaki who couldn't withstand it. There were already cracks in the middle of Susanoo's skeletal arm. You're far from enough to see one on one. Seeing that the other party wanted to use giant enlargement to fight, he thought that he and Kazan had suppressed him with this move just now. Uchiha Yugen directly raised his sword finger and once again used the power of the complete Susanoo. After the complete form of Susanoo was formed, the lava giant had also completely condensed. This is just the beginning. 
Sikaski also wanted to resolve the battle at once and continue to release molten magma without limit. The lava giant's body, which was originally over 200 meters tall, continued to expand and wanted to become bigger. Uchiha Tamakajin, on the other hand, simply gave up on fighting the lava giant. Sikaski did not pursue him, but concentrated on strengthening the lava giant. I originally wanted to use it later, so let's try it now. After Uchiha Tamaki finished speaking, he left the hexagram on Susanoo's forehead and came to the position on Susanoo's chest. Then the Nine Tails chakra on his body exploded directly, filling Susanoo's body, forming a yellow chakra human body. Awesome Susanoo! At the same time, Uchiha Tamaki controlled the transformation of Susanoo and attached it to the yellow human body. Reducing the consumption of forming Susanoo's human body and instead using it all on armor and weapons, which could increase the power of Susanoo by about 20%. Strength The reason why it is a yellow chakra human body instead of the nine tails is because it has not succeeded in pieing with the nine tails, so it can only continue to extract the nine tails chakra and cannot let it fully help. Now it is equivalent to being able to take out 100,000 yuan from Zhou Wei Bank at one time, but Zhou Wei himself can take 500,000 or even 1 million at a time. The money can be taken continuously, but the amount cannot be taken out that much at one time. That's the only limit. But for the current Uchiha Yugen, it is enough. The body of the lava giant is still rising, reaching more than 300 meters. Seeing this, Uchiha Yugen controlled Susanoo to condense a chakra bow, and the arrows were formed with black flames. Sakaski saw this scene and directly controlled the giant to open its mouth, compress and eject the lava like a volcano crater, and rush toward Susanoo. However, on the sea surface, Susanoo was much more flexible than this lava giant that was difficult to move. He stepped directly on the sea surface to move, and at the same time fired the flame escape arrow in his hand, directly hitting the lava that was impossible to avoid. On the giant. However, the arrow did not directly penetrate the lava giant, but the exploding arrow spread the black flames to the lower body of the lava giant, and as the molten flow itself, the black flames continued to spread to other places. However, Sakaski no longer cares. Anyway, it is not known how long it will take for the black flames to burn him in the lava giant's chest, so there is no need to care. Continuing to control the lava giant, he continued to release compressed lava from his mouth, like a breath of fire, chasing Susanoo. The surrounding seawater was quickly evaporated, and the hot steam exceeded hundreds of degrees. However, such huge steam could not cover the huge figures of the two people. Don't you care? Upon seeing this, Uchiha Yugen also realized that the extent of the black flame's effect was also limited. Then he didn't plan to dodge, but fought head-on with the lava giant. Bang bang bang! The chakra human body wearing dark red armor moved, opened its mouth, and sprayed tailed beast jade from its mouth. He kept punching holes one after another in the lava giant. The last shot directly blew the lava giant's head to pieces. But these were nothing to Sakaski, who immediately controlled the lava and restored his head. However, during this period, Susanoo had already approached the side of the lava giant. Although lava kept falling down, hitting Susanoo's body and making many holes, Uchiha Tamaki's investigation carrot also provided a steady stream of output to repair these injuries. At the same time, Susanoo directly pulled out the laser sword from his waist. The moment he pulled it out, it was immediately wrapped with the two-color hockey of the armed overlord and the overlord, and at the same time, the electric arc appeared and pulsed. I won't let you get what you want. Sakaski naturally discovered it, and controlled the lava giant to stretch out his right hand, and the entire huge lava arm was wrapped with armed domineering energy. He blasted directly at Uchiha Tamaki's Susanoo. He did not aim at the sword, but at the Susanoo. If the damage was exchanged, he felt that he would gain more. Naturally, Uchiha Yugen would not choose to resist forcefully. He controlled the pulled out laser sword to change its direction, directly facing the lava giant's huge fist, and slashed at it. Chapter, 133 The fists and swords collided, causing a powerful impact in an instant. The sea around the two of them sank a large amount in an instant. The size of the lava giant is one-third larger than this guy. Why was it resisted by the opponent? 
the scene that Sikaski expected did not appear on the court. Originally, he thought that his blow should directly knock the opponent down. But the result was another stalemate. But the stalemate didn't last long, Sikaski said in shock. Because he found that the fist of his lava giant was broken open by the opponent's weapon, breaking the domineering force and cutting the lava. Without giving him much time to react, after the laser sword broke through the armed hockey, he went forward and cut off the entire lava arm directly. Then, regardless of the lava falling on Susanoo, he continued to slash at the upper body of the lava giant with his backhand. Just cut it in half. Earth Explosion Sky Star Uchiha Yugen once again grabbed the ground with one hand and exploded the sky star. Taking the lava giant's head as a point, at the position where the samsara eye is looking, the gravity directly attracts the surroundings, preparing to catch Sakaski. Originally, Sakaski was planning to control the upper and lower bodies to refuse. After all, in his opinion, this kind of attack was nothing to the natural system. But it was discovered that all the lava released by himself flew towards the sky uncontrollably. Including himself in the lava, he was also absorbed into the sky. He struggled wildly, but he couldn't exert much strength in the lava. Fire Release Black Sun At the same time, Uchiha Yugen directly attaches the flame release to the continuously forming Earth Blast Star, and the Earth Blast Star floats in mid-air like a black sun. The Earth Explosion Star ended quickly, forming a black and red lava ball in mid-air. Outside is the black flame that is constantly burning. However, the lava was still struggling unwillingly. Sikaski was naturally unwilling to give up and frantically released lava from his body to destroy everything. The Earth Explosion Star Seal cannot last long. Uchiha Tamakajin controlled Susanoo to open his mouth, and directly condensed an extra-large tailed beast jade, with a diameter of more than 50 meters. Even Achiha Tamakajin felt that the nine tails in his body seemed to have some kidney deficiency, and he extracted it. I can't keep up with the chakra. Then he released this oversized tailed beast jade at the Earth Blast Star in midair. The tailed beast jade was about half the size of the Earth Blast Star. It exploded directly upon impact with the Earth Blast Star. This time it was a pure chakra bomb, no other tricks. The exploded tailed beast jade erupted with extremely dazzling light, swallowing up all the lava, and then a huge mushroom cloud rose directly into the sky. There have been countless huge waves formed by the battle, and the nearby islands have suffered. Are you really not dead? These people's bodies are really perverted. Uchiha Tamaki carefully observed in Susanoo, and saw a figure falling from mid-air after the explosion. Without hesitation, he disarmed Susanoo, and then used Suki step to rush past. The tailed beast jade's energy-laden explosion was not a pure force attack. Sakaski could not resist at all. Even if he wrapped himself in armed color, he could not completely resist it. The internal organs of the body were greatly impacted, and the strength was almost gone. Seeing Uchiha Tamaki rushing over, they wanted to fight back. The two struggled for less than ten minutes before being defeated by Uchiha Tamaki who was in full condition. The power that Sakaski exerted was difficult to achieve even half of before, and he couldn't stop it at all. Knocked Sakaski unconscious, tied his whole body with chains as thick as his arms, and tied his hands and feet with seafloor stone handcuffs. Even if you can use advanced hockey to destroy the sea tower stone handcuffs, just make sure he can't touch them. Kuzan's side was a little more miserable. He also used arm domineering to resist. The impact of the explosion of the power of the heavenly tribulation was relatively small, but his body was numbed by electricity. When he fell into the sea, his body could not move at all. Then it kept sinking. It took several shadow clones of Uchiha Yugen to search for a long time before he found Kuzan. The same operation was performed for Kazan, Iron Chain Sea Tower Stone Handcuffs, there were a lot of these in the scroll that Uchiha Yugen brought. The huge waves are so strong, they keep coming. It looks like the battle is very fierce. Lieutenant General Hu Shan was on the warship. In response to the huge waves that kept coming, he kept using his sword energy to get out of position and avoid overturning the warship. Smoker not far away did the same thing. 
Both generals brought only one ship because they knew that ordinary navies were of little use. The two navy warships were both destined for Dress Rosa, where they were ready to wait for their general's return. That's Da Flamingo. Smoker noticed the pirate ship flying the Don Quixote family's pirate flag in the distance, with a solemn look on his face. Da Flamingo, on his side, had just arrived nearby and was discovered by the navy before he could even go ashore in his underground port. Young master, we have a navy, do you want to deal with them? Baby Five was on the mast, using the tactical telescope conjured by his right hand, to discover Smoker's warship. Ignore them and get ashore quickly. If they come here to die, then kill them. Da Flamingo said with a cold expression. He already knew through his spies that two generals of the navy were dispatched. The two generals should be fighting Uchiha Tamaki now. After all, the aftermath of the battle is constantly emerging on the sea, and the huge waves are the best proof. In his heart, he was sure that Uchiha Tamaki would lose, but it was related to his underground black market business, and he had to make a trip to prevent the navy from messing up his business. After all, the person he bribed was not the navy, but people from the world government, so this was a critical moment and he needed to personally make the decision. If it hadn't been for Uchiha Yugen, such a thing would not have happened at all, and everything would have been covered up. This is the tacit understanding of everyone. Smoker hesitated again and again and did not choose to take action. He did not think he could defeat the former Shichibukai da Flamingo, so he finally chose to dock first. The three groups arrived at Dress Rosa at almost the same time. However, the place where Smoker docked was relatively close to the place where da Flamingo docked, and Smoker discovered that someone seemed to be on the shore in advance, waiting for da Flamingo. That is. I've seen the Uchiha symbol in Ding Zan's hand. Are the others also his people? Da Flamingo recognized Uchiha Shirsui standing on the shore. At the same time, he had never seen the guys wearing black with red clouds and green. He even found a few people pointing at him not far away, which made him very irritated. At the same time, he also felt that there was a sense of danger coming from these people. The people here are so big. Senju Hashirama was surprised. In a different world, it's not normal for these strange things to happen. Tsunade, I think you need to become stronger, and your blood phobia needs to be overcome. With me and Big Brother here, you can test it as you like. I guarantee that nothing will happen to you. After Senju Tobarama responded to his brother's exclamation, he said to Tsunade at the same time. When he found out that the only direct bloodline left in the Senju clan was Tsunade, and that this direct bloodline could not fight, he was really a little angry. At this time, I hope to help Tsunade regain her combat effectiveness as soon as possible, and at the same time conduct intensive training to improve her strength. How could he lose to Uchiha? He couldn't bear it. Chapter, 134 Naturally, Shirsue and others were notified by Uchiha Yujinkich's clone. Tell them that the people in the navy will fight back if they take the initiative, and if pirates appear at the same time, they will take the initiative to deal with them, no need to be polite. If he encounters Da Flamingo, he dares to take the initiative and doesn't have to stay behind. He can teach him a lesson and let him see his true nature. Da Flamingo jumped directly from the boat. He would not be frightened by Uchiha Tamaki's men, and he believed that his own strength would not be much inferior to Uchiha Tamaki. This is Uchiha territory now, and pirates are not welcome here. Shirsue raised his head, looked at Da Flamingo, and said very coldly. He has also learned about what Da Flamingo did in Dress Rosa these days, but after all, this is Uchiha Yugen's choice as the second in command in this world. But just now the Shadow Clone said that if the other party insists on seeking death, there is no need to be polite. Do Uchiha Tamaki's subordinates dare to speak to me like this? Da Flamingo had a habitual smirk on his face. But as soon as he finished speaking, the overlord color domineering energy was released directly from his body, and black-red arcs of electricity emitted from his body, directly covering the coast. Cracks appeared on the surrounding walls because of this momentum. Is this the domineering look of a king? But Orochimaru's eyes were excited. Uchiha Yugen only told him about this, but did not demonstrate it. The two pirates captured before had not yet used this kind of domineering force. 
After hearing Uchiha Tamaki's description, he could tell at a glance that this was the overlord's haki. The two ninja swordsmen of Kirigakur village had solemn eyes, obviously shocked by this momentum. Nagato and Conan have already experienced the dominance of Uchiha Tamaki, but they are still surprised to meet someone with such power. The marines in the distance were also affected, and many sailors fainted directly. Smoker was holding a cigar and looking at Doflamingo with a frown. You are not qualified to compare with the clan leader. Shusui said while his Sharingan moved rapidly. Directly releasing his mental power, the phantom of the three Magatama Sharingan appeared in front of him, resisting the overlord-colored hockey released by Doflamingo, and resisting the hockey that rushed towards everyone. Several people in the Akatsuki organization were a little surprised. Although they knew that Shursui's strength was definitely not weak, after all, Uchiha only brought Shursui here alone, but they didn't expect that Shursui had a way to resist this momentum. Interesting. Is this why the Tianlong people are targeting you? Doflamingo's eyes were sharp, but they were blocked by his sunglasses and were not exposed. After the incident in Shampoo, he naturally went to find out what caused the fight. When he found out that the five old stars were eyeing Uchiha's special physique, he was a little surprised. But now it seems that this Uchiha is composed of a special group of blood. This is Uchiha territory, pirates are not welcome. Uchiha Shursui said again, but his tone was much stronger. Interesting, it seems I have been underestimated. Then let me see how confident you are to say this. Doflamingo was a little angry. After all, he was pretentious. In his opinion, the guy in front of him was just a subordinate of Uchiha Tamaki. How dare you talk to him like this? Class is very important to Doflamingo. He raised his hand directly and launched a bullet line from his fingertips, preparing to break Shursui's leg. But immediately the hairs on Doflamingo's body stood up because he found that the guy he was attacking had appeared behind him at some point. Shusui held Shusui and slashed directly at Doflamingo's waist. Doflamingo was directly knocked away. In the end, he managed to cover his waist with armed hockey and resist the attack. Although Shusui is fast, he is somewhat lacking in strength. His current level is only at the level of a major general, but in terms of speed, few people can keep up within a short distance. That's so fast. Is this the descendant of Jing? Uchiha has so many geniuses. Senju Tobarama was a little surprised. Little Lord. At the same time, Doflamingo's men were also shocked that their boss was actually beaten away. One after another they jumped off the boat and landed directly on the shore. However, a few people from the Akatsuki organization and Metkai stopped directly in front of them. Is there anyone who is good at fighting? I want to find a suitable target. Metkai stood up and raised his hand to speak. Uchiha Yugen told him that the battle must be won by oneself, so Metkai took the initiative to find the target. The funny watermelon head from there. Dellinger looked at Metkai with disdain on his face, then charged forward with all his strength and kicked Metkai in the abdomen with his domineering and high-heeled feet. Kanoha Tornado Metkai looked happy, and directly wrapped his legs around his armed domineering face. Ah. Dellinger screamed. Because his leg was broken by a direct kick from Metkai, he flew backwards, hit the boat, and fell into it. The members of the Don Quixote family were stunned for a moment, and then they all looked at this funny watermelon head with solemn expressions. It seems that they judge people by their appearance. I will be your opponent. Pika made a voice like a drake and walked out of the Don Quixote family. At the same time, other members of the Don Quixote family are also choosing opponents from other targets wearing black and red clouds. I'll deal with that fish man. Senior said, referring to Kisame's fish man face. Then I'll choose this. Gladius, the user with the explosive fruit ability, chose to deal with Kakuzu because he may have sensed the overlapping of the characters, and the opponent also had half of his face covered. That woman feels so disgusting, let me do it. Yora, the user with the art fruit ability, pointed at Conan and said with some displeasure. Too much nonsense for each one. Water release water dragon bullet. Loquat Juzang, who chopped off the tail beast jade with a sword, has no interest in waiting here for these people to distribute them one by one. 
He directly formed a seal and condensed a large water dragon bullet from the sea water, rushing towards everyone in the Don Quixote family. The rest of the Xiao organization became impatient and followed suit. On the other hand, Metkai rushed towards Pika, preparing to have a good fight with the big guy. Are the pirates fighting? Look carefully, as long as they don't affect civilians, don't participate. Smoker was ready to watch the show and gave up participating. After all, the main task this time was to capture the villain Uchiha Tamaki. Swish swish. Doflamingo crashed into the stone wall under the cliff, and a burst of smoke filled the air, but soon, a thread was fired from the smoke for more than ten seconds and rushed towards Shirsue. But this speed couldn't hit him at all. Shirsue appeared in another place, and then spit a huge fireball directly at Doflamingo. Doflamingo waved his hand and fired silk threads directly from his fingertips to divide the huge fireball into six sections. You pissed me off, boy. There was no smile on Doflamingo's face anymore. Let me weigh it, what qualifications do you have to be the second in command? Jisue also said unceremoniously. At the same time, the autumn water in his hand directly ignited with fiery red flames. Inflammation. Tsunade, you can't fall behind Uchiha. On Senju Tobarama's side, seeing how showy Shirsue was, he urged Tsunade in a somewhat urgent tone. Second Grandpa, I really can't do it. Tsunade was a little helpless. Her grandfather was afraid of this serious second grandfather, and so was she. Chapter 135 Uchiha people are really monsters. Smoker looked at the battle scene in the distance and felt great pressure. Especially the pieces of paper flying and exploding all over the sky were simply more exaggerated than dozens of warships firing their cannons at the same time. He just watched helplessly as the other party beat Doflamingo and his gang to a pulp. Those guys wearing black and red clouds are so special and weird. And the most important thing is that the young man wearing the same clothes as the great villain Uchiha Tamaki actually suppressed Doflamingo. This was the most unacceptable thing for him. Good guys, what kind of monster combination are Uchiha? These guys are very weak, not as strong as the guys we caught before. Kisame had diamantai hanging on his muscles and commented. He thought that this world was full of enemies with similar strength to Kid, but now it seems that his strength is still good. At this time, there is only one Pika left in the Don Quixote family who has not yet been dealt with, and the battle for the others has already ended. Because anyone with devil fruit abilities would be useless against these ninjas. In the battle of Nagato's rehabilitation, before he even exerted much force, he used water escape to trap Toribo, causing him to lose his ability to fight. This guy is just a Shichibukai, he is much different from the Yonko. According to the leader, the strength of the four emperors should be as strong as the first and second generation Hokage. Orochimaru retracted his head from Senior's neck, and then spoke. If the Yonko and the navy were transformed into five large villages, the Shichibukai would be at best like the Amagekure village. The leader might be very strong, but his subordinates would be a little weak. But there are also great guys. The Red Sand Scorpion looked at the battlefield between Metkai and Pika in the distance. Pika has been integrated into the rock, and his body continues to grow. However, after being punched by Metkai, he kept repairing holes, which made it impossible for his body to grow to its maximum size. Huh, it seems that the sixth gate will be difficult to deal with you. You are worthy of being my chosen opponent. Then I will use stronger strength to deal with it. The seventh door, the shocking door, open. Metkai has been fighting with the sixth door, but found that the power of the sixth door made it difficult to defeat the big man quickly. The battles of ninjas are all done quickly, and Metkai was not prepared to delay. He directly exploded into the seventh gate, and blue steam emerged directly from his body. No matter what tricks you play, you can't beat me. Pika also responded with a sharp voice. At the same time, he raised his fist as big as a tank and blasted towards Metkai. Metkai turned his body sideways, raised his left hand and instantly wrapped it with armed domineering energy, and jumped up directly. In the eyes of everyone, this movement speed was almost like a space transfer, appearing directly in front of his fist. He directly punched the huge rock fist. 
the size gap between the two sides is more than a hundred times. However, the huge fist of rock shattered suddenly and spread until it reached the shoulder of the rock giant before stopping. When everyone in the Shao organization saw this scene, their faces were moved. Good guy, although they thought Mekkai was very powerful, they didn't expect him to be this powerful. This is where Uchiha Tamaki found his subordinates. The most uncomfortable person at this time was Doflamingo. He was suppressed and beaten by Shirsue for a long time, and he couldn't find any chance at all. Now his men are falling down one after another, and none of them has won. The most powerful Pika was actually punched like this by that funny man dressed in a watermelon. Doflamingo even doubted himself, whether he was dreaming and took the initiative to provoke the Yonko pirates. Do you still have time to be distracted? Shirsue appeared next to Doflamingo like a ghost. Chilshue directly cut off Doflamingo's thread and used teleportation to leave before the new thread could pounce on him. Doflamingo was angry. If it were a head-to-head -head confrontation, he felt that this guy would definitely not be his opponent. But now the other party is like a flea, constantly harassing me. And the most disgusting thing was that the other party held seafloor stone handcuffs openly and openly, making it impossible for him to relax at all. After all, if you are cuffed, that's the end of it. At this time, like the five old stars, he also wanted to understand, these people are not devil fruit users, and where did they get so many abilities? Is it because I recharge less money and don't turn on this mode? Hiratora. Metkai directly used the seventh gate's special skill, Day Tiger. The huge fist pressed the tiger's head, directly shattering the upper body of the lava condensed by Pika, and the lower body had already been interrupted by Metkai. Therefore, Pika could only hide in the upper body, and the huge tiger's roar directly swallowed it. However, he hadn't completely fainted yet. When he fell to the ground, he still wanted to use his ability, but Metkai, who was rushed over by Shadow Dance Leaf, punched him in the head, almost blowing his head off, and he was completely unconscious. I feel like now that I'm using Bayman, the physical burden is much less. After Metkai released the eight door Duenjia, he felt that his body did not have the severe pain before, it was just a little numb and tingling, so it was not a big problem. You've pissed me off completely. Doflamingo is no longer tolerant. If this continues, the Don Quixote family will really be destroyed. As soon as the bean shoes were stepped on, the ground began to be assimilated by the devil fruit and turned into threads, and it rushed towards Shirsue, but naturally it was in vain. Tsunade, I feel that only by defeating this guy can Senju be more powerful than Uchiha, but it feels a bit difficult. Senju Tobarama is still looking at the battlefield, and at the same time he is also very concerned about the glory of the Senju clan. I can't beat you at all, give up, second grandpa. Tsunade responded numbly. She thought it would be better for her to be a medical ninja. Naidame, if I join the Senju clan, defeating that guy can also help the Senju clan regain its glory. Jiraiya held it in for a long time, and finally spoke. Jiraiya wants to marry into his wife. No. Before Senju Tobarama could answer, Tsunade refused righteously. Jiraiya's expression changed. On the battlefield, Doflamingo has begun a multilateral battle. Controlling a large number of threads, he rushed towards several members of the Akatsuki organization and asked them to put down his men. At the same time, he arranged a large number of lines of sight around him to prevent Shirsue from getting closer. If he didn't find it and moved quickly, he would be cut by the thread. However, the almost transparent sight naturally cannot be hidden from Shirsue. At the same time, Doflamingo asked Akatsuki to organize a group to fight. Let's all work together to prevent this guy from causing too much damage. This will be our stronghold in the future. Nagato stretched out four arm-sized golden chains from behind, fighting against the rushing silk thread, and at the same time said to several people in the Akatsuki organization around him. After all, it was the former leader who spoke, so no one objected. And they also wanted to weigh the strength level of this so-called Shichibukai. Then give it a try. This ability seems to be somewhat similar to my chakra line. Scorpion took out the third Kazakage again. Kisame separated a water body, used the water prison technique to lock all the prisoners in the sea, and then prepared to fight. 
Lo Kuat Chuzong thought for a while and decided not to use the mist shadow technique. It felt like it was of no use and just cut it hard. He liked this feeling recently. Orochimaru and Kakuzu moved their bodies and began to form seals at the same time. Wind Escape Press Wind Escape Big Breakthrough The two types of wind escape were released directly against the threads rushing in like ocean waves. Let's do some statistics. Did anyone watch the fight between Akatsuki Organization Kai and the others? No one watched it. I will reduce it later and try to omit it as much as possible. Chapter 136 Phone Dun cut the approaching silk thread directly. After all, it was just an ordinary silk thread and was not released from Doflamingo's own body. At the same time, it was not wrapped with armed domineering energy. Naturally, one cannot resist the wind escape with its changing nature. The wild waves and the white line. Seeing this, Doflamingo continued to assimilate the surrounding environment, creating a large number of threads, condensing them together, and rushing towards everyone in the Akatsuki organization like a wave. At the same time, he controlled dozens of lines of sight with the palm of his hand, forming a wrist-thick thread in his hand, like a whip, constantly pulling towards the position where Shursui appeared. Seeing this, Shursui did not choose to use Susanu to resist. Although his endurance has been greatly increased after using the first-generation cells, he has also been popularized by Uchiha Yugen. People like Doflamingo are also the most energy-consuming. It would be a fool to fight a war of attrition against this kind of enemy. He retreated and prepared to find a place to absorb the power of nature and use the immortal mode. Now he can't activate it instantly, but as long as it is activated, he can maintain it for a long time. Water Escape, Big Storm Wave Kisame formed the seal, and the sea water behind him surged up instantly, more than twice as big as what he released on land. The real huge wave and the huge wave formed by the line of sight collide directly. Although the silk thread is sharper, the seawater is not afraid of being punctured at all, and the offensive of the silk thread stops instantly. Sand Iron Boundary Method On the scorpion side, he directly asked the third Kazakage to use the secret of magnetic escape. A large piece of iron sand condensed in midair, and then fired directly at Doflamingo indiscriminately. One attack was a spike formed by dozens of iron sand. Shield white line. Doflamingo crossed his arms and waved. The silk threads on both sides of his feet rose up and crossed directly, blocking the top of his head. At the same time, they were wrapped with arm domineering energy, and the attack of the sand iron boundary method could not pierce it at all. Thunder escaped pseudo darkness. Kakuzu continued his mission as a magic machine gun and began to use thunder release. Water release water dragon bullet. Orochimaru cooperated in casting spells. Use water release to increase the coverage and destructive power of thunder release. Doflamingo controlled the thread and tried to destroy these two ninjutsu, but found that it had little effect. The water dragon bomb arrived first. After the silk thread shattered it, the water spread directly on the silk thread. Then the lightning could not be destroyed. The arcs directly strung randomly on the silk thread. He who was connected to the silk thread was instantly transferred to the body by the electric current. The body felt numb. Would release four pillar prison technique. Nagato clasped his hands together and released would release. This is also the ability he gained after using the first generation cells. After all, he is good at changing the properties of the five attributes, and has also studied the yin and yang escape techniques deeply. In addition, the Uzumaki clan and the Senju clan are also related, so it is easy to master the wood escape. When he was in Kanoha, there was also a Puritan who passed through the Senju Hashirama and was taught, and he also had a deep understanding of the wood escape. Wooden stakes rose directly from Doflamingo's feet, surrounding him. After all, Doflamingo has only assimilated the surface of the ground, and it is impossible to go all the way down to a few hundred meters, or at most one or two meters, of the lower ground. Therefore, Nagato can still release wood release for sneak attacks, it is not wood release that grows on silk threads. As soon as the four-pillar prison was formed, a large number of origami paper on the origami wings behind Shaonan flew to the four-pillar prison and stuck to it. Bang bang bang! 
then they exploded like fireworks on New Year's Eve. Now Xiaonan has so many detonating talismans that he can't use them all, because he hasn't had time to use the detonating talismans he had saved over the years to deal with Abito. Although there are not as many as billions, there are still hundreds of millions of them. Doflamingo was blasted at a fixed point, which made him dizzy, but he was not killed directly. It was just because his body was paralyzed and the armor wrapped around his body was a little slower, and his body was slightly damaged by the impact. It's very similar to my mutual detonating talisman. Senju Tobarama has been paying attention to see who is using his ninjutsu indiscriminately. She is my disciple, the second generation. Jiraiya said very proudly. When I came here this time, I had no intention of spending more time with my two disciples. He was also sad to learn about Yahiko's death, but he was very happy that there were still two disciples alive and growing up so well. It's those kids back then. Tsunade also reacted. After all, Akatsuki and his team didn't have much dealings with the Sanmin in Kanoha. In addition, Nagato has been recovering and has only met Jiraiya. The combo just now might have shocked people in the ninja world, but for people in this world, it was only a minor injury. Doflamingo had no choice to stay where he was. And he also found that the annoying guy who had been holding the seafloor stone handcuffs was gone, so there was no need for him to stay where he was. He jumped up and waved his right hand at the same time. Big wave and white line. Doflamingo controlled the threads like a boundless ocean to form huge waves, rushing towards the location of everyone in the Akatsuki organization. Water release, thousand food sharks. Kisame continued to form water escapes. But this time, the white threads were like a real sea, flowing continuously, not blocked by these seawater sharks flying out of the sea. Kakuzu and Orochimaru wanted to release their ninjutsu, but Doflamingo had already targeted these two insidious guys, and he was paralyzed by their abilities just now. Omihara Shirami Doflamingo used his awakened abilities to the extreme, and everything around him was assimilated into threads. The water escape range released by Kisame was unable to completely block it, and the extra threads rushed towards Kakuzu Orochimaru and the others. However, these threads were naturally unable to stop the Akatsuki organization and others, but they inevitably fell into a war of attrition with Doflamingo. Very strong, this big guy. Senju Hashirama has been paying close attention to the battle. Seeing the current situation, he couldn't help but comment that it was similar to the situation when he used the Tree Realm to change the battlefield and consume the enemy. The domineering power of this world does have a great influence. Otherwise, I could kill him with one strike. Senju Tobarama also said confidently. Flying Thunder God Slash, a unique move to hack Madara's brother to death. His brother defeated Madara, and he defeated Madara's younger brother, which is equivalent to the result that Senju is greater than Uchiha. Wooden Release, The Birth of the Tree World Nagato clasped his hands together and used the strongest wood escape he had at this time. A large number of huge trees grew directly under the ground, directly blocking the continuous flow of silk threads. Unable to assimilate. Doflamingo also discovered the same problem as Kazan and others. He tried to assimilate Muduan and found that it failed, and ordinary silk threads were too slow to destroy the trees created by Muduan, so he personally released the silk threads from the palm of his hand to wrap around the weapon. With one whip, the trees were swept away to a large area. When he was about to swing the next whip, the feeling of heart palpitations suddenly emerged. He thought of the person who disappeared on the battlefield. He stopped the attack without hesitation and controlled all the threads to wrap around himself. Immortal Technique Uchiha Style 10 Flame Shadow Killing Formation Uchiha Shirsue didn't know when he appeared behind Doflamingo, stepping on those threads by treading water. The autumn water in the hand was filled with fire. There is also a fairy face that is almost identical to Uchiha Tamaki's face, and two small dragon horns appear on his forehead. As he finished speaking, ten meters away from Doflamingo's cocoon, ten Uchiha Shirsue figures appeared, surrounding the cocoon, and waving the autumn water in their hands together. The flames on the autumn water were also cut out, and after leaving the sword body, they surged tenfold. This is the power after fusing the magic chakra. 
Ten flaming slashes that were more than ten meters long hit the cocoon that Doflamingo used to protect himself. It was not that he had not thought about escaping, but when he thought of Shirsue's speed, he knew that he could not escape. The power of the ten flame slashes exploded instantly, covering a range of dozens of meters around. The surrounding silk threads that came into contact were burned directly, and they continued to spread outwards. The fire escape bonus of the fairy magic increased the burning attribute by at least several times, and everything that came into contact burned. Chapter 137 The cocoon da flamingo uses to resist attacks in the middle is wrapped with armed hockey to resist, but the hockey is not absolute. The moment the flame slash hits, the thick cocoon shrinks by a large circle. After the power of flame slash exploded, the cocoon quickly shrunk at a speed visible to the naked eye. The flames did not go any further until the threads released from Doflamingo's own body. However, the ten slashes contained in flame slash were hitting almost simultaneously, even Doflamingo was injured in his internal organs by the slashes from all directions. At the same time, the high temperature of the flames and the domineering aura cannot be completely avoided. Whoosh whoosh! Doflamingo controlled the thread in anger and attacked Uchiha Shursui. But Shursui did not continue to resist and left immediately. The attack just now was the strongest attack he could unleash without using Susanoo. It consumed a lot of physical strength and Senjutsu Chakra. The sage mode he had just entered had consumed less than one level of Senjutsu Chakra. If you continue to release magical ninjutsu, you will no longer be able to maintain it. Releasing ten powerful attacks instantly, arriving almost at the same time, requires extremely fast speed and control. But now, the body is different from before. You can recover after taking a rest. The first generation cells can help in all aspects. Shursui could feel that his strength was getting stronger every day. He felt that in half a year, he would be able to defeat this guy by himself. What kind of force is Uchiha? Doflamingo couldn't help but doubt himself at this time. Did Uchiha Tamaki really not deceive him when he invited him to be his second-in-command? If you want to intimidate these guys, your own strength doesn't seem to be enough. At this time, his favorite cloak, which looked like flamingo feathers, was burned directly. There were severe burns on the skin from the waist to the chest. But before he came back to his senses, he saw that the people just now had completely changed their appearance. They are Kakuzu who has entered you mode, Kisame who is in Samahata mode, Scorpion who is practicing with hundreds of machines, and Juzu Juzo who has been fishing for fish. At the same time, Shaonan has also buried the detonating talisman into these threads. Behind Nagato, there were four King Kong blocking chains inserted into the ground. They had already begun to dig towards Doflamingo's location, preparing for a surprise attack. I'm here to see Uchiha Tamaki. Doflamingo gives in. He felt that if he continued to fight, the Don Quixote family would really be finished. I said I was going to call someone, but I actually called someone. He felt that these people, plus his own words, would definitely not be worse than the four emperors. Could it be that Uchiha Tamekian really wants to become the four emperors? But after offending the world government and being surrounded and suppressed by the navy, can he really survive? This guy is scared. Loquat Juzang stood up at this time and said with a slightly mocking tone. Doflamingo wants to ask who you are. Were you dealing with me just now? This guy has a very high bounty and can be exchanged for a lot of money. Kakuzu was somewhat unhappy. Because of the abolition of the lower Shichibukai, the bounties on these Shichibukai have increased a lot. Now Doflamingo's bounty is 1. 2 billion berry. This is money. It's good to be used as experimental material. Orochimaru stuck out his tongue and moved it in his mouth, like a gay man looking at his target. Doflamingo is very powerful, so he wants to expose it even more, and he wants to try using the Fuso reincarnation to occupy a powerful body in this world, so Doflamingo is very attractive to him. Puppets are good too. Scorpion said calmly. I want to tear such a strong man to pieces with my own hands. Kisame said with a smile. Doflamingo's face jumped, these people really treated him like a pot of vegetables. He was very angry and wanted to take action, but he didn't have any helpers. 
he really didn't have much confidence to fight so many people. The most important thing was that a few people standing not very far away put a lot of pressure on him. This was where he felt the danger when he got off the ship, referring to the first generation people. There are still people who have not taken action, but his current combat effectiveness is barely less than 80%. Although there are still special moves that have not been used, it feels like he can kill a few at most, but he will die, which is meaningless. Give up resistance, wear Shanghai Lusher handcuffs, and wait for the leader to come back to make a decision. Nagato looked at Doflamingo, thought for a while, and then spoke. This guy is not an envoy of other forces. He fought like this when he came up. It is reasonable to ask the other party to lose their combat effectiveness. I'm leaving now and we'll talk about it when Uchiha Tamaki comes back. Naturally, Doflamingo would not be willing to be handcuffed by Shanghai Tower Stone. He would not trust anyone. Nagato thought for a moment and was about to speak. But the sound of fighting was heard in the distance, and everyone's attention was drawn to it. It was the navy warship about five kilometers away that was smashed into pieces. It's Katakuri. Doflamingo saw the ability to destroy warships and immediately recognized Katakuri. Then he directly used the silk thread to wrap around the clouds in the sky. He wanted to run away. If the navy came back, he could find someone who could fish out his men. In case Uchiha Yugen comes back, he can also go and talk. That's why he chose to flee the battlefield, which was the most appropriate choice. Seeing Doflamingo running away, Nagato stopped the others from pursuing him and turned his attention to Katakuri. This guy is very strong. He can predict the future for a short period of time. He can easily find flaws. Don't be careless. We are responsible for protecting Dress Rosa from being destroyed, and leave other matters to others. Nagato's Sharingan could see clearly, and he also recognized Katakuri. The shadow clone of Uchiha Tamajin had informed them and told them to be careful not to encounter him if they encountered him, and to just keep themselves safe. After all, Katakuri's knowledge is more restrained from the actions of the ninjas. Most of the ninjas are surprised. If Nagato still has the Rinnegan, he can definitely fight with the Akatsuki organization. However, his current strength is at the peak of the Kage level, and he is still far away from the Super Shadow. He cannot withstand Katakuri's frontal pressure. The Akatsuki group can easily be defeated one by one. Hadame, do you want to take action? On Shirsue's side, he suddenly appeared next to the first generation. If Katakuri appears, then let the first generation take action, or Shirsue uses one of his Mangekiai techniques. They are all means that can change the situation of the battle. Well, this guy is a pirate. If the Uchiha master cares so much, his strength should be very good. Let me give it a try. Senju Hashirama said. Although he is dead, his fighting instinct has not disappeared. When he encounters a powerful person, he still wants to attack him twice. If he doesn't want to kill him, he can just catch him. Then I'm sorry to trouble you. Shirsue respects the first generation. We know that the other party's original purpose is to establish a place where everyone can coexist peacefully and survive. At the same time, he resolves the hatred between him and the Uchiha and makes the two families friendly. He is definitely a good person. I'm very happy to be able to help you juniors. Senju Hashirama said with a smile. After saying that, he rushed directly towards Smoker who was being beaten. Vice Admiral. Nothing more than that. Katakuri's right hand is squeezing Smoker's neck. Smoker can't break free at all. Any attack from his hands or feet will hit the opponent's body. Katakuri will move the attacked part of the body in advance, exposing a hole, making Smoker's forehead the attack failed. He was very unhappy after being hit by the aftermath of the attack by the two generals just now. In addition, during this period of time, the navy continued to arrest pirates at sea, and Bigmum was also affected. Therefore, he will not show mercy to the navy. But suddenly, Katakuri let go of Smoker's hand, jumped back a few steps, stood on the shattered deck of the navy warship, and looked at the sudden appearance of Senju Hashirama in surprise. Oh, very sensitive reaction. Can you really see the future with your ability? 
Senju Hashirama was a little surprised and curious at the same time. Who are you? Katakuri felt his mother's intimidating power from this short guy in front of him. He was actually a little scared. Senju Hashirama is the first Hokage of Kanoha. Senju Hashirama was very proud to say that he was the Hokage and that establishing Kanoha was the best thing he thought he had done in his life. Chapter 138 Hokage Katakuri heard that the other party was very concerned about this identity, but he kept thinking about it and couldn't remember what Hokage was. Are you a Marine? Katakuri kept using his sense of sight, looking for any flaws, and asked at the same time. Is Hokage a new position in the Navy? And this person felt strange, as if he had no life. No, I'm a ninja. This is Uchiha. Uchiha territory, other pirates are not welcome. When Senju Hashirama said that this was Uchiha, he felt a little complicated, similar to the feeling when his ex-girlfriend mentioned her ex-boyfriend's name. However, he did not take action immediately. The other party did not take the initiative to attack, and he would not bully others due to his personality. Uchiha people. Hearing this, Katakuri frowned. He didn't expect that there would be such a strong person in Uchiha. On Smog's side, there was a feeling of surviving a disaster. At the same time, he was trying to save his subordinates. Most of them were alive, including Dusky. Katakuri just hit him casually, and there was no use all your strength to destroy everything. So be it. Remembering that the talker in Kanoha is Achiha now, and Senju is also a part of Kanoha, Senju Hashirama also feels that he is now an Achiha. After all, he wanted Madara to be the Hokage at the beginning, but unfortunately his brother refused, and Madara also gave in. He had no choice but to become the first Hokage. Katakuri was silent. He looked at Senju Hashirama. It was hard to imagine that a person less than two meters tall could actually have the strength to make him feel the pressure. Like the red hair, is he a strong person who specializes in domineering? If I defeat you and capture you, that guy Uchiha Tamaki will probably also feel very uncomfortable. I don't know why you make me feel so dangerous, but I will defeat you. Katakuri said very coldly. Since they are enemies, there is nothing to hesitate about. After the words fell, he took the lead in launching an attack. Unparalleled Rice Cake Blade Katakuri transformed his right hand into the shape of a machine gun head, and fired a large number of glutinous rice cakes wrapped with armed domineering energy from the muzzle towards Senju Hashirama. Would release tree binding kill. Senju Hashirama left immediately, while Katakuri had already changed the direction of attack in advance. Predicted the position where Senju Hashirama would leave, and jumped directly onto another broken board to avoid the rising force of the board under his feet. Would escape. Seeing this, Senju Hashirama had no choice but to take out a kanai, inject chakra into it, and knock away all the glutinous rice cakes rushing towards him. What a powerful force! Feeling the power of the machi bullet, Senju Hashirama sighed. It's similar to the wood that Achiha Tamaki released just now. Is it the same power? On Katakuri's side, he was also getting information. He was naturally testing it just now, but he didn't see much information. He just saw that the ability he just wanted to attack was wood, which reminded him of his encounter with Achiha Tama not long ago. The ability used by the opponent during Xian battle. This made him feel relieved. After all, the boss of the Uchiha force couldn't cause much trouble to himself even if he used this kind of wooden ability. How strong could his subordinates be? Katakuri gained confidence. Baked rice cakes. Katakuri raised his right hand and pointed it at Senju Hashirama, wrapped the hand and forearm with heat and armed hockey, and launched it directly like a rocket launcher. The flaming fist rushed directly towards Senju Hashirama. As for Senju Hashirama, he was not ready to play anymore. He clasped his hands together and shouted, Wood release, wood dragon technique. A huge wooden dragon jumped out of the sea and rushed towards the roasted rice cake released by Katakuri. However, Senju Hashirama did not learn armed hockey, so the hardness of the wood is not comparable to Katakuri's attack when he unleashes his arm-wrapped armed hockey. The fist-like attack directly penetrated the wooden dragon's head and rushed backwards. 
After destroying the entire wooden dragon, it didn't have much power and was directly hit by the wooden stake protruding from the palm of Senju Hashirama. Lose. Katakuri's arms grew rapidly in the initial stage of his launch. His face was slightly surprised, but he thought it was normal. He thought the opponent's strength might be similar to Smoothie's. With this one blow, I will defeat you. Katakuri pointed at Senju Hashirama, he wanted to end the battle neatly. As he finished speaking, the scattered naval wreckage around him was transformed into glutinous rice cakes, shaped like donuts, and floated around him until there were nine of them. From the backbone of this donut, arms are stretched out ready to go. Interesting. If that's the case, then I'll fight with all my strength. Senju Hashirama laughed, clasped his hands together, and his face showed a fairy face. Katakuri's face tightened when he saw this scene, but his face immediately showed panic. Immortal technique, would release, transformation on the top, thousands of hands. Senju Hashirama shouted loudly. A huge Buddha statue instantly rose from the sea, holding up the thousand armed pillars. The waves caused by the rising waves of the Buddha pushed the surrounding navy people away. Behind this giant Buddha, there are a thousand palms made of wood. However, because it is a state of filth reincarnation, and because it is not the improved filth reincarnation during the Ninja World War, the strength is less than 80% at most. So this Buddha statue is only about 100 meters tall, but with the palms behind it, it is over 200 meters tall. Seeing this scene, Katakuri doubted his life. What exactly is going on? Did you think wrong? The cigar in Smoker's mouth had not fallen off even though Katakuri had pinched it just now, but now it fell into the sea in shock. He immediately used his ability, rolled up his men, and rushed towards Dress Rosa. Brother, it's too much. I can deal with such a character. Senju Tobarama expressed dissatisfaction. The Shao organization and others remained silent. As expected of the god of ninja. Orochimaru felt that the nickname of the first generation was not wrong. Only Kakuzu had cold sweat on his forehead at this time. He was lucky that he ran fast and didn't believe what Takigekyo said, so he went to kill the first Okage. Now he just wants to go back and kill Takigekyo village. Aren't you ready yet? When Senju Hashirama saw Katakuri, there were only a few circles around him, looking a little shabby, and he couldn't help but asked Katakuri doubtfully. Even if you are huge, you don't have absolute power. Nuchuan groans. Senju Hashirama's question was undoubtedly a provocation in Katakuri's eyes. This made him unable to bear it, so he directly activated his ability, controlled the arm in the donut, and ejected directly. He wrapped each arm with armed hockey, allowing these nine arms, plus his own two arms, to have a total of eleven arms for random fighting. But what greeted him was literally thousands of hands and arms, all punching at him. Katakuri's face was calm at first, because he found that the power of his attack was much stronger than the opponent's huge fist, and the opponent's wooden fist was shattered with one punch. But soon his face became ugly because the opponent had too many punches. Unfair. At this time, this sentence came to his mind. Why do you have so many hands and I only have eleven? His eleven arms were almost cramped, but their speed could not keep up with the opponent's continuous punches. Soon he felt that the power of the opponent's fist was not weak, but it was not hardened with armed domineering energy. But for some reason, there was another kind of energy on the wood, which made his rice cake body, which was almost immune to shocks, feel pain. And was quickly knocked into the sea, and immediately lost consciousness. The entire island of Dress Rosa felt the shock. Although most of the fists landed on the sea, the power of the aftermath made the people on Dress Rosa feel the ground shaking. Chapter, 139 The Senju Tobarama seal used water release to calm down the huge waves caused by the transformed Buddha on top, giving his brother the finishing touch and avoiding causing damage to Dress Rosa. Kisame, on the other hand, swam smoothly into the sea, fished Katakuri up, cuffed him with sea stone handcuffs and imprisoned him under Doflamingo's men. The most silent one at this time was Doflamingo. At this time, he still couldn't believe the scene he just saw although he had thought that the person he felt was in danger would be very powerful. But he didn't expect that the opponent could actually suppress Katakuri like this. Although it was not on the ground, 
Katakuri's strength was not fully utilized, but it was obvious that the opponent's strength was not fully utilized. And he didn't even see the other party use hockey, he just used the fruit ability. In this case, he felt that only the follow-up of the four emperors would have such strength. Double Yonko. Where did that guy find so many people? Da Flamingo was confused. Good guy, is what Uchiha Tamaki said to him true. He felt that the position of Yonko was within easy reach for Uchiha. Are you okay? What's going on? On the other side of Yuashuashin, they also arrived belatedly. Seeing the pale and miserable faces of Smoker and his men, they couldn't help but frown. He came over and walked around half a circle, so he didn't know exactly what happened. It's too dangerous here. Wait until the general comes back. Although Smoker knew that the new world was dangerous, he never thought it would be so dangerous. Good guy, this Uchiha really has his wits about him if he dares to attack the celestial dragons. Although Hua Shaoshan didn't know what was going on, Smoker's strength was among the lieutenant generals, and he was at the level where he could only stand if there was a stool. But the fact that he was so frightened proved that he must have encountered something very dangerous. He quickly summoned his men and transferred Smoker and others to the warship, preparing to go to the sea to wait for General Akainu to return. However, after waiting for about an hour, he did not wait for the general to come back. The person who came to their ship was Uchiha Tamaki. Hu Shaoshan and Smoker looked at Uchiha Tamaki who had appeared on the deck at some unknown time, their faces stiff. The senior leaders of the navy knew that Marshal Warring States was defeated by this man, so they knew very well that the strength of the two of them could not defeat this big villain. The phone bug who contacted Marshal Sengoku asked me to talk to him about the value of two admirals. Uchiha Tamaki looked at the two of them and said directly. These words made the two lieutenant generals stunned for a moment, and then they looked angry. The admiral will never lose. Are you kidding me? Smoker and Hua Shaoshan said angrily. Although they were afraid of Uchiha Yugen, when it came to the dignity of the navy, they would not give in. But Uchiha Yugen ignored them. With the powerful mental power of his eyes, the samsara eye, he directly suppressed the two people's bodies and couldn't move. Then, under their horrified eyes, he took out the phone bug from Huashishin's pocket, and then dialed directly. Line to contact the admiral. Warring states had no intention of doing anything else. He was just waiting for news from Kazan and Sakaski. He put other things aside and ignored them. Seeing the phone ringing, he quickly answered the call, expecting to hear Kazan or Sakaski's voice saying that they had captured or killed Uchiha Tamaki. It's me, Marshal of the Warring States period. Long time no see. But the sound he heard was the last thing Warring States wanted to hear. His face fell instantly, and he couldn't help showing a suspicious look. Did this guy run away? You are very lucky. Both generals escaped. But there will be no next chance like this. You will be caught sooner or later. According to the custom of the Warring States period, they first used harsh words to intimidate the opponent and increase the pressure of the navy. What can two admirals get from the navy? Both of them are in my hands now. If I can't get anything valuable, then their lives will not be saved. But Uchiha Tamaki's words made Sengoku's heart immediately sink to the bottom of the sea. How could the admiral lose to you? It's useless to try to deceive me with this trick. Warring states looked like ice. But he felt very uneasy and panicked. He felt that the tone of the other person's words did not seem to be deceiving him. Remember to contact me tonight. I will spread the word about this after dawn. Uchiha Tamaki didn't argue. After speaking, he hung up the phone and put it back in Huashishin's pocket. He glanced at the navy and left immediately. Hu ho ho. After Uchiha Tamaki left, the two regained control of their bodies. Smoker gasped for air. When he was suppressed just now, it was difficult to even breathe. Huashishin's side was slightly better, but his face was very ugly. However, he was not angry because he was suppressed by a bounty prisoner. It was the words that Uchiha Tamaki had just said that made him unable to accept it. It cannot be. Hua Shaoshan took a puff of his cigar, then took the phone bug that Uchiha Tamaki had just put back in his arms, 
and began to contact General Sikaski. But I found that I couldn't get through at all. Similarly, Smoker also used a phone bug to contact Kazan, but just like Yuashishin, he couldn't get through at all. The two people had ugly expressions on their faces. They couldn't believe what would happen to the sea if this matter really came into play. Uchiha Tamaki didn't go to Doflamingo's place, and he was going to hang this guy up. After grabbing a wave of materials, Orochimaru was very excited and wanted to dissect them. Kakuzu wanted to exchange these people for money. The others didn't care. Uchiha Yugen asked Orochimaru to draw blood at most and not to do other things. The battle ended before dark, and it didn't cause much trouble to dress Rosa. Apart from being a little louder and scaring a lot of people, everything else was normal. The navy is all busy. A large number of naval warships appeared in the waters near Dress Rosa and began to explore the situation. Sengoku personally took action, and at the same time summoned other lieutenants to rush back and abandon all external affairs. The battle was almost as good as the one at the top of the war. Everyone is looking for the whereabouts of the two admirals. At the same time, the intelligence organizations on Dress Rosa, including the Navy and even King Riku's people, are looking for the two admirals. But nothing was found. The Warring States period was a little desperate. How could it be possible that both generals lost? According to the intelligence, the other four emperors did not leave their territories. Moreover, he could accept that the general would lose, but he could not accept that the two generals lost and could not even find anyone and were captured by the other party. Where you are, I want to meet you. Sengoku asked people to find Uchiha Tamaki directly in Dress Rosa, gave him the phone bug, and then contacted him. Then come to Dress Rosa, this is my territory. Uchiha Yugen, on his side, was not asleep either, but was thinking about how to arrange the next steps. The two admirals were not prepared to kill, but to leave an indelible spell on them, controlling their lives unless they could achieve the level of heart regeneration. Then these two generals can be traded and exchanged for many things. Chapter, 140 The news of the dispatch of the two naval admirals was actually not hidden from many people, and many forces were paying attention to this matter. That's why the Warring States period was so stressful. If the news that the two navies were defeated and captured spreads, the navy will lose face. Some pirates who were originally afraid of the navy and did not dare to go to sea will rekindle their greed after hearing the news and go to the sea again to cause bloodshed. Therefore, the news that the two admirals were defeated and captured must not spread. At the same time, he was also confused as to why Uchiha was so strong and what was his plot. Could it be that another guy like Rox is going to appear in this sea? Late at night, the navy warship docked at the port. The Sengoku side came ashore and took the team directly to the shore. If the other party wanted to negotiate conditions, then there must be talks, and if Uchiha Tamaki really wanted to attack him, he couldn't stop him. The person in charge of the reception was Rob Lucci. During the day of the battle, he had been patrolling Dress Rosa with CP9. He also went to see it when the battle started. After watching it, there was no nonsense. These people are really cruel. Warring states didn't speak all the way, and walked directly to the palace of Dress Rosa through the secret passage. Uchiha Yugen is in the house made by Muduan. Orochimaru Research Institute likes to dig holes by himself, and everyone else also finds a place to rest. Only the older ones like the first generation Jiraiya and Tsunade stayed here. It's been a long time, Marshal of the Warring States period. Uchiha Yugen said this again. Warring State's face was cold, and he gritted his teeth and said directly, How are Kazan and Sakaski doing? He needs to confirm the situation of his men before he can proceed with the next step of negotiation. It's just you, come with me. Uchiha Yugen said. Warring States hesitated for a moment, then motioned to the subordinates following him to stay at the door. Each of these marines looked nervous, but they could only hold back their uneasiness, especially Smoker and Hua Xiaoshan in the crowd. In the distance, King Riku looked at this scene with some confusion. He didn't know what to say. Why did the navy marshal come out in person to meet this bounty criminal? He remembered that Sengoku had called him on the phone this afternoon and asked him to help find the admiral in Dressrosa. He said that he could not contact him. 
However, when he saw the Admiral and Uchiha Tamekian meeting, his face instantly changed. He looked horrified, thinking that his thoughts must be a dream. Uchiha Tamaki and Sengoku quickly arrived at the place where Sakaski and Kazan were imprisoned. It was a very simple cage made by Mu Dun. Both of them were tied with iron chains, and there were also five seafloor stone handcuffs on their hands, feet, and one around their necks, basically giving them no chance to break free. At the same time, both of them were in a coma. Uchiha Yugen used a technique to restrict the blood flow and keep them in a coma. Under what conditions can we let them go? Sengoku clenched his fists, wanting to take action at this moment, directly waking up the two generals and rescuing them, forming the strength of three generals to fight against Uchiha Tamaki. But Smoker explained to him that today in Dress Rosa, Big Mom's deputy was easily defeated by the Uchiha forces, which made him press this idea. This group of forces came prepared. Remember what I said when I fought you last time, right? I want to overthrow the celestial dragons. Uchiha Tamaki looked at Sengoku and said directly. You want me to help you? Impossible. This will cost more than two generals. I can't accept it. Sengoku is not stupid. If he does this, the world government will eventually win and the navy will be purged in all aspects. The most important thing is that the success rate is too low. Even now, he doesn't fully understand what the world government's confidence is. Of course not now, but in the future. If I reach that step and the navy stands in front of me, you will be the one to instigate rebellion against the navy. You don't even have to fight with the navy. You can just watch the show with the navy. How about it? Uchiha Tamaki hates the five old stars very much. It is his taboo to attack Uchiha. If he is defeated, he can only come back with revenge, but to slice him into pieces is the biggest taboo for him as a time traveler. Moreover, the next stage of the task might be to take action against the world government, so he arranged it in advance and could save a lot of things later. Warring state's expression changed, but he still couldn't answer. This time won't be long, within ten years at most. You should still be alive by then. If the Tianlong people continue like this, this world will only become a cycle, constantly starting from the beginning, pirates will continue to appear, and the battle will not stop at all. Now the navy can only do this. Think about what the world will be like if the navy becomes weaker and the pirates become stronger in the future. Uchiha Yugen kept confusing him. Thinking of his experience in dealing with pirates over the years, Sengoku gritted his teeth and finally decided to make a deal with this criminal. Good. Warring states felt very humiliated, but still agreed. Then it settled. When the time comes, I believe you will make the same judgment as I am saying now. The next two admirals I can only let go to ensure one's reputation. The other one will be used as a stepping stone for me to become the four emperors. Uchiha Tamaki continued. The warring states period was frightened and angry. Didn't we just have an agreement? Why did you suddenly change your face? Becoming a Yonko requires a certain amount of reputation. Defeating the admiral is good. I'm not going to pick on the other Yonko. Also, it's important for you to give the five old stars an explanation. Negotiate with them and ask for recognition of my control over Dress Rosa and compensation of 100 E. Berry. However, the compensation can be given privately. If you don't agree, I will give you two the news of the general's defeat spreads. At the same time, I will continue to hunt down the celestial dragons in this sea. I will not let go of any celestial dragons who dare to leave Mary Ajoya. This is just for the Tianlong people to see. After all, you have to clear your suspicion in this matter, right? Uchiha Tamaki explained to Sengoku why he did this. With Wu Laoxing's suspicious nature, how could he believe that the navy was really in trouble this time without suffering some losses? You are such a terrible person. It was the first time that warring states felt so afraid of a person. The time given to you is until 12 o'clock noon tomorrow. You can contact the five old stars. Uchiha Yugen continued. Warring states couldn't help but ask, what if they don't agree? Then I will kill the two generals, and then start chasing the five old stars across the entire sea, and let them consider whether they have the ability to stop me. 
Uchiha Yugen showed a kind smile. Warring states shook his right hand, but without saying anything in the end, he left the courtyard where Muduan was made, preparing to contact Wulaoxing overnight. Hurrying back to the warship, Warring States directly took out the phone bug and dialed the special signal contact of Wulaoxing. Wulaoxing naturally also knows what happened in the Navy. After all, too many people know about it, and there is no way to hide it from Wulaoxing. Sakaski and Kazan failed. The phone was connected, and inquiries came directly from the other side. It seems that Wulaoxing has no intention of sleeping and is waiting for news all night. Yes. Sengoku took a deep breath and replied dully. Waste. An angry voice came from the other end of the phone. Chapter 141 Warring states and Wulaoxing discussed for nearly two hours. This was the first time that he had talked with Wulaoxing for so long, and he had never been so cautious about going to war. Sakaski, the five old stars chose him. Soon, Sengoku came to Uchiha Yugen again. His face was very shaken, and it was obvious that the conversation just now put Sengua under great pressure. Sengoku preferred Kazan, but Wulaoxing chose Sakaski. After all, Wulaoxing had the final say, and the one who gave the money was the world government. What Sengoku said didn't work at all. The five old stars were also very angry about the conditions proposed by Uchiha Yugen, but they did not try to negotiate. Because they all know that Uchiha Tamaki is a madman, and he can commit such crimes in shampoo after being provoked. If it weren't for the huge influence of defeating two generals at once, and if Uchiha Tamaki had been chasing the celestial dragons at sea. Which would cause the celestial dragons to lose their face, the five old stars would really not want to agree to such a thing. But in the end, I still felt that the loss of agreeing to Uchiha Tamaki would be relatively small. Although the world government would lose face, it would not lead to world chaos. Really. Sakaski will leave it to you first. Kuzan will wait until I receive the money before releasing him. Uchiha Yugen was not surprised. Because if it were him, he would also choose Sakaski. After all, what the world government needs is a tool who can kill without reservation any criminals who violate the laws they set. Rather than a migrant worker like Kuzan, who has his own thoughts and wants to find true justice. No matter how you look at it, Sakaski is more useful than Kazan, and Sakaski's reputation is at sea, and he can put more pressure on pirates. Did you know they were going to choose Sakaski? Warring States was a little confused. Uchiha Yugen told him the difference between Sakaski and Kazan. Warring States fell silent after listening. He could feel that what the other party said was right. He will wake up in about an hour, and then you can talk to him about the matter yourself. Kuzan will wait for you to pay the money, and then I will hand him over to you. I will ask the reporter to publish the news tomorrow morning, and it should be on the news the day after tomorrow. Uchiha Tamaki dragged Sakaski out of the cage and placed him in front of Sengoku, and at the same time removed the magic seal from Sakaski's neck in front of him. Naturally, he would not tell anyone else about the techniques he had left on the hearts of the two generals. The spell left in their hearts is a transcribed seal, which can be activated by receiving specific hints. After activation, the immortal flames of flame escape will erupt, followed by a large jade spiral pill that will automatically condense and explode. Even if it is elementalized, it cannot completely avoid it, you will be seriously injured even if you don't die. Your plan. Forget it, if one day comes, I will help you. Sengoku looked at Uchiha Tamaki. After hesitating for the last few times, he still did not ask what Uchiha Tamaki's plan was, but gave a promise. For the Tianlong people, he was also disappointed in his heart. If Uchiha Yugen could really bring new hope, then it would be inevitable to give it a try. Uchiha Yugen nodded and didn't say much else, just in case. He wouldn't place his hopes on anyone else. The deal with the Navy was completed, and Uchiha Tamaki arranged for the Shadow Clone to go to reporters the next day to announce the big news that Big Mom's Vice President and Navy Admiral were defeated by Uchiha one after another. But Da Flamingo couldn't help it, and finally set foot on Dress Rosa, the country that once belonged to him. Coming. It was easy to find Uchiha Tamaki, without being blocked by a group of people last time. You win. 
Doflamingo naturally discovered the situation of the Navy warship coming last night. He even discovered Admiral Sengoku. He was confused at that time and thought it couldn't be so outrageous. Well, when have I ever lied to you? Uchiha Tamaki nodded. Those people are Uchiha's true strength, right? Is what you said to me before true? Doflamingo asked Uchiha Tamaki very seriously. He was moved. This is only the strength of some of my elites, accounting for about half. Are you asking about the fact that I asked you to be my deputy? I'm sorry, after all you refused, so I found a suitable candidate before. Uchiha Tamajin thought about the strength of Kanoha. Now that Sasuke and Minato have not come, Sasuke and Naruto have not grown up yet. If these are included, it is indeed only half. Then he looked like a scumbag and smiled at Doflamingo, dashing his hopes. Doflamingo's fake smile froze instantly. What do you mean? Doflamingo had no time to imagine that there was another group of such powerful forces in Uchiha, and he was completely overwhelmed by the anger that Uchiha Yugen said about the emperor's deputy. There was a price for letting you be the deputy of the emperor. You didn't always support me and ran away. Dress Rosa is not in your hands either. Now I have it myself. What does it have to do with you? Uchiha Yugen counted his fingers with Doflamingo. Doflamingo's face was dark, but he couldn't refute. Are you going to let the guy who defeated Katakuri be your deputy? Doflamingo asked. He felt that if it was Senju Hashirama, he might be able to accept it. After all, he couldn't beat him. No, he just came out for a walk. I haven't invited that person unexpectedly yet. If you are willing to join Uchiha, you will be in the third position at most now, but it is very likely that you will be responsible for management. He planned to invite Kazan to be his second in command. He would definitely not be able to survive in the navy. Sakaski became his superior, and he didn't know how many shoes he would have to fill. Secondly, if he loses to him as a prisoner with a bounty on his head, he will basically no longer be able to serve as a general. Maybe Kazan has other ideas, but like Doflamingo, it's better to find someone who can fight, so that he can have more time to practice. When will my men be released? Doflamingo didn't answer, but asked very coldly. Five billion berry. The price is half of that of the admiral. It's very cheap. Uchiha Yugen was not polite and directly made a price. Doflamingo clenched his fists. Please note that I am now a Yonko, not a Shichibukai at the same level as you. Think clearly about your attitude towards Kaido of the Hundred Beasts. If you anger me, you may be taken directly to the world government to redeem the bounty. The black pupils on Uchiha Tamaki's side turned directly into Sharingan eyes, and he released his murderous intent without hesitation. It would be nice if substitutions couldn't be tamed. Doflamingo is not indispensable, just a suitable wage earner. I was rude and I will prepare the ransom. Doflamingo gritted his teeth and finally bowed his head. When he heard Uchiha Tamaki compare the admiral's ransom, he knew that his guess was true. At this time, he did regret a little, regretting that he didn't really believe in this unreliable guy. He needs to calm down and confirm what he should do next in order to get the highest rewards from this chaotic era and stand on top of the world. Why are you voting so hard at the end of the month? Chapter 142 The day after Doflamingo left, the news about Uchiha's defeat of the Admiral and the defeat of Big Mom's vice president immediately hit the headlines. At the same time, there is a photo of Katakuri being restrained, which Uchiha Yugen provided to the newspaper in order to verify the authenticity and at the same time make some ordinary pirates give up to challenge themselves. After all, even the Yonko will face many challengers every year, not to mention the person who announced that he will be the Yonko. The news quickly aroused public opinion at sea, and a large number of people were discussing the matter. The two forces that were affected were the navy in Bigmum, which dealt a blow to his momentum. After Sakaski woke up and knew everything, he fell into silence. He couldn't accept the fact that he lost to the reward criminal, and at the same time in this way. You will soon take over the position of admiral, do not lose heart Sakaski. Losing once is nothing, as long as you win again in the future, it will be fine. If you still have a chance, the navy will be left to you. 
Sengoku comforted Sakaski. He doesn't have too many objections to Sakaski, but he just likes Kazan more, and the next heavy burden of the navy needs to be borne by Sakaski. I won't lose again. I will wash away the humiliation on my body sooner or later. Sakaski said very calmly. But Sengoku noticed that Sakaski's fists were clenched and he was not at all as calm as he appeared. He nodded and said nothing more. The five old stars were very dissatisfied with the navy after the war. This time, he had to take the blame for the defeat of the two admirals, because the five old stars felt that the navy should go all out and use up all the navy's elites to attack Uchiha to make him. That's right. So let him step down early and let Sakaski come up and clear the obstacles in the sea. Uchiha. On Big Mum's side, after watching the news, Charlotte Lingling let out a manic shout. The sound directly shattered the surrounding candy houses, furniture, and other items. She didn't care about one of her sons being captured by the other side, but she cared more about Big Mom losing such fighting power and losing Big Mom's reputation at the same time. Profit is what she cares about most. A group of children around them saw their mother acting like this, and no one dared to go up and try to dissuade her. Sure enough, you are not a simple character, Achiha. After reading the news, red-haired Shanks looked solemn. If what the news said was true, then this Uchiha was more powerful than he imagined. Both the navy and pirates were defeated one after another at his hands. It seems that no one can stop this Uchiha from becoming the four emperors. Beckman analyzed it after taking a bite of a large piece of meat. The strength of the four emperors is almost unfamiliar, and I feel that I will have to deal with them in the future. Moreover, the former Yonko Whitebeard pirates have not yet been completely eliminated. Ace's strength has grown rapidly in battles. Even a general can compete with one or two in a short period of time. It is not a challenge that ordinary characters can challenge. But now facing Uchiha, the Whitebeard pirates have no chance of winning. Ace and the others can still grow, there will be opportunities in the future, and Luffy will be a member of the new generation in the future, but I don't know if Uchiha Tamaki is also a member of the new generation. Shank said. Uchiha is Doflamingo's previous partner, right? That's interesting. Lingling should be very angry now. Will she kill her directly? Kaido of the Hundred Beasts doesn't have much idea here. After all, Doflamingo has got the thing he wants most, which is the artificial devil fruit, and now he has his own people watching over him at the factory. He didn't care at all about the new Yonko. Everything he was trying to do now was for the ultimate goal, to become Joy Boy. Doflamingo shouldn't be acting together with this Uchiha, right? Jin, on the other hand, looked suspicious. After all, the base Uchiha chose was Doflamingo's previous territory, Dress Rosa. He was going to have someone investigate to confirm the situation and avoid any trouble. You are not recognized by the five old stars, so the admiral is Sakaski's. Tomorrow they will bring the ransom and then you can leave. Uchiha Yugen was in the cage, explaining the current situation to Kazan who woke up. After Kazan finished listening, he fell silent. He couldn't accept this, but the reality was more extreme than he thought. But now he is not tampering with reality, he is just hiding part of it and making his reality public. He would be a disgrace if he returned to the navy, and he had no intention of continuing to serve as admiral. Is your goal also the big secret treasure? Kuzan looked at Uchiha Tamaki and asked. He couldn't understand. If the opponent was a pirate, wouldn't it be better to kill the two admirals? Letting them leave would have serious consequences, and he would not make the same mistake again. Turn the world upside down. This is what I want to do, to overturn that so-called world. Uchiha Yugen pointed to it, which meant world government. Kuzan's face became solemn. He looked at this man and couldn't help but continue to ask, Are you a revolutionary army? No, I am the real god. Uchiha Yugen shook his head, and then said. When trying to deceive people like this, the more exaggerated it is, the better. Since they are not one of our own, there is no need to teach them how to avoid fraud. Kuzan was stunned for a moment, his eyes looked strange, but he didn't continue to ask. If you can't continue to serve as a general after returning to the navy, and you are not ready to be a navy, then come to me. 
come to my place as number two and clean up pirates on the sea. Don't worry so much. The anger of the pirates will be borne by me. Just go ahead and do it. Uchiha Yugen officially issued an invitation to Kazan. Join us Uchiha and start a business together. You are really weird. Kuzan looked at Uchiha Yugen and said speechlessly. And Uchiha Yugen was also stunned for a moment, feeling as if he was not good at mouth dodge. Sure enough, even if you use the first generation cells, you can't inherit Azura's mouth escape ability. This is the only flaw of the Uchiha bloodline. Uchiha Tamaki didn't continue to cheat, he just planted a seed. Unless Kazan was willing to retire in the navy like Zephycarp, there was nothing he could do. As long as you still have some ideas, you must go to sea. This is the best choice, since the conditions are given anyway. After getting the money the next day, Uchiha Yugen let Kazan go. Kakuzu happily counted the money. Although it was not his own money, he was happy as long as he counted the money. The next thing is about the ownership of Dress Rosa and Doflamingo. Uchiha Yugen looked at the back of the naval warship leaving, turned and walked towards the Dress Rosa palace. If it doesn't obey, replace it. Chapter 143 What you mean is that in the future, Dress Rosa will belong to Uchiha, and I will only be the first general manager of Dress Rosa, responsible for the daily affairs of Dress Rosa. From now on, this position will it will be chosen by the people of Dress Rosa, right? King Riku's face was dark, but he still repeated Uchiha to Makian's words. Well, that's the situation. If you are willing, take this position. If not, just pack your things and leave the island. Uchiha Yugen nodded and said directly. King Riku doesn't have any savings, so he won't exploit this guy anymore. Whoever can do it will get the job. King Riku's talent Uchiha Tamekian doesn't think it is good, but it is still okay to serve as the first manager for a transition. What do you want this country to become? King Riku couldn't help but ask. It's better than now anyway. I don't need to explain it to you, I just want to inform you that you have one hour to think about it, and then this mountain will be demolished, so no matter what you choose, you have to pack your things. This palace is on a high mountain, and the journey up there is too strenuous. Uchiha Yugen plans to cut the mountain into pieces and use the gravel to expand Dressrosa's territory. This kind of thing can be done easily and does not take much time. Watching Uchiha Tamaki's leaving figure, King Riku clenched his fists. Cyrus also felt helpless. Although he was the strongest in Dress Rosa, he had no chance of winning. When he was a child, King Riku still compromised. He wanted to ask Uchiha Tamaki why he was different from what he said before, but he still did not say such words after renting. This person will serve as your deputy. He will mainly study and will not interfere with how you manage. My orders must be carried out unconditionally. We can discuss them before they are officially issued, but once they are issued, no questioning is allowed. Uchiha Tamaki said simply. At the same time, Nagato was pushed out and asked him and King Riku to learn how to manage the country. There is still a lot of territory in the ninja world, but his subordinates have too little experience in managing the country. Nagato, a person with a gentle personality, is very suitable for this job. Nagato himself was willing to do this, so he was sent to learn. King Riku had accepted it numbly. He had no other choice. He only hoped that Uchiha Tamaki would be gentler on him and this guy and not squeeze him too hard. Soon, Dress Rosa announced the incident, which caused a lot of panic. Some people began to run away, but Uchiha Yugen did not let anyone stop them and allowed them to escape. These are ransoms. After Doflamingo left Dress Rosa, five days passed before he came back. He had his injuries treated, and at the same time he talked about how to make the next step on his own. Kakuzu immediately opened the cash box and started counting. In less than five minutes, five billion belly were counted. Let Orochimaru release the man. Uchiha Tamaki said to Kakuzu. Kakuzu nodded, then tightly used his outstretched arms to carry a large pile of money boxes and left. Who did you choose as the new royal lieutenant? Doflamingo looked at Uchiha Tamaki and asked. He wanted to try to believe this person who he thought was full of lies before. Admiral Kazan, 
but the possibility is not very high. Uchiha Tamaki didn't hide it either, and there was no big problem in telling Doflamingo. Hearing this name, Doflamingo was moved. Compared with this person, he felt that he was indeed a little bit worse. After joining Uchiha, what does the Don Quixote family need to do? Doflamingo asked seriously this time. Now, let's occupy the so-called territory. There is nothing else to do. Uchiha Yugen thought about it and found that there was really nothing Doflamingo had to do. I wanted to develop peacefully before, but the world government didn't give me face. So if I don't give face, I won't give face either. There is no need for normal development, and Doflamingo's value will drop a lot. Hearing this, Doflamingo looked a little uncomfortable. The Don Quixote family controls nearly half of the arms trade in this sea. It has relationships with many forces and can do a lot. Doflamingo emphasizes his status in the world. He felt that among the four emperors, he was the most powerful. Are you doing this for money, or what? Uchiha Yugen asked. Making money is only part of it, it's more about expanding the power of the Don Quixote family. Doflamingo replied. What are those things for? When you are being hunted by the world government, don't you have to go to the four emperors or contact the celestial dragons to help you solve it? Your own strength is everything. Your so-called power is just a bubble, which will burst when a truly powerful person pops it. Do you really think the world government doesn't know what you've done? Because it doesn't matter. It can be solved easily. It's just troublesome. The trouble is not the difficulty, but the time it takes. Do you understand? Uchiha Tamaki watched as Doflamingo struck down everything he had built. If this were a world where normal people didn't have superpowers, then doing this might be useful. But in today's world, one person can rival the gods, so quantity is meaningless. The U. Dollar is usually very useful, but at critical moments, gold and oil are really useful. Doflamingo's face turned ugly again, but he felt that what Uchiha Yugen said was not a big problem. What I want to do is to subvert the world. Those arms deals don't have much value anymore. If I want to do it, I can monopolize the entire world's arms deals and sell arms to the world government. How about that? Uchiha Tamaki opened his hands and described to Doflamingo. The world government has its own factories that produce arms and cannot buy our arms. Doflamingo snorted coldly and then said. In the future, don't hide it and sell it, just sell it openly and openly. Tell the world government that they won't buy it, and you will sell it to the Revolutionary Army, and they will buy it. Uchiha Yugen said as an example. That will only arouse the hostility of the world government and destroy the entire. Will it destroy the whole factory? That's because you are not strong enough. As long as you can compete with the world government and prevent them from destroying your factory, then they will buy the arms it's that simple. You have reached your limit, but I have not yet. The world will change soon. This is your last chance. Serve for me, Doflamingo. Uchiha Tamaki interrupted Doflamingo directly and made it clear to him that big fists are the last word. Doflamingo was silent. He also knew this truth, but his strength really could not continue to improve, so he spent extra time to establish this huge underground arms trade, which was related to many countries and even forces. However, after being defeated by Luffy, everything was lost. If you think so much, you won't be able to hold on without enough strength. I will be your rock on your way to becoming a king. Doflamingo has been squeezed enough by the world government and Kaido. Instead of being squeezed by these people, it is better to find a real backer to gain trust and get more protection. Therefore, he chose to hang out with Uchiha. What he said just now is very realistic. Strength is everything. He feels that the younger Uchiha Tamaki can give him more rewards. Kaido and the others, Doflamingo can't see this kind of aura that looks like a bubble in the world government. Okay. Starting from tomorrow, stop black market transactions and just take out the arms and sell them openly. I'm responsible for taking on the pressure, but you're responsible for production and everything else. By the way, you must abide by the laws of Dress Rosa. Uchiha Tamaki nodded. Then, just like an unscrupulous boss, he would arrange a difficult task for the workers. 
Da Flamingo's hand shook. Was he doing this from the beginning? He felt a familiar smell. Uchiha Yugen had also boasted like this to him before, and then he was hunted down by the world government and Big Mom, and escaped after taking off all his skin. There is the fourth update today, I should finish it in one o'clock. 700 monthly tickets are due for one update. Chapter, 144 Chief, this is a brand new strengthening fluid I got after fusing your blood with the first generation cells. Vince Mok Kaji was holding a tube of light red solution in his hand, which looked like blood, and explained to Uchiha Tamaki. What about the risks? Uchiha Tamaki took the solution and felt a familiar feeling, which was almost the same temperature as his own body. I have used many Uchiha clan cells for experiments. As long as I have done experiments, they can be perfectly integrated with almost no resistance. It's just that this enhancement solution is not very powerful at improving bloodline factors, but it basically has no side effects. It cannot be as powerful as the Uchiha who has a kaleidoscope and directly uses the first generation cells to enhance it. However, this solution can continue to be improved. As the technology improves in the future, it should be able to increase the amount, and the second injection can be continued for strengthening. Vince Makaji quickly replied. He only began to fuse Uchiha Yugen's continuation pages and first-generation cells after weakening them to a certain extent. This level is the highest level that can be achieved now. And it also retains the possibility of upgrading, and can continue to research until the limit. Is it effective for ordinary people? Uchiha Tamaki handed the solution to Vince Makaji and asked. There is a risk of backlash, and this needs to be improved. Vince Makaji shook his head. This was completely improved based on Uchiha's physical fitness, and ordinary people couldn't use it at all. Arrange the injection test, be careful. You succeeded in the original competition, and you will get the lion's share of research funding in the future. Uchiha Tamaki then said to Vince Makaji. Vince Makaji was also awarded the victory. After Orochimaru came to this world, he didn't pay too much attention to the research of enhancers, but always wanted to study devil fruits. After seeing the ninja world, Vince Makjiaji wanted to study the power of blood. One is the bloodline obtained by eating the fruit after planting a tree. The other is that fruit bites bring abilities, but they cannot be passed on through blood. Although Uchiha Yugen feels that Orochimaru's research fruit seems to be more powerful, it is not absolute. He doesn't understand it anyway, he just needs to judge whether it is useful or not. Yes. Vince Makaji was very excited, especially about defeating his peers. Uchiha Yugen opened the portal and put Vince Makaji back. At the same time, he also talked to Fugaku, and then returned to Dress Rosa to find Orochimaru. Orochimaru was at this moment, looking greedy at the bodies of Katakuri and Kid. After his research, he found that the strength of these two bodies was almost impossible to achieve with his current body, so he wanted to possess them. If you are not reincarnated, can you suppress these two people? Uchiha Yugen looked at Orochimaru like this and couldn't help but wonder. Both of them possess overlord colored hockey, but Kid's is too weak and has just been developed. Katakuri's is the same as Doflamingo's, and can almost be used in actual combat, but can only be used to wrap around the body. It's difficult to do it. The opponent's mental power is too strong. Orochimaru shook his head, if he could do it, he would have done it long ago. You use your own body cells to clone a new body, which should have more potential than these two bodies. Uchiha Yugen said to Orochimaru. Orochimaru did the same thing later. Because his soul was incomplete and he was unable to practice immortal arts, he could only start crazily cloning a new body and at the same time wanted to create a perfect self. My body can't support it anymore, so I want to change it to something suitable first. If I use Uchiha and Senju's cells to merge into my intracellular clone, you won't refuse, right? Orochimaru asked Uchiha Tamaki. Although this body is very strong, it still can't beat Uchiha Yugen, which proves that the strength of the ninja world is stronger. But he wanted to find out how this devil fruit appeared. He felt that if he found this, he could break through the boundaries and possess the power of a god. No comment. The top match is Atsutsuki Hagoromo, the Sage of Six Paths. 
he doesn't think Orochimaru can do it. Ordinary Mangekyo and Wood Release are just that effective now. Let me tell you about the artificial devil fruit. I will help you control these bodies smoothly. Then you go and work for me honestly. Get the information on the artificial devil fruit and come back to work for me. Uchiha Yugen continued. Orochimaru naturally had no objection. At the same time, he was confused as to how Uchiha Yugen could help him. On the other hand, Uchiha Tamaki didn't want to make the trip by himself. He wanted to stay in Dress Rosa to deal with enemies who dared to provoke and complete system tasks. Which body do you want? Uchiha Yugen asked. This. Orochimaru pointed at Katakuri's body without hesitation. In the eyes of Orochimaru, Kid's ability is just magnetic escape, the ability of the third Kazakage. He can use the third Kazakage to reincarnate in the dirty earth, so it is not too rare. But Katakuri's rice cake-like body is very similar to that of the Ghost Lantern clan. The most important thing is that Katakuri's physical fitness is stronger in all aspects, so he naturally chose Katakuri's body. The way of the world. Uchiha Tamajin didn't talk nonsense. He went up and used the power of the Rinnegan to directly pull out the irresistible Katakuri soul from his body, crumpled it into a ball and held it in his hand. Let's start. Uchiha Yugen signaled to Orochimaru. The shocked look on Orochimaru's face slowly dissipated, and without hesitation, he directly used Fuso Tensei to get out of his current body, and then got in through Katakuri's mouth. Uchiha Yugen tried to put Katakuri's soul into Orochimaru's old body, but found that it failed, and Katakuri's soul also turned into dots of starlight and disappeared in midair. No resistance at all. This body is amazing. Orochimaru woke up after occupying Katakuri's body. Feeling this new experience, he was very excited and turned his fingers into rice cakes and then transformed into various things. Don't devil fruits bind souls? Uchiha Tamaki was also conducting tests and found that Orochimaru could use Katakuri's devil fruit ability to eliminate the possibility that the devil fruit was bound to the soul. It seems that the ability of the devil fruit will disappear only after the human body completely loses its life breath. Go to work tomorrow, the permanent pointer is here. Take Lokwat Juzo with you when you go out and let him exercise more. Uchiha Yugen put down a permanent pointer and left. There are still many things to do now. There are a lot of people missing, Dressrosa's economy is in a serious decline, and Doflamingo has gone back to his current stronghold to pack up and prepare to come back. And Uchiha Yugen is preparing to bring a new economy to Dressrosa, and is planning to trade with Fishman Island, conduct commercial transactions. Specialize in selling treasures in the sea, and at the same time purchase things that Fishman Island needs and sell them to them. The population of Fishman Island is almost 50 times that of Dress Rosa, and a lot of people can be fed by just making some trades. This matter is going to be left to Kisame, a good friend of the Fishman tribe. Naturally, Orochimaru didn't have any objections. He wanted to go out for a while with his new body and see how strong he was. Chapter, 145 A month has passed since the news that Uchiha Tamaki defeated the Admiral and Big Mom's Vice President, and the situation has gradually stabilized. Admiral Sakaski became the new Marshal of the Navy. The first thing he did was to move the Navy headquarters to the New World and confront the worst forces on the sea head-on. Big Mom's Charlotte Lingling originally wanted to come directly to Dress Rosa to regain the situation. But suddenly he received a phone call from Kaido questioning why Katakuri went to attack his artificial devil fruit factory, and one of the big signboards, Quinn, was there, otherwise it would have failed. This made Charlotte Lingling confused, but she found that she could not contact her son at all, but Kaido also gave evidence that not only the appearance, but even the abilities were the same, which made Big Mom give up and went to find his own royal deputy. The booster injection was very successful, and the average physical fitness of each clan member nearly doubled. Including Fugaku Shirsue's injection, there is also a partial improvement, which may be due to the addition of Uchiha Tamaki's genes, so this effect is achieved. The world government tried their best to downplay the impact of Uchiha Tamaki's defeat of the admiral. At the same time, they also covered up the problem of Dress Rosa. 
There was almost no explanation of this matter in the news. It seems that generals are still very useful as a standard of strength, or that a number of those bold guys have been eliminated. Uchiha Yugen waited for a long time, but no new challenger appeared. I practice Inyang escape every day, and my mastery of Inyang escape is faster. However, Yang escape is still being tried, and progress is slow. After all, because the Fishman Island was blocked by the Sea Kings, no newcomers can come to the New World in the first half of the Great Channel. The New World is full of old friends. Those who are brave enough to challenge the four emperors from the beginning, and those who can survive by chance are the best. It was Kid's generation of supernovas who didn't know much about their strength. They came to challenge the four emperors, and then they were defeated one by one. These were the first ones to cause trouble. Now only Kid is still alive. However, it has become Orochimaru's research material, and he is going to give it to Scorpion and let him make it into a puppet to see if it can complement the third Kazakage. Big Mom, who was originally expected to cause trouble, did not appear, which made Uchiha Tamaki a little confused. This was the last trouble he expected to cause in this mission. Submit mission. Sea King slash Emperor is completed. Please select a mission reward. Fruits of surgery no side effects. Uchiha Tamaki has already thought about the devil fruit. The natural system does not improve him much. Apart from being immune to physical attacks such as shocks, the other effects are just like that. The most important thing is that once you have mastered the Chiodao Jade, ordinary elemental attacks will not have much effect on you, but if you use the surgical fruit, it will be greatly improved. For example, you can achieve the slaughterhouse ability and position that are similar to those of the heavenly hand. Exchange. The command can control any object within the control range of room, without any quality or quantity restrictions. What's more important is that in conjunction with the samsara I skill space cut possessed by Uchiha Tamaki, it is a skill that can cut space and ignore defense. This skill was not used in battles against the generals, for fear of accidentally killing them. However, there are also very strict conditions for the release of this ability. It needs to be within a range of 5 meters and the position where the samsara eye is looking. It is similar to the two release methods of Amaterasu and Tsukuyami combined. The most important thing is that it is difficult to hit. After all, enemies with knowledge will react in advance. If you use the surgical fruit to move the opponent in front of you when releasing, then the opponent will not be able to escape. And the surgical fruit has a very strong the real damage ability can break through the defense of domineering and directly attack the inside of the human body. And this ability, which is similar to the space system, naturally concerns Uchiha Tamaki more than other abilities. After all, it is the three supreme laws. Uchiha Tamaki held the heart-like devil fruit in his hand and ate it without hesitation. I don't know if it's because it has no defects, so it doesn't taste bad, but it's a little sweet. Uncrowned King slash King of the World Become the uncrowned king of this world, possess the title of Pirate King, obtain Rafter's great secret treasure, and have more than eight general slash emperor level combat subordinates of this world. Become the world king of this world, overthrow the rule of the celestial dragons, possess the title of God, control the world government, and have more than three general slash emperor level combat subordinates under his banner. Time limit, eight years. Task reward, obtain a permanent portal in this world, which can condense designated devil fruits no quantity limit slash unique limit. The time limit is extended according to the type of fruit. Kill the celestial dragons to death. The first time Uchiha Yugen saw this mission, he decided to choose the route of becoming the king of the world. Both tasks are not easy, and the first task will be blocked by the world government, so it is better to kill the celestial dragons directly. Since there is a grudge, let's avenge it together. With a new goal, Uchiha Yugen felt that his strength should continue to improve. It is easy to judge the strength of the world government, and at most it will be in a stalemate with the pirates, but it is impossible to judge how strong the celestial dragons really are. Who knows if these fruits were also grown from trees planted by the Atsutsuki clan. Thinking that the enemy is stronger and more prepared, Uchiha Tamaki is ready to continue to strengthen his strength. After raising it to the limit, he will start to launch a counterattack against the celestial dragons. This time, 
he will capture them and slice them. To see if there is really an Atsutsuki clan hiding inside. In the evening, Doflamingo came back, taking all his belongings with him. He was going to give up on the underground black market. That thing really didn't help him much other than having the title of king of the underground black market. This time he wanted to give it a try, hug Uchiha Tamaki's thigh tightly, and go one step further. There are about 70 billion berries. There are many assets that cannot be sold, and they are all gone. Doflamingo said very confidently. Even the four emperors would not be able to get them to spend so much money. Except for the guy who runs the casino in Tetsolo, he is the richest in the world. He wanted to see the surprised look on Uchiha Tamaki's face to satisfy his desire. Then let's start the next step, blackmail the world government, force them to buy our arms, and make money openly. Uchiha Tamaki nodded, and then said to Doflamingo. He didn't pay much attention to the amount of money, because it was just a number. Now he hopes to disgust the world government, make the celestial dragons uncomfortable, and test their true strength. Ninjas fight against intelligence stations, which have been deeply rooted in their bones over the years. When the situation is unclear, Uchiha Tamaki will not foolishly take it. Even if he collects all the tailed beasts and reaches the sixth level, he won't just go up and do it. Start now. Doflamingo was stunned for a moment. It feels like it's too fast. If they don't buy it, they will sell it to the Revolutionary Army. Anyway, we won't lose. Unless the world government ignores other things and directly mobilizes all its troops to deal with us, the losses incurred will be greater, and it will still feel more cost-effective to give money. Many governments of this kind are like this. They find that it is better to buy something than to build it, and then they spend money to buy it. Only after they are stuck will they feel that they have been cheated. But by then it was too late. I read other people's novels and I didn't start writing until after 7 o'clock, so the update was late. Chapter, 146 This guy Doflamingo announced that he would join the Uchiha, and at the same time give up all underground black market transactions, and will take out arms and sell them openly. He also named the Revolutionary Army and said that he could trade it to them. Is this guy crazy? Is he no longer afraid of the world government? What are you going to do with Uchiha? Do you want to arrange three generals to play this time? If we lose, the reputation of the world government will be hit hard. Will any member countries of the world government believe in us? Why do there always appear to be such powerful people? Rocks decades ago and Uchiha Tamaki now, what kind of power do they have? Can the world government also buy these arms? The five old stars looked at the news in their hands, all of them looked ugly. After all, not only selling arms openly, but also selling them to the revolutionary army by name, this kind of thing is actually done so openly. This shows a complete lack of regard for the world government. Moreover, this news can actually be reported, which makes them even more confused. After all, an order has been issued to prohibit the reporting of news about Dress Rosa, just like the ban on Wayno country. At the same time, he was a little angry at Doflamingo. He used to spend money to find good words for the celestial dragons, saying that he was deceived by Uchiha Tamaki or something, but now, they are hooking up with him again, right? And you said you're not a traitor. Buying Doflamingo's arms is tantamount to bowing to him and thinking that the world government can't deal with them. Isn't it just that we can't deal with them now? It would be more expensive to really put in all our strength to deal with them than to spend money on arms. Send the navy to surround us. Just kill whoever bought the arms. It's okay to do this. It seems like a good method. The five old stars quickly came to a decision and decided to let the navy surround the waters of Dressrosa to see who dares to buy arms. If I can't beat Dressrosa, can I still beat you? However, Dressrosa is very stable. Some residents feel that the worst situation they thought has not happened. Although the law is changing, it does not restrict them too much but has protection. For example, if working hours exceed 8 hours, overtime wages will be paid. Employers need to ensure the safety of workers, and at the same time provide basic education and training, increase hospitals and other facilities, and increase benefits in various aspects. These things were said by Uchiha Tamaki, 
and King Riku and Nagato must carry them out. King Riku did some calculations and found that there was no need to pay heavenly gold and navy military expenses. Even if the benefits were increased, there would not be much pressure. But finding that there was no extra money for Uchiha Tamaki, King Riku hesitated and explained it to Uchiha Tamaki. I don't need the money now. When the country becomes rich in the future, the money will come. Uchiha Yugen waved his hand. If he engages in production, he alone can support the labor force of tens of thousands of people. There is no shortage of money at all, and money is meaningless. This made King Riku want to ask Uchiha Tamaki, are you doing charity? He originally wanted to get some money, but finally gave up and could only get his salary, which was a bit uncomfortable. Have you sent the navy to surround Dress Rosa? You go and warn people who buy arms they can do whatever they want, but if they dare to cause trouble to ships carrying out commercial transactions, they will dismantle their warships. Da Flamingo has always been very concerned about his arms transactions. When the navy warship appeared, he immediately reported it. He didn't take ordinary warships seriously, but the main reason behind this was the world government's temptation. Naturally, he asked the boss to explain clearly, and then got a reply from Uchiha Tamaki. Understood. Da Flamingo nodded. He didn't know what the boss was going to do, but based on what he said before, he didn't seem to have deceived him, so he could only make a detailed judgment on Uchiha Tamaki. By the way, do you have the contact information of the Revolutionary Army? Tell them that they can provide a free trial of arms, and I can personally deliver them if you purchase them later. Uchiha Tamaki then asked Da Flamingo. Well yes. Da Flamingo hesitated before admitting. After all, making such a deal with the Revolutionary Army is definitely against the regulations of the world government, but now that his boss has killed the rulers of the world government, he doesn't need to worry so much. When he was doing business, he didn't care about so many things. He just thought about making money and didn't care who the other party was. After all, the Revolutionary Army couldn't cooperate. Inform them, tell them a location, and I will send them there myself. Da Flamingo was a little helpless, feeling that he was going to completely become the enemy of the world government. But now, my subordinates don't have enough manpower, so it would be very troublesome to stir up trouble like this. When Da Flamingo went to prepare to warn the navy and contact the Revolutionary Army, Uchiha Yugen's phone rang. It was Admiral Kazan. Does what you said before still count? Kuzan asked directly when he came up. Certainly. Uchiha Yugen's expression remained unchanged and he said calmly. I'll be in Dress Rosa in five days. Always welcome. The two of them only spoke four sentences in total, and then hung up the phone. Infernal affairs. Look who is killing whom in infernal affairs. Uchiha Tamaki could easily guess what was going on, but it didn't matter, maybe he would brainwash Kazan and actually do it with him. I'll leave the navy to you. I will monitor this guy and contact you at the critical moment. Kazan looked at Sakaski with a cold expression. Although I hate to admit it, Sakaski's methods are now better able to protect everyone. Moreover, bearing the shame of defeat, he is indeed not suitable to continue to serve as a general, so he plans to become a traitor and help the navy collect intelligence in the new world. Can I trust you? The thick smoke of the cigar passed across Sikaski's face. I believe in justice. After Kazan finished speaking, he stood up directly. The admiral's windbreaker was left on the chair opposite Sikaski and was not taken away. Only Sikaski took a few puffs of his cigar and finally couldn't help but cut it off. Three days later, the news that Admiral Kazan voluntarily quit the navy became headline news, suppressing the previous arms issue. At the same time, the world government has launched a world conscription to recruit powerful thugs to join the navy, including two vacant naval admiral positions. On the fifth day, Kazan arrived at Dress Rosa as promised. After arriving on the island, he paid close attention to the situation on the island. After all, in the past, the citizens of a country occupied by pirates would live a very miserable life. However, Kazan found that everyone in this country did not seem to be under much pressure. Smiles can often be seen online. This puzzled him. How's the situation here? Is there any interest in spreading this model to other countries? 
Uchiha Yugen appeared next to Kazan and asked Kazan, who was holding a side of Coca-Cola, freezing it and drinking it. As I get older, my memory is not good, and I forget to write down some things that I originally remembered to write down. Chapter, 147 This is a really novel model. Kazan had served as a naval admiral, so he certainly had management skills. After he read the various laws and regulations Uchiha Yugen gave him about dress rosa, some of them were just shocked. It is too difficult to establish communism, and just improving ideology is very complicated. But it is very easy to implement a constitutional monarchy. If you use high welfare to deceive these people, it will soon spread. The taxes levied in the future will be a fixed tax rate, not a fixed tax amount. If the level of payment is not reached, you will not have to pay it. Those who have money will bear it. Then the poor will not be forced to pay taxes and fees so that they cannot survive, and will be forced to become slaves. If they resist, they will become pirates. At the same time, welfare will be improved to help these poor people so that they can survive and then pay taxes. Increase the power of government and use it to provide welfare to help the poor. Uchiha Yugen explained to Kazan. It sounds wonderful, but when implemented, many problems will arise, such as greed. At the same time, if the monarch cannot withstand it, managers will want to counterattack to obtain more rights and interests. But this is better than the current world government, because the taxes paid by civilians above the fourth level are to the world government and the celestial dragons. At the same time, the country also collects taxes, which are basically a fixed amount. They can barely survive, but those poor people were forced to be slaves. If they didn't want to be slaves, they could only resist and become pirates. Do you really want to change the world? Kuzan couldn't help but ask. He felt like he was a little shaken. Didn't you come to Infernal Affairs to be an undercover agent? He even thought that he would be forced to do some bad things when he first joined, and he was ready to do it. But now do you really want to change the world? Well, I am. After Uchiha Yugen thought about the idea of killing the celestial dragon, he nodded firmly. I feel that deceiving people is more suitable for Uchiha. He still can't deceive people with Azura's idea of really deceiving him. What can I do for you? Kuzan knows that now this plan can only be realized with Uchiha Yugen. For the world government, just the fixed fee of heavenly gold given to the celestial dragons cannot be erased. At the same time, there are also fees for the world government, including military expenses, etc. These all need to be paid. These funds are almost impossible to erase. Even if there are no pirates, Kazan also knows that there is some corruption within the navy and it will not stop. Greedy hands will cost you a lot. Although he was here to be an undercover agent, he felt that he should work hard and gain the other party's trust first. That is to copy and expand this model to other places, and form a certain scale to test whether the effect is really that good. Kuzan also nodded and approved this method. So, let's grab the territory first. It is definitely not possible to leave this kind of thing to others. Without a government force that can fully implement it, it will just become the same as the current world government. You take Doflamingo and the others outside to grab territory, expand all the way to the direction of the four emperors, and annex their territory. I will take action when dealing with the four emperors, and you can handle the rest of the time. Uchiha Tamaki pointed at the map of the new century and said directly. Doflamingo looked sad at the side. He did not expect that Kazan would really give up his position as admiral and choose to work with a bounty criminal as his subordinate. He originally thought that the second-in-command position must be his, but he didn't expect it to be gone. Kuzan nodded, but was immediately stunned. He still wanted to seize the territory. He was ready for this when he came. No problem. But Kuzan still agreed. He wanted to try to see if this person was really prepared to sit like this all the time, and at the same time, he wanted to try to see if this system was really that good. Kuzan, who had just been delivered to the door, took people out to grab the territory without stopping the next day. Doflamingo was responsible for the arms, so he didn't go immediately. He just sent out his subordinates to ask them to be honest and obey orders. At the same time, 
the navy quickly spread that Kazan's defeat was actually because he was an Uchiha and deliberately lost to Uchiha to enhance his reputation and power. Kazan, who was on the boat, saw the news and threw the newspaper into the sea expressionlessly. This matter was not told to him when he left, and he didn't know who decided whether it was Sakaski or the world government, but he didn't care anymore. When the news spread, many pirates who had given up began to think again. But Uchiha Yugen's mission has been completed, and he doesn't care if anyone comes to challenge him. Now, in addition to practicing yin yang escape every day, the rest of the time is spent on mastering the ability of the surgical fruit. The Akatsuki organization, Scorpion, the two Hokage and Jiraiya Tsunade have all returned to Kanoha. Kisame, who is only working here in Dress Rosa, Kakuzu, who is preparing to set up a bank, and Orochi the loquat juzo that Maru took out was still there. Shaonan is very obedient and acts as Nagato's assistant, helping him with work and study. On his side, Metkai is training every day with the combat force reorganized by Dress Rosa. Cyrus is the first general and Metkai is the instructor. Now that Metkai's strength has not stopped improving, Uchiha Tamaki is afraid that he will suddenly become bald as he continues to practice. Uchiha Tamaki was originally planning to take him to challenge the emperor and the four emperors to give him more practical experience, but Metkai felt that his physical fitness could still be increased. When his strength stagnated, he needed to fight to stimulate his potential. Go again when the time comes. More than half a month later, the world government found that no one went to Dress Rosa to buy arms, which made them very happy. But before I was happy for a few days, I saw the figure of Uchiha Tamaki appearing in the news newspaper, and at the same time, a large amount of arms appeared behind Bello Betty, one of the commanders of the Revolutionary Army. Pictures of people smiling and shaking hands appear on the news. The Wulaoxing people were numb. They never thought that such a big-name person would personally deliver the arms it would be too disrespectful to them. But the arms were handed over to the Revolutionary Army in this way, and they had nothing to do. Although they didn't know that this batch of arms was provided for free, it didn't stop them from feeling uncomfortable. At the same time, they also received a reminder from Da Flamingo, saying that the number of arms was not large, and whoever bought it first would not be able to buy it for others behind him. Purchase I want to see how much arms can be produced in Dress Rosa alone. Arrange for people to destroy all the underground black markets before Da Flamingo, so that they can only have one production factory, Dress Rosa. Wulaoxing finally decided to spend money to buy peace. The Revolutionary Army is an existence they cannot tolerate, which will endanger their status, but as long as the pirates do not threaten them. It does not matter, so for Uchiha Tamakian, who is a pirate in their eyes, spend some money to buy forget about peace. After all, they are the only ones in eternity, and no one will care about these things in a few years, so they can be so calm. Chapter, 148 The world government is forced to purchase arms, and this fund is deducted from the navy, and the navy has to transport it itself. It just so happens that the production place is in the new world, and at the same time, the navy is also executing a mopping up plan in the new world, consuming a lot of arms, which is much faster than the original production in the four seas. But this incident made Sakaski feel extremely aggrieved. This was giving in to criminals. But now it is more important to deal with the chaotic pirates in the New World. The remnants of the Whitebeard pirates have not yet been cleared away, and there are no big moves on the Uchiha side. Compared with the pirates who are currently making trouble on the sea, they are a force that can be ignored for the time being. But Uchiha Tamaki didn't care about so many things. He left the arms matter to Da Flamingo and made more money from the world government. Da Flamingo never thought that his arms could really be sold. Giving it to the world government really made him unable to recover. Although it is sold to the navy, the quality must be guaranteed. We are not cheating money. Uchiha Yugen told Da Flamingo. Da Flamingo nodded. Now he has lost many channels. The most important thing is that there is not enough iron ore and he cannot produce more if he wants. He can barely have one-fifth of what he used to sell. After looking at the current situation in Dress Rosa, Uchiha Tamaki planned to go back to the ninja world to collect all the tailed beasts and directly upgrade them to the six paths level. Now there is a general level combat force Kazan here, 
as well as Doflamingo and Shirsue. When we go back, Uchiha Yugen is going to send Itachi over to stabilize the situation and ensure that the territory is there. Before leaving, he also handed over the control of Germa 66 to Doflamingo. He still had to have a group of forces in private. Doflamingo was very happy. After all, he was engaged in conspiracy and so on. Very good at it. Now that he is doing business openly, he feels like he doesn't have much effect anymore. Kuzan is there to fight for territory outside, and Dress Rosa does not need him to manage it. There is nothing to do except sell some arms now that there is an additional Germa 66, he feels that he has received some attention. I'll leave this to you. I'll probably need more than a month. I'll come here every few days to take a look. If you encounter a strong enemy that you can't resist, just run to the sea and wait for me to come back. Uchiha Yugen told Shirsue and Itachi. There is nothing that needs to be done now. The two of them stay here mainly to watch the scene. Unless the four emperors suddenly attack and are caught off guard, two kaleidoscopes are enough to solve most cases. Yes, Patriarch. Neither of them had any objections. This is Kanoha's stronghold in another world, so naturally it must be protected. Finally, I told Metkai that when he comes back, he will lead him to find a suitable target to fight. Then he returned directly to the ninja world and prepared for the tailed beast capture plan. Returning to Kanoha, Uchiha Tamaki took a look at the current situation in Kanoha. He felt that it was quite stable. The residents of Kanoha were also used to the current rules and found that they were much better than before. There was no sense of urgency at all. The same is true for ordinary ninjas. Except for those who join the combat troops, other ninjas are assigned to the production team to carry out various factory productions and ensure Kanoha's self-sufficiency. Other ninja villages in the ninja world also tried their best to collect information during this period, but the discovery of Kanoha's current situation made the ninja villages who learned about it somewhat envious. Why do they have to be dogs and work for those nobles and big names, when they can obviously live a good life themselves? These are the specific circumstances. Basically everything is developing as you said. We haven't encountered any big problems yet. Fugaku still has a sense of accomplishment. Looking at the numbers on the report, every one of them shows the sweat of his hard work. Not bad, have you encountered any difficulties that cannot be solved? Uchiha Tamaki nodded, recognizing Fugaku's efforts. He was asking if there were any families who were not discerning and wanted to provoke others, so he would be the villain and help Fugaku solve the problem. The current situation is better for ordinary villagers than the previous Kanoha ninja village. Some families have also discovered opportunities. They have begun to create their own factories for production and trade. At the same time, they have formulated measures such as mine development and daily infrastructure upgrades. Once everyone has the prototype, we can start the plan to take over the land of fire. However, the only trouble we encountered was with the clan. Fugaku said about the next plan, there were also some ordinary troubles, but the one that troubled him the most was the Uchiha clan. What's wrong? Uchiha Yugen said doubtfully. He showed off in the ninja world last time. As long as those shadows are not fools, they all know that they can't take action against Kanoha now. Many people in the clan started to slack off, started to enjoy themselves, and gave up on fighting. At the same time, I think that Uchiha is a royal family, superior to others, and bullies civilians and some families. Although I have warned them, many people still act arbitrarily. There are also people who think that ordinary people should support them and they should stop doing things and enjoy themselves. Fugaku sighed, but still told the matter. In fact, what he wanted to solve was a member of his own race, and with some seniority, he couldn't be ruthless. Moreover, if there is internal strife among Uchiha, it will cause quite a stir and be ridiculed by others. In addition, he is not the clan leader now, and when he was the clan leader, he could not be tough on this group of people. Uchiha Celestial Dragon, that's what you mean. Uchiha Yugen said this descriptive word calmly. There is no family with all good people, Uchiha Yugen knew this very well, but he did not expect that so soon, some people in the Uchiha clan would slack off and give up. Yes. Fugaku naturally knew the information about the celestial dragons. 
When he heard this description, he felt that it was particularly suitable. These tribesmen really wanted to be Tianlong people. Convene all clan members to the ancestral hall for a meeting in the afternoon. I will take care of this matter, you can just go ahead and do it. Uchiha Tamaki said to Fugaku. Fugaku nodded firmly, this matter would have to be resolved sooner or later. It is best for Uchiha Yugen to decide how to deal with this kind of matter. After all, he is the most important person to restore Uchiha's glory. What the family should do next can only be decided by Uchiha Yugen. In the afternoon, all the Uchiha in Kanoha gathered at the ancestral hall. The tribesmen have great trust in Uchiha Yugen, because he is the one who led Uchiha to where he is today. Even those guys who want to become Tianlong people will not deny that all this is due to Uchiha Tamaki. All those who come to participate, regardless of gender, except children under seven years old, must be present. There was a dense crowd of people standing in front of the ancestral hall. Naturally, such news was not hidden from the first generation and the second generation. They looked at such a large Uchiha population with envious expressions on their faces. Tsunade is the only one left in the Senju clan, which is really uncomfortable for them. Chapter 149 A year and a half has passed since the day we fled to another world. During this period, we lost members of our clan, but our enemies came back with revenge, and all those who persecuted us died. But now, are we going to become the kind of people who persecute others? Then everything we do is just repeating the same mistakes, and it will be us who will be destroyed in the future. Many people think that they can give up their efforts and enjoy themselves now. They think that after they have worked hard, they should start to gain. They want to have more benefits and better resources. At the same time, they should not work hard and want to become a celestial dragon in the ninja world. People. But no, I don't allow it. Uchiha can have preferential treatment, but they are absolutely not allowed to have a superior status. If you want to have it, you have to work hard. Otherwise, you can live an ordinary life. The clan will ensure that everyone can live safely. Willing to work hard to become stronger, provide help and support, and obtain resources from the clan. If you want to get special treatment and have the status of a god like a celestial dragon from another world, then defeat me, and then do whatever you want. But if you can't defeat me, then you must obey my orders. There can only be one god in this world, and that's me. Uchiha Yugen was on the steps of the ancestral hall, looking at the many clansmen below, and preaching very seriously. Finally, he directly opened the reincarnation eye, and then used illusions on those people who Fugaku told him in advance, so that they could truly feel the pressure from him. Wanting to rely on verbal evasion to convince these thoughtful guys, Uchiha Yugen felt that he did not have this ability at all. These words were meant for ordinary clan members. For those hawks within the Uchiha clan who really wanted to cause trouble, he directly used his strength to warn them. There was no way to influence them with words. If they continued to disobey, he could only a little cruelty will destroy their power. The ordinary tribesmen naturally supported Uchiha Tamaki and cheered him one after another. Those Uchiha who were under the illusion looked pale. They couldn't muster up any courage to resist Uchiha Tamaki. If they wanted to defeat such a person, they might not be able to do it in this life. Although he felt unwilling to do so, he did not dare to resist Uchiha Tamaki. Would it be bad to suppress it with force? Senju Hashirama said doubtfully. If it was the Warring States period, Big Brother, your method would be really useful, but in the current situation, this generation of Uchiha masters are now doing better. Senju Tobarama made a very calm judgment. If he hadn't been unable to defeat his eldest brother back then, Senju Tobarama would have definitely destroyed the strength of other ninja villages and not allowed them to threaten Kanoha. Oh, I'm getting old. When no one needs us anymore, we will return to the dirt. Senju Hashirama felt that he really couldn't keep up with the times now, and sighed. But he was still very happy to see Kanoha now. Let's go, let's first make your granddaughter a little stronger, brother, and restore the glory of our Thousand Hands clan. Senju Tobarama put his right hand on his elder brother's shoulder and flew directly to the God of Thunder to take him back. Uchiha is so powerful now, he is very unhappy. Completely separate the relationship between the family and Kanoha. 
Uchiha is only a part of Kanoha, but with me here, Uchiha will never weaken. For the appointment of officials from both civilians and families, 60% is from the family, 30% from the civilians, and the remaining 10% is for both parties to compete for positions and choose the stronger one. If someone in the clan commits another crime, he will be punished according to Kanoha's current laws. It is unforgivable. At the same time, the restrictions on ninjutsu below a level will be relaxed for the ninjas in the clan, except for special secret techniques. At the same time, every newly born clan member will have the first strengthening liquid to use. Uchiha Tamaki told Fugaku the next arrangements. If it was just a place called Kanoha Village, it would be fine for Uchiha to be king and dominate, but the goal was the entire ninja world, or even other near-infinite worlds, then Uchiha could not become a celestial dragon. It was for Uchiha to become like this in the first place, he would rather watch destruction. If you don't put some pressure on them and raise them as celestial dragons, that's just raising pigs, and he can't accept it. But he knew that there were always people who refused to give up, and there was no need for Fugaku to be merciful. At most, he would not kill them, and there would be no problem at all if they were kept in prison and raised for the rest of their lives. The first generation could not finish the food they planted. Yes, I understand. Fugaku also said with firm eyes. He now also understands that as long as Uchiha Yugen is here, no one can shake the status of the Uchiha clan. If Uchiha Yugen is not here, even if these Uchiha want to become celestial dragons, they will not be able to protect them. All glory rests on Uchiha Yugen alone. Just do your best, Nagato should be back soon, and then we will start the plan to unify the ninja world. You don't need to do the fighting. The main thing is to manage it well and avoid chaos. Uchiha Tamaki said to Fugaku. Unify the forces of the ninja world and start technological development for all members to enhance the strength of the entire planet to help themselves. Yes. Fugaku was a little excited. After all, if this was done, Uchiha's status would become the most noble clan under God. One from Sunagakure village, one from Takigakure village, two from Iwagakure village, two from Kumogakure village, and two from Kirigakure village. Let's start in this order. Uchiha Tama read the information, then decided on the order, and then set off directly. Now no one in the ninja world can stop him, he can do whatever he wants. It took less than a few hours to arrive at Sand Hidden Village and sneak into the Kazakage building easily. Luo Sha was looking at various documents with a headache, most of which were information about Kanoha, as well as secret letters to contact other ninja villages. Several ninja villages are preparing to join forces to fight against Kanoha. After all, they all realized that their family could not pose any threat to Kanoha. Luo Sha's hair stood on end. He found that the target he had been afraid of had sat down on a chair in front of his desk at some point and was looking at him. I'm here to take away the tailed beast. I'll let you know by the way. Uchiha Yugen said to Raza. At the same time, his right hand was slightly opened, and blue circles spread in all directions from Uchiha Yugen's palm. A file on the desktop flashed, and Gara, who was unconscious, appeared on the table. We have kept our agreement and have not crossed the line you drew. Why do you do this? Luo Sha clenched her hands, but the fear in her heart could not be concealed. He had no idea of saving his son, and was more worried that the strength of Sunagakure village would become weaker after losing the tailed beast. There is no need to answer you. Kanoha sold the tailed beast to you back then, but now he regrets it. If you want the money, go to Kanoha and get it yourself. As Uchiha Yugen spoke, he took out a kunai, then used the Rinnegan to lock the position of the tailed beast, and then slashed a few times in front of Gara, but did not stab Gara. Luo Sha didn't know what Uchiha Tamaki was doing, but when he wanted to escape, he found that his body couldn't move at all, which made the look of panic on his face unmistakable. But immediately, I was stunned. Because he saw a cube of about 15 centimeters suddenly appeared in Uchiha Yugen's hand, and there was something very familiar inside. Shikaku. Luo Sha lost her voice. How is this done? Chapter 150 this is the tailed beast that Uchiha Yugen separated from Gara's body through the power of the surgical fruit. But in essence, this is a space cut out of Gara's body, 
but the inside is also connected to Gara's body. Gara can even continue to extract the chakra of one tail, as long as he can do it, but one tail cannot. Escape from the space he cut out is similar to the heart cut out by Luo. The surgery fruit can cut off the heart, and it can also cut off the energy body of the tailed beast. Moreover, Uchiha Yugen has the samsara eye and can see the human body more clearly and can do it more carefully than Trafalgaro, so he can cut off the tailed beast. However, this is also Uchiha Tamaki's first attempt, and even if it fails, he can still recover. Sit down. Uchiha Tamaki looked at the tailed beast, and Shikaku also discovered that his home was gone. He looked at the surrounding situation with some confusion and shock. At the same time, Uchiha Tamaki greeted Raza as if he was the owner here. Similar. What on earth are you going to do? Luo Sha pretended to be calm and sat down. But the stiff face looked very unnatural. What do you think of the situation in Kanoha? Uchiha Tamaki put Shikaku aside and then asked Raza. Hearing Uchiha Tamaki's inquiry, Raza was stunned for a moment, Kanoha country is very good now. It can indeed survive without relying on the daimyo. Luo Sha replied sincerely. Kanoha is planning to turn the entire ninja world into this model, dividing each country into several cities. And local residents will vote to elect managers, similar to daimyo, but only for a four-year term, and they will vote after the time limit is reached. Select new managers. All cities have the same level. The city is a member of the Ninja Federation. The highest level is the general administrator, who is responsible for the movements of the entire ninja world. I want to build the entire ninja world into a country. Are you willing to join me? Uchiha Yugen extended an invitation to Raza. He planned to visit every ninja village, but those daimyo nobles and the like were not prepared to go there in person. After all, after the ninja village was solved, the resistance of these daimyo was of no use at all. If they didn't want to die, they could only obey everyone's decision. You. Luo Sha was shocked and speechless by this plan. Those who join first can take the first management position first, as long as they abide by the laws established. The ninja village system only lasts a hundred years. There is no need to persist. And don't you think your family can gain more benefits in such a world? Or do you think there is someone in the ninja world who can stop me? Uchiha Yugen said seductively. Luo Sha was a little shaken. After all, he was not a murderer and had no interest in war. The purpose of the war is to obtain more resources, and also for their own interests. The other five major villages do not have the coexistence and death mentality that Kanoha had at the beginning, they are just a combination of interests. If you have an idea, arrange for someone to contact Kanoha. I'm just here to inform you. If you need the tailed beast's money, you can ask Kanoha for it. Uchiha Yugen finally said that he was just trying to persuade and seduce her to reduce the workload in the future. After leaving these words to Luo Sha, he directly used the Ram slaughterhouse to transfer himself, and left quickly with Shikaku. Shikaku was very confused by this. It felt like he was still in Gara's body, but he could see the outside world, which really made him confused about the situation. However, Uchiha Tamaki put him directly into the prepared pocket and headed directly to Takigekir village. This time Uchiha Tamaki didn't even think about meeting the leader of Takigekir village. He directly controlled the seven-tailed Jinchuriki Fu, and then cut the tailed beast Jume out of her body. At the same time, he directly cast a Genjutsu on the leader of Takigekir village. PPT, tell him the situation, and then leave directly for Iwagakir village. In essence, the cut-tailed beasts are still connected to the Jinchuriki, but Uchiha Yugen can also extract chakra from these cut-tailed beasts and use them. At first, Uchiha Tamaki was planning to peel the tailed beast out of the Jinchuriki's body, but this would cause the Jinchuriki's death. However, with the fruit of the surgery, he could completely avoid doing so. At the same time, Uchiha Tamaki didn't want to remove the heretic golem. In other words, the main body of the ten tails is absorbed into the body. What I want to do even more is to directly extract the chakra of the nine-tailed beast and use it for myself, just like Sasuke. This is to prevent Princess Kagaya from being reborn. 
After all, she cannot reach the level of a sage of six paths without absorbing the body of the heretic golem. But if the heretic golem is okay, how can Atsutsuki Hagoromo seal it on the moon? Not sure, Uchiha Yugen didn't want to risk his life, and letting Kagaya out would be too difficult to deal with. Just use the tailed beast to mend demons, usually half a nine tail is enough. At critical moments, you need to go all out, directly crush these spaces to absorb the tailed beasts, and the heretic demons can also channel spirits at any time. It doesn't take much time to become a six path sage. Next up is Iwagakure, the four tails, and the five tails. Both Jinshriki stayed away from the village, preferring to stay in craters and forests. Uchiha Yugen took control of the reincarnation eye, then took out his pants and cut the waist, cutting out the tailed beast. Like Raza, Uchiha Tamaki spoke to Anoki. Anoki had a very bad temper. After all, he was not there that day and sent his son, but Uchiha Tamaki directly used his Rinnegan to release his overlord color and suppressed him unable to move. Explain the situation and let him think about it before leaving. Anoki once again felt the same powerlessness he had when he went to Kanoha. Uchiha clan, why do monsters like this always appear? Anoki said with some despair. He felt that this person was more sharp-edged than Uchiha Madara back then. It seemed that the idea of uniting the other five major villages to fight against Kanoha was completely useless. Now, he can't even resist the opponent's momentum. Uchiha Tamaki then went to Kumogakure village non-stop to capture the two tails and eight tails. It went smoothly when he subdued the two-tailed Jinchuriki, but when it came to the eight-tailed Karabi, he actually resisted, but was immediately suppressed by Uchiha Tamaki. As expected of a truly perfect Jinchuriki, he almost woke up under the suppression of the Rinnegan. Uchiha Tamaki looked at the eight-tailed ogre in the cube in his hand and put it directly into his pocket. After Uchiha Yugen left, Karabi woke up. Xiaoba. Xiaoba. Karabi was soon shocked because he found that he could not communicate with the Eight Tails, but he could feel the Eight Tails' existence. This unusual feeling made him a little confused. Was it because the lyrics he sang didn't sound good? After taking the tailed beast, Uchiha Tamaki informed the fourth Rakage AI. Can I be the general manager? After knowing this, the fourth Rakage asked calmly. Having felt Uchiha Tamaki's power, he found it irresistible, and he was indeed interested in the matter. After all, he is the only shadow among the five major villages who can counterattack the daimyo because he is strong enough. Although Uchiha Yugen cut off one of his arms, he couldn't resist such a thing, so he had to accept it. There is no shame in losing to the strong. If you have the ability. The first term is mine, and the second term will start running for election, and the entire ninja world will vote. Uchiha Yugen thought for a moment, then answered. If he has this level, why not use him? He can provide the resources of the Uchiha clan without squeezing the ninja world. If you can help yourself, as long as you are really capable. He was embarrassed to exploit his own people, but he would not be polite to others. With the help of the ninja world, he did not have to deal with many things by himself, he could just leave them to them. There have been some bottlenecks in my writing recently. I will straighten out the outline and make up for the shortcomings. Chapter, 151 And 2 from Kirigakure Village These Kage seem to be very greedy for the current situation of Kanoha, and they don't resist my proposal much. If I didn't use the Rinnegan to see their reactions clearly, I would really think that they are acting to deceive me. Uchiha Yugen placed the six-tailed beasts he collected in front of him through the room. The six-tailed beasts all started chatting with each other. They looked at Uchiha Tamaki's Rinnegan and knew that the same situation as in Kanoha had happened again. They were caught, but they didn't know their current situation. He knew why he left the Jinchuriki's body. At the same time, he visited three of the five major villages and found that these shadows were not resistant to the plan proposed by Uchiha Yugen. After all, they are now controlled by the daimyo, but if the ninja world is reformed and becomes an alliance, their power will also be captured and reduced. At the same time, not everyone likes war. The purpose of war is not only hatred, but also profit. If there are enough profits, these people can put down their weapons and make the same amount of money without fighting. Why risk their lives? 
However, Uchiha Yugen only gave a plan. Whether it can succeed or not is not important. Strength is the most important thing. After a night's rest, Uchiha Tamaki set out again and rushed directly to the Kingdom of Water. He first found the defecting six-tailed Jinchuriki Yugao, cut off his tailed beast and took him away without any explanation. Even if the Jinchuriki dies suddenly, Uchiha Yugen can completely suppress the dissipated tailed beast through the Rinnegan and absorb it into his own body to prevent the tailed beast from disappearing and reborn. The fourth Mizuka Jigura must have woken up, why is he still acting in such a chilling style? Uchiha Tamajin was a little confused about the murderous Kirigakure village, so he directly used a wind escape to break through, blowing strong winds and directly dispersing the fog in Kirigakure village. However, this movement directly caused a shock in the entire Kirigakure village. A large number of ninjas rushed out to find the enemy, but Uchiha Tamaki used illusions to make everyone ignore his existence. I found several high-level officials of Kirigakure village, directly controlled the reincarnation eye to read the memory, and found Yugura who was imprisoned. After Abito lost his eyes, Yugura woke up, gave up his position as Mizukic, and voluntarily was imprisoned. He almost went crazy at that time. For Yagura, whose body was covered with seals, the power of Uchiha Yugen's surgery fruit directly passed through the seal and cut out the three tails. Yagura didn't even notice anything was wrong. The last one arrived. Uchiha Yugen put away the cube containing the two of them and prepared to leave. Kirigakure village is still in chaos now, and is in the process of seizing power internally. It has not elected a leader. It is also the only one of the five major villages that has not been warned by Uchiha Tamaki. The Art of Melting and Melting Monsters Suddenly, a hot acid solution hit Uchiha Tamaki from behind. The dark red Susanoo skeleton emerged, directly blocking the acid liquid, but the Susanoo skeleton was also partially melted by the acid liquid. Seeing this scene, Turumi Mei was shocked, and quickly formed a seal to prepare to use the boiling release to interfere with the opponent's sight and restrict the opponent's movement. But before the ninjutsu was released, she felt like her body couldn't move. You are not the Godei Mizukic of Kirigakure village yet. Uchiha Tamaki walked slowly to Turumi Mei and asked. After speaking, he directly read the memory without wasting time. After confirming that Turumi Mei was not the Mizukic and was now the popular candidate for the Mizukic, he directly used the Sharingan to deliver the illusion PPT to tell her what Kanoha was going to do. Has Kanoha reached this point now? After Turumi Mei read the Genjutsu, Uchiha Tamaki released the suppression on her, and this was the first sentence she spoke. Your body has recovered. After finishing speaking, Turumi Mei found that she had regained control of her body. Then she looked at Uchiha Tamaki with fear in her eyes, but more with anger. She recognized these blood-red eyes. Uchiha controlled the fourth Mizukage and caused so much damage to Kirigakure village. It is impossible for our Kirigakure village to cooperate with Uchiha. Turumi Mei said with clenched fists. Although she is scared, she does not want to compromise. Kirigakure village now has almost no understanding of the outside world. Although Yagura gave up the position of Mizukage, the habits developed over the years have made Kirigakure village accustomed to using weapons to speak. It's been a long time since your ninja village killed each other. Even without the control of my tribe, the outcome of Kirigakure village wouldn't be much different. It's just a matter of the number of people who died. The name Blood Mist Village has been around for a long time. At that time, when elites were selected, Dozens of people would be killed or injured in a genin battle, right? Zabuza and Kakashi are the same age. When Zabuza was a genin, the Kirigakure village was like a ghost. Abito directly aggravated this phenomenon and at the same time targeted the blood successor limited family. There is no way to truly control Kirigakure village with just a kaleidoscope. Abito only uses the desires in the hearts of these people. But who should we settle the accounts with for those who have died because of Uchiha over the years? Turumi Mei asked unconvinced. Wars will only keep killing people. The plan I gave can avoid most wars. I'm telling you now, it's to prevent more people from dying in the Kirigakure village. And coming here is just to inform, not to discuss. If you don't agree, just find someone who is obedient. 
Kill those who are not convinced, just like you did before in Kirigakure village. Uchiha Tamaki will not show mercy just because Mei Terumi is a beauty. Unceremoniously releasing his murderous intent, he threatened and warned her that everyone's butts are dirty, the eldest brother, let alone the second brother. During the last war, the most disgusting thing was the Kirigakure village's sneak attack on Kanoha. He also participated in that battle. Madara Uchiha only arranged for people to attack Lin. The other people who attacked Kanoha were arranged by the Kirigakure village themselves. Feeling the murderous aura on Uchiha Tamaki's body, Terumi Mei's face instantly turned pale, and she couldn't even say, You. I will be practicing nearby recently. If you think about it carefully, tear up this scroll and let me know. I will help you become the Mizukage to control Kirigakure village and change it to what you like. If you still feel that continuing to be a ninja, working as a lackey for those famous nobles, and living a life of fighting and killing every day is more suitable for Kirigakure village. Then continue to work hard, become Hokage yourself to do this, and let Kirigakure village kill more people. At the same time, he took out a scroll and threw it at Mei Terumi's feet. After saying that, he walked directly past her towards the outside of the prison. Terumi Mei looked at Uchiha Tamaki's back, and finally restrained herself from making a sneak attack. She couldn't feel any chance of winning. This man put too much pressure on her. He lowered his head and looked at the green-skinned and black-edged scroll, his face full of hesitation. Chapter, 152 Half a month later Room Whoosh On the sea surface, Uchiha Yugen expanded the distance covered by room with all his strength, and then rode forward with thunderstorm. Directly dividing the sea surface, as if there was a transparent wall that would be separated by the sea surface. The upper and lower body parts of the severed fish are free to move. The fish can easily swim to the other side from the divided sea water, just like a black bar appears in the middle of the monitor screen, but the software can appear in the divided place but cannot be seen. Things cut within the scope of room are more like changing positions than tearing apart, just like Bucky's fruit is split into pieces. And inanimate objects within the scope of room can be freely controlled, just like the realm in fantasy novels generally. And using the chakra of the nine-tailed beasts to increase the power can only cover the room's range to five kilometers, as if it is really a field. Uchiha Yugen looked at the divided range and easily analyzed the distance of this cut with his Sharingan. Now undergoing intensive training, the eight cut-off tailed beasts were sealed on his body and limbs by Uchiha Yugen using the time and space sealing technique. It is the kind of seal that seals items into scrolls. When chakra is needed, it can be activated directly. Kidu's ability just absorbs chakra like crazy. Now Uchiha Yugen can also release nine earth blast stars at once. The charging time of Super Shinra Tensei is no more than two seconds, and it is no problem to open Susanugan. Except for the slight difficulty in making the Chiodao Jade, in other aspects it is definitely on par with Sasuke at the sixth path level, or even stronger. Therefore, in addition to practicing Yin Yang escape, Uchiha Yugen is also working on the ability of the surgical fruit. As long as this ability can be awakened, it will definitely be a huge improvement. The abilities brought by the surgical fruit are very useful regardless of the level. Aside from the fact that the Chiodao Jade is unstable and cannot last long, the rest is the body's recovery power. My current physical fitness should be slightly worse than that of the first generation. My recovery power is full, but compared with the white body of the Tentails Jinchuriki, it is still much worse. If I were kicked by Guy, I would be dead. There's no way to recover from half of your body. Uchiha Yugen analyzed his situation and judged that his strength should have reached the sixth path level. The current level is not far away from the real sage of six paths. Later, Sasuke and Naruto can fight against Atsutsuki Momoshi. Uchiha Yugen feels that if he adds the ability of the surgical fruit, he can resist Sasuke and later Naruto's alliance. Even if you become a true six paths, your strength will not be doubled. Apart from the ability to regenerate severed limbs and the ability to immediately master the path-seeking jade, there is really nothing else, except if you can have the blood successor network Uchiha Yujenkai like Kagaya. Ready to try. We're going to fight Sakaski and Kazan now. It probably won't take that long. 
just go up and have a head-on confrontation. We can go back and force the world government to reveal their cards and start taking action. Uchiha Tamajin moved his body while restoring the Katsi. The improvement in strength in a short period of time has ended. The next step is to improve the combat effectiveness based on the degree of ability development. Is the scroll open? By the way, let's finish this place and let Captain Fugaku and others save some effort. Uchiha Yugen felt that the scroll he had given to Turumi Mei was opened by her, and he directly turned his right hand to open the room. Then used the slaughterhouse to switch places with the farthest object, and quickly rushed to Kirigakure village. Turumi Mei, on the other hand, felt a little regretful and a little relieved at the same time. She has been collecting information about Kanoha in the past half month. Although she has seen Jinjutsu, she still believes in the information she has collected. When she knew that Kanoha was no longer under the control of the Fire Nation and could survive on its own, and that the situation was getting better, she was really tempted. She wanted to change the current situation of Kirigakure village that was constantly killing people. Before she could think of what to do next, her pupils shrank and she found Uchiha Tamaki appeared in her house. You thought about it, right? Let's just do it. Uchiha Tamaki said to Turumi Mei who looked stunned. Forehead. Turumi Mei replied stiffly. But he recovered quickly, his eyes firm. If it is really as described in your Jinjutsu, then I am willing to support Kanoha. Turumi Mei said seriously. Well, I, Uchiha Tamaki, never talk, let's start taking action. Uchiha Yugen nodded and said perfunctorily. Turumi Mei felt that there seemed to be something wrong with this man, not that the Kirigakure village was still fighting among itself, competing for the position of Mizukich. However, with the support of Uchiha Tamaki, Turumi Mei also felt confident. When she explained her plan, preparing to deal with the disobedient one by one and convince those who needed support, Uchiha Tamaki interrupted her explanation directly. Whoever is not convinced, just take me there. Uchiha Yugen said domineeringly. Turumi Mei was stunned for a moment, Uchiha Tamaki opened the reincarnation eye directly, and used illusion to hypnotize Turumi Mei to obtain information. Then directly open the room and take Turumi Mei together to find the target to be solved, suppress it with Jinjutsu, and then use the ability of the surgery fruit to cut out the person's heart and cut it all the way. Those who were disobedient and needed persuasion had their hearts cut out. Turumi Mei is almost like a puppet, being carried around Kirigakure by Uchiha. In less than ten minutes, I return to Turumi Mei's house. Here are the hearts you want. You should remember who they belong to. If you are disobedient, crush him and kill him. If you need persuasion, threaten him directly. If he doesn't agree, kill him. Do you understand? Uchiha Yugen pointed at the more than twenty hearts placed on the table and said very coldly. If you do this, will they resist? Turumi Mei hesitated. These people who are still alive in your Kirigakure village kill without blinking an eye. If you don't obey, there is absolutely no wrong way to kill them. Now you need to increase your deterrence. The federation that is about to be established does not have much demand for this kind of people. In the future, the ability of ninjas will be used more for production. War in the ninja world will never happen again. Don't care about the help of these people's strength to the village. Think more about how you deal with daily tasks, whether they will cause trouble to you, or who can help you, and distinguish between the two types. There's only so much I can do to help you. If you don't become a Mizukage and have no courage, I don't think you have the ability to lead a city to survive in the future. Uchiha Tamajin said to Turumi Mei, who was not yet decisive in killing at this moment. These ninjas in Kirigakure village are completely different from those in Kanoha. They are trained to kill people, and what they will do next involves their interests. Uchiha Tamaki originally thought it would be better to just kill them all, but he still left it to them. Mei Turumi took care of it herself. I see. After hearing Uchiha Yugen's explanation, Turumi Mei's eyes gradually became clearer and no longer confused. If you need help in the future, contact Kanoha and they can give you some help. Do it well. Ninja still needs your efforts to become better. Before leaving, Uchiha Yugen gave him some chicken soup to comfort him. Turumi Mei nodded slightly, looking at Uchiha Tamaki's face, 
her heart beat faster for some reason, and her eyes immediately shifted, but when she came back, Achiha Tamaki had already disappeared in front of her. Looking at the beating hearts on the table, Turumi Mei calmed down and prepared to start her plan. Chapter 153 I have summoned you here this time to tell you something. At that time, you will be cursed by me and will not be able to tell you about it. Uchiha Yugen said to the heads of several families standing in the audience. They are Ino Shikacho, Hinata, Aburitsuka, and Kakashi who came over to make up the numbers. This time, Uchiha Tamaki is going to take these people to see the world. He is also preparing to officially bring the development of the sea to a progress, and at the same time, he is preparing to overthrow the world government. After all, the mission content includes the task condition of controlling the world government, which requires the help of a large number of manpower. The trained ninjas are far more obedient than those at sea, and they are more suitable when performing some tasks. Several clan leaders were silent and looked a little nervous. Most of them had never seen Uchiha Yugen's strength, but he was definitely very strong to be the current clan leader of the Uchiha clan and the one who truly controlled Kanoha. Genjutsu Sharingan People who can use chakra, Uchiha Yugen, like to use illusions to convey information, which is very funny and fast. A minute later, several people woke up with shock in their eyes. Apparently they didn't expect that there was actually another world, and it was so weird for the ninja world. There were no ninjutsu, but they had special abilities like devil fruits. Exist. The specific situation is like this. There is a big mission recently that may require manpower, so I will take you to understand the situation in advance. Later, you will also serve as the captain of the battle. Start placing the curse seal now and leave after it's over. After Uchiha Yugen finished explaining, he began to issue curse seals one after another. This was a very simple technique, and it was completed in less than a few minutes. None of these people dared to resist. Come with me. Uchiha Yugen continued. Several people directly followed Uchiha Yugen through the portal and arrived at the place in Dress Rosa where Uchiha Yugen left. Discovering that they had really arrived in a new world, everyone's expressions of shock never stopped, looking around at this building that was completely different from Kanoha. Use room to take them directly to the palace of Dress Rosa. This place now belongs to Uchiha Yugen. Shirsue and Itachi rushed over quickly, and Uchiha Yugen asked Itachi to go back and look after the house while he stayed here. Shirsue, take these clan leaders to Dress Rosa for a walk, and then take them to Nagato to learn the knowledge of this world. Uchiha Yugen arranged. Shirsue nodded and then took a few people who were still excited to let them know about the situation in this country. Then Uchiha Yugen found Khalifa and asked her to write a report to him about what happened in the past twenty days since he was absent. Although Kazan is asked to seize territory, he is still very interested in fighting pirates. Are the Beast Pirates and Big Mom going to fight? Orochimaru should have succeeded, and he should have used Katakuri. The identity was taken away from Caesar, but this guy hasn't come back yet. On the navy side, should we continue to clean up the pirates? Many people have joined the world recruitment, and Fujitora and Green Bull are about to appear. After checking the information, I found that not much happened and everything was developing normally. A few days ago, the first wave of arms has been directly transported to the navy to supplement the frontline combat power, and at the same time, the first batch of money has been received. The plot is back online. I know most of the forces, but I know almost nothing about the Celestial Dragons. Except for CP0, an organization that serves the Celestial Dragons, I don't know any other information about the Celestial Dragons. Part 1 The three Celestial Dragons captured for the first time have no information about this in their heads, only the news of CP0. It seems that only the Celestial Dragons who are really in charge of power, like Wulaoxing, know the real news. For me now, the four emperors only need time to solve. The Tianlong people don't know anything about them. It's really not suitable to take the initiative. Let's test it out and see if we can force the other party to take action and get some information. After reading the information, Uchiha Yugen thought about what he should do next besides developing the ability to awaken from the surgical fruit. After searching around, I found that in this sea, except for the trump card of the Tianlong people, which I didn't know, 
the other four emperors already had a rough understanding of it, so there was no pressure on me to solve it. In order to control the world government, Uchiha Yugen has already begun to train suitable managers. However, this option of the celestial dragons is definitely very dangerous. It is possible that the other party will have strength beyond the Yonko slash Super Shadow level. If you are not careful, the current self may also capsize. Putting down the information, Uchiha Tamaki directly used room to lock Metkai's position and directly transformed the debris around him to appear next to him. Metkai was startled and swung out his fist directly, hitting Uchiha Tamaki's palm. Yu Xian, it's you. Metkai was happy to see Uchiha Tamaki. At this time, he was exercising. The heaviest weights he placed aside for training exceeded 2000 kilograms at the same time, he had mastered the two moves of shaving and moon steps to increase movement. Now his strength was enough to easily suppress the movements he had started before. The Six Door Self How has your strength improved? Uchiha Yugen asked. He glanced around with his Sharingan and could feel the weight of Metkai's body. Metkai, who is already 21 years old, has grown nearly 10 centimeters taller again, reaching over 1. 9 meters in height. It hasn't reached its limit yet, but the stage of rapid improvement seems to have passed. Now I am full of strength. Metkai gave a thumbs up and said very confidently. Then we can start challenging the strong ones. But it's troublesome to find them one after another. I'm going to start a fighting competition called the World's No. One Martial Arts Club, and invite all the strong men in this sea to participate. Are you sure of winning the championship? Uchiha Tamaki asked Metkai. He had been thinking about this plan for a while, not only for the sake of Metkai, but also for the purpose of gathering intelligence. At the same time, he wanted to attract the attention of the five old stars, interrupt their eyes, and force them to interfere with the sea. At the same time, he used this plan to attract everyone's attention. In private, Uchiha Yugen was planning to make a big plan to help the Revolutionary Army expand its territory and at the same time contain the navy, forcing the world government to reveal its hidden power. No. But I will try my best to do it. I will get the title of No. One in the world. After hearing Uchiha Yugen's plan, Metkai showed an excited look on his face, obviously liking this plan very much. Now his goal has become the strongest fighter. This competition is a good opportunity. Metkai knows that he will definitely not be the strongest one, but he wants to see what the real person in this sea is. The strong one. Then you start preparing for the war. It will start in two months at most. Uchiha Tamaki nodded. It was good to be able to work and help his friends fulfill their dreams. It's worth doing. I should be able to write the fourth update today, which is currently being coded. Chapter, 154 Reward of tens of billions, the best martial arts club in the world. The strongest in the world will be decided in the world's best martial arts club three months later. Queen Edward Whitebeard, the strongest man in the world, will appear in this competition. Shocked, the strongest man in the world actually appears here. After deciding to do it, Uchiha Yugen immediately made arrangements to pass on the news, and took out 10 billion of Kazan's ransom for this competition prize. Except for devil fruits, only money attracts everyone the most. 10 billion is definitely a big number for pirates floating on the sea. Apart from forces like the Yonko, there are only Doflamingo and the Shichibukai and Crocodile who originally opened a casino in Alabasta. There is this property. Even Hancock, the king of Daughter's Island, may not have this amount of cash. Apart from money, the only thing left is the title of the strongest in the world. After the death of Edward Whitebeard, no one can inherit such a title. Kaido of the Hundred Beasts is only known as the strongest creature in the sea, land and air. He is not yet recognized by everyone as the strongest man. Therefore, the strongest title is still vacant at this time, and this title alone is enough to attract many people to participate. What on earth is this guy going to do? Sikaski had an angry look on his face after reading the newspaper, unable to vent his anger. This kind of battle will definitely attract a lot of people to participate and cause a lot of commotion, which is naturally very annoying for the Navy. Criminals have gathered, do you want to fight them? 
The most important thing is, can you survive the fight? This man is really dangerous. Kizaru was cutting his nails on the side, as if he was making sarcastic remarks. Let me handle this matter to prevent these guys from causing trouble to civilians. Fujitora raised his head slightly, showing his white eyes, and said to Sakaski. He has just passed the approval and is already a vice admiral. He only needs the approval of the five old stars to become a general. He came to the navy to carry out his own justice. Now that he has discovered the danger, Fujitora will not back down. I don't know how many people will compete for this title this time. Be careful, especially that Uchiha Tamaki. Don't confront him unless absolutely necessary. People will tell you the information about him later. Sakaski took a deep breath from his cigar, then spit it out and said to Fujitora. Looking at Kizaru who didn't talk to him at all, he felt a little unhappy. At this time, as the marshal, he could no longer continue to pursue the pirates at sea, and the whitebeard pirates who had been pursuing them had to give up the pursuit. Now he only hopes that this so-called best martial arts meeting in the world can kill a few more pirates and reduce the pressure on the navy. Fujitora responded. The strongest. This name must belong to our whitebeard pirates. Marco, I want to go to this martial arts club. Ace's face no longer had the confident smile of the past, but instead looked a little tired. At the same time, there was a burn on his face, which was left to him by Sakaski. At this time, he held up the newspaper in his hand and spoke seriously to Marco. The glory of the Whitebeard Pirates will be guarded by him. The title of the strongest Whitebeard will not be lost, and he will get it back together with the lost position of the four emperors. The navy has one less admiral, and now it has given up on pursuing us. But if you show up on Dressrosa's side, the other party will most likely ambush you. Marco explained the situation seriously. He was the one who watched Ace grow up. From the beginning when he was neck and neck with Jinbei, to now he can compete with the Admiral without falling behind. He has witnessed his growth step by step. However, he believes that Ace's potential has not been fully developed yet and he can continue to become stronger. There is no need to involve himself in such dangerous things. Ace is still very young. My current strength can no longer be improved. If I want to make my domineering stronger, the only way is to fight. I won't die, Marco. Ace's eyes were firm. Luffy's training will end soon, and before that, he must have the power to protect his younger brother. Since you insist, then fine. Marco felt a little emotional. Does starting to have his own thoughts mean that Ace has begun to take the step towards becoming the king? The strongest? This name is definitely mine. It's an interesting conference, let's go there, Jin. After Kaido finished speaking, he drank a few sips of wine and said excitedly. Being a Yonko is usually very boring. He doesn't work as hard as Charlotte Lingling. Jin does more work. He just wants to get the big secret treasure and become the Pirate King. Now that he encountered something interesting, he naturally wanted to participate. Because he no longer has to worry about the Navy at this time, he can do whatever he wants. In the closed country of Wano, the navy is not very interested in dealing with him. It is more interested in monitoring to prevent him from coming out to cause trouble. Yes, Captain. Jin responded calmly. He was going to wait and check to see if this so-called no. One martial arts association in the world was worthy of letting his king participate. Such a name has no effect. Katakuri hasn't come back yet, what on earth is he doing? Charlotte Lingling didn't care at all about the title of the strongest, she just wanted a big secret treasure. At the same time, she was very dissatisfied that her second son had never returned. The beast pirates had already produced evidence to prove that her son was still alive. Mom, maybe Katakuri had a deal with this Uchiha, otherwise how could he be free after defeat? Perispero spoke of his conjecture. Probably. That guy Uchiha Tamaki killed Smoothie, and now Katakuri is also because of him. In this case, then let's go to the world's number one martial arts association and get rid of this young man who doesn't know the heights of heaven and earth. After hearing what her eldest son said, Charlotte Lingling finally decided to take revenge on Uchiha and make him regret provoking Big Mom in hell. 
This Uchiha is not restless at all. I'm afraid there's going to be big noise at sea this time. Beckman, let's go there. The red-haired man threw the newspaper into the fire in front of him and said calmly. Shanks is more about maintaining the order of the world and waiting for the person his captain is waiting for to appear. He was very helpless towards the world's number one martial arts club. With so many strong men gathering, there would definitely be problems he wanted to go over and ensure that the situation would not develop in a worse direction. Then go. Beckman nodded. Although he was not interested in this title, he wanted to see who would get this title. This would be very interesting. Interesting, let's go and see those guys we haven't seen for a long time. Crocodile smiled arrogantly. Hawkeye Myhawk, Moonlight Moria and other former Shichibukai are also preparing to participate in this strongest battle. The strongest one must belong to me. Douglas Barrett crushed the newspaper in his hand into powder, his eyes full of excitement and fighting spirit. People all over the sea saw this news, and those who were interested in the most powerful name directly chose to set sail and rush towards Dressrosa, preparing to participate in this feast. Fourth update, additional update for 800 monthly tickets at the end of last month. No updates owed. 100 monthly votes will add one update, and one helmsman will add one update. Chapter, 155. Have you got Monkey D. Dragon's contact information? Uchiha Tamaki asked Da Flamingo. The news of the no. One Budokai in the world caused a lot of commotion. According to Doflamingo's sources, a large number of pirates set out towards Dressrosa. One of the four emperors, the Beast Pirates, also contacted Doflamingo. The person who contacted him was Jin, asking if there were really strong people participating in the so-called world's best martial arts tournament. Don't let his captain feeling boring. Doflamingo gave an affirmative answer. He believed that his boss must be more powerful than Kaido. After all, it was impossible for Kaido to defeat two navy admirals and capture them. Well, this is a special encrypted phone bug. You can use this to contact the Revolutionary Army and ask them to transfer Monkey D. Dragon. Doflamingo took out a phone bug that was twice the size of a regular phone bug from his arms and placed it on the table. He got it by contacting the Revolutionary Army in private. With the free arms given away last time, the Revolutionary Army still agreed to this matter. Contact the other party now, I want to talk to him. He is ready to help the Revolutionary Army and occupy an area all over the world, and at the same time see if he can persuade the Revolutionary Army to join his men. If you don't agree, use the other party first to force the Tianlong people to come forward and see the other party's background. Doflamingo nodded, then dialed the phone number, and then began a complicated code connection, and then the Revolutionary Army personnel transferred it to Monkey D. Dragon. After a full operation, a full ten minutes passed before Monkey D. Dragon's phone number was connected. I am Monkey D. Dragon. A thick-sounding voice came from the phone bug's loudspeaker. I'm Achiha Tamekian. I have a good thing to talk to you about. It's about the action plan to help the Revolutionary Army seize the North Sea. Are you interested in knowing about it? Coming up, Uchiha Yugen directly threw out the bait. Monkey D. Dragon, who was organizing his manpower and preparing to capture a king's castle, felt excited when he heard the words coming from the phone bug. Regarding this Uchiha, he had his people investigate, including the Revolutionary Army spies on Dressrosa at this time. The Revolutionary Army spies are second only to the world government spy organization in the world, because they want to prevent the possibility of being attacked anytime and anywhere. For powerful forces, they will try their best to insert spies, so he also knows very well about what happened in Dressrosa. What is the Uchiha's purpose? In the nearly one year since you appeared, you don't seem to be as evil as those pirates. Monkey D. Dragon asked. He felt that there was a possibility of cooperation with Uchiha Tamaki, because the other party personally killed the Celestial Dragon. After doing such a thing, he said that Uchiha Tamaki was a member of the world government. Even if he died, he would not believe it. Overthrowing the celestial dragons, changing the world government, and making the world peaceful will allow everyone to live happily. Uchiha Yugen didn't even blink and just started lying. Half true and half false, the most important thing is to complete the task. 
Hearing Uchiha Tamaki's words, Monkey D. Dragon's expression changed slightly. He obviously didn't expect that this big villain with a bounty from the world government would actually have such a great ideal. You can join the Revolutionary Army. All of our companions strive for the ideal of overthrowing the rule of the Tianlong people. Monkey D. Dragon extended the invitation seriously. If Uchiha can be persuaded to join the Revolutionary Army, the strength of the Revolutionary Army will definitely increase greatly. No, it's too early to say this now. Both parties should cooperate first and see each other's details before making a judgment. My plan is to help the Revolutionary Army bring the North Sea into its sphere of influence, but these countries must be managed according to the policies I specify. Naturally, Uchiha Tamaki would not join the Revolutionary Army, and he did not force the other party to join his banner from the beginning. The Revolutionary Army has only been able to hide from XC for so many years, which proves that his strength does not pose much of a threat to the world government. The most important thing is that it is disgusting. Now Uchiha Yugen is just using these people to help him test the details of the Tianlong people. It is really valuable. When the time comes, with absolute strength, they will choose a more stable path. With Dressrosa's model, there will be no king in the future. Managers will be elected by the citizens themselves. There will be no need to pay heavenly gold and a fixed tax rate. Monkey D. Dragon was a little shocked when he heard these words. Their current situation in the Revolutionary Army does not allow them to have such a stable territory to implement policies. Everyone is working hard for their ideals while constantly fighting. And now the plan given by Uchiha Tamaki is to use it after the battle. Used to manage the country. After thinking about it for a while, he found that there didn't seem to be much problem with this plan. In other aspects, it would be implemented in accordance with the local laws in the past. Now, just by changing these few points, Monkey D. Dragon felt that the world would change a lot. Can. He agreed to this condition. At the same time, because of this plan, he recognized Uchiha Tamaki even more, and he really wanted to subvert the world. Recently prepare more manpower. I will attract the attention of the world government through the world's no. One Martial Arts Association. Then I will come to help you execute a fast attack and capture all the countries in the North Sea within a month. You are responsible for stabilizing the situation. I will contain the Navy. There are more than 170 participating countries in the world government, and there are nearly 30 countries in Beihai. After losing so much at once, Uchiha Tamaki doesn't believe that the world government can still sit still. What a bold plan! After Monkey D. Dragon hung up the phone, he was still a little shocked. This can't be a conspiracy of the world government, Commander. Sabo doubted on the side. Will the existence that killed the celestial dragons collude with the world government? Whoever the world government forgives cannot forgive the guy who killed the celestial dragons. At that time, I will also test the other party to ensure safety. Sabo summons his companions to gather in the North Sea. All those who have not participated in the battle must rush there. Monkey D. Long arranged. After hearing Monkey D. Dragon's explanation, Sabo no longer hesitated and immediately started making arrangements. Do you really want to help the Revolutionary Army seize Beihai? Doflamingo feels that the gain is not worth the loss. With the current strength of Uchiha, he can completely occupy Beihai by himself. He does not need the help of the Revolutionary Army at all. Uchiha can definitely get more benefits. My goal is the entire world. The Tianlong people are the biggest enemies. You, a former Tianlong person, don't even know about the Tianlong people's trump cards. I have to personally force them to use their trump cards to solve the problem. Otherwise, they will stay on that mountain for the rest of their lives and never come down. Uchiha Tamaki looked at Mary Joa at the intersection of the Red Earth Continent on the world map, and wondered if it would be easier if he just smashed everything over. But if an enemy like Kagaya appears that cannot be killed, it will be very troublesome. If the nature of the devil fruit can be clarified, Uchiha Tamaki will be somewhat confident. This aspect also depends on Orochimaru's research. Sample. The most important thing is that there is still a lot of time now. Uchiha Yugen is not in a hurry and can test it more. 
At the same time, his strength has not reached the limit and cannot continue to improve. The best choice is to fight the boss when the level is maxed out. He is just stuck and does not have the protagonist's life, but there is no way to break through in the battle. It is better to be more stable. Chapter 156 How do you feel? Uchiha Tamaki asked Nagato. Nagato has followed King Riku and studied here in Dressrosa for three months. Through his own abilities and Sharingan, he has learned almost all the knowledge. I wrote it all down, and also wrote down some improvements based on the differences in the ninja world. Nagato said as he took out the document he had written and handed it to Uchiha Tamaki. I don't need to look at these. Making it easier for the common people in the ninja world to live is to reduce taxes. This is the essence. But taxation is also an important point in maintaining the establishment of the ninja alliance, so it cannot be reduced randomly. It must be kept at a reasonable and appropriate level. This is the most important point that you need to grasp. Other aspects are set according to the actual situation, while ensuring strictly enforce the law, clearly define the ownership of power, and find the responsible person, that's all it takes. Uchiha Tamaki is not prepared to build the ninja world into a modern society at once. At most, the Qin company that everyone can live with will be a little more expensive, and at the same time, he will gather the high-end strength of the ninja world to make research and development breakthroughs. Social forms and technological development levels are not absolute and are not necessarily applicable. I see. After listening to Uchiha Tamaki's words, Nagato nodded heavily. This time you go back and cooperate with Captain Fugaku to take down the fire country first. At the same time, I have also contacted the other five major villages. If the situation is suitable, the other five major nations can take action together. It's up to you to judge all this. Let peace be achieved in the ninja world. You will be the first general manager of the ninja world alliance. Others will more or less have their own interests, even Fugaku. But Nagato is definitely the one who hopes for peace in the ninja world, so Uchiha Yugen chose him to do this. I will not let you down and everyone's expectations. Nagato's eyes were firm. Shaonan on the side had an encouraging look on her face. She felt that this situation was the peace that the three of them pursued back then. Come on. Uchiha Tamaki didn't say much and opened the portal directly. He has also made arrangements for Kanoha. Now almost no one in the ninja world can stop Kanoha's group, and if the five major villages do not resist, there will basically not be much difficulty. Nagato took Conan directly through the portal and returned to the ninja world. On the other hand, Uchiha Yugen went to prepare the venue for the world's best martial arts club. The venue is definitely impossible to fight in Dressrosa, and it will be worse than Dressrosa, so Uchiha Tamaki will build a fighting venue about 50 kilometers away from Dressrosa. Now there is nothing more, just more chakra. Forcibly using Earth Escape to raise a huge land directly from the bottom of the sea. After slightly modifying the surgical results, it took 10 days to sort out a huge piece of land. The size is almost the same as Dress Rosa, with a diameter of 10 kilometers. There is no grass growing on it, just ordinary soil, which is not needed for fighting. At other times, Uchiha Tamaki continued to develop the ability of the surgical fruit, and did not stop exercising his physical fitness, completely mastering the power that came from the recent level up too quickly. At the same time, we should also pay attention to the establishment of the Ninja Federation, and at the same time recruit people to help the Revolutionary Army. The main thing is to arrange for several families in Kanoha to send some people to help. There is still one day left before the world's best martial arts meeting. A large number of pirates flocked to Dress Rosa, but they were all led to the prepared battle venue by Uchiha Tamaki. Those who were not convinced and forced their way in were all cut down by Uchiha Tamaki. Give the head to Doflamingo in exchange for the bounty. Not only pirates came, but also reporters, restaurant servers at sea, spies from the world government, and even the navy, many people came here hiding their identities. The battle venue, which was almost like a desert island with no vegetation, suddenly became very prosperous, with various venues of various sizes forming around the edges. Not only the contestants came here, but also many spectators. 
Many people were planning to use the competition here to gamble and open a casino. If this place hadn't been prepared by Uchiha Yugen, the Celestial Dragons might have come to take a look. Interesting, there haven't been such a large gathering of pirates for a long time. Crocodile held a cigar in his mouth and looked at the pirate ships gathering around him as far as the eye could see. His eyes were very excited. Jijia, you're here too, Crocodile. Moonlight Moria squeezed out from the crowd and made that shrill voice. You still dare to come here? Didn't you offend that guy Uchiha Tamaki? He is the new Yonko, and he organized this world's best martial arts tournament. Aren't you afraid of being killed by him? Crocodile saw that it was Moonlight Moria, and then he spoke. He didn't pay attention to the interests of ordinary trash fish. Only guys of the same level would give him a slightly better look. Humph, the Yonko was just a lie. Kazan is obviously his, and he even claimed to have defeated the opponent. Maybe Kazan is the real leader of Uchiha. Moonlight Moria said harshly. But when it came to fighting, he knew that he would never be Uchiha Tamaki's opponent. When he came this time, he also knew that he did not have the strength to compete for the top spot in the world. He came more to participate in this grand event and see with his own eyes who would be the strongest after Whitebeard Edward. If you miss this opportunity, you will regret it for the rest of your life. At the same time, I also stopped by to pick up the corpses of some powerful characters to see if I could pick up the corpses of any powerful characters. This was a rare thing. The war above had wiped out all his inventory. I couldn't miss the opportunity this time. Then you go and challenge, I will watch from the sidelines. Crocodile sneered. Moonlight Moria's face was stiff. He wanted to say harsh words, but he couldn't do it. It would be even more embarrassing to risk his life. However, someone helped him break this awkward moment, and a sudden powerful aura instantly covered the entire battle venue. Most people couldn't resist it and fainted directly. Crocodile and Moonlight Moria also looked at the direction of the aura with solemn expressions. This was a look of dominance. Uchiha Yugen, where are you, come out. It was deafening and at the same time had a very harsh sound, spreading throughout the venue. This is Charlotte Lingling. She was the first of the four emperors to arrive, and she came directly to seek revenge on Uchiha Tamaki. The competition won't start until tomorrow, it's still a bit early. Uchiha Tamaki was naturally here to watch the action. When everyone came ashore, he made a decision that only those who participated in the competition on the shore could fight. He got rid of a few unsighted guys, and after the news spread, no one dared to offend them. Found it. I'm not interested in any competition, I'm going to kill you now. Wei Guo. Through her voice, Charlotte Lingling directly locked onto Uchiha Tamaki who appeared in mid-air in the center of the venue. Holding the emperor's sword directly in his hand, he slashed out a shock wave of giant sword energy. This blow caused landslides and cracked the ground. The powerful impact tore the ground apart, and he rushed towards Uchiha Tamaki with an arc-shaped movement. Uchiha Tamaki raised his right hand to face the impact rushing towards him, and also released a powerful repulsive impact, condensing the impact of Shinra Tenjing in front of him and releasing it. Coupled with the now extremely powerful chakra, even the ordinary Shinra Tenjing is not inferior to the power of Charlotte Lingling. The collision of the two forces caused a huge impact and rushed to the surroundings, blowing many pirates away. The clouds in the sky also formed a huge hole due to the impact. Chapter, 157 That guy really blocked my mother's attack, and he looked like it was easy. Piper Spiro, who was following Charlotte Lingling, pressed his hat with his hand and looked at Uchiha Tamaki with a shocked expression. He admitted that Uchiha Tamaki might be very strong, but it would not be comparable to his mother. After all, the Yonko was a real monster, and even his younger brother Katakuri would have no chance of defeating his mother. Originally, he just thought that Uchiha Yugen might be slightly stronger than his brother, but now it seems that the other party may really have the strength of the four emperors. You brat are pretty good, but that's not enough. Charlotte Lingling was also a little surprised that Uchiha Tamaki blocked her power so lightly. But this blow was not her full strength, so it was normal for the other party to be able to block it. After all, she had defeated her son. 
he holds the emperor's sword in his hand, ready to continue fighting. Lingling, long time no see. But at this time, another huge guy appeared from behind, and his footsteps shook the ground. Kaido of the Hundred Beasts was followed by a group of pirates, appearing very domineering. Although the aftermath of the battle just now sent many people flying, there was still a steady stream of people approaching. The true king of the sea is something that many people are not qualified to see. It's you, don't disturb me, I want to kill this brat. Charlotte Lingling saw Kaido and said hello, then continued to focus on Uchiha Tamaki. Kid, you will also participate in this world's best competition, right? Kaido did not answer Lingling, but asked Uchiha Tamaki. If your strength can reach that level, you will definitely be able to meet me. Also, my name is Uchiha Tamaki, I'm not some brat. Uchiha Yugen's eyes narrowed, and his domineering aura was released directly. When Charlotte Lingling saw this, she sneered and also released her domineering aura. Kaido laughed. It had been a long time since he had fought against a strong person of the same level, and he also unleashed his domineering aura. Three powerful overlord-colored domineering forces were fighting wantonly in the battle venue. Black-red arcs flashed continuously in the center of the collision, shattering directly when they touched the ground. The collision of the four emperors' colors is so awesome. Zoro felt stiff all over. He didn't expect that the momentum alone would make him feel so uncomfortable now. After being photographed by a bear at Eagle Eye's home, he successfully became a disciple and started training. This time, Eagle Eye did not miss out and brought him with him. But suddenly, a domineering aura that seemed stronger than the one on the field appeared. It's that guy. Hawkeye turned his head coldly and looked towards the direction from which the momentum came. It's the red-haired pirates. All the four emperors are gathered here, what a grand event it is. It seems that this competition will really determine who is the best in the world. Many people who just came to watch the show were very excited at this moment and felt that the trip was worthwhile. Red-haired Shanks led his men through the crowd with a cold face and walked towards where Achiha Tamekian and others were. The overlord colors of the four people competed with each other. In the middle of the confrontation, the ground began to crack uncontrollably, and the color of the clouds in the sky also became gray. At this time, the scene seemed like the sky was falling apart. That's it. The redhead activates the ability to give me a face. The impact of the overlord's hockey was stopped instantly by him, and a target was lost. Everyone's overlord's hockey was a little out of control. Charlotte Lingling and Kaido avoided harming their subordinates and stopped the overlord's hockey. If my three colors of hockey all have a perfect score of 10, the red-haired hockey color should exceed the full score, just like Katakuri's hockey color also exceeds the full score. It's really not easy for a guy who can become a Yonko without devil fruit powers. Uchiha Tamaki glanced at Shanks. He only used the domineering hockey given by the system to deal with it, and did not integrate his own mental power into it to avoid showing too much strength too early. As a ninja, it is reasonable for him to be a little more sinister, right? Overlord without mental power can compete with the two Yonko Charlotte Lingling and Kaido, but it is worse than the red-haired one. Are you here to stop me too, Shanks? Charlotte Lingling was very unhappy, with an angry look on her face. She was very unhappy that she was disturbed one after another, and she felt that Shanks was here to cause trouble. Lingling, since this kid will also participate in the competition, then you can kill him openly and openly during the competition, okay? Kaido on the side suddenly tried to persuade him. He was worried that after killing Uchiha Tamaki so early, the world's best martial arts tournament would no longer be held. He is very interested in this martial arts club. He had a quarrel with Charlotte Lingling not long ago, but now he is willing to talk to dissuade her. If you have the strength. Uchiha Yugen shrugged and said to Charlotte Lingling. Although he didn't know why Kaido suddenly broke up the fight, Uchiha Tamaki was not prepared to fight the four emperors so early. It is still very troublesome to control the strength just enough to defeat her without showing too much strength to prevent others from giving up. He wants to use this event to attract attention and focus the world government here. Humph, you will definitely die in my hands, kid. Then let me see what surprises this so-called no. One martial arts association in the world can bring me. 
Charlotte Lingling saw this and did not continue to have her own way. She is also very interested in this grand event to see if there is a suitable guy who can win her over and marry her children. And Uchiha Yugen couldn't run away, and she wasn't afraid of the Dress Rosa base camp. The best martial arts meeting in the world will be officially held at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. It will be divided into eight arc-shaped arenas rice-shaped, and there will be three days of trials. Those who persist for three days will have the semi-finals. The fourth day will be the semi-finals, and the fifth day will be the finals to decide who will win. He is number one in the world. The first four divisions are divided into the Yonko division. The four emperors will be the champions. The four emperors can send their men to meet the challengers without taking any action. The challengers can keep challenging until they defeat the four emperors and become the champions. The remaining four are free arenas. Whoever thinks he is strong enough can go up and wait for the challenger. There is no rest and waiting time. He will stand until the end and be promoted to the top eight, and he will be qualified for the semi-finals. When Uchiha Tamaki saw that all the big shots were coming, he took out the loudspeaker and explained the rules of the competition that he was preparing for tomorrow. There are no two detailed rules, just select the eight strongest ones, and the Yonko will directly serve as the champion of the first four arenas, and just keep meeting the challenges. Originally, Uchiha Tamaki wanted to extend the time to give Beihai more time to move, but he felt that the pirates did not have that much patience and it was more suitable to keep fighting. The main thing is that Uchiha Yugen felt that Kaido and Charlotte Lingling didn't have much patience, so he finally decided that the rules were like this. In this competition, many pirates will probably die. The redhead frowned slightly. But this matter can't be said to be good or bad. He doesn't really want the four emperors to fight. Kaido, on the other hand, was very excited and seemed a little impatient. Charlotte Lingling looked at Uchiha Tamaki with cold eyes, and finally turned and walked towards her ship, preparing to enjoy afternoon tea. Chapter 158 on the day when the worlds know. One martial arts tournament started, the surrounding pirate ships were almost densely packed. Even the powerful navy did not dare to provoke these pirates at this time. After all, there were four Yonko inside. At the same time, the world government feels that it is better to let the pirates fight on their own and kill as many people as possible. After the competition is over, they will pursue some of the weaker pirates to reduce the pirate strength. Remember to pay the agreed handling fee, otherwise our boss will come to you personally. Doflamingo said while holding the phone bug in his hand. The contact was made by Tesoro, the owner of the world's largest gambling ship. He helped the other party arrange manpower to broadcast the world's best martial arts event so that gamblers on Tesoro could gamble, but they had to take a percentage of the gambling amount. 5. I never thought you would turn to someone else. It's just money. I won't default on it. Duran Tazolo said with a smile on his face as he looked at the screen playing on the projected phone book in front of him. In fact, he was somewhat envious of Doflamingo. He envied him for being able to follow a boss who personally killed the Celestial Dragons. Although he used money to control the Celestial Dragons, he still did not dare to kill the Celestial Dragons. Because my boss is destined for this world. Doflamingo didn't say much. After hanging up the phone, he picked up the cloak made of flamingo feathers and walked out of the ship. Looking at the endless pirate ships outside, he felt trembling all over. The strong man who could make these pirates bow their heads was definitely his boss. The world's no. One martial arts tournament has officially begun. Only 1v1 is allowed in the competition. Others are prohibited from interfering with participation. Violators will die. Earth Escape Earth Flow Wall Uchiha Yugen showed up at 9 o'clock on time, and at the same time warned everyone through the loudspeaker phone bug. Then he clapped his hands, and a total of 8 earth flow walls with a diameter of 5 kilometers directly divided the battle venue into a rice-shaped shape. The entire battle venue was shaking, and most of the pirates stared at this scene in stunned silence, obviously unable to believe that human power could actually do this. The earth flow wall is 5 meters high and 3 meters wide. It is mainly used to divide the site and has no other function. 
Then the earth flow wall was released, and a square pillar with a length of three meters was erected in the battle area of the four emperors, with the name of the four emperors pirate group protruding on it for division. Then at the center position, he released earth release again to create four earth-like seats. Then he also used Kakashi's earth flow wall dog head technique to highlight the name of the Yonko pirates on the top of the chair to give the four it was used by the emperor to sit down and rest. The height is the same, only the size is different. Interesting power. Do you want to hang out with me, Achiha? The pirates had already gathered on the field, and when Kaido saw the clay chair that was just right for his size, he smiled and extended an invitation. You're not qualified yet. Uchiha Yugen jumped onto his chair and sat down, and then replied very coldly. Kaido, I will take care of this brat. Charlotte Lingling sneered. But he didn't move slowly, and he also sat down, preparing to use the battle that awaited to enhance his breakfast experience. Join my subordinates now and I can still keep you, Uchiha. As Kaido sat down, he did not forget to continue inviting Uchiha Tamaki. Red-haired Shank sat down without any nonsense. He was ready to see what this competition would be like. The competition begins, the champion of the four emperors takes the stage, and other combat zones volunteer to take the stage as the champion. Uchiha Tamaki took out a loudspeaker phone bug, and the sound was transmitted from the phone bugs prepared around the battle venue to all the pirates on the scene. After the words fell, the members of the four emperors guard appeared directly in the wide combat area. On the Uchiha side, the person responsible for guarding the ring is Uchiha Shirsue. The beast pirates are based on Drought Jack, the ship king. Big Mom is the candy minister Perispero. The red-haired pirates are sniper Jesus Boo. However, no one stood up to challenge the Yonko in the first place. I will occupy this arena. Suddenly, a man covered in tendons jumped directly from mid-air to the center of one of the combat zones and announced to the people around him. Douglas Barrett. Former crew member of One Piece. Barrett. The red-haired people were a little surprised when they saw this person. Obviously he didn't expect to run into someone he knew. This guy also showed up. It seems that this competition attracted a lot of people. Kaido was also very interested. Only Charlotte Lingling was very luxurious, with her subordinates and hamets helping her prepare for the noble tea party. However, many people on the field did not know Douglas Barrett. After all, it had been almost twenty years since the death of the Pirate King. Many pirates on the field were newcomers and obviously did not know this pirate who had been imprisoned for a long time. So when they saw Barrett, many people were eager to go up and teach this guy a lesson. Whitebeard pirates, occupy this arena. At the same time, a pillar of fire fell from the sky and hit the ground. Ace emerged from the flames and planted the flag of the Whitebeard Pirates directly on the ground. He announced to everyone domineeringly. Many people on the field were surprised to see Ace. At the same time, the name of the Whitebeard Pirates still makes many people feel pressure, and everyone wants to challenge Barrett more than Ace. Don't run around, just watch from here. Hawkeye ordered Sauron and at the same time, carrying the black knife on his back, he walked step by step towards another arena where no one was standing. As the strongest swordsman, Hawkeye Myhawk felt that he was capable and occupied a stage to prove his strength. He didn't want to miss this kind of battle. Looking at Hawkeye, Zoro felt his blood boiling. He also wanted to participate in this world's best martial arts meeting to prove his strength and fulfill the agreement. But I know very well that my own strength is not enough, and if I go up there, I am seeking death. It is better to watch my cheap teacher perform and learn more skills on my own. The strongest swordsman, Hawkeye Myhawk. Seeing Myhawk, some of the people on the field who were planning to occupy the ring where Hawkeye went, gave up one by one. The opponent is already the strongest among swordsmen, which proves that his strength is not far from the real strongest. No one will challenge him at this time. Weibel, the strongest title will definitely be yours, and you will inherit everything from your father. Go ahead and occupy the last stage. A short old woman on the side said very domineeringly. Oh. At the same time, a tall man with a naginata in his hand roared. Then he jumped directly to the center of the last arena, shattering the ground, 
holding his naginata in both hands to demonstrate to the pirates on the field. Many strong men appeared one after another, but the name of the strongest attracted everyone, and they could not retreat without trying. I'll challenge you. A pirate with a bounty of three hundred million directly stood up and pointed at Douglas Barrett. Before he could show his strength, Barrett rushed in front of him and hit him in the face with a huge fist, sending him flying backwards from more than two thousand meters, almost as fast as he was beaten into the sea. The pirate also fainted immediately and had no strength to fight anymore. Have a little fun guys, warm me up before the final four. Barrett grinned, a smile that could scare a child to tears. But the deterrent effect on the pirates on the field was also huge. Seeing the unknown pirate just now, some pirates who originally wanted to challenge Barrett gave up this unrealistic idea. I want to challenge you. The four emperors can also challenge each other, because there might be fake guys sneaking in. Charlotte Crack stood up, pulled out the long sword from her waist and pointed it at Shir Sui, questioning with a provocative smile on her face. Ha ha ha, if you're scared, just run away, kid. Charlotte Lingling smiled happily. This was naturally what she had prepared. Since Uchiha killed her daughter and captured her son, she would also let Uchiha Yugen lose his subordinates. This is revenge. Chapter 159 The Patriarch is not someone like you who can question him. Shusui opened and closed his eyes, his blood-red three Magatama Sharingan looking directly at Croc, who was almost one meter taller than him. Blood eyes. Let me see if it's really that powerful. Cracker didn't feel any fear when he saw these eyes, but said very excitedly. Biscuit soldier. Then Cracker used the power of his cookie fruit to create cookie soldiers. These soldiers are made entirely of biscuits, but their bodies are nearly as strong as metal, and ordinary bullets cannot penetrate them. In an instant, dozens of biscuit soldiers appeared next to him, and then swarmed towards Uchiha Shirsue. Art Fire Escape Ho Fireball Shirsue Sharingan moved quickly, scanning the battlefield. At the same time, without any hesitation, the seal formation process seemed to be nothing, and he spit out a huge fireball and rushed towards these biscuit soldiers. The hot fireball hit these biscuit soldiers who were not afraid of death, and directly ignited the bodies of these biscuit soldiers. Whether it was their shields or weapons, they were all unavoidable. The flames burned on these biscuit soldiers, making their bodies disappear quickly. Although these biscuit soldiers are tough, they cannot ignore the attacks of water and fire. The fire escape, which contains changes in properties, is enough to ignite the biscuit soldiers made by his devil fruit. The water escape will also make the body of his biscuit soldiers soft. Unable to remain indestructible. However, Cracker didn't take this kind of loss to heart at all, because he could continuously create such biscuit soldiers to consume the opponent. But Shirsui had no intention of engaging in a war of attrition with the opponent. While Cracker continued to make biscuit soldiers, he had already appeared behind Cracker, holding the autumn water he had pulled out at some point in his hand, with weapons wrapped around it. Color domineering in flames. Fire slash. Jisue waved Chiu Shui fiercely, and at the same time, the figure appeared directly in front of him from behind Collegia. Cracker's body was instantly ignited by the hot flames. But Shirsue felt something was wrong, and immediately used the teleportation technique to leave the place. Wave Pretzel Cracker rushed from the cookie soldiers in the distance to where Shirsue was just now. The long sword in his hand stabbed Jishue, and the powerful sword energy shock wave directly hit Jishue's afterimage and hit the ground hard. The area around the ground with a diameter of dozens of meters exploded directly, and hundreds of square meters of ground around it were exploded. It shook violently. Empty. Crick pulled the sword out of the ground and said in surprise. But immediately he felt a cold feeling on his back, and he quickly raised his sword and slashed backwards, directly touching Jisue's autumn water. You're fast, but... Whoosh! Clang! Before Cracker finished speaking, Shirsue did not choose to fight with him head on. Instead, he continued to use teleportation to appear beside him to attack. Cracker quickly used armament hockey to harden the attacked part and resisted forcefully. Stop Shirsue's slashing attack. Jisue did not give up, 
but continued to appear next to Cracker like a ghost, attacking Cracker with autumn water. After being beaten, Cracker could only cower and defend, unable to take the initiative at all. He wanted to use his devil fruit ability, but there was almost no gap between Shirsue's attacks, almost making him think that all the attacks hit him at the same time. There was no way he could use his hands to fight back, so he could only be beaten. Are these the four generals of Bigmum? Why do you keep getting beaten? Uchiha Tamaki mocked with a frivolous look. Clark, you know what the consequences of losing are. Charlotte Lingling, on the other hand, had a dark face and began to exert pressure. Clark felt uncomfortable all over. He could feel that the opponent's strength was completely inferior to his, but the speed was too fast, and he couldn't fight this guy head on. Letting the opponent's flaming slash hit him, he felt that he was not seriously injured, but he was afraid that he would lose part of his combat effectiveness, so he couldn't distract himself from the fight. It took five full minutes of fighting under pressure. Cracker secretly scattered a large number of cookie fragments and prepared to fight back. But Shirsue, too, has seen through all of Cracker's movements and cannot escape the capture of the Sharingan. Both eyes directly change from Sharingan to Mangekyo Sharingan. Genjutsu Sharingan. Increase the mental power bonus to the extreme and directly release powerful mental shock to attack the Cricker. Cracker doesn't have Overlord Hockey, and his Hockey of Knowledge is at the Lieutenant General level, which is about 7 points at 10 points. The Genjutsu Sharingan can't make him completely lose consciousness, but he can still do it for a moment of mental coma. The powerful mental shock made Clark dizzy and unable to fully control his body. Shirsue also absorbed enough natural energy and instantly entered Sage Mode, increasing his movement speed by another 3 points. Fire Hell Ring Slash Next to Cracker, three Shirsue figures appeared, all holding burning autumn water in their hands. The dark red flames looked very strange. The movements of the three Shirsue were almost exactly the same, holding Chiyoshue and slashing towards Cracker's neck. Charlotte Lingling naturally couldn't tolerate such a thing happening. She didn't have Kaido's lofty ambitions, and she didn't care about face. She wanted to save her son. But when she was about to take action, she felt a chill all over her body, a breath that she couldn't ignore, and her movements to save her son stopped. When she looked over again, her son's head had left his body and fell heavily to the ground. Uchiha is fine. After this competition is over, I will let Uchiha be buried with my child. Charlotte Lingling's eyes were filled with gloom. She really wanted to flip the table at this time, but there were too many forces participating this time, and even she couldn't ignore it, let alone Kaido, a guy with a bad mind here. She discovered that aura just now, it was Uchiha Yugen, which made her recognize Uchiha Yugen's strength and the ability to fight with herself, but she must win. So she wanted to kill this guy here in this competition. Stop talking nonsense, isn't there anyone in Big Mom who can pay back some? Uchiha Yugen has been staring at Charlotte Lingling for a long time, and she is the most shameless person. Originally, Shirsue was not allowed to participate this time. Doflamingo and Kazan were present, and both of them were very willing to take on the role of champion. But Shirsue pointed out that he needed actual combat training, so he was asked to accept the challenge as the champion. For his own people, Uchiha Yugen will not let the other party suffer any injustice, even if his strength is exposed in advance. Now Shirsui's strength is almost approaching that of the Imperial Viceroy, and at his ultimate speed, Uchiha Tamaki can't even say that he is much faster than Shirsui with all his strength. If the battle just now wasn't a duel, Shirsui could have used the Sea Tower Stone handcuffs to deal with the opponent. Moreover, People who spend hours and days in this sea do not attack fatal positions. Being able to cut off the neck directly like Shirsue is the fastest way. The collision between the four emperors' forces ended in just ten minutes, leaving many people amazed that it ended so quickly. At the same time, many people's attention was focused on Shirsue. This unknown character actually defeated one of the four generals of Big Mom. Many guys who had previously doubted whether Uchiha Tamaki was qualified to be the four emperors did not dare to say more at this time. His subordinates were so strong, so how strong was their boss? After this battle ended, challenges in other arenas also began one after another. The title of the strongest attracts everyone. Chapter, 
160. Report, one of the four generals of Bigmum, Cracker, was defeated and died. On the Navy warship, there is also a live broadcast of the projector phone bug. The world government also has spies sneaking in to conduct live broadcasts, and many pirates are even doing this kind of thing. Therefore, the Navy and the world government will immediately know what happened in this competition. I don't know if this so-called competition is good or bad for the sea. Fujitora put down the soba noodles in his hands and sighed. The death of pirates, especially powerful pirates, is naturally a good thing for the Navy. But if a guy who is the strongest and the same as Edward Whitebeard really appears, this will also be a huge trouble for the Navy. At the New World Navy headquarters, Sikaski did nothing today. He was just watching the live broadcast of the world's no. One Budokai. He wanted to see how successful this competition would be. Naturally, Wulaoxing did not miss it either. These eyes have two forms. There is indeed something wrong with this Uchiha. Is it almost the same ability, the power of blood inheritance? He wants to be honest and win the title of no. One in the world. He is obviously capable of defeating two navy admirals. Who can defeat him here? The five old stars each spoke. Normally they don't have this kind of fun to watch. This time they watched more to confirm the information about Uchiha. They are not too worried about people like Kaido, Charlotte, and Lingling who are kings of land. Uchiha Tamaki didn't take any care before and ran around, but it made them somewhat stressed, but now they are relieved. Although they know that there is a high probability that Uchiha Tamaki will launch an attack on the world government in the future, as long as they have a base, they can use more methods. They feel that Uchiha Tamaki's strength is at most the level of rocks. It is a situation that can be dealt with. While the five people were discussing, they continued to watch the live projection. This level of fighting was enough to attract their attention. Stop looking and start taking action. At the same time in Beihai, Jerma 66 Mobile Kingdom. Uchiha Tamaki said to the Hinata and Hizu who were also watching the live broadcast of the phone bug, this is the wooden clone of Uchiha Tamaki, who came to Beihai one day in advance to wait for the start of the competition. A plan has been finalized with the Revolutionary Army. Uchiha Tamaki is responsible for solving the resistance forces such as the king. At the same time, there will be people from the six families of Hyuga, Hinata, Inozuka, Aburame or Inazuka to form a five-person team to help the Revolutionary Army. There are 30 groups in total, with a total of 150 people. This is all to help the Revolutionary Army take over the management of the Beihai country more smoothly and reduce some troubles. Hinata Hizu and others responded. All ninjas from the ninja world are cursed and their identity will not be revealed. Then Uchiha Tamaki's shadow clone began to take action directly. According to the planned order, he began to clean up the kings and royal families of the North Sea country. The ninja team had already made arrangements in advance, as had the revolutionary army. By noon, the kings of three countries had been captured and eliminated. The progress was extremely fast. The revolutionary army had to move a little slower, but it was also trying to maintain the stability of these countries as soon as possible, seize control, and carry out coups. The morning was the time when there were the most challenges. A large number of ninjas who were not afraid of death, or who lacked self-awareness, chose to challenge the champion who was not the Yonko. Barrett basically punches a kid here, which is not enough for ordinary pirates. Ace and Hawkeye are alike, both of them are not polite in their actions, and treat them as if they are determined to die. One wanted to revive the momentum of the Whitebeard pirates, while the other wielding the knife felt that it was troublesome to control the force to save lives, so it was better to just chop it off. Several people defeated all challengers like a crushing force. Many pirates who were originally full of confidence were now frightened. Good guy, is there such a big difference in strength? Only Edward Weibel's solution was a little slower, but he was cruel. He likes to tear people apart alive without giving them any way to survive. Kuzan, who was staying on Da Flamingo's boat, was almost laughing because so many pirates had died. This competition was really meaningful. But at this time, a heavyweight guy finally stepped forward. Crocodile. Holding a cigar in his mouth and wearing a thick black cloak, he walked towards Edward Weibel. 
this was the one he felt was the most suitable opponent for him besides the Yonko Arena. Hawkeye is too dangerous, and Ace is also of the natural type, so the fight will take too long. Barrett was not sure. He did not want to provoke this pervert, so he targeted the youngest Edward Weibel. Son, be careful with this guy, he is a natural type. Weibel's mother, Miss Ba Jean, quickly gave instructions to her son, even though she knew that her son was very strong. But even if you are a bit naive, you still have to be a little careful when encountering an old man like Crocodile. Shalon. Crocodile stirred up a huge sandstorm when it came up. Oh. Edward Weibel was not polite. He raised his naginata and swung it hard, cutting open the overwhelming sandstorm. There was no change in Crocodile's expression while holding the cigarette in his mouth. Instead, he kept changing the environment, turning the soil into a desert, putting himself in an advantageous environment. At the same time, they all avoided Edward Weibel's attacks and had no intention of resisting. To defeat this guy, he is ready for a protracted battle. Fierce battles continued to take place in this huge battle venue, and even Kaido and others watched with gusto. Are you going to take action? Uchiha Yugen raised his head and looked at one of the arenas. This action naturally attracted the attention of several other four emperors around them, thinking that some important battle had occurred. But following Uchiha Tamaki's line of sight, he only saw a watermelon head wearing green tights and a strange vest, standing on Barrett's battlefield. The head of Uchiha, do you know this person? Red-haired Shanks spoke up. Among the four emperors, he was the only stranger to Uchiha Tamaki. Even before that, he had only met him once in Dingdingshan. He wanted to find out the details of Uchiha Yugen and understand how to treat him in the future. My friend, you are strong. Uchiha Tamaki said briefly. Charlotte Lingling, on the other hand, made a mocking sound without even saying anything. My eyes look very determined, and I feel really strong. Kaido frowned for a moment, then quickly relaxed his brows and said seriously. Your fighting ability is very strong, I want to challenge you. Metkai pointed at Barrett, showing his confident smile, his bright teeth shining. After looking at the eight stages in total all morning, he found that the leader of this stage fought purely with his fists. That's why he chose Barrett. Because now he is not doing a task or having to accomplish a goal, but fulfilling his own dream, so he has to choose the goal of empty-handed fighting. You're interesting, come on. Barrett rarely took the initiative. Because he also felt that the short watermelon head in front of him seemed different from the miscellaneous fish that came to challenge him before. His eyes were full of confidence, and there seemed to be no flaws in his body. This made him somewhat excited. Fighting so many miscellaneous fish before made him feel very bored. Did he finally meet an opponent he could watch? Chapter, 161 Kanoha's Powerful Whirlwind Metkai did not hesitate and attacked Barrett directly. He instantly appeared in front of Barrett, swept the ground with his right foot and directly attacked Barrett's left ankle. In just a few months, his arm domineering skills had reached a high level. But Barrett grinned, jumped up with his feet off the ground, and at the same time hit his right fist directly at Metki who was crawling on the ground using his sweeping leg. Metkai rolled and rolled to avoid it. Barrett's fist hit the ground directly, cracking the ground into a spider web shape. The aftermath of the punch directly caused the underground stones to churn, like an earth dragon turning over. After Metki rolled to avoid it, he quickly distanced himself and was not affected by the aftermath of the attack. Looking at Barrett's body that was several times larger than his own, Metki felt extremely excited. The sixth door, Jingmen, open. Metkai also became serious here. He could feel that he couldn't beat this guy under normal circumstances, so he had to fight seriously. Green steam emanated from his body, and his muscles almost doubled in size. The green tights completely highlighted Metkai's strong figure. Metkai exerted force under his feet, and the moment he left, the ground beneath his feet exploded, and powerful air blasts rushed to the surroundings. Everyone could only see a green light rushing towards Barrett. Barrett's eyes were also excited, like a hungry wolf seeing prey. He came here to pursue this kind of battle. Without hesitation, he punched the green light and shadow rushing towards him. The fists of the two collided, 
and the impact caused the surrounding ground to crack. The stalemate lasted for less than two seconds, and the two began to fight with each other as if they had hundreds of arms. Every time he waved his fist, there would be an explosion of air. The surrounding ground could not withstand such pressure at all. The broken rocks were directly turned into powder and pushed away by the impact. Ah fight! Metkai punched out hard, knocking Barrett away. Barrett flew several hundred meters backwards against the ground before he stabilized himself. He stood up and wiped the traces of blood from the corner of his mouth, tore up the clothes on his body that could not withstand the battle and torn apart, revealing his strong muscles, and then accelerated and ran towards Metkai. The battle between the two attracted the attention of the four emperors on the field. Even the scene of the battle between Crocodile and Edward Weeble was very intense, but the battle between these two people attracted everyone's attention even more. To be able to fight Barrett to such an extent is unheard of for this man on the sea before. Red-haired Shanks is the one who knows Barrett's strength best. Back on Roger's ship, Barrett's strength was almost enough to give him a back-and-forth fight with Vice Captain Rayleigh. The strength of the two sides was almost the same, and he was the third position on the Pirate King's ship. Even now, Shanks doesn't think he is absolutely sure of defeating Barrett, but he didn't expect that he would actually have a back-and-forth fight with an unknown guy. What a wonderful battle, I can't wait. Kaido was very excited. I wish I could fight with them on the field. Only Charlotte Lingling frowned, looking unhappy. It was obvious that this watermelon head had a good relationship with Uchiha, and it would definitely be troublesome to solve it. The people under the Yonko pirates were also shocked by the battle between the two. Most of them thought that their own strength was not as strong as these two, and most of the pride they had in their hearts as the Yonko disappeared. After strengthening the physical quality, can the six gates alone have such power? This has reached the level of super shadow. Uchiha Tamaki was also surprised by Metkai's strength at this time. In the past two months, in addition to training, he also had to arrange matters in Beihai. At the same time, the ninja world was also undergoing fierce reforms he hardly had much time to take care of Metkai. At that time, Uchiha Tamaki also thought about letting Metkai Takai belong to his own camp to challenge, but in the end he decided to let Metkai challenge alone and choose his favorite opponent to fight. This battle will only use seven doors at most. After all, it is not a place for a desperate duel. The eight doors will definitely not be opened. Originally, I thought that Metkai would be able to reach the super shadow level only after opening the seven doors, but I didn't expect that now I would touch the super shadow level by opening the six doors. I feel that as long as the speed is a little faster, I can break through the sound barrier and enter a higher level. Strong Levels The battle between the two almost affected other surrounding battlefields, and the signs on the Tulia wall were shattered a lot by the two of them. However, there were arenas of the four emperors on both sides, and there was no fighting at this time. Many people's eyes were on the two Nanyanko battlefields. A large number of people from the world government, the navy, and Grande Zoro are also paying attention to this battle, especially on the gambling ship of Grande Zoro. Many people are waving their banknotes and placing bets with excitement. Metkai made a move to show Lianhua and kicked Barrett on the chin, sending him flying. In terms of strength, Barrett is stronger, but in terms of skill, Metkai is undoubtedly overwhelming. Barrett hits Metkei with one punch, and Metkei has to punch Barrett at least a dozen times. Although his physical fitness has improved a lot, Kai is still a squishier compared to Barrett. Toward the peacock. Metkai jumped up and caught up with Barrett who was kicked away. Both fists were waved wildly, and with each punch, a huge fireball appeared, hitting Barrett's body along with the pressure of the fist. Originally, in the ninja world, Fireballs shot at peacocks were about the size of a basin, but now they have expanded more than five times. This is a flame ignited by the simple pressure of the fist and the friction of the air, similar to Luffy's use of the fire fist system. Tricks The flame spread out like a peacock spreading its tail, causing Barrett's body to shake continuously. He hit the ground straight and was covered in a large amount of flames. Countless potholes appeared on the ground. After hundreds of punches, Metkai fell from the air. Hiss. He spit out hot steam from his mouth. 
Looking at Barrett getting up from the rubble, Metkai's face did not panic, but became even more excited. It would be very boring for him to defeat the opponent so easily. Warm up is over. Now let the real battle begin. The same is true for Barrett. He has only pursued one thing for so many years, to be the strongest. Roger is dead and no one can stop him from becoming the strongest. Although he was a little embarrassed at this time, he was not decadent at all, and the desire to fight in his eyes could not be concealed at all. As he finished speaking, objects like dark blue crystal fragments spread out from his body and spread out in all directions. It absorbed the surrounding broken soil and directly formed a combat robot about a hundred meters high, with Barrett standing at the top looking down at Metkai. Chapter 162 Barrett controlled a huge combat robot to attack Metkai, but with its huge size, it was difficult to hit the extremely fast Metkai. Punch after punch hit the ground, and the entire battle venue could feel the huge shock. So hard. Metkai did not dodge blindly and hit the robot with his fists, but the effect was average. It only made a hole of more than one meter. It had no effect at all on this huge body of more than 100 meters. Moreover, the hole repaired itself quickly, and the attack had no effect at all. He gave up attacking the robot and instead stepped on the surface of the robot to move quickly and rush towards Barrett at the top. Barrett controlled the robot to fight back, but Metkai's speed was too fast to have any effect, and as a ninja, Metkai could use chakra to absorb on the huge mechanical body. Metkai rushed directly to Barrett, preparing to continue the attack. Since this level is not enough, then let's become bigger and stronger. Seeing this, Barrett did not hesitate to use the awakening power of his devil fruit. The dark blue crystals overflowed again. Metkai punched Barrett in the face. He did not avoid the force and resisted the blow. With one blow, the dark blue crystal climbed up towards Metkai. Metkai's body violently erupted with green steam, flushing away these crystals. At the same time, he used Moon Step plus Shaver to leave the robot's body, and looked at Barrett's changes in surprise. A large number of dark blue crystals spilled out from Barrett's body in all directions, just like a volcano erupting or lava erupting, everything that came into contact would be entangled. However, the venue was bare and there was almost nothing for him to absorb, so these crystals rushed towards the surrounding pirate ships. Why would it be affected even though it's so far away? What kind of power is this? A large number of pirates cursed and tried their best to attack these dark blue substances, but with little effect. Only powerful pirates could barely save their pirate ships, but most pirate ships were entangled in this dark blue substance, crushing the ships and dragging them away like parts. These dark blue substances were indistinguishable and naturally spread to the surrounding arenas, even to the Yonko who were watching the show in the center. However, Uchiha Yugen directly raised a fire escape wall, igniting all the dark blue substances approaching so that they could not cross this line. He had no control over other places around him, unless a third party intervened intentionally. Otherwise, he would not intervene in the fight. When no more parts could be absorbed, Barrett absorbed all the dark blue matter back and used everything he brought back as parts to create a huge monster body that even the navy monitoring dozens of kilometers away could see. I can vaguely see the appearance of this monster. This Godzilla-like monster is more than 350 meters tall. Most of its body is made of soil, and the outside is made up of a large number of pirate ships. In addition, it is connected by the energy of the dark blue fusion fruit. At the same time, it passes through armed with color, a real fighting monster appears. The only drawback is that it cannot move. The lower body is connected to the entire land, but the range of attack can almost cover most of the arena. Roar After the monster was formed, it roared at the top of its lungs. Metkai, who was in the air, was forced back dozens of meters by the sound wave, and fell directly to the ground from the air. Bring it on! Let me see your strength! Barrett felt that Metkai was far from reaching his limit, so he directly issued an invitation for a real 1v1 battle between men. He did not control the giant monster to attack Metkai. He was waiting for Metkai to show his stronger power, similar to the way a villain waits for a beautiful girl to transform. He didn't know if the rebellion was to fight the strongest beautiful girl, 
or to revel. To watch the transformation process of a beautiful girl. As you wish. Then I'll use my strongest power in my normal state. The seventh door, the shocking door opens. Mekke's confident smile never disappeared from his body. When the other party extended the invitation, Mekke had no intention of delaying it any longer. He clenched his fists and roared. The blue steam instantly overshadowed the green steam emitted from the body just now. The power erupted from the evaporation directly shattered the ground, and the surrounding small stones were directly crushed into powder. The steam erupting from the sixth door is enough to push away two meters of river water around the body, and the steam erupting from the seventh door is even more powerful. Ha! Metkai roared, and steam exploded directly towards the surroundings. The powerful impact even affected the clouds in the sky, blowing them away directly, revealing the blue sky. What a strong aura! Kaido didn't laugh at this time and said very seriously. Is just the aura emitted so powerful? Shanks and Charlotte Lingling also looked surprised. They obviously didn't expect that this watermelon head would make them feel such tremendous pressure just by relying on his momentum. Now that Kai opens the eight gates, he really wants to kill Madara six paths. Uchiha Tamaki could feel the pressure. He felt that if it were Madara six paths, facing Met Kai at this time, he would probably be kicked to death before he even finished speaking. Ha ha ha, you are indeed my favorite opponent. You are qualified to compete with me for this most powerful title, come on. Barrett said extremely excitedly. After saying that, he waved his 40-meter-long fist and hit Metkai directly. Without any temptation, Metkai placed his hands and kick in front of him to gather strength. Hiratora. He pushed his hands forward fiercely, and released a huge fist pressure. During the release, it transformed directly into a nearly transparent tiger head, which was twice as big as the day tiger that Matt released in the past. The tiger head charged with open teeth. Towards that huge fist that covered the sky and the sun, the two sides were almost the same size. The moment the dark blue fist collided with the nearly transparent tiger head, the dark blue fist fell apart. The tiger head moved forward in an indomitable manner, swallowing up all the objects in front of it. The entire right arm of the huge blue monster seemed to be torn off directly by the tiger. When approaching the head of the Godzilla monster, Hiratora exploded directly, and the huge impact destroyed most of the monster's head. Covering such a large body with armed color domineering will also reduce the effect greatly, and it will not be able to block the unique moves of Metkai's seven disciples. It's so interesting, you are such a suitable opponent. But there was no fear on Barrett's part, and instead he became more and more excited. At the same time, the arm that was shredded by the day tiger recovered quickly. Barrett continued to absorb the soil under the ground to recover the loss of the arm. In less than 10 seconds, the arm that was more than 100 meters long was restored to its original state. Then he hit Met Kai with his fist again. Kai did not continue to use Dehu. This technique was also somewhat draining on his body, and he could not recover as quickly as the enemy in front of him. He directly used teleportation to dodge, appeared on the monster, and punched it several times, leaving one hole after another on the monster's body, but it recovered immediately. Finally, he aimed hard at the abdomen and directly penetrated it completely, but the result same. Looks like the only way to use that move is. Metkai took a deep breath and said firmly with eyes. Chapter, 163 the battle between Metkai and Barrett was far more beautiful than the battle between Crocodile and Edward Weibel. Crocodile found that he could not confront this guy head-on, so he chose to pull and fight. The fight made Edward Weibel very uncomfortable. The two sides kept grinding and they didn't know how long it would take. But the fight between Metkai and Barrett was almost fist to fist, which attracted everyone's attention. Before the fight between the two began, no one believed that this watermelon head could fight to this level with Barrett. But now everyone has been completely attracted unconsciously. Metkai's body burst into blue steam, and then everyone could see almost only a blue afterimage, and Metkai's movements could not be clearly seen at all. I saw a blue light moving quickly around the huge monster. Barrett controlled the monster to punch and attack several times, but all of them were undoubtedly in vain. What is he doing? 
Barrett couldn't figure it out, and he couldn't figure out what this man was trying to do. But he felt that this person was getting faster and faster. Originally, I could only use the moves that could only be used by opening the eight gates. Now that my body strength has become stronger, I can now use higher hitting special moves. Meet the limits of physical skills, Shi Xiang. Metkai's movement directly broke through the sound barrier, and he jumped up with great force, walking on flat ground in midair, and instantly arrived behind the huge monster's head. Barrett sensed the danger, but was too late to control the monster and fight back. One foot. Metkai punched directly at the back of the monster's head. A very simple and unpretentious technique, just pure punching. The cylindrical punch with a diameter of 15 meters directly shattered the monster's head and hit Barrett in the center of the monster's head. The powerful fist pressure made Barrett's body unable to move at all. He wanted to use the ability of the fusion fruit, but the dark blue substance was instantly crushed by the fist pressure as soon as it appeared. Before he could make any more moves, Mekai's second punch came. Two feet. At some point, Mekai appeared on his upper left side, waving his fist again, and the same cylindrical punch hit his body. Three feet. This time it's the bottom right. Barrett felt that his body was being squeezed very uncomfortably by these punches. Sizu. Bottom left. Four punches appeared at the same time, forcibly reducing Barrett's powerful body by one third. Can't move. This is not my limit. Barrett roared in his heart because he couldn't open his mouth at this time. His body instantly turned blue. This was the ability to integrate his domineering energy into his body. This is why he was called the descendant of the devil. Just when he felt that his body could resist a little, Barrett's eyes caught sight of Metkai above him. Looking at the almost blood-red eyes, he finally felt a trace of fear. He saw the fist in this man's hand, as if a raptor was roaring. Wu Zhu. Metkai clenched his right hand tightly, and a blue dragon head appeared at the front of his fist. This is an improvement based on Yikai, and is the strongest attack that can be unleashed on the seven gates. The fist was swung out, and the dragon's head instantly grew larger and hit Barrett's abdomen. In the eyes of other people around him, it seemed as if a blue dragon's head fell from the sky, swallowed Barrett directly, and then hit the ground directly. Superior. The ground sank instantly and cracked. Barrett's eyes turned white, and then he couldn't stop spitting out a large amount of blood from his mouth. The soil beneath him instantly turned into powder, and the second impact directly drove Barrett into the ground. The aftermath directly shattered the ground within a radius of a kilometer, and mud chunks were bounced and scattered in all directions. The aftermath ended after more than ten seconds. What kind of monster is this? Moonlight Moria looked at this scene, his face twitching. He originally wanted to play, but in the end he felt that it was better to be alive. The other pirates around him all felt that their bones were not that hard yet, so they just wanted to watch. I can't bear it anymore. Are there four more days? I can't wait to fight. Kaido said a little crazy. Watching the battle between Metkai and Barrett, he wished he was the one to take the field directly. This kind of 1v1 men's battle is his favorite situation. Jin, who was standing next to Kaido, also felt at this time that the so-called number one in the world might really be able to defeat the strongest person in the world. He felt that even if he went up, he might not be able to defeat either of the two people just now. When did this sea start to become so chaotic? Red-haired Shanks couldn't help but recall what happened recently. Will Whitebeard's death cause such a big trouble? He felt that the pirate's power at this time seemed a little too strong. Only Charlotte Lingling looked gloomy and felt uncomfortable all over. Kai. Have you come this far? In dress Rosa, Kakashi looked at the projection phone bug and felt great pressure. He never thought that Metkai was so much stronger than him. Although he had mastered armament hockey, Kakashi felt that the difference in strength between himself and Metkai was too great. This offspring is very strong. On the side, Senju Hashirama crossed his arms at this time, his hands were itchy and he wanted to participate in this competition. However, he was arranged to watch over Dress Rosa to prevent anyone from stealing the house and causing trouble, and also to prevent the aftermath of the battle from spreading to Dress Rosa. 
As for the Ninja World, Senju Tobarama is very happy to help realize the goal of the Ninja World Federation. He has long wanted to do this. Although Kanoha now is not the Kanoha village of the past, it is still Kanoha. From now on if it is really established, he will have some face. Metkai dragged the unconscious Barrett out of the pit with his left hand, threw Barrett aside, and fell directly to the ground at the same time. The six door will hardly put too much pressure on the body of the current Metkai, but the seven door still uses the tricks that could only be used in the eight door in the seven door. It still puts a lot of burden on my body, my right hand is fractured, and there are severe pains everywhere in my body, but Metkai is still smiling. Such a battle is so exciting. Seeing Metkai like this, many people were tempted. He definitely looked like he had lost most of his combat effectiveness. I'll challenge you. At this time, someone stepped forward, Bigmum's burnt minister, Charlotte Owen. Under his mother's instructions, he stood up to deal with Metkai, who had almost lost his fighting ability. In the eyes of Charlotte Lingling, this guy who had a good relationship with Uchiha had no value in continuing to live. It would be best to die as soon as possible. I give up. Metkai said very directly. He knew that his combat effectiveness at this time was very low, and he had no strength to continue fighting. He never thought that he would be the first in the first time, so he gave up simply. High fever slash. But Charlotte Owen seemed not to hear it, and pulled out the long sword from her waist, heating it until it burst into flames. He rushed directly towards Metkai, preparing to kill him. Huh, since he gave up, the challenger is you now, so let me challenge you. Five colored thread. At this time, Doflamingo stood up and attacked with a sneer. Chapter 164 Clang. Doflamingo, are you provoking Big Mom? Charlotte Owen was furious. He could not ignore the danger behind him and could only use his long sword to block the attack of the five color line. At the same time, he glared at Doflamingo and threatened Doflamingo. Now I am also a member of the Four Emperors Uchiha. What does Bigma mean? Doflamingo tilted his head and said with great disdain. This watermelon head is a friend of his leader. He has seen his leader talking and laughing with him. If you turn a blind eye, you will probably be punished when you go back. Moreover, threatening yourself with Big Mom, who is no longer good, would be too underestimated. Thank you. Metkai stood up and gave Doflamingo a thumbs up to thank him. Then he carried Barrett towards the outside of the battlefield. Charlotte Owen wanted to pursue, but was immediately stopped by Doflamingo, not giving him any chance. Uchiha people are such an eyesore. Charlotte Lingling doesn't look good here. The strongest card in her hand disappeared. At this time, she was unable to find the courage to arrange work for her subordinates. If he ends up personally, wouldn't it mean that his power is inferior to the other four emperors? Only those who lack strength will find it an eyesore. Uchiha Tamaki taunted. Charlotte Lingling glared angrily, wishing to kill Uchiha Tamaki right now. What a pity Joker, why he didn't want to join the beast's pirates instead of choosing to join you really puzzles me. Kaido was a little confused. He still has a good impression of Doflamingo. Doflamingo helped deal with the artificial devil fruits, including the sale of some metal mines in Wano. So Kaido felt that Doflamingo was very suitable to be his subordinate, but he didn't expect that he would end up with Uchiha, a young man. Charlotte Owen is no match for Doflamingo at all. She is completely played by him and has no ability to fight back. Although she can be a great pirate at sea, she is second only to the four generals in Bigmum. The second echelon, but facing Doflamingo who can compete for the throne, they are still unable to compete. When Doflamingo used silk thread to directly cut off Charlotte Owen's left hand, Charlotte Lingling couldn't help it. That's enough, Doflamingo. Charlotte Lingling said in a gloomy tone. It was already approaching afternoon and it should be her afternoon tea time, but now she has no interest in savoring it. I surrender. Charlotte Owen looked unwilling, but still chose to give up. After all, her own life was more important. At the same time, his mother also said that he would not be harshly criticized when he returns. This reason is even more important. In that case, then you can leave. 
Da Flamingo said with a fake smile on his face. Charlotte Owen picked up the severed limb and left with an ugly expression. If the other party doesn't admit defeat, Da Flamingo is ready to kill him directly. Now he no longer needs to worry like before, because someone is protecting him. Then let me be your next opponent, Da Flamingo. At this time, Trafalgaro appeared. He used the slaughterhouse to exchange stones and appeared directly on the tattered battlefield where Kai and Barrett fought. He pointed at Da Flamingo with the devil's cry in his hand and said with a cold face. He has been waiting for this day for a long time. He had no confidence in dealing with the Don Quixote family alone, but if it was just a 1v1 with Da Flamingo alone, he definitely couldn't miss such an opportunity. Oh, it's the little mouse that escaped back then. Luo, I didn't expect you to have the guts to come to me. The smile on Da Flamingo's face disappeared and he said to Trafalgar Law calmly. When Luo saw Da Flamingo's expression, although he had been mentally prepared for it, the accumulated fear of Da Flamingo in the past still made his heart shrink. I will beat you this time. Trafalgaro's eyes were firm. Thinking of Corazon's gentleness, he could not suppress his anger at this moment, and directly opened his room and used his baton to control the surrounding rubble and rush towards Da Flamingo. At the same time, another heavyweight came to an end. Kuzan walked towards the Yonko Bigma Marina. Just now you challenged us Uchiha in the arena, now it's time for Uchiha to challenge you. If you're afraid, surrender. Kuzan lowered his head and looked at Perispero, exhaling a breath of cold air and said. As for Kuzan and Da Flamingo, Uchiha Tamaki didn't arrange anything for the two of them, he just let them do whatever they wanted. After all, Uchiha Tamaki didn't completely trust them. He just treated them as wage earners. They didn't know anything about Beihai. However, with the world's number one martial arts club, they could do whatever they wanted, and he could keep the whole story under wraps. Seeing Kuzan challenge Big Mom, Uchiha Yugen did not stop him. Anyway, if he really fought with Charlotte Lingling, the winner would not be determined in a short while. It happened that such a big movement could attract the attention of the world government. As for the world government, it is true that its eyes are on Kazan. Wu Laoxing wished that these people would be beaten to death. The more people died, the better. At this time, Navy Marshal Sakaski frowned, and then took out the phone bug to contact Kazaru, Paul Yasalino, you go to support Fujitora. Don't let any of the injured pirates go. Pass. After witnessing the battle between Metkai and Barrett just now, Sakaski felt that these pirates were still too dangerous. After this competition, many pirates would definitely be injured. He would not say anything moral about pirates. Just attack hard and do it hard. Now that he couldn't leave, he could only arrange for Porcelino to go there. Bulu Bulu. At the same time, the phone at Wulaoxing rang and was connected directly. Lord Wulaoxing, the Door Kingdom in the North Sea has been captured by the Revolutionary Army. A report from a world government employee came on the other end of the phone. Arrange for the Navy and world government members in the North Sea to handle it. After that, they hung up the phone immediately. They still wanted to see the consequences of Kazan provoking Big Mom. Sikaski did not hide the fact that Kazan went to work as a spy. They knew about it, so when they saw one of their own on the field, they had time to pay attention to the fall of a country. Over the years, there have been many back and forths with the Revolutionary Army. After conquering a country, they can quickly get it back. The country will care about these small things. At this time, I really hope that Kazan will directly fight with Big Mom and Polachiha. It's best to go into the water and fight directly among the four emperors. When the time comes, the navy's strength will be freed up, which will be enough to deal with any number of revolutionary armies. Chapter 165. Are Uchiha trying to challenge Big Mom? Charlotte Lingling looked unhappy. Obviously she felt very uncomfortable. After all, she only had one general under her command, but compared with the admiral, the gap was still too big. This is forcing her to leave the game personally. She is the only one among the four emperors on the court to be forced to leave the game. Isn't it very embarrassing? I've killed so many of you. Is this just provocation? The four magnificent emperors can't even defeat my subordinates. 
Uchiha Yugen is also not afraid of things getting serious. Among the four emperors, except for the slightly unknown red-haired Shanks, the other four emperors are basically on the table and pose no threat to Uchiha, just like the beast pirates looked at the Don Quixote family back then. There is value in using it, but it cannot threaten one's own status at all. Moreover, these unstable factors will be resolved sooner or later. After today's incident, the Yonko will not be of much value anymore, so Kazan can do his best. Kakaka While speaking, Kazan took action directly, and the cold breath spread directly to the entire battlefield. Perispero only had time to wave his candy cane and before he could use his ability, the real person was frozen and unable to move. Most of the pirates watching the battle from the outside have never seen the admiral take action, because basically those who have seen the admiral take action will either be caught or die. Except for Luffy, a well-connected person who was able to escape from Kazan several times, other pirates did not have such good luck. The people from Big Mom looked at Kazan angrily from a distance, but no one dared to stand up when asked to deal with this powerful enemy. The name of the former Navy Admiral was enough to intimidate many people. Then let me know the consequences of angering the four emperors. I will be your opponent, Kazan. Charlotte Lingling did not continue to sit here. She knew that if she did not take action now, then Big Mom would be despised by the world, and the title of Yonko would not be recognized by others. Stand up from the chair and walk towards Kazan step by step. On the way, her homies appeared one after another, following her like an oil painting. Kazan did not retreat, he just stood there and watched the huge Charlotte Lingling walking towards him. He had fought with Big Mom before, but it was just a taste of it, and he did not fight seriously because he had many worries. But now he doesn't have so much pressure, he just wants to get rid of these pirates who are causing trouble. It's too late to retreat now, Kazan. If we really fight, I won't hold back. Charlotte Lingling lowered her head and looked at Kazan and said. Ice Age. Kazan's eyes were cold and he directly changed the terrain to increase his side's chances of winning. The entire battle venue was quickly frozen, including other distant battlefields. Troublesome guy. Crocodile frowned and smoked a cigar. He was pulling Edward Weibel. Suddenly, the dirt terrain that was suitable for him was instantly changed, making it more difficult for him to make sand. Edward Weibel was furious at this time. He had been pulled for several hours without actually hitting the opponent. This made him very angry, like a monkey in Mountame. He couldn't stop being angry. For Trafalgar Law and Doflamingo, the two superhuman ability users, it does not have much impact. Law constantly uses the ability of the slaughterhouse to contain Doflamingo and find ways to find loopholes. Use the gamma knife to seriously injure Doflamingo. There was a guy who challenged Jesus Boo on other battlefields. He didn't escape this ice age and was frozen into a popsicle. Fire from heaven. Charlotte Lingling directly raised her right hand, and the Prometheus floating in the sky directly condensed a large amount of flames and spit it directly towards Kazan. The power of fire and flames is comparable to the fire fist released by Ace. Kazan waved his right hand, and a huge icicle rose directly from the ground, directly colliding with the pillar of fire. The battle between the two was very dynamic, only the battle between Metkai and Barrett could be compared to it. The originally divided battlefield suddenly turned into a melee. There is no way to tell the winner in a short period of time. Unless a weakness is found or the strength is extremely suppressive, it will take several hours just to test each other. All the powerful people in the whole sea were attracted by the battle on the field. The enthusiasm was almost as intense as the live broadcast of the war. This time, no one would stop it because they were all watching the show. Seven countries. In Beihai, Uchiha Tamaki's clone was in a certain kingdom's castle. All the royal families present were controlled by him and restrained. At the same time, the escorting troops received orders and all gathered in remote places to wait for orders, reducing the difficulty for the revolutionary army to control the country. These countries have more or less supporters of the revolutionary army, so the revolutionary army's operations are very smooth. What remains is to see how capable the revolutionary army is and whether they can convince the people of Beihai to support them. This is what they have to do, 
and the pressure from the world government will be withheld by Uchiha Tamaki. In the past four days, more than 80% of the country in Beihai has been occupied by the Revolutionary Army, but only less than 20% of the countries have conveyed the news. The special operations team sent by Kanoha helped the Revolutionary Army solve many hidden troubles. In the past few days, the Revolutionary Army mainly controlled the royal family and did not show up openly, so even if the people in the world government were confused, there was no immediate report. However, the fact that five countries reported being captured by the Revolutionary Army still attracted the attention of the five old stars, and asked Akainu to arrange the navy to help deal with it. When did the Revolutionary Army dare to be so bold? However, the Navy's elite combat forces are all near Dressrosa, waiting to pick up the slack and kill the pirates. Neither of the two generals have spare time to spare. So he casually arranged for several vice-admirals headed by Smoker to set off to help the Navy in the North Sea solve its troubles. Lo! How many times will you do the same trick? Da Flamingo said angrily. Because in the past few days, every time Trafalgar found that he couldn't beat him and was too exhausted, he would just admit defeat. And at the same time, without giving him a chance to agree, he would directly use the ability of the surgical fruit to escape. Because he wanted to occupy the ring, he hesitated several times but still did not choose to pursue Luo, because Luo's current value was not that great to him. However, after Luo recovered, he challenged Luo again. He played like this twice. Da Flamingo fought Luo three times in total. This is to treat him as a dungeon monster, right? It keeps looking for trouble, and it's a bug, right? His recovery speed was not as fast as Luo's, and now that he was fighting Luo, he no longer had as much suppression as before, and he felt tremendous pressure. I told you I would beat you. Trafalgar said with firm eyes. Such a good opportunity was missed, and he didn't know when he would wait until next time. Face was not important, he just wanted to win. You're under arrest. Click. But before he could take action and prepare to use the gamma knife on Da Flamingo again, his pupils shrank and he sensed danger. As soon as he opened his fingers, seafloor stone handcuffs were cuffed on his wrists. Luo turned around and saw that it was Uchiha Yugen who appeared behind him at some point. Looking at the injured sea stone handcuffs, his heart immediately sank to the bottom. He didn't realize how close the other party was just now. Are the four emperors going to break the rules too? Trafalgar suppressed the anger in his heart and couldn't help but ask. I thought that as an emperor, the guy would be more respectable, which was also the confidence for him to test, but he didn't expect that he would attack him now. You are now under arrest for allegedly using a loophole in the competition. You will be let go after the competition. As a price, Da Flamingo will also be sent off and disqualified. Now a new arena is available to welcome the new champion. Uchiha Tamaki was also tired of seeing it. It turned out that his devil fruit was so disgusting to use. The main thing was that he was jumping around all the time. He was bored to death. He also had the idea of catching this guy and communicating with him, but he was not ready to kill him. Naturally, Da Flamingo didn't dare to have any objections. He pulled on his flamingo cloak and stepped down angrily. It was so disgusting. As for Trafalgar Law, Uchiha Yugen handed it over to CP0 on the shore. I will be the champion of this arena. At the same time, Rob Lucci stood up and told everyone that he did not want to miss this opportunity to fight. He wanted to see where he was now. Chapter 166 at this time, the battle between Kazan and Charlotte Lingling was heating up. At this time, the two men had left the battle venue and started fighting on the sea not far away. One can create an ice surface to stand on the sea, and the other can inject soul into the sea water, allowing the sea water to lift her and stand on it. There is no two-person battle, so the battle venue can still be used. The challenger has never changed. It's still sure sway, Jack, and Jesus. Ace and Hawkeye are rarely challenged. The two fight very cleanly, so no one dares to challenge. Crocodile and Edward Weibel were still fighting. Weibel was almost numb. Crocodile was too insidious. His left hand was accidentally sucked dry, leaving only a little dry skin on it. Only Rob Lucci, 
who finally took the stage as the ring leader, faced the most challenges, but he persisted. At this time, Rob Lucci's strength had reached the level of a three-star general, which was not something that ordinary pirates could deal with. The world government and the navy saw everything that happened through the live phone bug and laughed, feeling that the more such competitions, the better. Red-haired Shanks felt something was wrong, but he didn't know what was wrong. After all, it seemed that the most people dying now were from Big Mom's side. At the same time, some ordinary pirates died, and he would usually deal with these pirates without incident. Some didn't take it to heart at all. Kaido doesn't have so many ideas here. Which game is good to watch, just watch that. His attention has been focused on Lingling and the former Navy general, a huge frost giant in the distance, and Charlotte Lingling, who was flying around the frost giant on thunder clouds with a sword. Watching the fight between these two people made his hands itch, and he wanted to join in. He was always looking forward to tomorrow, when he would be able to take action. However, by the time limit on the fifth day of the fight, Charlotte Lingling and Kazan could not decide the winner. While Crocodile won, Weibel surrendered at the request of his mother. Edward Weibel's ability is not strong enough to suppress a natural ability user of Crocodile's level. Although his physical strength is strong enough, he still cannot consume the natural ability. Edward Weibel wielded the sword for several days and nights, I'm afraid when I go back and dream, I always dream about sand. The time has come. If the challenger fails to defeat the challenger, the challenger will be considered the winner and the battle will be terminated. Uchiha Tamaki stood up and spoke to the people on the field with the phone's loudspeaker. The winner will be determined soon, why should we stop such a wonderful battle? Kaido said a little dissatisfied. He really wanted to finish watching this battle. Although he watched it for several days and nights, he didn't feel tired at all. And he felt that the battle between these two people would soon be decided, and he didn't want to miss the result. Kuzan will use Uchiha's seat to continue fighting. When the time comes, we can continue to fight. After Uchiha Tamaki said these words, he rushed directly towards the direction of the battle between the two. At this time, he was already more than five kilometers away from the battle venue. After hearing what Uchiha Yugen said, Kaido suddenly felt a little puzzled. Is this guy saying that his men are strong enough to fight us? Shank said a little unhappy, this is completely underestimated. After hearing this explanation, Kaido also looked furious, but he restrained himself in the end because he hoped to pass this competition and get the title of the strongest in the world. If we start a fight now, it won't be so upright. Since the battle with Kazuki Odin that year, because someone interfered with Kazuki Odin, he was seriously injured and won the victory, but he didn't feel victory at all. This time, he didn't want to think that you were angry and caused this opportunity to disappear. Therefore, he did not take action directly because of Uchiha Tamaki's words, but chose to hold back his anger and release it all at once during the battle. Singing Light Sword Charlotte Lingling used the combination skills formed by the Hamet's aggregation to form a huge energy ring and released a high-density laser, directly splitting the huge frost giant in two from the waist. When Charlotte Lingling was about to do it again and cut off the upper body of the frost giant, she noticed Uchiha Tamaki approaching. The one above her, without much reason at this time, raised the three-in-one Hamet's emperor sword and slashed at Uchiha Tamakian. At the moment of swinging, the complete Susanoo appeared directly. He also pulled out the laser sword from his waist and faced it directly. The two slashes collided together, and the huge impact was shattered by the frozen sea. The power of the complete Susanoo was naturally stronger, and he forced Charlotte Lingling back, barely able to steady her body while stepping on Zeus, and almost fell. The battle is over. The challenger did not win, but the challenger won. Tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock, the final four will be played. Uchiha Tamajin said while removing Susanoo. Who cares about that kind of stuff? An angry woman doesn't have much sense. Charlotte Lingling was still ready to fight back, but Uchiha Tamakian's words immediately calmed her down, do you want to kill two people one on one and die right here? This sentence somewhat allowed her to regain some sense, and she stopped the sword that she wanted to slash out. Her big face full of wrinkles was extremely ugly at this time. Kuzan, you can use Uchiha's seat tomorrow and continue fighting. 
Uchiha Yugen said to Kazan who had stopped attacking at the side. After he came over, Kazan did not continue to attack, so he still had to give him face. Kazan emerged from the frost giant and nodded, then directly dismissed the giant without saying any other nonsense. Snort. Charlotte Lingling, on the other hand, snorted coldly and rushed directly to the battle venue on the heels of Zeus. Soon, the eight champions stood on the field with different expressions. Uchiha Yugen acted as the host. The selection of opponents for the semi-finals, the four youngest are free to choose their opponents. Fire Fist Ace, you choose first. Uchiha Yugen directly announced the rules without any politeness. Kaido and the red-haired one didn't have much feeling. Only Charlotte Lingling was unhappy, but she didn't waste any time and was ready to teach her opponent a lesson. I choose Uchiha, Kazan. Ace saw that Kazan, the former Navy Admiral, was the murderer who indirectly caused the loss of his father. The red hair helped them, Kaido and Charlotte Lingling didn't have much hatred, and he had no interest in Hawkeye, Crocodile, or Rob Lucci. If he could defeat Marine Kazan, it would be enough to prove that he was capable of competing with the four emperors. Rob Lucci, it's your turn. I choose Crocodile. Rob Lucci was very calm. He did not choose an opponent like the Yonko who he could not beat. Compared with Crocodile and Hawkeye Myhawk, Crocodile naturally fought best with Crocodile. Having practiced ninjutsu, he is very confident in dealing with this natural element. Redhead, it's your turn. Uchiha Tamaki continued. I didn't expect that I was the third one. It seems that I am still very young. Shanks didn't know whether to laugh or cry. My hawk, we haven't fought for a long time. This time I rely solely on swordsmanship. Let's see the progress of both sides' strength. Shanks finally chose a good friend. My hawk rolled his eyes. When he saw Shanks could choose his opponent, he knew he couldn't run away. Then the only ones left are you two, Kaido and Charlotte Lingling. There is no other choice. Uchiha Yugen looked at the two people with the largest stature. I don't want to fight Lingling, it's too boring. Kaido looked unhappy. Humph, you idiot, who wants to fight you? Charlotte Lingling was also unhappy and directly shouted angrily. If you feel you can't beat it, you can give up. Uchiha Yugen provoked. Who can't defeat him? The two said in unison. Kid, you're not afraid, so you don't dare to play in person. Charlotte Lingling immediately provoked Uchiha Tamaki. If Kaido is willing to give up his seat, I can fight you. Uchiha Yugen said without changing his expression. Lingling, I want to fight. You can abstain. If I fight him, I will definitely help you win. Kaido was surprised and said quickly, while making a promise to Charlotte Lingling. Is that so? Okay, then let me see how much your strength has improved compared to back then. Hearing this, Charlotte Lingling smiled on her face, as if the old witch had succeeded in her conspiracy. Casual. Uchiha Yugen didn't care about this. Tomorrow is also the time when the Revolutionary Army declares control of the North Sea. When the four emperors fight fiercely here, what will the navy do? Chapter 167 What exactly are the revolutionary troops doing in Beihai? Having conquered so many countries at once, do they have the strength to defend them? It's time to give these rats a blow. They're so arrogant. They dare to do it openly. Five days passed, and the movements of the revolutionary army could no longer be concealed. The world government is aware of the revolutionary army's actions in the North Sea, but it does not know that almost all countries are about to be captured. Currently, there are only ten known in total. But this number is enough to make the five old stars feel sick. The Revolutionary Army officially has only two strongholds in total, Bardigo in the Great Channel. This island is very deserted, and the other is the Kingdom of Kamabaka, the country of the monsters. These two places are not affiliated with the world government. Country, and it was of little value. At the same time, in order to lock in the Revolutionary Army's current actions, the two Revolutionary Army strongholds were not destroyed. The unexpected Revolutionary Armies in these two places were basically resisting the high-pressure rule of certain kingdoms after the Navy came over, the Revolutionary Armies retreated, 
and there was always such a tug of war. It has never been like this before. They attacked multiple countries at once and successfully captured them. This is something they cannot tolerate. The five old stars put pressure on the Navy, and Sikaski was already planning how to steal the best martial arts club in the world and find ways to deal with some powerful pirates. Revolutionary Army and Pirates Arrange for Huashaoshan to take five more lieutenant generals to Beihai. Sikaski decided to focus on pirates, because his purpose of joining the navy was to get rid of pirates, and the revolutionary army was not that dangerous in his eyes. As long as you kill them, they will run away with their heads covered and have no ability to resist at all. The five old stars thought the same way, so when they saw that Sikaski did not arrange any generals, he did not say anything, and they all waited for the semi-finals of the Tenkechi Budokai to start the next day. Is it over yet? Uchiha Yugen received a call bug from his shadow clone. He has done everything he should do, and the only thing left is to help intercept the navy and other forces, allow the revolutionary army to develop steadily, and stabilize the situation in the North Sea. Although the revolutionary army has been suppressed and beaten by the world government, they have members in various countries. People who are oppressed by the world government and local countries and cannot survive will naturally choose this only light. Therefore, the action was very fast and received support from many people. After all, the majority of people in the world are poor people. After all, it is difficult for ordinary people to survive even in the most peaceful sea area of the East China Sea, let alone the very chaotic sea area of the North Sea. Ordinary people really have no way to survive. If they can't pay taxes, they will become slaves. Therefore, the Revolutionary Army has the largest number of people in Beihai, which is why Monkey D. Dragon is willing to agree to this operation. Even Monkey D. Dragon is not prepared to occupy too much of Beihai. He only hopes that through this incident, everyone will see that the world government is not invincible, and at the same time let everyone know the ugly face of the world government, and gain more members of the Revolutionary Army. How is your physical recovery going? If not, I can arrange for someone else to do it. Then Uchiha Yugen found Kazan and asked him. After all, fighting Charlotte Lingling for four and a half days must have taken a lot of energy, and both parties suffered considerable injuries. It doesn't matter, I won't lose. Kazan was still wearing a bandage, but he said with a determined expression. He was still full of energy when fighting pirates. When I went out to grab territory before, I only grabbed a few small islands and increased the population by about 5,000. After all, there are no countries around Dressrosa. Dressrosa is relatively close to the naval power. Generally speaking, normal countries it's not easy for Kazan to seize it, so he just keeps an eye on the pirates. His attention was basically distracted by these things, and he did not notice Uchiha Yugen's arrangements in Beihai at all, and was unable to inform the world government. Don't be careless about Fire Fist Ace. His strength is probably close to or even reaching the level of the four emperors. Uchiha Tamaki reminded him seriously. But the main purpose is to paralyze Kazan and make him work in vain. After tomorrow, the world government is afraid that there will be huge pressure. At that time, they will have two options, send people to watch these pirates perform, or go to the North Sea to expel the revolutionary army. I see. Kuzan nodded. He naturally did not underestimate this supernova a few years ago. At that time, he had already been invited to serve as the Shichibukai. When he was in the navy some time ago, he even pursued Ace, but he could not win it in a short time. The other party will naturally not be careless. Soon it was dawn the next day, and Uchiha Tamaki didn't do anything else, just waiting for the competition to begin. The first game is Ace vs Kazan. The quarterfinals are played one by one in order to delay time and keep the world government concerned about the situation here. After all, these pirates are too dangerous together. No matter what the other party is doing, the navy cannot relax and be careless. If anything happens, it will make the world government very uncomfortable. At 8 o'clock in the morning, Uchiha Tamaki left the ship and went directly to the battle venue. He used earth flow walls to create several earthen walls, and then set up the projection phone bugs. Some pirates didn't know what Uchiha Tamaki was going to do. 
but few people dared to talk nonsense. The personnel of the intelligence organization pointed the live broadcast telephone bug tightly at these earthen walls, hoping to pass the information back to the people behind for observation. At about half past eight, half an hour before the start of the competition, the projector phone bug was activated. The picture displayed on the wall was not very clear, but you could clearly see who it was. Monkey D. Dragon Many pirates on the scene recognized this person and were a little surprised. Why does this person suddenly appear in this situation? Is it because this competition is related to the Revolutionary Army? The world government and navy who were watching the live broadcast felt something was wrong and didn't know why there was such a link. Ahem, I am Monkey D. Dragon, the leader of the Revolutionary Army. Starting from today, Beihai has been completely occupied by the Revolutionary Army. We will carry out reforms and give up paying the heavenly gold. We will only charge the normal population tax rate and pay according to the percentage. Those who do not reach the amount will no longer be charged and will not be charged again in the future. Some people are forced to become slaves because they cannot pay taxes, and they will not be forced to sell their children and daughters because of the heavenly gold that can only be exploited. When they have no way to survive, they can only go to the sea and become pirates. The position of king that oppresses everyone will also be abolished. Managers will be selected by local residents and rotated for five years. They will not be squeezed by one family for a long time. Meng Chi Di Long didn't hesitate, he came up and told everything that the Revolutionary Army wanted to do. After hearing what Meng Chi Di Long said, the five old stars were all dumbfounded. We must not let him live. Kill him, this kind of thing can't happen. If this continues, the world government will be boycotted by everyone. Why did the Revolutionary Army do so many things in Beihai? and we only know about it now. The five old stars have different expressions, but they all understand one thing, Monkey D. Dragon must die. Doing this is completely digging into the lifeblood of the world government and the celestial dragons. For them, what is the importance of ordinary human lives? It is your mission to be squeezed. At this time, such live broadcasts are available all over the world, all done by people hidden in various countries in the Revolutionary Army, although they cannot be compared with the comprehensive propaganda channels of the world government. But it's enough to let nearly one-tenth of the world's population know the news. After seeing this news in the eyes of the civilians, hope emerged, while the nobles and others were panicked one by one. They were the beneficiaries of the status quo and helped the world government, the celestial dragons, stabilize the world. If they lost their privileges, their lives would be worse than death. Such a live broadcast was quickly destroyed by people from these aristocratic world governments, but the news could no longer be concealed and began to spread. Okay, the competition can begin. Uchiha Tamaki asked the CP9 people to put away the projection phone bug, and then announced. But Kazan, who was getting ready to play, looked confused. Aren't the things the Revolutionary Army did exactly the policies implemented on Dress Rosa? He quickly understood that he had deliberately concealed this matter because his attention was focused on the duel. At this time, he felt a little complicated and didn't know what to do. Kuzan, I will defeat you. Fire Fist Ace didn't care about what the Revolutionary Army did, he only wanted to defeat Kuzan and restore the glory of the Whitebeard Pirates. Ha, huh, I'm a little angry, I'm going to be very harsh. Kuzan's face was gloomy. No matter what, he was still very angry about being fooled. In an instant, the scorching flames and the rising ice pillars collided directly, and the two forces, one red and one blue, collided. Chapter, 168 A New System of Government Sakaski smoked a cigar and paid no attention to the live projection. Monkey D. Long's words made him feel at a loss. Because he blamed all the oppression he suffered as a child on pirates. As long as these pirates who do all evil are killed, the world will be peaceful. This is what he wants to do most. But as Monkey D. Dragon explained just now, the emergence of pirates is due to the oppression of the world government and the celestial dragons. It is not that these people naturally want to be pirates. He couldn't deny this statement. This made him feel very uncomfortable. Wasn't he now working for those who caused the pirates to appear? 
but the phone buzzing next to him made him unable to continue thinking, so he answered the phone with a gloomy face. Sikaski, arrange for the Navy to expel all the revolutionary forces in the North Sea within a month. Wula Oxing's voice that could not suppress his anger came out from the phone bug. But now that the pirates are fighting in the New World, a lot of the Navy's backbone has been spent. It may not be possible to arrange so many people to go to the North Sea, and there is no way to do it so quickly. Sikaski did not agree directly, but he also had his own insistence. He would never compromise when it came to facing pirates. He is different from Sengoku. He can bow his head to some insignificant things, but he can never do it when it comes to being a pirate. This is why the five old stars chose Sikaski between Kazan and Sikaski. Reason. But now they did not expect that the revolutionary army would suddenly rise and engage in such a large battle. The five old stars felt a huge threat. After all, it is one of the four major sea areas. If the revolutionary army continues to develop, it might really have to compete with the world government in the future. Things here are more important now, Sikaski. The five old stars were uncontrollably angry at this time, and their tone was already threatening to a Kainu who dared to talk harshly with them at this time. I will arrange navies from several other sea areas to support the North Sea, but the navy of the New World cannot be mobilized. Sikaski's expression remained unchanged and he was not afraid of the threats from the five old stars. If the plan succeeds this time, at least one of the Yonko pirates will be able to be hit. At the same time, ordinary pirates can also deal with many of them. The North Sea side can be dealt with slowly in the future. At the same time, maybe he also wants to give the revolutionary army some time. Let's see. See if they can do everything they promise. You know the consequences of doing this. If you don't give us a satisfactory result, you know the consequences. Wula Oxing did not continue to make strong demands. After all, the other party was the Marshal of the Navy, and his status was no worse than that of the Tianlong people. Moreover, if they really fell out, the situation would be ugly. Now is the time to take advantage of the opponent, so threatening them is enough. Snort. Notify us and ask the navies in the three sea areas of southeast, southeast and west to send additional manpower to the North Sea for support. Sikaski didn't have much respect for the five old stars either. The outright threats made him feel like he was being used as a lackey. But being a dog doesn't matter, as long as he completes his purpose and destroys the pirates. But now he has some doubts that the pirates are caused by his so-called masters, which makes him unacceptable. Because it is destined that the pirates cannot be completely eliminated, because with his so-called masters around, there will be a steady stream of people. New pirates are constantly being created. In the battle between Ace and Kazan, it is not so quick to tell the difference. The two natural types have similar levels of domineering. Although Ace is slightly worse in terms of physical fitness, he has an extra domineering domineering, which makes up for it a little. Defect the two of them kept releasing flame icicles to consume them, because neither of them had overwhelming power. Does the revolutionary army's actions have anything to do with Uchiha? But at this time, red-haired Shanks took the initiative to talk to Uchiha Tamaki and asked calmly. Yes, I support it. He looked at the red hair, wanting to see what this person was like. Shanks also looked at Uchiha Tamaki and said, a lot of people will die in this way. No one will die on that day now. It's just that now it's possible that death will be their turn, and that scares them. Uchiha Yugen asked rhetorically. Uchiha, are you using us? You are so bold. Aren't you afraid that we will join forces to kill you? Charlotte Lingling asked from the side. She didn't leave, waiting to see the contest between Kaido and Uchiha, even thinking about whether she could sneak attack the opponent. You are competing to be the strongest, but I am already a god, not on the same level. Uchiha Yugen also said unceremoniously. The value of this game is not much anymore, what is left is just some fun of fighting, and at the same time attracting the attention of the navy. Therefore, there is no need for Uchiha Yugen to continue to hide his strength, and there is no need to treat these guys politely. Ha ha ha, interesting, then when we have that match, let me see how strong you are. The only person on the field who may not have figured it out is Kaido. 
He only expected a hearty battle, and thought that what Uchiha Yugen said was just big words, and all his strength would speak for itself. Then let me see the power of God when the time comes. Charlotte Lingling had sarcasm in her eyes. She thought Uchiha Tamaki was just a young man who was overwhelmed by his own strength. She had defeated countless such guys over the years. Maybe the opponent is very powerful, but he is not worthy of being called a god. Only the man back then has this qualification. Shanks didn't speak, just thinking about the person he had been waiting for all these years, who would it be, Ace or Luffy? Or this young man in front of me? He felt that he was not this guy named Uchiha, because he did not feel the power that the captain said could make people laugh. The navy moved very quickly, because they did not have to go through the red soil continent, but directly passed through the windless belt and could easily reach the four seas. The first group of departing smugs arrived less than five days later. Then he ran into an enemy he least expected to encounter, Uchiha Tamaki. A total of eight warships and thousands of sailors were directly captured by Uchiha Tamaki. The Shadow Clone was able to sustain it for so long this time because Uchiha Tamaki separated three tails for the Shadow Clone to carry, allowing him to keep using Hungry. Kid's ability to absorb chakra and maintain enough chakra. In this way, the Shadow Clone has super shadow level strength. It is easy to resist a general for a long time. It is even more powerful to crush enemies who are not strong enough. It can easily use mental power to suppress many navy and complete the direct capture. Three days passed, and basically all the people who came from the navy were captured by Uchiha Tamaki, and then they were gathered together to popularize knowledge. The Revolutionary Army showed them a lot of information about the evil deeds of the Celestial Dragons, and informed them of the revolution. The military is the righteous man. This is to turn the enemy's strength into one's own strength and poach the navy. Ordinary navies don't know much about the world. One is to survive, and the other is to eliminate pirates before joining the navy. However, specialized education is only available at the general level and above. Ordinary navies only know how to fight in the sea. Thieves, but they don't know the reason. After being educated, these navy can't believe that the current chaotic world is caused by the oppression of the Tianlong people. The naval admirals who were caught together for education also remained silent. It was obviously difficult to refute what the other party said. Originally, if they felt that what the revolutionary army said were all lies, they would definitely find the world to expose them, but now they can't defend themselves from the things they said, and even the photos. Chapter, 169 Wu Laoxing was no longer in the mood to watch the No. One Martial Arts Association in the World he just kept listening to the information coming from Beihai spies and learned that the Revolutionary Army was supported by a large number of civilians. Now it is the royal family and nobles who are being persecuted. The navy in the North Sea was originally the weakest after the East China Sea among the four seas, because it was beaten by pirates, and Germa 66 helped the Revolutionary Army and suppressed the navy in the North Sea. This rapid reproduction like cancer cells makes the giant world government feel fear. Hearing the news every day feels like a reminder. The Revolutionary Army never expected to get so much support from civilians. As long as the forces that oppressed them were eliminated, civilians would support them almost unconditionally. This situation makes Wulaoxing continue to endure it, because it feels that if it continues like this, even if Beihai is conquered, it will not be able to stabilize in a short time. The personnel of the World Government Intelligence Organization simply do not have that many manpower to deal with the Revolutionary Army, so they can only turn to the Navy. Sikaski, if you can't solve the troubles in the North Sea, then let someone else be the Marshal. The Five Old Stars are an honest threat this time. Although doing so will cause turmoil, what the Revolutionary Army is doing now is to dig out the roots, and there is still a newly replaced warring states at their disposal. This is their confidence. Sikaski said and hung up the phone. After much hesitation, he chose the less reliable Kazaru and sent him to Beihai. Because he felt that this guy was unreliable and that there was something wrong with him. If he stayed here in the new world, he would only be able to contain the four emperors, so he might as well send him to Beihai. At the same time, he also knew what was happening in Beihai, and was a little shocked that the resistance of the civilians was so strong. 
he was confused as to whether it was right or wrong to stop the revolutionary army. Is this the beginning? As for Sengoku, he was patrolling the naval base and looking at the news about Beihai, he felt that this must be Uchiha Tamaki's handiwork. Didn't it say it would be completed within ten years? How come it's only been a few months and there's such a big fight? At this time, he didn't know if it was time to help Uchiha Tamaki, and he couldn't contact Uchiha Tamaki privately. He had to keep an eye on the situation in Beihai and let his former subordinates send him the latest news. The fact that Uchiha Yugen was involved in the incident in Beihai was soon exposed. Because there were photos of Uchiha Tamaki intercepting the navy himself. Wu Luoxing was almost furious when he saw it. It's not enough to buy you arms to save your face, but now he is directly helping the revolutionary army openly. At the same time, they also thought that this world's best martial arts was done to attract their attention so that the revolutionary army could secretly assassinate Chen Song. So he ordered CP0 at the battle venue to tell the news that Uchiha Tamaki was just a clone. At the same time, he was also wondering whether Kazan was a spy. He didn't even know this news. CP0's face turned gloomy after receiving this order. He obviously knew that he would not survive if he did this here, but the orders of the Tianlong people could not be violated. He took out a loudspeaker phone bug and used Moon Step and Shave to quickly reach the sky above the battle venue, mainly facing the Yonko. This world's best martial arts competition is a conspiracy. It is a method used by Uchiha Tamaki to attract the attention of the world government and help the revolutionary army. The Uchiha Tamaki here is actually just his clone. It's fake and has no fighting power at all. That's why he chose to let Kazan play in order to paralyze everyone. You pirates are just being used by him. It's just a joke, they are all a bunch of idiots. This CP0 picked up the phone bug in mid-air and said loudly. The voice instantly spread through the entire battle venue through the loudspeaker phone. After hearing these words, the pirates on the scene were stunned for a moment, and their faces immediately turned ugly. Their eyes were all fixed on Uchiha Tamakian, who was watching a show with the four emperors in the distance. If this was really the case, they could not accept the fact that they were being used. It doesn't matter what happened with the revolutionary army, but you are just a clone. Are you kidding us? Charlotte Lingling had a malicious look on her face. She didn't expect that the situation she was waiting for would happen so soon, with everyone targeting Uchiha. If Uchiha Tamaki is here in person, what happens to the world government and what does it have to do with pirates like them? But no, it was just a clone, which was teasing them, the four emperors, and treating them as tools, which they couldn't accept. Kid, I thought you were someone, but I didn't expect you dared to tease me like this. Kaido was angry. He couldn't accept this fact, after all, he came to participate in this competition wholeheartedly. If he won the first place in the end, but then someone said that Uchiha Tamaki didn't participate, and those of you who participated were just teased by this person, he wouldn't be able to bear it. Shanks wasn't too surprised. His expression was a little complicated, but he didn't say anything. Why do you, as pirates, believe what the world government says? Maybe you will be used by the world government instead. Uchiha Tamaki stood up from his seat, without any panic at all, and remained as calm as ever. Evidence. This is the proof. Charlotte Lingling can't wait to set off all the pirates to attack the Uchiha. Hearing Uchiha Tamaki's words, he did not hesitate to take off his hat, home eyes, and let it turn into the Emperor's sword. It was entangled with the two-color domineering color of the weapon color and the overlord color, and struck directly at Uchiha Tamaki. Kaido and Red Hair sat aside and ignored them. Since they dared to take advantage of them, they would naturally have to bear the consequences. The pirates on the field showed excited expressions and raised their hands to cheer and celebrate, hoping to see the guy who was playing tricks on them disappear. However, the scene they expected to see did not appear at the scene. Bang! I saw Uchiha Tamaki raise his hand, compressing Shinra Tenching's repulsive force to less than one meter, making it almost invisible. At the same time, surrounded by the power of black and red arcs, he directly caught Charlotte Lingling's hateful blow. The two overlord-colored domineering auras collided, and the black foam that spilled out jumped around, constantly shattering the ice condensed by Kazan around him. 
Charlotte Lingling couldn't believe that her full strength slash was actually blocked by a clone. But before giving her much time to react, she felt the unknown force she hit explode, and the powerful impact hit her directly in the front. Even if she exerted her strength with both feet, she could not resist it. She flew backwards for several hundred meters uncontrollably, scraping the ground and drawing a deep ravine. In one second, Uchiha Yugen injected more chakra, which increased the power of Shinra Tenjing several times. Charlotte Lingling was naturally unable to compete with pure strength alone. The four emperors, nothing more than that. Uchiha Yugen finished speaking. The field fell into silence for a moment, unable to believe that Uchiha Tamekian, whom they regarded as a clone, could actually knock Charlotte Lingling, one of the four emperors, away. Could it be that Uchiha is so strong that his clone has such power? 100 Monthly Pass, 1 Update Due Chapter, 170 Ha ha ha, you really didn't disappoint me, Uchiha. Kaido on the side was very excited, his hands were itchy while holding the mace, and he wanted to start fighting immediately. Shanks was a little surprised. Apparently he believed what the CP0 said just now, and thought it was normal. But he didn't expect that Uchiha Yugen, who stayed here, could actually beat Charlotte Lingling out. This is not does it prove that the other party is the real person. There are also spies members who are broadcasting live in the dark, relaying everything that happens back to the navy in Marigio. The five old stars were surprised to see that Uchiha Tamaki was able to fly away Charlotte Lingling. What was surprising was that it was actually him here, not the fact that Uchiha Tamaki was able to fly away Charlotte Lingling. After all, Uchiha Tamaki was able to fly away Charlotte Lingling. He defeated two admirals at once, but defeating Charlotte Lingling was nothing. If the one here is the main body, then who is the one in Beihai? Why is there such a powerful Aji force? Seven or eight vice admirals from the navy headquarters went there and they were all suppressed. Their judgment about Uchiha Tamaki's clone was based on the intelligence from the war on top nearly a year ago. From analysis, at that time, the clone's strength was obviously only a little stronger than the lieutenant general. But now, suppressing several generals and thousands of naval soldiers at once, is this what the clone can do? They couldn't believe it. Sakaski received news from Kazaru, saying that he might not have time to solve the problem of the revolutionary army due to the confrontation with Monkey D. Dragon. This guy is too dangerous. I may not be able to deal with those ordinary revolutionary troops. It's so scary. He deserves to be the leader of the revolutionary army. Kizaru was talking on the phone while fighting Monkey D. Dragon. Hearing the tone of Kizaru's words, Sakaski felt uncomfortable all over. He always felt that this person was an undercover agent. The admiral was stopped, so it might not be that simple to quickly expel the revolutionary army from Beihai. There were not many people under his command to arrange, so he had to send the brigadier general to Beihai, trying to seize some countries first, so that he could explain it easily. Kid, I want you to die. At the battle venue, Charlotte Lingling has fallen into a state of rage. She has been unhappy with Uchiha for a long time. Two of her children died because of this guy, and one of her most important ones has also lost contact. Her purpose of coming here in the first place was to teach this guy a lesson. Now, she didn't want to wait any longer, she just wanted to devour this guy's soul. She stood up, held the emperor's sword, and struck directly at Uchiha Tamaki with a powerful slash. Wei Guo. Uchiha Yugen made a backhand Shinra Tensei, which directly deflected the slash. Lingling, this opponent is mine. Kaido shouted to Charlotte Lingling in the distance. He couldn't control the itching of his hands. After speaking, he directly raised the wine bottle and took a sip, as if he wanted to calm down. I don't care about that, I want him to die now. Charlotte Lingling said angrily. Hearing what she said, Kaido was also very confused. He had never won an argument with this woman. You two go together. If you lose, the new world will be mine. Uchiha Yugen's words were very harsh in their ears. Lingling, let me deal with this guy. I have long found this rule very annoying. The strongest. As long as I defeat everyone, I will be the strongest. Roar. Kaido is also starting to lose his mind. 
He is not used to these rules and regulations. Seeing Uchiha Yugen say this, he no longer tolerated it and roared, his body changed rapidly and directly entered the human-animal mode, with a large number of scales appearing on his body. Both hands and feet have changed. The hands still have five fingers, but they have sharp claws. The feet only have three toes, but they are very thick, like real beasts. This movement made Kazan and Ace, who were fighting each other, stunned for a moment. They didn't know why it happened like this. But neither of them stopped. This battle was not meaningless. Ace wanted to use this battle to confirm to everyone that the new leader of the Whitebeard Pirates was capable of competing against the Admiral. Thunder Gossip Kaido directly waved the nearly seven meter long mace, which was wrapped with armed domineering in beating black red arcs, and hit Uchiha Tamaki in front. Chidori Blade And Uchiha Tamaki didn't use any other tricks. He just pulled out the thunderstorm and attached the Chidori, and wrapped the weapon color and the overlord color at the same time, directly confronting Kaido head on. Neither the mace nor Leiyu touched each other. The two weapons kept shaking, and what collided was the overlord colored domineering energy. It looked like a contest in the void. Kaido's face was very excited. He obviously didn't expect that this thin guy could really resist his attack, and in this way. He originally thought that he would face the giant power that the legendary Uchiha of the sea would use. Now he can actually fight against himself relying on his own strength, which is enough to prove that this opponent is capable of fighting a fierce battle with him. Light Cannon But at this time, Charlotte Lingling in the distance directly used the two helmets of Prometheus and Napoleon to form the strengthened Emperor Sword, releasing a concentrated high-concentration laser and shooting at Uchiha Yugen. Charlotte Lingling doesn't care about benevolence. After all, she has never agreed to let Kaido and Uchiha Tamaki compete in a one-on-one -on -one duel. So naturally she wouldn't feel guilty about sneak attacks or anything like that. Susanoo, who was more than 20 meters tall, appeared almost instantly and held up his shield to block the laser. However, due to the power of the laser, most of the shield was melted away, leaving only half of it. At the same time, the stalemate between Uchiha Tamaki and Kaido ended due to this attack. Both of them took a few steps back, but Uchiha Tamaki retreated farther. In terms of strength, Kaido in the human-animal form was stronger. Although Uchiha Yugen's physical fitness has increased several times, he cannot compete with Kaido in strength without turning on the sage mode. Lingling. This guy is my opponent. Kaido was a little angry. He didn't want what happened to Kazuki Odin to happen again, but he wanted to defeat this opponent in an upright and upright manner. He felt very angry when someone intervened. I am the one who wants to kill him now. When a woman is angry, it is not so easy to convince her. Kaido was also a little angry, and he actually hit Charlotte Lingling with his mace. The furious Charlotte Lingling naturally did not stop and directly raised the Emperor's sword to strike. The members of the Beast's Pirates and the Big Mom Pirates in the distance were all stunned, wondering why their captain suddenly started fighting. It's too noisy, you two, come on together. Uchiha Yugen opened the samsara eye and said directly. After Beihai is stabilized, he is ready to bring the new world under his jurisdiction. These four emperors are obstacles, so we can defeat them together now. Leave this guy to you and I'll take care of his men. How about Kaido? Charlotte Lingling has not completely lost her mind yet. She knows that wooing Kaido can resolve the battle faster. When the mace and the emperor's sword collide, she still has the energy to ask Kaido. Since it's not easy to get rid of this guy, then let's attack him first. She doesn't have so much morality when it comes to revenge. Just don't interfere with my fight. Kaido naturally has no objection, as long as it doesn't hinder him from having a 1v1 battle between men. Chapter, 171 No one believes the truth, right? The third power Susanoo Uchiha Yugen opened the door directly, and the complete Susanoo was displayed in front of everyone. Although many people have heard about or even seen the war on the top about the giant power of Uchiha, seeing it with their own eyes still makes many people feel shocked. Kaido is nearly 7 meters tall, and Charlotte Lingling is nearly 9 meters tall. Except for giants, these two people are considered very large in this world, 
but now with this complete Susanu, even Susanu couldn't even reach one-tenth. But there was no fear in Kaido's eyes, he grinned, and at the same time, the pressure on his body began to change, directly transforming into the form of the fish fruit, phantom beast species, and blue dragon. The entire sky instantly became dim due to the appearance of the blue dragon. Kaido, who was stepping on the flame cloud, shook his head. His body shape looked not inferior to Susanoo at all. A battle between monsters and monsters. Crocodile kept his eyes on the two men, and he felt the gap in strength. How come that guy is so strong? Moonlight Moria was finally a little scared. He couldn't believe that Kaido, who was not much stronger than him back then, actually had such power. What on earth have I been doing all these years? All members of Big Mom, kill the Uchiha members. At this time, Charlotte Lingling gave a direct order. She wanted this Uchiha to regret, to regret irritating her, and to make him watch his men die and be helpless. Yes, mom. The members of Big Mom will naturally not disobey their mother's orders. In an instant, the entire Big Mom began to take action, approaching Doflamingo's fleet. I didn't expect that we would start a war with Big Mom so soon. Interesting. Doflamingo stood directly on the bow of the ship, not afraid of Big Mom's attack. He might not have had such confidence before, but now, Uchiha is invincible. Shirsue appeared at the same time, standing on another boat. Rob Lucci did not stay at the battle venue and rushed directly toward CP9's ship. The surrounding pirate ships quickly moved out of the way, fearing that they would be affected by this battle. Big Mom's ten pirate ships faced off against Uchiha's five ships, and a battle between the two sides was about to break out. Charlotte Lingling let out a strange laugh, stepping on Zeus and rushing towards the battlefield here, preparing to personally kill these annoying Uchiha guys. All things are attracted by heaven. But Uchiha Tamajin controlled Susanu to open his hand towards Charlotte Lingling, and directly erupted a powerful suction force, pulling Charlotte Lingling directly in the air. Because in the sky, Charlotte Lingling had no place to rely on, even Zeus's thunderclouds were of no use. Charlotte Lingling was directly sucked away by Uchiha Tamekian. The Big Mom group, who originally thought their mother was present, were stunned for a moment. Doflamingo, on the other hand, sneered, do it. The Don Quixote family and his party launched a direct attack. Densely packed artillery shells were fired, hitting Big Mom's fleet in the distance. But the Big Mom pirates are not useless. Simple cannonballs were directly blocked by various ministers using their abilities. Water release, thousand food sharks. But suddenly, Kisame in the sea launched a direct attack. He did not miss this battle. He stopped trading on Fishman Island for this reason. He liked fighting and did not want to miss such a grand event. When someone wants to attack Uchiha, he naturally chooses to do it. After watching it for so many days, his hands have been itchy, and now is the opportunity. Fire release, dragon fire. Shirsue also joined the battlefield, using fire escape to attack and destroy the opponent's hull. The sea instantly dispersed into three battlefields, including Shirsue Kisame's Ninjutsu battlefield, Doflamingo's Don Quixote family battlefield, and CP9's battlefield. Ordinary people didn't bring them with them at all, because Uchiha Yugen had warned them in advance and asked them if they wanted to fight by themselves or let him solve the problem. In the end, they all chose to fight by themselves. Otherwise, Uchiha Tamajin just sucked away Charlotte Lingling, but also released a few more tailed beast Tama. Susanu grabbed Big Mom directly in his hand. Kaido, who was in the distance, expressed his anger and agreed to a 1v1 men's battle. Why did you involve a woman in this? Let her go. Hot breath. Kaido roared. At the same time, he opened his mouth like a crocodile, and a lot of heat condensed in his throat. Are you the only one who can throw up? Uchiha Tamaki also controlled Susanoo, opened his mouth directly, and a large amount of chakra formed the tailed beast jade directly in front of his mouth. Roar. Kaido directly sprayed out the compressed hot breath, and a rotating dark red flame column went straight to Susanoo's head. Likewise, Uchiha Tamajin releases the condensed tailed beast jade. The tailed beast jade with a diameter of more than 20 meters directly hit the hot breath. 
Kaido didn't realize what he wanted to see. The heat breath didn't penetrate the dark purple sphere, but scattered the heat breath, causing the heat breath to branch, and seven or eight smaller heat breaths crashed into other objects. Location And the sphere kept moving forward, rushing towards his position with its hot breath. Even if Kaido had increased the power of his breath and continued to increase the power of his breath, the tailed beast finally exploded when it was still ten meters away from Kaido. Open. A huge mushroom cloud rose directly into the sky. Captain. Everyone in the beast pirates were dumbfounded. I have never seen anyone be able to fight against my captain like this. Jin clenched his fists at this time and wanted to step forward to help, but he remembered his captain's character and finally endured it. He believes that this man will become the pirate king. It is impossible to defeat him in such a battle. At the same time, Charlotte Lingling, who was held in Susanoo's hand, finally broke free. Charlotte Lingling, who possesses strange strength, can still break free from Susanoo's palm. Even Susanoo's palm is somewhat damaged. This is caused by the overlord color domineering that Charlotte Lingling just burst out. Go to hell. After breaking free from the restraints, Charlotte Lingling once again stepped on Zeus, holding the emperor's sword and rushing towards the position of Susanoo's head where Achiha Tamekian was. But while approaching, Susanoo directly pulled out the laser sword from his waist and slashed at Charlotte Lingling who was moving in midair. Even though Zeus was very fast, he could not escape the capture of the Samsara Eye. Charlotte Lingling was fearless and directly raised the Emperor's sword against Susanoo's huge laser sword. The Emperor's sword versus Susanoo's laser sword is like a toothpick versus a cannon. The stalemate lasted for less than a second, and Charlotte Lingling was knocked out again. She was vomiting blood in mid-air and hit the ice as hard as a plane crashed. The tailed beast Jade's explosive impact slowly ended. The pirates who were still on the field at this time were a little unable to accept this scene. They did not expect that Uchiha Yugen was so strong that he could suppress two Yonko at once. He has just become the fourth emperor, but is he actually so strong? Chapter 172 However, when Wu Luoxing saw this scene through the projection phone, he did not feel any joy. Instead, his face became dark and stressed. After all, now Uchiha Tamaki has made it clear that he wants to be their enemy. The stronger he is, the harder it will be for them. Now they hope that Kaido and Charlotte Lingling can win, or at least be evenly matched, so that these pirates can compete on their own and reduce the pressure on the world government. Seems like he's getting stronger again. Sakaski, on the other hand, frowned and looked at the picture in the projection, which made him a little unbelievable. After returning from the defeat, he felt that he was a little careless and did not understand the opponent's ability. He would definitely not lose so quickly if he tried again. But now, just through this projected picture, I feel that Uchiha Tamaki is stronger than when he fought against him. Prepare to close the net. If there are any escaped pirates, don't let any of them go. But now, he doesn't have much to think about, he just wants to be a pirate. Fujitora hung up the phone and began arranging the layout of the navy warships, preparing to take action. Most of the truly elite lieutenant generals in the navy are here. Only lieutenant generals like Smoker, who can only stand during meetings, were sent to the North Sea. Those who fight against pirates are the real elites. The mushroom cloud of the tailed beast jade explosion dispersed, and the blue dragon Kaido in mid-air looked a little embarrassed, but no wounds were seen. The monster-like body can withstand the destructive power of the super-large tailed beast jade that is released after the tailed beast has accumulated enough energy. A very strong attack, it almost made me vomit blood. Kaido opened his mouth and said. He hadn't felt this way for a long time, and he felt that he was absolutely right to come to the world's number one martial arts club this time. This was the chance to prove that he was the strongest. Although the epidermis was not broken, the impact of the explosion still caused some internal damage to his body, but he recovered with great resilience while speaking. But Uchiha Tamaki was not interested in talking nonsense with him, and directly controlled Susanoo to slash at him with the laser sword. Kaido did not dodge or dodge, he directly swam his body and slammed his head towards the laser sword, showing a completely reckless attitude. The moment of collision caused a huge shock, and the clouds in the sky were swept away. 
Susanoo's power alone was unable to suppress Kaido for a while. Both of their attacks were wrapped in Overlord Haki, and the laser sword did not hit Kaido at all. Yen escaped Yam Jade. But Uchiha Tamaki, who was in Susanoo, launched a ninjutsu attack. A mouthful of black immortal flame the size of a fireball rushed towards Kaido's body. Kaido felt a hint of danger, and the precognitive level of sight made his body want to avoid it, but now he was in a stalemate with Susanoo's laser sword. There is no way to completely avoid it. Yen Dun directly hit him at about the back of his forelimb, and black flame spread instantly. So hot. Kaido exerted his strength to break away from the stalemate with Susanoo, and at the same time felt the heat coming from his back. Flame release could not break through Kaido's dragon scales in a short period of time, but the high temperature it brought made Kaido very uncomfortable. He tried to expel it with Haki, but found that the flames were getting more and more, almost covering his back, and the entire dragon black flames were burning all over his body. Inject Soul But at this time, Charlotte Lingling appeared stepping on Zeus. A burst of energy appeared in her right hand, and then she directly slapped the part of Kaido's body that had the most black flames, injecting soul into the black flames. The black flame, which was originally a dead thing, instantly became alive. At the same time, it was controlled by Charlotte Lingling, allowing the black flame hummets to suck all the black flame from Kaido into his body. In less than five seconds, all the black flames on Kaido's body condensed together, no longer causing harm to him. I don't want to waste any more time, Kaido, let's go together. On your own, it may be difficult to defeat him. Think about the pressure rocks gave us back then. Charlotte Lingling landed directly on Kaido's dragon head, her eyes fixed on Uchiha Tamekian in Susanoo. After a short fight, she felt that it would be difficult for the two of them to defeat this guy alone, and the only way to defeat him was to join forces. But, having just been helped by Charlotte Lingling, Kaido couldn't speak forcefully. He still wants to have a 1v1 men's war, this is his insistence. The favor you owed me back then should be used now. Stop being so nagging. Charlotte Lingling yelled angrily. Why is this guy still as stubborn as before? It's really annoying. Kaido couldn't stand up when he saw this. Uchiha Tamaki was not interested in seeing the two rekindle their old relationship here. He was just surprised that the blood succession boundary could be controlled by Charlotte Lingling's ability. This was very unexpected. It's true that superhuman abilities cannot be easily judged. Controlling Susanoo, he struck again, holding the laser sword in both hands and slashing towards Kaido. Don't confront him head on. Keep your distance and I'll attack him. Charlotte Lingling said to Kaido. Although Kaido was dissatisfied, he did not refuse. He climbed onto the flame cloud and rushed high into the sky quickly. Susanoo immediately attacked Kaido with two slashes, but the hits on him only slightly delayed his movements and did not cause any damage to him. The skin is so thick. Uchiha Yugen complained. At the same time, he controlled Susanoo to spread his wings and chase Kaido. If you can fly, so can I. Fire from heaven. Charlotte Lingling saw Uchiha Tamaki chasing after him, and directly controlled Prometheus to release the flames. A pillar of fire comparable to a fire fist came straight towards Uchiha Tamaki. But the laser sword in Susanoo's hand directly turned into a bow and arrow, shooting an arrow completely made of thunder and lightning, directly cutting open the pillar of fire and hitting Kaido. Zeus but Charlotte Lingling controlled Zeus and let Zeus directly absorb the power of thunder and lightning that was about to explode to avoid causing greater destructive power. Bad wind. Kaido, on the other hand, directly opened his mouth and released the wind blade. The heat breath needed time to gather, but the wind blade was released much faster, like a Kamamita's slash. More than a dozen slashes were directed at Susanoo. Susanoo continued to shoot arrows with his bow, releasing five simple thunderbolts at a time, hitting these wind blades one by one. Is this really a level that humans can reach? Sauron looked at the battle in the sky that was like a fairy tale. Humans challenge dragons. No, it's more like a dragon knight dealing with a demon king. At the battle venue, no one paid attention to the battle between Ace and Kazan. 
Everyone raised their heads and watched the fierce battle between the two figures in the sky that kept shuttling through the clouds. From time to time, dazzling light erupted, as if the sun was falling. People from all over the world who watched this battle also felt fear. This was completely beyond their imagination. Is it really the level of strength that humans can achieve? Chapter 173 Damn it, why is this guy so strong? Charlotte Lingling cursed angrily. She and Kaido joined forces, but they were unable to suppress each other, and were even suppressed by the other party. Her Hamet's burst of power could not pose any threat to the giant, and the other party used far more abilities than she did, so she could not rest for a moment and could only keep attacking. Tornado Bad Wind Kaido, on the other hand, didn't have many ideas. He just wanted to defeat Achiha Tamaki and use his strongest moves. Qinglong's body twisted and rotated rapidly, causing a huge tornado. The arrows and slashes launched by Susanoo were all blocked by Charlotte Lingling, giving Kaido time to release his attack. After accumulating enough wind power, Kaido's whole body curled up like cow dung, and then twitched his body violently, turning the power of the tornado into countless wind blades, and rushed toward Susanoo. Super Shinra Tenjing Uchiha Yugen raised his hands and released the concentrated repulsive force against Kaido's huge body. The extremely huge repulsive force directly shattered the rushing wind blade. Kaido and Charlotte Lingling also reacted quickly. One concentrated the two-color hockey on his head and slammed into Shinra Tenjing. Charlotte Lingling, on the other hand, raised the Emperor's sword and slashed out the Mingguang sword that had cut off Kazan's frost giant a few days ago. Thunder, flames and swords Homai's fusion skills. The three forces collided directly together, causing even the air to vibrate. The people watching the battle below felt as if the sky was about to crack, and they couldn't see clearly what was going on. What a powerful attack! The red-haired man frowned. He felt that if he faced these attacks alone, he might be seriously injured accidentally. Kaido and Charlotte Lingling's attacks caused chaos in the Overlord's color and domineering energy. The black and red arcs hit the repulsive wall and had no effect, and they were constantly pushed back. If it had been released by Uchiha himself, perhaps the combined attack of the two could have been resisted, but at this time. Uchiha Tamaki was standing inside Susanoo, and the reaction force of Shinra Tenjing was simply not enough to push Susanoo. Ha! Huh. Charlotte Lingling couldn't help but said angrily as she watched the light sword she released being suppressed until it almost disappeared. Then Shinra Tenching's repulsive force broke through Kaido's overlord colored domineering force and hit his head hard, followed by Charlotte Lingling who stood on Kaido's dragon head. The two of them felt as if they were being suppressed by a mountain. Their whole bodies were resisting, but they couldn't lift their hands at all. Kaido's huge body was forcibly knocked more than 2,000 meters away before he stopped. He felt dizzy and did not make any movement for the first time. Charlotte Lingling was vomiting blood and felt overwhelmed sounds coming from everywhere in her body. Although she also has a very strong defense called steel skin, a skin that cannot be penetrated by ordinary bullets, it cannot be compared with the defense of Kaido, the strongest creature. Her mouth began to bleed, and her right hand holding the Emperor's sword even more it's a direct fracture. Soul Giving Charlotte Lingling took her time and used her abilities to unleash on the bones. She directly gave life to her broken bones, and then began to repair them one after another automatically. She did this to any injured areas inside her body, and was able to quickly restore her combat effectiveness in a short period of time. Mommy Mommy The organs and bones in the body given by the soul cheered. This battle has just begun, well, well, well. Charlotte Lingling said with a laugh. But immediately, her expression changed, and she felt a familiar suction coming from her body. She thought it was Uchiha Tamaki who was trying to catch her again. Wrong direction. Charlotte Lingling looked at the sky behind her in surprise and found that Kaido's tail had risen, and it was not Kaido's control. Head hurts. Kaido said in a daze at this time. Wake up now. Charlotte Lingling angrily grabbed Kaido's dragon horn to steady her body, and at the same time stepped on it without any politeness, causing Kaido's head to sink. But it did work. Kaido woke up a little and felt that his body was suddenly out of control. 
He looked back in confusion and found that his body was constantly getting closer to a point in the sky. It's the suction, coming from that center, lingling. Kaido said quickly. Then just destroy it. Charlotte Lingling grabbed the Emperor's sword condensed by Hamets and prepared to fire another light cannon. But suddenly, the sky turned dark. We arrived just in the afternoon, why is it already dark? Charlotte Lingling raised her head and looked at the sky. Even though she had seen strong winds and waves, she couldn't help but be stunned for a moment. Heaven hinders the earthquake star. I saw that Uchiha Tamaki and Susanoo were both forming seals at this time. Just now, Uchiha Yugen directly released the Earth Blast Star, in order to control these two people and prevent them from running away. After all, it was already close to a thousand meters away from the ground at this time, and the Earth Explosion Star couldn't suck up much. But the most panicked people at this time were not Kaido and Charlotte Lingling, but the pirates below who were actually watching the battle. You're kidding. Looking at the meteorite with a diameter that was almost half the size of the battle venue, even Crocodile, a natural ability user with a range attack, felt a little ridiculous. Is this really human? Everyone retreat and wait in a safe place. Red-haired Shanks ordered. He had no interest in fighting against such a big thing. Except for the natural type, everyone else was affected to the point where they were probably either dead or seriously injured. It is not that simple to destroy this boulder, and the red hair has no interest in doing so. The pirates watching the show around them did not hesitate to set sail and run away at this time. Only Ace and Kazan have not stopped yet and continue to fight, but they are of the natural type, and this kind of attack has no effect on them. Light Cannon Hot Breath Kaido and Charlotte Lingling launched an attack together, destroying the core of the Earth Blast Star. The suction pulling them disappeared instantly, and both of them regained control of their bodies. But at this time, they had no time to escape, because the meteorite in the sky was less than a hundred meters away from them. The movement speed of the two of them is not too fast, and they are heavy-armed warrior mages. Let's attack together, Lingling. Kaido was not ready to run, but felt that this boulder was a challenge. This tense and stressful battle was what he expected. Don't stretch your hips, Kaido. Charlotte Lingling said. The two found a feeling of fighting side by side on the rocks pirates. Certainly. Kaido said domineeringly. As soon as he finished speaking, he immediately released his beast form, transformed into the human beast mode, and landed directly on Zeus to stand with Charlotte Lingling. The two held the mace and the emperor's sword respectively and charged up their power. Hi hi. Kaido, Charlotte, and Lingling simultaneously waved their weapons at the boulder falling from the sky, sending out a huge and rapid shock wave, crashing into the boulder with a diameter of more than 5 kilometers in the sky. Chapter, 174 This boulder is just an ordinary stone, just very huge. Facing the impact released by Kaido and Charlotte Lingling, ordinary stones are naturally unable to withstand. The huge impact directly hit the middle of the falling round boulder, and a nearly 100 meter large rock appeared instantly. The impact continued to break through the surface and headed toward the middle of the group, continuously destroying the interior of the meteorite and breaking upward. In just a few seconds, the impact destroyed the middle of the meteorite. Due to the impact, countless cracks appeared on the surrounding surface of the entire meteorite. Just when the Tian Zhuzhenxing was about to hit the two of them, the boulder split open and turned into countless rubbles falling from the sky. The tyranny released by the two men together penetrated the boulder. The people who were fleeing couldn't believe that the huge rock, which seemed like the sky was falling, could be destroyed by human power. It was almost the size of a small island. Ha ha ha, Lingling, your strength has improved a lot compared to before. Kaido felt very happy here. He sighed to his former friend. Well, well, you have become a lot stronger, Kaido. Charlotte Lingling was equally excited. Breaking the irresistible power in the eyes of others made both of them feel a sense of pleasure in their bodies. We are strong. The densely falling boulders in the sky were cleared by Prometheus's continuous spitting of fire, preventing the two of them from taking action. The falling gravel is actually very heavy, with the smallest ones being several meters long, and the larger ones even being hundreds of meters long, 
which is enough to destroy a large number of pirate ships. The huge boulder that originally affected the battle venue only slightly was shattered and covered a wider area. Both Big Mom and Uchiha who were fighting stopped and prioritized dealing with the debris falling from the sky. Zoro was working hard on cutting the boulder, and the eagle-eyed Maihawk was sitting next to him, looking up at the situation in the sky, but his eagle eyes immediately showed a shocked look. Can the new generation now do this? Red-haired Shanks couldn't help but said in shock. The grayness in the sky did not disappear, but became darker. The pirates who were preparing to escape were also wondering why the shadow covering them had not disappeared after running so far. When they saw an even bigger boulder emerging through the clouds, everyone showed a look of despair. This boulder was twice as big as before, but it took less than a minute at most to fall. In one minute, their ship could not sail more than five kilometers. There's a second one. Kaido was also a little shocked at this time. The most important thing is that this one is bigger than the previous one. Charlotte Lingling couldn't accept this fact. The boulder that she had destroyed so hard was just an appetizer. Do it again, Lingling. Kaido said. The distance between the two of them was even closer. The gravel falling from the sky had blocked their view. When they realized that something was wrong, they had already missed the best time to escape. Moreover, they did not think that the man who was thousands of meters away from them would let them go easily. Seeing and hearing say Baki told him that the only option was to face the attack. It's impossible to defeat me at this level. Do it. Charlotte Lingling showed a sinister expression. To get to this point, she had to fight out of a mountain of corpses and a sea of blood, but she had never been afraid. Baha'i. The two waved their weapons again, creating a huge impact. Just like before, the impact instantly broke the surface of the boulder, destroying it deeper inside. However, this one was twice as big as before, and the diameter was also the same. Baha'i's impact could not penetrate the entire boulder this time. It only destroyed less than half of it, and the impact disappeared. The two of them had no time to release the next wave of dominance, and the boulder fell directly. The two of them could not escape, and they could only be hit head-on by the boulder. A few seconds later, the boulder fell and hit the battle venue directly from the side. Most of it fell into the sea, causing huge waves. The head of the Uchiha family is really quite generous. Senju Hashirama looked at the projected picture and felt that he was really not as good as the younger generation now. Then he got up and went to the coastline to intercept the huge waves that were about to appear. Is this the strength of Uchiha Tamaki? Although I had guessed it many times and knew that my friend of the same age was powerful, I never expected it to be so exaggerated. He made a visual inspection and found that the size of the boulder that fell from the sky just now was probably larger than the country he was currently standing on. The attack range of the Tianjin Jinxing ignores both the enemy and the enemy. Uchiha Yugen did not choose to use Susanu to resist, and used the ability of the surgical fruit to constantly change positions and leave the affected area. The pirates below were not so lucky. Some were lucky enough to stay at the battle venue without being affected, and were least affected. Those who got on the ship and ran away were the worst, and most of them were hit by huge rocks. The remaining parts were swallowed up by the waves. The Uchiha group, with Bruno from CP9, directly opened a space door and transferred everyone to a different space to avoid direct impact. The people of Big Mom were in the worst situation. When they wanted to run away, Doflamingo directly connected several ships together with a handful of silk threads. They were unable to break free in a short time and almost faced the impact of the entire boulder. Most of the pirates who came to watch the show were wiped out. They originally wanted to witness history, and even wanted to show their saints in front of others, but now they are almost dead. The movement caused by the sky-impeding earthquake star gradually stopped, but the aftermath was spreading towards the surrounding area. Especially the navy in the distance were about to resist the attack of the first wave of huge waves. Uchiha Tamaki fell from the sky, lifted Susanoo, and stood in the battle venue. Ace and Kazan stopped fighting. After all, the stone just now was too scary. Even the two of them were frightened. At the same time, Ace also wanted to help rescue members of his own pirate group. The new world should be a lot quieter now. 
Uchiha Yugen said to Kazan. Kazan's mouth trembled, trying to say something, but finally stopped. It feels like my strength is even more exaggerated than when I fought him. But soon, various holes appeared everywhere in the boulders, and those with strong strength could still find a way to survive. The first ones to come out were Hawkeye and Sauron. Sauron's face was full of the feeling of surviving a disaster. He didn't expect that the person who captured them on the terrifying three-masted sailboat would be so strong. Then came the red-haired group, a dozen members in total, who broke out of the boulder and scathed. Then there is the beast pirates, but it seems that they have suffered a lot of losses. There were originally hundreds of people, but only a few dozen appeared at this time. Then there was Crocodile, whose long back hair was still so silky. Even Moonlight Moria, the shame of the Shichibukai, survived successfully, but there was blood on the corner of his mouth, and he looked injured. The biggest movement was when Kaido transformed into a blue dragon, grabbed Charlotte Lingling and rushed out of the stone, and then immediately released the beast form and entered the human beast form. Charlotte Lingling looked like she was seriously injured and on the verge of death, but she was still conscious. She raised her right hand to give her body another soul, and her vitality quickly recovered. Jin was instantly relieved when he saw that his captain was okay. It's time to end the fight. After Uchiha Yugen finished speaking, he entered the sage mode and the sage face appeared. At the same time, six Taoist jade floated behind him, symmetrically arranged behind him. In the past three months of practice, I have now been able to stably produce seeking jade. However, the larger the number, the more difficult it is to maintain stability. Six is the maximum that can be maintained now.